Swallowed Star. Chapter 1001 to Chapter 1050. Have fun reading as well as listening. Hey guys. Can I trouble all of you for a moment? Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you won't miss new audiobook updates. That's all. Thank you. Chapter 1001, Third Body, Finished. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. In front of the desk of Yuxiang Mountain of the Virtual Universe. Luo Feng read the information of Beast God Blood and frowned. I can get a drop of Beast God Blood from 100 Blood River Crystals, but the process is complicated. I have to apply for it through the Virtual Universe Company. A single drop of Beast God Blood merging with the body was equal to one Blood River Crystal merging with the body. That was why Beast God Blood was so highly sought after. The typical limit was 100 Blood River Crystals. For Beast God Blood, it required 100 drops, which cost 10,000 Blood River Crystals. This was the price one had to pay to lower the effect of the evil energy and to reduce the pain. After all, a human body that could merge with 10 Blood River Crystals might only be born once in many countless eras. I wonder how much Beast God Blood I can apply for, Luo Feng thought. These precious resources are strictly managed. Lots of emperors have to wait for an auction to bid on it. At the same time, Luo Feng was filled with his application. After a short while, a fox-like girl with downy ears and soft purple hair appeared on the screen. She was likely a fox-human of the human race. Greetings, Mr. Luo Feng, she said. I need beast god blood, Luo Feng said bluntly. The fox girl paused to check something. According to the quota, she said, you can have 50 drops of beast god blood for free. She flashed a lovely smile, but deep in her heart, she was shocked. Universe knights and universe masters weren't qualified for free resources, on the contrary, they needed to trade for them through their contributions to the race. As for some emperors who deserved cultivation, they might receive some highly limited resources, perhaps ten blood river crystals, but they couldn't have a single drop of beast god blood. Her job was to receive the seniors of the race, and she had never seen anyone qualified for fifty drops of beast god blood for free. No wonder he's a peerless genius, thought the fox girl. Everyone says he's Blade River Emperor, and if that's the case, it's not surprising. Give me thirty, Luo Feng said. Certainly, said the fox girl. Where shall it be delivered? This is the address. Luo Feng typed his detailed address in the Primal Secret Region. His residence was within Primal Chaos City Leader's territory, at the core of the center of the Primal Secret Region. In the Primal Secret Region. The fox girl smiled. The 30 drops of blood will be delivered today. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. He turned off the telecommunications. For free, eh? He smiled. It seems my race has a quota of free resources for me. But until I apply for them, they won't be given to me. 50 drops of beast god blood. I've heard it's difficult to get that much even at an auction. However, my original earthling body is able to merge with 82 blood river crystals, and all I need are 18 drops of beast god blood. As for the golden horned beast, he needs more than 600 blood river crystals, and beast god blood can't do it all. His golden horned beast body's life gene level was already strengthened 6,000 times. When he became undying someday and owned an enormous amount of superior undying power, he would breed a powerful consciousness. That could help his will to some extent, just as a strong-bodied person had a staunch will, whereas a feeble person had a wavering will. The strength of a soul served a supporting function. Universe masters, who had extensive godly power and had their souls integrated with the universe, had stronger wills than Luo Feng. Although they were relatively lucky, their godly power was the main reason for the powerful wills. It was impossible for an ordinary being to have a will that could rival a universe master. The life gene level is already strengthened 6,000 times, thought Luo Feng. After that, the amplification will improve only slightly each time. There's no need to rush it. After only three hours, a servant delivered a space ring to the palace where Luo Feng lived. His beast god blood was in the ring. Go, Luo Feng said. Yes, the undying servant answered respectfully. In the territory of Primal Chaos City Leader, even the delivery men were undying, and they needed to compete for those positions, as those without skills wouldn't be admitted. After all, here they could see the great Primal Chaos City Leader from time to time. Usually, the disciples of Primal Chaos City Leader lived here. Luo Feng went back to his internal world. He took a silver suitcase out of the space ring and opened it to find 30 transparent tubes inside. There was a drop of shiny golden light in each tube, emanating considerable energy. Luo Feng could practically hear the roaring of the Beast God. Beast God Blood Luo Feng took out a tube, unplugged it and poured it on his left palm. It looked like pure, golden light, but he could see, within the light, that it was actually a golden liquid. Countless law engravings flowing within it. The golden light dropped into his palm and penetrated the skin. Pow! Luo Feng's body started to glimmer with golden light. The blood river energies in Luo Feng's cells were already sturdy, and the drop of beast god blood merged with them easily without causing any reaction. Black warriors can please primal chaos city leader teacher, said Luo Feng. He says merging with beast god blood is an easy task. 
Now that I can merge with 82 Blood River Crystals, I'm already way ahead of the limit of a Black Warrior. Luo Foam smiled. Absorbing the Beast God blood is like drinking water to me. He took out another tube, opened it, and poured out the Beast God blood. One drop after another, the Beast God blood merged with Luo Feng's body. After a short while, all 18 drops of had successfully integrated with Luo Foam, which was an easier task than he had previously perceived it to be. When Luo Feng tried the 19th drop of Beast God blood, it only rolled on his palm and lay there without seeping in. That seems to be the limit, Luo Feng said, nodding. I've already hit the limit of Blood River energies. His eyes gleamed. Now, drive the Blood River energies. Hong. An ancient force shot out from Luo Feng's body. It suddenly felt as if energy from the origin of the entire universe was emanating from deep inside him. His body was heightened and strengthened, and indistinct scales formed on every inch of his skin. Countless threads wound across his body, and a giant image of a roaring beast god appeared on his chest, so detailed and realistic that it looked like an actual, bellowing beast god in all its exquisite detail. Golden halos pulsated outward, surrounding his body. Luo Feng looked down at his chest. He had already taken off his armor as he wanted to feel the power touching his body. How mighty this energy is. Ha. Huh. Luo Feng was stunned. Wait. Something's wrong. Only 3,000 times. How is that possible? Luo Feng was perplexed. Theoretically, once 100 Blood River Crystals were merged with the body, the body would be 100 times stronger. Golden Horned Beast's right claw had been strengthened 100 times at the beginning, and it stopped growing after hitting the 10,000 times limit. Luo Feng frowned. I was originally 48 times stronger, but now that I've surpassed being strengthened 3,000 times, I'm only around 60 times stronger than before. The effect was weakened. The Blood River energies that worked perfectly on the Golden Horned Beast were far less effective on the original Earthling body. Luo Feng considered the implications. Beast God blood might be useless for the special life forms in the universe. Like a unique life form of water category whose life gene level is already thousands of times stronger, the Beast God blood won't help that much. Beast God blood comes from an inborn Beast God of gold and space. Is it possible that the Beast God blood worked well in the beginning, but its effect will be weakened as time goes by? He decided to let the matter drop. Regardless of the reason, it was now proven that the original Earthling body reached a life gene level that was 3,000 times stronger after merging with the Beast God blood, together with its 48 times stronger base. I'll just wait. My life gene level can be improved when I get another medal from the 9 volume manual. Luo Feng smiled and nodded. Although it hadn't been the best possible outcome, he was still exhilarated that his life gene level had been improved 3,000 times. That put it at the level of some top tier special life forms in the universe. Fortunately, I have the 9 volume manual, Luo Feng thought. Otherwise, I'd be like other life forms of the other races in the universe, who can only improve their life gene level to 100 times. The 9 volume manual. It was his secret weapon. With it, Luo Feng could rival top tier special life forms. Other things like Blood River Crystals were just icing on the cake. Time passed. Since the original Earthling body and Golden Horned Beast body had merged with Blood River Crystals, Luo Feng continued to train in seclusion. He didn't do anything but spend time with his family. After another century, his third body was about to be born. In the internal world, Golden Horned Beast's claws gripped the plane like pillars. He looked up at the sky. Masha body stood on Golden Horned Beast's back, gazing at the sky as well. There was a colossal, oval-shaped, golden egg floating in the sky. The golden egg had been small when it first came into being, but it had grown larger and larger as time went by, and it was now more than 6,000 miles tall. Soon. Said Luo Feng. It'll soon be born. Luo Feng pondered the result. Will it be a whole sea? The life form in the oval golden egg would remain a mystery until it revealed itself. Around eight hours later. CR, Ak. Dozens of hairline fractures appeared on the colossal, golden egg. Luo Feng and his three other bodies held their breath as they watched. Pow. All at once, the eggshell was completely crushed. In its place was a giant man in the sky, standing almost 6,000 miles tall. Its naked body cast a perfect, almost exotic figure, with sparkling skin and crystal clear jades across its skin, and bloody threads flowing inside it. Luo Feng's original earthling body and his other bodies were all dazed by such a pleasant surprise. My, my third body, said Luo Feng, is flesh and blood. Chapter 1002, Talent Technique Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Only the flesh and the blood type of living creature could practice the nine-volume manual. Luo Feng's Masha body was an energy-type living creature, and thus, his power was significantly weaker than his original earthling body and golden horned beast body, even after being injected with the essence from an original real treasure like the space heart. Masha body never surpassed the limit of increasing 100 times. It was destined for Masha body to be far weaker when it came to strength. He was mainly useful for fleeing, hiding, and disguise. When it came to fighting, Luo Feng had to depend on his original body and the Golden Horned Beast body. As for a body like Nine Remoteness Ocean, Luo Feng had chosen it because of the boundless ocean of godly power. Ha ha ha. Luo Feng's laughter swept across the internal world like a shockwave. 
Well, this is a happy surprise. The third body can practice the nine volume manual, which means he has unlimited potential. Perhaps he can someday be nine remoteness masters match. I'll call my third body. Remote ocean body. It was official. Luo Feng's original body and three additional bodies had been determined. He had his original earthling body, his golden horned beast body, his masha body, and his remote ocean body. Luo Feng was filled with boundless pride. With his original earthling body and these three bodies, nothing would stop him from becoming one of the great beings in the universe. The seed has been planted, he said. It'll be up to my efforts to decide whether I remain a weak sapling or grow into the sturdiest tree. I need to study into my remote ocean body first. Remote ocean body looked exquisite, a giant body standing nearly 6,000 miles tall. Presently, he sat on the plane with his legs crossed like a giant sculpture. My strength is 300 times of that of a sector lord, remote ocean body said in a deep voice. My remote ocean body's life gene level is 300 times while the sector lord level world tree is around 1,000 times. That explains why I was able to successfully breed this remote ocean body but not the world tree body. But it seems too large for a living being of 300 times life gene level. Generally speaking, the higher the life gene level, the larger the size. Of course, special organisms of the plant race and rock race had terrifically large bodies even if they had life gene levels that were hundreds of times. After all, even ordinary life forms like cloud contact vines were already over 1 million miles tall. Life forms of the plant race had a natural size advantage. Remote ocean body is a flesh and blood type living being. How can he be so large? Upon careful examination, Luo Feng realized remote ocean body had law energy flowing through his bones, muscles, vessels, and blood, and there was information hidden in the energy. Luo Feng studied the information with his mind. So, that's the case. Remote ocean body whispered. Even primal chaos city leader doesn't know what talent techniques nine remoteness master has. He must have talent techniques, given that my remote ocean body has two talent techniques. The information contained within the colossal body shed light on some of the mysteries of nine remoteness world. Remote ocean body had two talent techniques. The first one was, transformed ocean, and the second was creation. Transformed ocean allowed remote ocean body to instantly turn into an ocean with a diameter of around 60,000 miles, and the time and space within it would be controlled by the ocean. The stronger remote ocean body got, the more control the body had over time and space. While he was still relatively weak, he could only affect time and space to a small extent, but when he became sufficiently strong, he would be like Nine Remoteness Master, whose grip on his Nine Remoteness Ocean had reached its limit. It was so powerful that no other Universe Masters even dared to enter Nine Remoteness Space. The second talent technique was creation. When the body became an ocean, its flesh and blood were all transformed into a bloody sea, after which his creation talent could extract energies from the ocean and reorganize the life genes to create new life forms. He could even create a new race, if he was proficient with the talent, and the new lives would always submit to the master who had created them. Such powerful talent techniques. Remote ocean body said in a deep voice. No wonder the body is so enormous. He wouldn't be able to turn into an ocean with a smaller body. Once he turns into an ocean, he can, in a way, control time and space around the ocean, which makes him significantly stronger. This kind of incredible attacking skill was a bit like the manipulation of time and space talent used by world trees. As for creation, it might be considered a mediocre skill, but this is likely how the indigenous race in Nine Remoteness World was created. Energy life forms are the easiest to create, as long as there are life cores. Luo Feng nodded. Although it's a mediocre talent at present, it could be used to create an entire race completely obedient to me. Haha. -ha. Remote ocean body's voice echoed through the internal world. I've obtained everything I wanted, and even some things I didn't expect. This remote ocean body can affect the space and time around him, and he has a talent technique in space and time. Plus, it's a flesh and blood type of living being. Still, muttered Luo Feng. Why is the size of the bloody sea so bizarre? His talent technique says he can turn into an ocean with a diameter of around 60,000 miles, but that is much smaller than those of the princes and nine remoteness master. Remote ocean body frowned and considered the implications of its size. Sector lord princes had bloody seas with diameters of around 50 million miles. Undying princes had royal seas with diameters of around 600 million miles. Universe knight princes had royal seas with diameters from 20 billion to 60 billion miles. Although remote ocean body possessed the transformed ocean talent, he could only turn into a sea with a diameter of around 60,000 miles, which was minuscule even by the standards of Sector Lord Princes. Transformed Ocean Remote Ocean performed his talent technique. Hong. Long. His flesh and bones suddenly melted, changing into a surging bloody sea in Luo Feng's internal world. Luo Feng could feel his control on the bloody sea, but it was feeble, it was only at the Sector Lord level. However, he could sense time and space distinctly. Apparently, he had incredible talent in time and space. Larger, said Luo Feng. Larger. Grow larger. Luo Feng controlled the bloody sea with his mind, but no matter how hard he tried, the diameter remained at 60,000 miles, which couldn't even match that of a sector lord prince. The bloody sea churned in the sky while Masha body and golden horned beast stood on the plains, contemplating what they were seeing. Luo Feng was perplexed. Why? 
Why is the volume of my transformed ocean so much smaller than that of the nine remoteness master and the 108 princes? The bloody sea only had a diameter of only 60,000 miles. However, lots of unique life forms in the universe were 60,000 miles tall or long. As for creatures of the plant race and rock race, plenty of them were larger than that. After he thought about it for a while, a thought occurred to Luofoam. Something's wrong, he said. Nine remoteness master and the 108 princes. They seem to be different from me somehow. My transformed ocean technique can transform my body into a bloody sea instantly, but it can also change it back to the original body, too. However, said Luo Foam, those 108 royal seas and the Nine Remoteness Ocean haven't changed or even moved for hundreds of millions of years. Nine Remoteness Ocean had a diameter of over 10 light years. For an eternity, the Nine Remoteness Ocean had remained in the Ancestral God Secret Region, and the seas of the 108 princes had remained at the center of Nine Remoteness World. Primal Chaos City Leader Teacher said that Nine Remoteness Master will sometimes go out and fight, said Luo Foam. And if he dies, the Nine Remoteness Ocean will breed another Nine Remoteness Master. But how is that possible? Transformed Ocean and the original body can't exist at the same time. If the original body were killed, he would fall forever. If the body can be born again, that can only mean that it's not the original body that was killed. Luo Feng stroked his chin in deep thought. There's only one way Nine Remoteness Master can do this. He must have transformed his body into the ocean, then created an energy body using his creation talent. The energy body can then be condensed again, even after being destroyed. Nine Remoteness Ocean has never moved, Luo Feng realized. And perhaps it's not because he doesn't want to move. Perhaps he can't move at all. And that means, he never actually leaves Nine Remoteness space. As vast as the Nine Remoteness Ocean is, it can never move. Luo Feng quickly extrapolated from what he observed. Gradually, he saw the complete story. Nine Remoteness Master and his princes used some special methods to enlarge their oceans, thought Luo Feng. The trade-off is that they can't move the oceans freely anymore. Even though they can't move the oceans, the volume gives them nearly boundless godly power, and thus, they become immortal. Special organisms of the plant race and rock race also found it difficult to move. The larger the bodies were, the more difficult it was for them to move. For an enormous being like Nine Remoteness Ocean, it was unsurprising that he was unable to move at will. But how did they enlarge their oceans to such an extent? Luo Feng muttered. The bloody sea with a diameter of around 160,000 miles kept churning in the sky. What did he need to do to turn it into one with a diameter of 50 million miles? They were at completely different levels. A 50 million mile ocean had much greater energy, and generally, even if someone became undying, their size did not change. That meant remote ocean body's height would remain at 6,000 miles, and the transformed ocean would remain 60,000 miles. Yet the oceans of the undying and universe night princes kept expanding. The largest of which was 60 billion miles. How did Nine Remoteness Master and his prince accomplish that? Chapter 1003, Creation Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio the bloody sea churned above the extensive plains as Luo Feng attempted to enlarge its size, but all methods thus far had failed. After three days of trying, Luo Feng finally admitted defeat. Remote ocean body can't absorb energies because there's no room for further storage. The bloody sea has already hit its limit, and it can't be expanded even an inch larger. Nine remoteness master, how did you enlarge the remoteness ocean? Luo Feng, clothed in black, gazed at the turbulent bloody sea and murmured to himself, why don't you just ask nine remoteness master? This was obviously a secret. When Nine Remoteness Master first came into being, he clearly didn't have such an enormous Nine Remoteness Ocean. He must have figured out some special means so that even his princes could have enormous royal seas. I'll try my second technique, creation, said Luo Feng. The idea that I can create life is a great mystery. Luo Feng's mind merged with the bloody sea. The moment he cast the second technique, he felt like he was entering a new domain. The air and the grass were all dissected beneath his gaze, it was like seeing through to the very nature of these life forms. Luo Feng looked at the weeds on the plain. Creation, he said, and grass came into being. Creation, he said again, and a flower was born in the bloody sea. Create Masha body, he said. A moment passed, and Luo Feng realized that the Masha body was too complex to be created instantly. Creating plants doesn't give me any sense of accomplishment, said Luo Feng. I need to create moving lives. I must. After only a few moments, and Luo Feng was already addicted to the process of creation. World energies could change plants and rivers, but creation was something more than that. Creation could replicate the constitution of life by observation. Luo Feng presumed that replicating the constitution of life forms was the most basic skill, but those who were proficient, like Nine Remoteness Master, could create an entire species. Creation was a magical thing. Although the process couldn't improve one's power directly, it would be majestic to create a species. No wonder masters were Shan cook and guide and lead an entire race, Luo Feng thought. But I'm different from him. I can create life forms with my talent technique, whereas Wushan could guide an existing race and led that race to evolve under some special environments. Luo Feng began to experiment. First, he put some small, weak life forms into his internal world. He quickly realized that the weaker the power was, the simpler the life gene constitution was. 
For those living beings that were too powerful, it was difficult to even see their constitution distinctly, let alone replicate it. Nine remoteness master became an ocean first, then created an energy body, and finally, created a race, Luo Feng realized after experimenting with his new talent technique for half a month. The constitution of complex life forms was impossibly intricate, making it exceedingly difficult to create a brand new race. Nine remoteness master must have expended a great degree of effort before learning how to create a mature race. His 108 princes must have been instructed to emulate him, but they had all failed, as they couldn't conquer the obstacles. It required an astounding amount of energy to create even a single life form, not to mention a supreme race whose members had life imprints high enough to think intelligently, train themselves, and become sector lords once they matured. No wonder sector lord princes can't create new lives, thought Luo Feng. The more advanced the life forms are, the more energy it takes to create them. However, it's easiest to create oneself. Each drop of the bloody sea had come from remote ocean body, which was why the bloody sea water contained the life genes of remote ocean body. If he wanted to create another remote ocean body, he didn't need any life constitution, as each drop of the water was comprised of such life constitution. Creation Hua 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 The bloody sea started to tremble, and a naked body appeared. It quickly disappeared, however, and its energy was absorbed back into the bloody sea. Creation Another 300-foot tall body showed up and disappeared. Creation Another body appeared. This one was only three feet in height. It, too, quickly disappeared. Creation Luo Feng kept trying. After much trial and error, he found out that the largest body he could create was 600 miles tall, which was a smaller version of remote ocean body. Something's wrong, said Luo Feng. Remote ocean body has a life gene level 300 times greater. Why does the newly created remote ocean body only have a life gene level of 30 times? Luo Feng realized the problem. The new remote ocean body was only 600 miles tall, just one-tenth the original height. His life gene level was only 30 times greater, which was also one-tenth of the original version. There are some flaws in creation. He laughed. But maybe this is how it's supposed to be. There was a vast difference between the talent technique creation and the evolution of the universe. Even if he could replicate the body's constitution completely, the duplicate was still inferior, as it didn't have any talent techniques and had significantly lower life gene level. It would go against the laws of the universe for a bloody sea to be able to create a new remote ocean body as powerful as the original. After some time, he realized that each time he created a new remote ocean body, it consumed nearly one-tenth of his energies, and the volume of the bloody sea shrunk. Each body was being immediately absorbed into the ocean was because the bloody sea was reabsorbing the energies to recover its size. When the bloody sea is complete, it can't absorb any energies, said Luo Feng, but it can when it suffers some losses. Luo Feng got an idea. Absorb. Absorb. Hum. The world energies flooded into the bloody sea. After just a short while, the bloody sea finished and regained its original size. The bloody sea has fully recovered, but the new remote ocean body is still right beside it, said Luo Feng. They draw energies from the same origin. Now, melt. The new remote ocean body fell into the bloody sea and melted into the water. The energies merged with the original sea, and the volume surged. The bloody sea was enlarged, pressing outward against the space around it. The space and time controlled by the bloody sea were also expanded. Ha ha. So, this is how it works, said Luo Feng, overjoyed. Create a new remote ocean body, wait for the bloody sea recover, then melt the new remote ocean body back into water, thus combining it with the original bloody sea. Creation, commanded Luo Feng. Recover. Luo Feng went through the process repeatedly. Each time, the bloody sea could absorb more energy. Melt. Condense. The bloody sea was enlarged again. It expanded ten times in succession. Turn back, said Luo Feng. But when he tried to turn the ocean back into the original body, it failed. The ocean was bloated with energy. It was like an overweight, middle-aged man, too plump from years of overreading to run and jump as he had in his trimmer years. The bloody sea was simply too large to turn back into its original body. No wonder Nine Remoteness Master can always be revived no matter how many times he dies, said Luo Feng. It's because those that die are actually the bodies created by the ocean. The original body is Nine Remoteness Ocean itself. Now that Luo Feng understood the secret completely, he started to laugh. The his echoed across the bloody sea. Dissipate. Dissipate. The sea resolved into world energies and dispersed. Instantly, the world energies that had been added due to his experimentation vanished. Turn back, he commanded. A remote ocean original body standing at a height of almost 6,000 miles showed up again. It was the same original body with a life gene level of 300 times greater. When Nine Remoteness Master obtained an immortal body, his combat power must have been weakened at the same time, thought Luo Feng. After all, he relies on his created bodies to fight outside. You gain some, you lose some. It would take an eternity for Nine Remoteness Ocean to reach its current size. It must have expanded stably for a long time. It would be impossible for Nine Remoteness Master to dissipate his godly power and turn into a being with a diameter of 6,000 miles. 
Luo Feng now understood why Nine Remoteness Master was invincible. He was already a universe master, and he continuously stored godly power so as to expand Nine Remoteness Ocean. As a result, Nine Remoteness Ocean now had a diameter of over 10 light years. It seemed his quantitative changes had led to qualitative changes. The Nine Remoteness Ocean could already rival the most powerful true treasure in the universe, and the only downside was that it was immovable. I've already figured out the secret behind this, said Luo Feng. He was exhilarated. But I don't need to expand the ocean yet. There's one more vital thing. Remote Ocean Body needs to practice the Nine Volume Manual. Luo Feng had been looking forward to this. Remote Ocean Body had a life gene level 300 times greater, and finishing the first five volumes of Nine Volume Manual could improve a being's life gene level 48 times. Once Remote Ocean Body started to practice, he could theoretically hit 14,400 times. However, based on Luo Feng's knowledge, even the special life forms of the universe only had life gene levels of a few thousand times greater. 10,000 times greater, said Luo Feng. That seems to be the limit of the life gene level of special life forms. I'll personally discover the true limit of a life gene level in the universe. Luo Feng felt inspired. If the limit truly was 10,000 times, Remote Ocean Body could hit that limit with 9 volume manual. However, if the limit was more than 10,000 times, Remote Ocean Body would step into a new, previously unknown realm. How could Luo Feng not be excited about the possibilities? Luo Feng looked forward to this, but the overall premise was that Remote Ocean Body first needed to practice the 9 volume manual. Although he's a special life form, he is a flesh and blood type of living being. He must be able to practice it. Luo Feng thought so, anyway. He was, however, a bit afraid of the limitations of the universe law. After all, his original earthling body and his golden horned beast body were both ordinary life forms, yet they both had life gene level thousands of times greater after practicing nine volume manual. This time, remote ocean body would target the legendary limit. Begin. Remote ocean body sat down on the plane with his legs crossed and started to practice nine volume manual. Chapter 1004, Change After 500 Years Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Remote Ocean Body would be a great combat power if he could practice the 9-volume manual. If he couldn't, then he could only focus on training and godly power support. It worked. Remote Ocean Body suddenly laughed. My life gene level was improved after practicing the 9-volume manual. How magical it is. No wonders Washan Ku is one of the universe supreme masters. Luo Feng admired his mysterious teacher more. He felt intimidated by the top-tier beings of the universe. If Swashan Ku was able to create the nine-volume manual, what about other supreme masters? I'm nothing compared to them, thought Luo Feng. I must train myself and catch up to them. As for any other issues, I'll wait until I become their rival. Luo Feng stopped thinking and went back to practice. He only knew that he was not powerful enough yet. He was indeed lucky to have figured out a way to expand the bloody sea created by Remote Ocean Body, and luckier still that Remote Ocean Body was able to practice the nine-volume manual. Although Remote Ocean Body could practice the 9-volume manual, it would take him a long time to finish the first 5 volumes. He was even bigger than Golden Horned Beast Body, meaning it would take a longer time for him to evolve. Even though Luo Feng was fully experienced, it would take the new body 100 years to finish the first volume. While Remote Ocean Body practiced the 9-volume manual, the other bodies studied into Space Law, Star Map, and Moon Policy. 100 years passed like the blink of an eye. Remote Ocean Body opened his eyes gradually after sitting there like a sculpture, and whispered, I finished the first volume. My life gene level is now 900 times stronger. From 300 times to 900 times. The first volume had improved his life gene level threefold. And all that from only the first volume. Luo Feng was further amazed. No wonder this technique was restricted by the universe law so that Swashan Ku couldn't pass it on to any other life forms. He could only pass it on to one living being with the help of heavenly soul crystals. I can't wait, said Luo Feng. If I can improve the life gene level from 300 times to 900 times so easily, then next time it'll be 1,800 times. Continue. Remote Ocean Body closed his eyes and started the second volume. It was magnificent to feel his improvement every second. After the second volume was finished, Remote Ocean Body's life gene level hit 1,800 times, as expected. And when the third volume was finished, he reached 3,600 times. All the best case scenarios were coming true. In the primal region, among the Thousand Treasure River, in the palace at the apex. Six Universe Knights sat with their legs crossed, listening to Primal Chaos City Leader's teaching. Luo Feng told me that it would take him around 600 years to finish breeding his third body and that he would become undying after finishing the third body, said Primal Chaos City Leader. But it's been almost 1,000 years. Why isn't anything happening? Primal Chaos City Leader looked afar and saw a palace in the distance. Inside the palace, the original earthling body sat cross-legged with Tian Chen Emperor guarding him. Luo Feng is incredibly lucky that he's got several true treasures, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Maybe something special happened to him again, and that's why there's a delay. I'll leave him alone to fix it. Primal Chaos City Leader kept teaching the six universe knights sitting in the palace. 
He decided to put the problem out of his mind. He was quite satisfied with Luo Feng. And after all, Luo Feng was full of surprises. Time passed. It had been over 1,000 years since Luo Feng had first started to breed his third body, and he had spent that time studying space law and creating secret techniques. He had made satisfactory accomplishments on both ends, and he had been advancing slowly and steadily on the nine-volume manual. He finished one volume about every century. After practicing it for 400 years, Remote Ocean Body finished the fourth volume. His life gene level doubled again, hitting 7,200 times stronger. A life gene level of 7,200 times. Remote Ocean Body sat with his legs crossed. His eyes gleamed like stars. He felt the power rushing through his entire body. His life gene level had been only 300 times before, nothing but mediocre. Now, his life level was already 7,200 times stronger, which was far superior to Zhu Chong Emperor. Perhaps this is the life gene level of Nine Remoteness Master, Remote Ocean Body murmured. Go on. The fifth volume. The original Earthling Body, Masha Body, and Golden Horned Beast Body all opened their eyes and looked forward to the crucial fifth volume. Remote Ocean Body's life gene level gradually improved. 7,200 times. 7,300, 7, 400. 8,000, 8,100. 9,000, 9,100. I've already passed 9,000 times, said Luo Feng in astonishment. He even stopped comprehending space law, dedicating the majority of his mind to remote ocean body, as he didn't dare to be careless in this matter. After his life gene level passed 9,000 times, his rate of evolution slowed down considerably. 9,500 times. 9, 600. Remote ocean body's life gene level had already surpassed that of many extraordinary special life forms. Even many unique life forms couldn't improve themselves past 9,000 times. At 9,600 times, it became exceedingly difficult to advance any further. It appeared that his life gene level could only be enhanced a bit more. Finally, he was nearing the threshold. 10,000. And with that, its life gene level had reached the final stage. My life gene level is 10,000 times now. Remote ocean body exclaimed, feeling the power flowing inside of him. But as he continued practicing, he realized this wasn't the final stage after all. It seems I haven't reached my limit yet. I can improve even further. After surpassing 10,000 times, his life gene level could still be enhanced, but it was a slow, grueling process. Finally, the life gene level stopped improving altogether. Luo Feng gazed upon the fruits of his labor. Each inch of remote ocean body skin, muscles, and bones were as immaculate as the universe itself. Its life gene level had attained the height of perfection. As incredible as the nine-volume manual was, not even it could improve such a flawless life gene level. Luo Feng could see the constitution of each individual cell. Even on a microscopic level, remote ocean body was perfect in every way. Perfect. Sheer perfection, said Luo Feng. Remote ocean body's life gene level surpassed 10,000 times. It's now slightly over 10,000 times. Remote ocean began absorbing the surrounding world energy. Pa. 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 As remote ocean body was absorbed the energy, it kept growing taller, multiplying in size. Luo Feng was exhilarated. Neither the golden horned beast body nor his original earthling body had increased in size from practicing the nine volume manual. However, just as Remote Ocean Body had achieved perfection, he started to grow. Remote Ocean Body devoured the surrounding world energy. Although he had perfect life genes, he was only at the Sector Lord level, Luo Feng could support the world energies he required to grow. He grew from 6,000 miles tall to 12,000 miles tall. Then 18,000 miles tall. Then 25,000 miles tall. And he just kept getting larger. Only after Remote Ocean Body reached a height of 55,000 miles did he stop growing. Perfect, said Luo Feng. For some reason, he felt certain that this was Remote Ocean Body's ideal state. Just when Remote Ocean Body stopped growing, Hong, the entire internal world was frozen. Masha Body was dazed. Golden Horned Beast Body kept his head lifted up. The weeds were flattened by the wind, and the sea stopped churning. The water drops were floating. The Bug Clan Queen and her Bug Army all froze. The original Earthling Body stood still. The core, the most important part of Luo Feng, was injected with the most mysterious power. Breeding the third body had caused his core to start to morph, but when this mystical power entered the core, it changed sharply. The color was changing. Red, green, blue, yellow, and gold. In the end, it turned blurry. This seemingly ordinary core now contained endless enigmas. This mysterious force penetrated the internal world when infusing the core. The force was irresistible. It was as warm and inviting as a mother's hug, appeasing all the living beings of the universe. It was not overbearing, but it was much stronger than that of Primal Chaos City leader and even Zwishan Ko. When the energy poured into Luo Feng's body, entering the core in the internal world, neither Chaos City leader nor the Universe Knights being taught noticed it. It was the time and space protected by Thousand Treasure River and controlled by Primal Chaos City leader. 
Yet, in this time and space, even the primal chaos city leader couldn't feel that force. That mysterious and inconceivable force changed Luo Feng's core while enveloping remote ocean body. Gradually, Luo Feng opened his eyes. Where am I? Luo Feng said. He looked around, confused. A multitude of lights floated around him. Each one contained extraordinary power. Every one of them was more terrifying than Master of Sky Wolf. I. I just trained remote ocean body to a perfect state, and its size surged nine times, said Luo Feng. And now, my mind came here. Chapter 1005, I Am the Universe Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng quickly realized that the place he had been taken to was probably one of the most mysterious places, if not the most mysterious place, in an already exceedingly enigmatic universe. Luo Feng looked around. Universe masters are already the pinnacle beings in the universe. Who could possibly be able to harness my mind and bring it here, removing me from the territory of Primal Chaos City Leader, without being noticed? Perhaps. Only the universe itself could do this. The light spots were floating, but they were all dodging Luo Feng. Luo Feng was bewildered. Each of these light spots is even more powerful than Master of Sky Wolf. What are they? Suddenly, one light spot turned into a flash of light, shooting toward Luo Feng. Xiao. The spot traveled much faster than light speed, as if light speed was not the speed limit in this space and time. Before Luo Feng could so much as begin to run away, the light spot hit his mind. Hong. Images flooded Luo Feng's mind, whizzing by in quick succession. Luo Feng saw the birth of the universe, the birth of every life form living in the universe, and their destruction. The scenes were overwhelming, and they left his mind, forgotten, about as soon as they entered. It was impossible to remember it all, an infinity's worth of information merged with his mind. Pang. Luo Feng's mind was kicked out of that space and time. In the human territory of the universe, primal region, within the domain of Thousand Treasure River. Primal Chaos City leader didn't even notice what happened. Although he could control this region of time and space, his control was nothing compared to the will of the universe itself. If the universe wanted to punish a particular universe master, it could strip him of his control over time and space. The operation of universe laws was beyond the awareness of Primal Chaos City leader. Within Luo Feng's palace, his original earthling body, sitting with his legs crossed, opened its eyes. Um. Confusion flashed in Luo Feng's eyes, followed by shock. Bug Clan Queen and the Bug Clan warriors regained consciousness, but they had no idea what had just happened. Only Luo Feng knew that time and space had been momentarily frozen. Luo Feng immediately examined all of his bodies. Remote ocean body was still over 55,000 miles tall with a life gene level barely over 10,000 times. Nothing on my body has changed, he said. My original earthling body, the golden horned beast body, the masha body, and the remote ocean body all are the same. Except. No. Something's different. Luo Feng instantly noticed the core in the world ring. The core had turned blurry and indistinct, as if endless space and time were contained within it. What? What happened to my core? Luo Feng was astounded. He had never witnessed or heard of anything like this before. My mind has been bestowed with information containing an incredible talent technique. The core has changed drastically as well. Everything happened after my remote ocean body reached its ideal state, he thought. The life gene level of my remote ocean body had just passed 10,000 times, but it hasn't hit 10,100 yet. Is it at? 10,081 times. So, the perfect life gene is 10,081 times of that of an ordinary life form. Luo Feng extrapolated. He shook his head, deciding not to think about that for now. He started to examine the core again. My mind was instructed in an incredible talent technique. The change in my core should be beneficial. Luo Feng recalled the technique he had just obtained. He had forgotten everything about the birth and transformation of the universe, but he could distinctly remember the casting method of a set of talent techniques. He didn't know the details, nor how the set of talent techniques was created. However, the method for performing the technique was sculpted in his mind. A set of talent techniques bestowed upon me for no reason. It must be a gift from the universe. Is it a gift given to me for reaching the perfect life gene level? Luo Feng speculated. Talent techniques were generally scripted on the skin or on the life core in the form of law engravings. However, the techniques Luo Feng had been bestowed with this time were scripted directly in his mind. Talent Technique, I am the universe. This technique was extremely powerful. When it was performed, godly power was burned and transformed into a micro-universe, allowing the user to trap his enemies inside the universe. Inside the micro-universe, the enemy's power was significantly weakened, whereas Luo Feng's own power surged within it. If he chose to self-destruct, the enemies would be annihilated instantly. This talent technique required an overwhelming amount of power. According to the instructions, the prerequisite for performing, I am the universe, was having a remote ocean body with a perfect life gene level. In addition, remote ocean body needed to be undying before he could perform it. An undying remote ocean body, with 30 times amplification of the undying body, and the body needed to be burned, these were the basic requirements for casting, I am the universe. 
Every time it was cast, it would last for at least 9 seconds. By Luo Feng's calculations, remote ocean body would be completely burned out after only performing it just 10 times. Luo Feng's eyes gleamed. Unbelievable. Incredible. But I love it. An undying remote ocean body was even stronger than Zhuchong Emperor, yet the amplification needed to be 30 times or more. And burning his godly power. Even in normal combat, Luo Feng was superior to quite a few universe knights. This new technique would consume one-tenth of his more than 55,000 mile long godly body. A technique that would devour 10% of his godly body must have been incredibly powerful. Luo Feng could hardly imagine such a thing. It was inconceivable. For what it's worth, it's extraordinary, Luo Feng thought. Remote ocean body is stronger than many universe knights' godly bodies, and many universe knights are only several dozen feet tall, which means most of them aren't able to perform this technique. Only those with enormous bodies can perform it. Luo Feng knew nothing of the secrets behind I am the universe. Fortunately, the method for performing it had been seared into his mind. What am I supposed to do? Luo Feng was baffled. If I turn remote ocean body into a sea again, the sea will keep expanding. The new remote ocean body would be inferior both in size and in life gene level, which means I wouldn't be able to perform I am the universe after becoming undying. Golden Horned Beast Body's life gene level can advance again after becoming undying, and he could almost reach 10,000 times. However, he's only around 600 miles long, so his body won't be able to support the technique. Luo Feng was nervous. Even a large godly body like Golden Horned Beast wasn't enough when performing I am the universe. Unless, that is, Golden Horned Beast Body can also gain a perfect life gene level and expand his body, Luo Feng thought. Otherwise, I could only lure enemies into the boundless remote ocean and let him perform the technique, but that means the boundless remote ocean would not be able to move. Luo Feng was faced with a choice. Should he turn remote ocean body into a sea? If he did, his power would be weakened outside the boundless remote ocean. Plus, the only way he would be able to perform mind the universe would be if he was lucky enough for his golden horned beast body to also reach the perfect life gene level. On the other hand, if he chose not to turn into a sea, he would have terrific combat power. His remote ocean body, which stood over 55,000 miles tall, would be able to roam the universe. The downside was that his godly power would be consumed quickly, and it would be tricky to supplement the power. Luo Feng pondered the possibilities for a couple of minutes. I chose this body to be immortal, said Luo Feng. If I don't perform transformed ocean, I sacrifice that opportunity. Instead, I'll gain incredible combat power. But even inborn beast gods with immense combat power can still die. Survival is more important than power. As long as I can stay alive, anything is possible. Golden Horned Beast Body can also be much stronger someday. Even if I can't perform I am the universe when I become undying, I can certainly perform it when I become a universe knight. Luo Feng had made up his mind. There's no need to rush. Besides, the boundless remote ocean can still perform it when it becomes undying. Later, the 55,000 mile tall remote ocean body stood high in the sky. Transformed Ocean. Remote Ocean Body Growled. This would be the last time he existed in his original remote ocean body form. From now on, he would take the form of a sea, the boundless remote ocean. Even remote ocean body went out to fight, it would do so in the form of a body that was significantly weaker than the original. Hum. Long. Long. The remote ocean body dissipated immediately. Churning, crimson waves appeared in the sky, forming a bloody sea with a diameter of almost 600,000 miles. Talent Technique, Creation. A remote ocean body that was more than 5,500 miles tall, with a life gene level of 1,000 times, appeared. Hua. 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 World energy flooded into the bloody sea. The sea immediately recovered the energy lost by the body. The stunted body then merged with the bloody sea, and it expanded again. The bloody sea expanded so fiercely and quickly that the universe crystals Luo Feng took from his servant were gone. Undying fighters didn't carry adequate universe crystals, but universe crystals were fairly cheap. After all, the universe crystals used to build a giant world ring were only worth one or two mixed elements. Luo Feng went to buy more. I'll have one million mixed elements worth of universe crystals, said Luo Feng. One million worth. Are you sure? A million's worth of universe crystals, Mr. Luo Feng. Yes. Deliver them as soon as possible. Right away, Mr. Luo Feng. They will be delivered soon. Luo Feng purchased universe crystals recklessly and threw them in his internal world. The bloody sea kept expanding. It soon surpassed the limit of 50 million miles. 55,000 miles. 60 million miles. It kept expanding even as the internal world shrank. Chapter 1006, Luo Feng's World. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Hong. Long. Long. The waves were tumbling, and Luo Feng's internal world became a bloody sea completely. Most of the land was devoured. The only land left was an island with a diameter of about 600,000 miles at the center of the bloody sea. At the center of the island was a dual whirlpool, where the golden horned beast digested everything after performing swallow. At its center was the golden horn world stone. 
Apart from the island, the internal world, which had a diameter of almost 60 million miles, was filled with a boundless bloody sea. Hong. Long. The bloody waves were halved, and a huge figure wearing black armor with red trim walked out on the waves. It was the newly created remote ocean body, standing at a height of more than 5,500 miles with a life gene level of 1,000 times. This is not good, remote ocean body murmured. The bloody waves were like springs, and he stood on top of them, riding them up and down. The entire internal world was within his sight. The internal world has been completely flooded aside from the dual whirlpool, yet the bloody sea is still expanding. If the internal world keeps expanding, my core might not be able to withstand it. Most of Luo Feng's consciousness left the remote ocean body and returned to the core. He started to study it carefully. Wait. He said. My core seems to have changed completely. Indeed, the core had taken on a strange, blurry appearance after the majestic transformation, and it now seemed to be holding the 60 million mile internal world with ease. Normally, the larger an internal world became, the greater the burden it put on the core. For instance, if someone used the move Swallowing Metal to enlarge his internal world, he needed to use gold energies to strengthen his core. Only then could he have an enormous internal world. For some reason, my core doesn't feel pressured at all, thought Luo Fong. Does it mean the internal world can keep expanding? It's worth a try. Up in the sky above Luo Feng's boundless bloody sea, tons of universe crystal mountains appeared. One of them melted instantly. World energy beyond measure spread out and merged with the internal world. Until now, the bloody sea had been absorbing all the energy, but to make sure the bloody sea could keep expanding, the internal world needed more energy. The internal world devoured the world energies like a starving child. Hong Long. Hong Long. The world trembled. The bloody sea kept growing and growing. Atop the waves, remote ocean body guffawed. Larger. My internal world can indeed grow larger. Fantastic. But the best way for the internal world to grow larger is for it to swallow metal instead of using universe crystals. The purest gold essence that the internal world could not absorb was concentrated on the golden horned world stone and would enhance the core, strengthening it so that it could carry a larger internal world. Once nearly every 1000 years, the four pinnacle races would engage in war with one another, each time resulting in a tremendous amount of scrap metal left behind. Those remains could be reused if they were refined. Unfortunately, it was expensive to refine the remains, rendering them almost worthless. When it came to E-level alloy remains, they were always pricey. I'll have 100 million mixed elements worth of scrap metal, said Luo Fong. Mr. Luo Fong, the amount of material you require is lower than the quota of free items for you, came the response. They're all free. Luo Fong grinned. An intact E-level spaceship worth 100 million mixed elements was gigantic, yet the equivalent was being given to him for free. This made scrap metal much more cost-effective than using universe crystals to expand his internal world, especially if they were being given to him for free. The Golden Horned Beast went into a world ring with a diameter of more than 60,000 miles containing vast quantities of remains. How? Golden Horned Beast enlarged his body using deities of the world. He then opened his mouth and performed the talent technique, Swallow. The body opened its ocean-sized mouth, contorting the space within almost 60,000 miles. Who? 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 Countless metal alloy remains flooded into his mouth as if swallowed in a vast abyss. The dual whirlpool digested all the metals, and a golden mist permeated, absorbed into the internal world. The internal world started to expand crazily. The gold essence that couldn't be ingested by the internal world was absorbed by the golden horned world zone. Strangely, the core wasn't changed by the internal world as it expanded. It seemed that swallowing metals wasn't beneficial to the core at all. Weird, said Luo Fong. My core has been morphing ever since I swallowed the metal to enlarge my internal world when I became a ninth level sector lord. Is it saturated? Even with the help of the nine volume manual, the original remote ocean body couldn't improve its life gene level after hitting 10,081 times. Was this also the case for the core? Was swallowing metal no longer useful because it had already reached its peak level? Doesn't matter, thought Luo Fong. I'll just let him swallow all the metal. He will be exhausted, but it will strengthen my golden horned world stone. Generally, strong golden horned beasts have internal worlds with diameters of 60 million miles, and golden horned world stones are treasured by universe knights. As for mine, only a few unique life forms could reach a life gene level of 10,081 times. Luo Fong wasn't sure if he was the only one or not. However, given how incredible the nine volume manual was, Luo Fong reckoned that even if one individual among the Golden Horned Beasts was as powerful as his, he would have been cultivated by a universe supreme master. Swallow the metal, Luo Fong commanded. Time to see how powerful my Golden Horned World Stone can become. The amount of alloy remains Luo Fong needed shocked even the seniors responsible for rubbish Starfield. He bought them in a world ring, and they had hardly ever seen anyone consuming scrap metal remains so fast. It's still not enough, Luo Fong realized. My internal world already has a diameter of more than 60 million miles, and it still hasn't hit its limit. Luo Fong was completely stunned. He didn't realize that his internal world was so enormous. Give me more alloy remains, he said. 
Luo Feng didn't take no for an answer. The larger my internal world is, the more stable and more powerful my future godly kingdom will be. Luo Feng looked forward to the results. When will my internal world stop expanding? Under normal circumstances, a world ring with a diameter of 60 million miles would only consume universe crystals worth several mixed elements. The reason why they were so cheap was that sector lords could resonate with the land of origin, priming unlimited universe energy and aggregating it into universe crystals. The price went down because they were easy to make. A world with a diameter of 6 billion miles would only consume 1 million mixed elements worth of universe crystals. A world with a diameter of 600 billion miles would only consume 1 trillion mixed elements worth of universe crystals. Luo Feng used alloy remains, which cost significantly less. However, he still used tens of billions of mixed elements worth of alloy remains. The amount was within his quota. Besides, Luo Feng didn't care much about the money, any random treasure he had was worth at least 10 trillion mixed elements. The internal world continued swallowing world energy and expanding for more than three months. Golden Horned Beast only rested for a total of one hour a day for those three months, six naps a day for ten minutes each. He used Swallow continuously when he was awake, and the alloy remains kept being devoured. The diameter is 600 billion miles now, said Luo Feng. It has finally hit the limit. On top of the bloody waves, Masha body, Golden Horned Beast body, and Remote Ocean body all gazed out at the internal world in shock. This was inconceivable. A Golden Horned Beast would normally only have an internal world with a diameter of 60,000 miles. This one was now 600 billion miles in diameter. What on earth happened to my core that it can carry such a vast internal world? Luo Feng wondered aloud. He was thrilled. He was aware that his core had evolved drastically after his mind gained the talent technique known as, I am the universe. Masha body, golden horned beast body, and remote ocean body all flew to the sky above dual whirlpool and looked down. Wang. Two flashes of light shot out from the dual whirlpool, causing ripples in the surrounding space. Although the golden horned world stone was hidden in the dual whirlpool, it emitted a golden glow. Forming an internal world with a diameter of 600 billion miles had cost an outrageous amount of scrap metal, and the gold energy essence brought special changes to the golden horned world stone. My golden horned world stone might be the most powerful one in the history of the universe, Luo Feng thought. It might be one of a kind. Normally, golden horned world stones are the precious possessions of universe knights. My golden horned world stone is one trillion times stronger than average. It must be unique and highly valuable. Luo Feng could sense that this golden horned world stone would be marvelous, but he wasn't able to see it yet. My internal world has reached its limit, he said. Golden Horned World Stone has also reached its limit. Ha ha. An internal world with a diameter of 600 billion miles. Bloody sea. Show me how large you can expand. Luo Feng continued to expand the Bloody Sea. Tons of universe crystals were delivered into the internal world, and the Bloody Sea grew with unstoppable force. Chapter 1007, Laws Are Finished, Become Undying. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. One mountain of universe crystals after another was delivered into the internal world, fueling the speed of the expansion of the Bloody Sea. As all the godly power contained a life imprint, losing godly power was equal to losing part of one's soul, which was exceedingly difficult to recover. It was easy for Sector Lord level Bloody Seas to expand and recover, as long as there were adequate energies. After a month, the Bloody Sea has finally stopped expanding, but its size is within my expectations, said Luo Feng. The towering remote ocean body stood on top of the bloody waves and looked at the boundless Bloody Sea. The crests of the crimson waves tumbled, and a bloody essence pervaded the entire internal world. Remote ocean body laughed loudly, the laughter sounded like thunder. The diameter is 6 billion miles, which is already bigger than all the bloody seas and small royal seas in 9 remoteness space. The difference between a life gene level of 10,081 times and 300 times is indeed impressive. Sector princes only had bloody seas with a diameter of 50 million miles, and even the royal seas of the undying princes only had a diameter of nearly 600 million miles. By contrast, the royal seas of the universe night princes had diameters of 20 billion miles at least. The difference was due to the gap in life gene level. That was why Luo Feng's bloody sea was so enormous. The bloody sea has finished expanding, said Luo Feng. The third move of my star map will soon become a pinnacle technique. As long as I can fully comprehend gold law, I can break the shackles on the core, connect the law ocean, transform my godly power, and become undying. Luo Feng ordered the waiters in his palace to prepare a feast and invited his servants, including Tianqian Emperor and Jihong Emperor, to join in the meal with him. After the feast, I'll be devoted to studying gold law and trying to comprehend it. I will become undying after that. Luo Feng laughed. Honed Heart Emperor smiled. Our master's law comprehension has already reached the undying level, and he won more than 620,000 battles on the Bauhinia Island, where there were all kinds of talented heirs. Apparently, even when compared to the emperors of other races, our master is exceptionally strong. Master, you will surely become undying easily. If you can't succeed, who can? Tian Chen Emperor added. We'll congratulate our master beforehand, for he will become undying soon. All the servants raised their glasses. 
How wonderful. Luofone raised his glass as well. Success in a single stroke, he said. Time to become undying. Luofone drank up. It was extremely difficult for some life forms to become undying. The bug clan queens and the cloud contact vines, for example, only became undying after their law comprehension could rival that of an emperor. Other beings like golden horned beasts also needed deeper law comprehension to break through because of the shackles on their cores. As for Luofone, his law comprehension was already at the undying level. And his beast god conception was at the 21st level of the heavenly bridge. His will was stronger than most universe knights, and his spiritual force amplification was 32 times. Powerful will. Beast god conception. Spiritual force amplification. Self-created pinnacle techniques. These attributes formed a powerful combination. I'm already as strong as an invincible emperor, said Luo Fong. It'll be no problem for me to become undying in one stroke. Luo Fong looked forward to it. Perhaps the pinnacle techniques he had created were slightly inferior to invincible emperors, but his will and beast god conception were superior to theirs. There's no way I can't have my breakthrough. I'll study and try to comprehend the gold law. Luo Fong had stopped studying gold law a long time ago, as he was on the edge of fully comprehending it. Once he fully comprehended gold law, he would become undying, and there was no going back. He would have broken through before he had finished his third body. Gold Law, thought Luo Feng as he sat down in his palace with his legs crossed. Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor both waited behind him. While half of Luo Feng's mind was comprehending Gold Law, and the other half was creating and perfecting the third move of Star Map. His law comprehension was almost at the same level as that of Universe Knights, and studying Gold Law was like a graduate student studying elementary school subjects. But even grad students were susceptible to careless mistakes. He needed to study it carefully. In the most towering palace of Thousand Treasures River. Primal Chaos City leader stood on the top floor of the towering palace, leaning against the handrail. The territory within Thousand Treasures River was entirely within his sight. He gazed at Luo Feng's palace. It's been 1,500 years since he came back from Nine Remoteness Space, and he's been creating the third move for his pinnacle technique ever since, said Primal Chaos City leader. Why hasn't he become undying now that his move has become a pinnacle technique? Is he still comprehending gold low? Although it's difficult to make a breakthrough at the last step, his law comprehension is extremely thorough. He must be able to finish it. Primal Chaos City leader was perplexed. This disciple of his had already completed his third body, and his law comprehension had already reached the pinnacle undying level. Why was he delaying? Luo Feng had been studying the gold law in his palace for 300 years when he opened his eyes and smiled. So, this is gold, he said. A sense of completion filled his heart, a sense of satisfaction of fully comprehending a universe law. Hong. A connection suddenly linked Luo Feng and the Gold Law Ocean of the Land of Origin. Boundless amounts of force were transferred from the Gold Law Ocean. The core inside Luo Feng's body was originally an origin pearl, but it upon absorbing the energy from the Gold Law Ocean, it took on human form, a shape that looked like Luo Feng. The law comprehension is completed, and the origin has gained its shape, thought Luo Feng. The core is broken, and undying power fueled it. The soul and the body now merge. These were the basic steps to become undying. The core became a space all its own. When the origin pearl turned into the shape of Luo Feng, Luo Feng waved his hands, and the energies became crystal balls. Complex law engravings were etched on each of the 1,600 crystal balls. Warriors and spiritual force leaders alike relied on origin pearls to become undying. As for the spiritual force weapons they used after the origin pearls took shape, they transformed from the energies. How? 1,600 crystal balls made up the bone structure of a beast god after being connected by countless law threads. Each scale on the beast god acquired exquisite details. Beast God Conception. Spiritual Force Amplification. All the consciousness and mind. Break the shackles. Become undying. Break. 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 All of Luo Feng's bodies had fallen asleep, and all his mind focused on the breakthrough. With the help of the gold law force from the universe, Luo Feng reached his limit. Inside the core, the Beast God roared and bashed against the periphery of the core with his outrageous conception. At this moment, the Beast God looked like a ball of flame. It hit the inner wall of the core like a burning star. Hong. The third move of Star Map, Star and Fire Soaring Sky. It was based on the bone structure of the Golden Horned Beast. All the attacking power passed along the bones, and then the Golden Horned Beast would ram the enemies with its head. Perhaps the move was not as swift as the first and the second move, but it was far mightier. Hong. The internal wall of the core started to tremble. The core started to crack. Ka, crack. Who? The cracks on the core started to blur. Suddenly, all the cracks disappeared. The core remained intact. Just as Luo Feng used the most powerful attack, the force from the land of origin dissipated. How was it possible? Luo Feng roared. Break. Hong. The golden horned beast hit the internal wall of the core like a fireball, steaming energy surrounding him. Hong. 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 
Hum. Hum. The Golden Horn Beast bashed the core time and time again. Each time, there were cracks after the crash, but the core recovered automatically. Pang. After more than ten crashes, the beast god crumbled, and the crystal pearls were all crushed. Luo Feng stood in the dark space, dumbfounded. How is this possible, he muttered. Why can't I become undying? I, I have a will that is stronger than most universe knights. Beast god conception. Spiritual force amplification. Pinnacle techniques. I have all of them. My will and my beast god conception are especially powerful. I can't even break the shackles on my core with all these combined. Why? Luo Feng just couldn't accept this. With his will, beast god conception, spiritual force amplification, and pinnacle techniques all at the same level as invincible emperors, he had thought that becoming undying would be a piece of cake for him. A sector lord who could rival an invincible emperor in every way couldn't become undying. This. This was inconceivable. Even though it was difficult for him to break the shackles, he was already high achieving at all aspects and was second only to universe knights. Every bite and every sip are preordained, thought Luo Feng. Every bite and every sip are preordained. Fortune and misfortune are neighbors. Luo Feng sat in the space of the core, shook his head and sighed. He had obtained the nine-volume manual, and his remote ocean body had reached the pinnacle life gene level. What's more, he had been bestowed a set of talent techniques by the universe. His core was so sturdy that his internal world had expanded to a diameter of 600 billion miles, and his bloody sea now had a diameter of over 6 billion miles. Everything was so wonderful. Little did Luo Feng realize while he was thrilled by the power of his core, he wouldn't be able to break its shackles. How can I become undying? Luo Feng murmured. He smirked. I've never doubted for a second that I can make my breakthrough and become undying. I never expected that even at this level I still wouldn't be able to break the shackles. Chapter 1008, Ultimate Techniques Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng opened his eyes. Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor screamed, Master. Master, are you going to become undying? Tian Chen Emperor asked. Luo Feng waved his hands. Get out. Yes, Master. Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor were a bit confused. They hadn't expected Luo Feng to fail at becoming undying. After all, in their eyes, it would be the biggest joke in the history of the universe if even Luo Feng couldn't become undying. Alone in the silent palace, Luo Feng walked up the stairs of the side palace to the top floor. He leaned against the handrail and looked at the Thousand Treasures River. I've never given up, said Luo Feng. Not since the first day I stepped outside my home city on Earth. His eyes gleamed. Even if the shackles on my core are outstandingly powerful, that won't stop me from becoming undying. Treasures won't help me break the shackles, thought Luo Feng. I need to rely on my law comprehension, techniques, spiritual force amplification, and willpower. It's difficult to improve my willpower in the short term. Same with my spiritual force amplification. As for my beast god conception and law comprehension, they're already the best among anyone beneath the level of universe knight. Only secret techniques can help me advance sharply, he realized. Luo Feng thought about this. Among the heirs on Bauhinia Island, there are heirs who eventually created ultimate techniques after devoting time to their techniques. For instance, my teacher Tru Yen Knight spent hundreds of millions of years studying his talent technique, and it's now almost at the ultimate level. Tru Yen Knight didn't even have the advantages Luo Feng had. After all, he didn't have the instructions of Primal Chaos City Leader. I can accomplish what they accomplished. I'll create my ultimate techniques. And they will improve my power dozens of times. I don't believe I won't be able to make it. Luo Feng pursed his lips, and his eyes glinted fiercely. And if I still can't do it, I'll sharpen my willpower and improve my beast god conception. No matter what. I'll only accept success. No failure allowed. Luo Feng tightened his grip on the handrail so hard that it bent beneath his fingers. He turned around and went back into his palace while the handrail gradually recovered. There was memory metal inside the handrail. Though Luo Feng would spend time with his family and learn about how his family had prospered, most of his mind was devoted to studying the talent technique even when he was with his family. This time, Luo Feng didn't study into the blade technique. Instead, he concentrated on star map. 100 years passed. 200 years. 900 years, 1000 years. Time flew. After 3000 years, inside the training field of the virtual universe. Fall, said Luo Feng. He stood at the apex of the remains, pointing at a distant rock life form. 1600 crystal balls were connected, forming the tail of a beast god. Countless law threads became entangled and formed a beast god. The tail was surreally tangible, while the other parts of the body appeared blurry and indistinct. How? After a growl, the beast god rushed at the rock life. Hong. Long. Long. Superheated fire burst out of the rock life, but a phantom of countless raindrops was waiting for him. The beast god moved swiftly. His tail moved 100 times faster than his body. His tail left a blur behind it like raindrops, filling the space and time around him. 
The raindrops appeared harmless, but the rock life form roared with anger and fear as the illuminated raindrops penetrated every inch of its body. Bang. The rock life trembled and was annihilated. Hit the light racing star, thought Luo Fong. The starlight spread all over the universe. The first move is completed. Luo Fong nodded. Luo Fong said a voice. A shadow in a golden cape appeared, flying toward him from afar. It was Primal Chaos City Leader. Teacher. Luo Fong saluted him. Primal Chaos City Leader looked a little confused. For the past 3000 years, you've been studying the first move of your star map, and now, you finally made the first move ultimate technique level. But why did you spend so much time creating techniques? You could have made your breakthrough and become undying already. I'm not powerful enough, Luo Feng said respectfully. Primal Chaos City Leader shook his head and smiled, thinking Luo Feng was being too modest. You're full of humility, he said. Tell me, when do you want to become undying? After making my first three moves ultimate level, Luo Feng answered. The first three moves. Primal Chaos City Leader was startled. It was very challenging to create ultimate techniques. Otherwise, more individuals would have come up with them. Few had achieved this even on Bohemia Island, where hundreds of millions of peerless talents lived. The first move was based on the first level Beast God Inheritance, and it was self-explanatory. The second move was based on the second level Beast God Inheritance and was far more difficult. As for the third move, it was exceedingly strenuous. Luo Feng was creating these ultimate techniques from an advantageous position. His horizons were broad, and his law comprehension was deep. Together with step-by-step -step instructions from Primal Chaos City Leader, he could create the first ultimate technique in 3000 years. How long will it take? Primal Chaos City Leader asked. As long as is required, Luo Feng answered respectfully. Primal Chaos City Leader was a bit surprised. From his perspective, Luo Feng's fame only would make him hurry to become undying. Okay, Primal Chaos City Leader said. I'm in no rush. Sector lords and the land of origin in the universe have clearer connections, and you're more suitable to create appropriate techniques at this level. However, even if I'm instructing you and setting competitors for you, you'll soon realize that you're incapable of defending yourself against those competitors. It'll be up to you to decide how to make the breakthrough. I know, Luo Feng said deferentially. Teacher, I shall appreciate your instruction forever. Then suit yourself, said Primal Chaos City Leader, and he stopped advising him on the matter. As a supreme being who had lived practically as long as the human race, Primal Chaos City Leader understood the virtues of patience. Luo Feng went back to study the second move, which was apparently much more difficult than the first one. Fortunately, Luo Feng was accomplished in more than enough on law comprehension. He spent 8,000 years conquering all the obstacles gradually and finally made the second move ultimate level. Yeah. A special life form with scales on its wings screamed, and its voice pierced through Luo Feng's ears. Luo Feng stayed still, unaffected by it. The 2000th competitor, he said. This is the day for you to fall. Luo Feng controlled the gigantic beast god in the sky. 5,200 crystal balls were still on his tail, yet the entire beast god was distinct now. The towering beast god was 1,800 miles long. The flying special life form flew like a beam of black light. All the stars and planets touched by the black light were annihilated, yet the beast god remained floating in the sky. The two special life forms were about to crash. Luo Feng's eyes glinted ferociously. He had already been defeated by this competitor more than 900 times. Kill, he commanded. The beast god's tail finally started to move. It became a beam of shining red light like a star about to be annihilated. The red light flitted silently past the charging black light, and the black light vanished. Hua. A huge crack showed up in the sky, and an enormous shockwave shook the surroundings. Hong. Long. Long. The sound wave couldn't stop. Splendid like stars, Luo Feng murmured. The red light rips the nightfall like a blade. The second move is finished. The first move of the ultimate technique known as Star Map was finished after 3000 years. The second move took 8000 years. Luo Feng then started to study the third move. He had been able to finish creating the first two moves thanks to the competitors Primal Chaos City Leader provided. Those competitors were designed to reveal the disadvantages of Luo Feng's secret techniques. Other than the competitors, Luo Feng had already completed the third level Beast God Inheritance, and together with the help of Golden Horn Beast Body and Masha Body, it wasn't a huge burden for him to create the first two ultimate techniques. Masha Body's space comprehension could help him merge with space completely. Golden Horned Beast had merged with numerous Blood River Crystals and had ample inspiration when looking at the Beast God sculpture. However, Luo Feng ran into trouble when creating the third move. His law comprehension and beast god conception were not inadequate for creating the third move for the ultimate technique. He beat one competitor after another and kept deducing and empowering the third move. It took him 20,000 years to beat the 1,520th competitor, and the following competitors would only get stronger and stronger. It seemed that it would take him hundreds of thousands of years, maybe even a million years to create the third move. Inside the core, the form of Luo Feng that had transformed from the origin pearl was casting the second move of the ultimate technique. 
He tried to cast the unfinished third move to attack the inner wall of the core. Break, he roared. Break. Now. Hong. The inner wall trembled and shattered, yet that blurry steam stayed intact. I still haven't succeeded, said Luo Feng. Will I really have to spend a million years creating the third move? Luo Feng grew nervous. For the past 30,000 years, he had remained in seclusion. This provoked rumors among the other races, even within the human race, as they all presumed that Blade River Emperor would become undying soon. Yet there had been no news. This Blade River Emperor, who had previously roamed the universe, seemed to have disappeared. I've become so impatient, Luo Feng realized, finally coming to his senses. 30,000 years of meditation, combined with the rumors from the outside, had indeed affected him. If I can't accomplish my goal now, I might as well get out and tour the universe a bit. I've been around for such a long time, but I haven't seen the universe yet, all I've done is fight. Luo Feng suddenly wanted nothing more than to take a tour of the universe. The timing was right. It was now or never. Chapter 1009, 50,000 Years Wandering in the Universe Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng's Masha body went to a remote territory of the universe through God Country transportation of his undying slaves. He then started to wander through the universe. The universe was resplendent and mysterious. Luo Feng saw a planet made up entirely of platinum. He witnessed a peculiar scene involving 108 associated stars and toured each one of them. He slept on a neutron star. He even discovered a valuable left by an undying fighter. Of course, he didn't care about it. He also tried to investigate a black hole, yet when he went too deep into it, he felt a tearing power so strong that even the undying Masha body couldn't bear it. The space ripple was completely destroyed. Thus, he wasn't able to transport himself and flee. Fortunately, he escaped the core of the black hole with his domain talent technique. Sometimes, he would just lie on a meteorite and float through the universe. Luo Feng also went stealthily to the territories of other races, as Masha body could replicate the shapes and auras of other races. Luo Feng passed by like a tourist, observing the environments and the emotions of the other races. These experiences while wandering the universe granted Luo Feng renewed inspiration. The past 30,000 years of meditation had barely improved his willpower, whereas wandering in the universe made his willpower evolve naturally. In the past, all I knew was to fight, to kill and to become stronger. Thought Luo Feng. But there is so much beauty in the universe. The other races' cultures have their own unique charms, even if they are different from mine. These cultures have survived for eons. They all deserve appreciation. Each time I comprehend the culture of another race, it transforms my soul. Half of Luo Feng's mind was taking in the wonders of the universe while the other half was practicing. This mental partition was actually much more efficient. In the past, he could only derive inspiration from looking at the beast god sculpture, but he now found that there were universe origin laws everywhere in the universe, like the birth, growth, and annihilation of a star. All the grasses, beasts, and rivers contained universe laws. The processes present in planetary environments were miniature versions of the processes of the universe as a whole. Sometimes, Luo Feng got so much inspiration that he made one breakthrough after another. Other times, he would constantly be defeated by the same competitor, but he chose to remain tranquil. After wandering in the universe for a long time, Luo Feng's state of mind gradually merged with the universe. Without even realizing it, his competitor would be defeated. In a remote territory of the universe, on a life planet in the prison race territory, near the six pinnacle races. In the space surrounding the planet flew a 1,000-foot-long giant creature with 18 claws. He had scales all over his body, and his head appeared to be made of metal. There were golden flames in his eyes. This life planet was facing a catastrophe. Undying power spread and enveloped the planet, the entire planet was under his control. Haha, the creature roared. Creeping bugs. Bow to the great Shadow Emperor. From today on, this planet will belong to Shadow Emperor, and all you creeping, crawly bugs must answer to the great Shadow Emperor. If anyone dares to defy him, we will kill you. On the planet lived more than ten different races and millions of creatures. The weakest of them were at the Star Traveler level. There were even dozens of Sector Lords. Shadow Emperor, they cried. Shadow Emperor has advanced his territory to our planet. And the leader of his army is the goddamn undying fighter known as Yutuawa. Damn Yutuawa. Luo Feng, watching from a distance, transformed his Masha body into a Sector Lord of this race. Interesting, he said. He looked up and saw the undying fighter in outer space. The prison race is so unique. Instead of stopping their subsidiary races from killing each other, they intensified it, resulting in widespread slaughter. In the past 50,000 years of wandering in the universe, Luo Feng had visited the territories of the Crystal Race and the Prison Race to study them. The six pinnacle races in the universe lived around the center of the universe, while Crystal Race and Prison Race lived in remote areas. All the creatures born in the peculiar region known as Prison would be considered members of the Prison Race. The seniors within the Prison Race had no limits to the subsidiary races. Under the rule of the Prison Race, one slaughter after another occurred within those subsidiary races. Some were totally annihilated. However, some great beings would be born in the midst of such massacres, and those great beings were admitted by the prison race. The crystal race behaved completely opposite to prison race. 
All the creatures within the crystal race were of the same clan, and they stuck together. The bond within crystal race was stronger even than the automaton race. Sometimes, some great beings within the crystal race would cooperate with each other, empowering them exponentially. The individuals within the prison race were strong while the crystal race as a whole was strong. They were two completely different races, which led to constant, ferocious conflicts. The human race, automaton race, demon race, and bug race fought each other because their territories were close, but the prison race and crystal race did so because of their innate hatred for each other. This planet was in chaos. Masha Luofone watched everything happening in silence. He had already seen many planets around the prison race being conquered, and he always watched it like a bystander and left. All the creatures of Taiku race will be executed, the undying fighter known as Yutua Wa roared. His voice spread across the entire planet. Kill all the creature of Taiku race. Kill. The Sector Lord warriors under him started to roam the planet. There were more than ten races on the planet, and Taiku race was only one of them. It was the only race that hadn't admitted defeat. A cry rose up among the Taiku race. Shadow Emperor is a demon. A demon who destroyed our home and kept hunting us. Fight. Kill. Kill all the bastards. Kill them. Children. Run. Take the children. They are our future. Take them and run. There were more than 100,000 creatures of the Taiku race on this planet, some of whom tried to escape while others stayed and fought. However, when the first spaceship carrying members of the Taiku race was annihilated by Uatuo's undying power, they all fell into despair. They realized that they couldn't match the undying fighter. Kill. Kill. Fight. Other races on the planet didn't interfere. There were only six sector lords within the Taiku race while there were 100 sector lord warriors in the invading army. And the leader was an undying fighter. Taiku race will be annihilated, thought Luo Fong, observing it all in silence. This kind of thing happened all the time. It was likely happening this very minute somewhere else in the universe. Hmm, said Luo Fong. He noticed a silhouette afar. The most shining member of the Taiku race, a mere teenager, had just killed two Sector Lord Warriors. At the moment, he was temporarily holding his own against ten Sector Lord Warriors. Many beings within the Taiku race were screaming, Pana, run! Pana, run now! Apparently, this teenager had a high reputation among his race. He might even be the leader of all the beings of Taiku race living on that planet. Haha! There's Pana, said Yuatua. Shadow Emperor is looking for you. Yuatua dove toward the teenager. Run, the teenager ordered. Yes, the other beings of the Taiku clan said, seizing the chance to flee while Yutuawa dealt with Pana. Yutuawa seemed not to care about the others. Clearly, he considered Pana much more valuable. Come, Yuatua, said Pa Na. There was madness in his eyes, and a trace of satisfaction. Me in exchange for tens of thousands of my people. Worth it. Moran, Yutuawa sneered. Masha Luofone watched it all in silence. It suddenly struck him that the look on the talented teenager's face resembled the faces of Jiaya, M.O. Henderson, Tripathi Singh, Sokolov, and East, who had gone to fight the Golden Horned Beast with him. Despairing but calm. Time to return, Masha Luofong murmured. Pana felt powerless. He couldn't defend himself against Yutuawa. He knew that he was doomed as the ugly claw of Yutuawa grabbed him. Suddenly, it started to rain. Raindrops filled the sky. Raindrops. Pana was dazed. Then the raindrops all disappeared, and the Sector Lord warriors of the invaders, along with Yutuawa, all froze. There was a strange sound, poo. And Yutuawa's godly body suddenly vanished into thin air. The Sector Lord warriors standing afar exploded all at once. Dead. Pana looked around in shock. He looked at the bloody remains, the weapons, and the empty armor left by the annihilated Yutuawa. Jiang. A shadow of a being standing afar put his blade into his sheath. A blade. Said Pa Na, those raindrops were a blade striking. Pana found it hard to believe that this shrouded figure standing afar was only a Sector Lord. How could a Sector Lord kill an undying fighter so easily? Masha Luofong turned around and looked at him. He smiled, then disappeared. Memories had flooded Luofang's mind when he'd seen the look on the teenager's face. He had wanted to help him. To Luofong, it didn't make a huge difference, as it was simply a change of heart. This planet was the last destination of his tour of the universe, because, half a month before Luofong arriving there, he had created the third move for his ultimate technique. Time to become undying. After wandering through the universe for 50,000 years, Masha Luofong went back to the primal region of the human territory. Chapter 1010, Undying Fighter Luofong. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Within the Thousand Treasures River of the primal region of human territory. When Luofong stepped back into the human territory, he immediately felt a sense of belonging. He was home. This is home, he said. 
His original earthling body, sitting in the palace with his legs crossed, finally got up, walked out of the palace, and started to tour the palaces within the Thousand Treasures River. As he walked among the palaces, Luo Feng recalled all the scenes he had witnessed in the universe while wandering. He was shocked by everything that had happened in the past 50,000 years, but it was also clear when he looked back, as if it all followed a set of guidelines. The servants in front of the palace watched Luo Feng walk past. Look, it's Luo Feng. It's rare that Luo Feng ever walks out of his palace. Some of them only dared to pass messages through their mind, as they didn't have the guts to speak up. After all, they were only servants while Luo Feng was the disciple of Primal Chaos City Leader, the master of this space and time. AI, that Luo Feng could kill an Emperor Limit before, but he's been MIA for the past 80,000 years. There hasn't been any news about him becoming Undying. He could have become Undying a long time ago. Why does he stay a Sector Lord for such a long time? To comprehend space law, of course. After all, it's more beneficial to do so when you're a Sector Law. He must have been acknowledged by space law a long time ago. Becoming Undying wouldn't slow him down. Who knows what's in his mind? He's a peerless talent. Luo Feng walked towards them. Mr. Luo Feng. The servants saluted him, and Luo Feng glanced at them with a smile on his face. He could read the servants' minds after so many experiences in the universe. Apparently, his disappearance for the past 80,000 years had led to some controversies, but Luo Feng still smiled even though he knew they were talking about him. Being able to look through them and comprehend some operation law of the universe pleased him. Although they're undying, they've been servants for billions of years, thought Luo Feng. It has affected their minds. Perhaps they'll never become universe knights. The thought flashed through Luo Feng's mind, and then he kept walking. The scenes he had witnessed during his journey were playing in his mind like films on a screen. In the main palace of Thousand Treasures River. Primal Chaos City leader sensed that Luo Feng, who had been in seclusion for 80,000 years, had finally walked out of the palace. He saw Luo Feng through all the buildings. He was walking with a smile so natural and authentic that it revealed his tranquil mental state. Huh, said Primal Chaos City leader, looking startled. He's morphing. Primal Chaos City leader could tell that all the experiences and inspirations Luo Feng had cultivated in the past 50,000 years were about to spur his significant transformation, like a scholar who had accumulated a plethora of research and was finally on the brink of an epiphany. Luo Feng was clearly on the brink of something incredible. For the past 50,000 years, he had witnessed and experienced so much that everything manifested the operation law of the universe in Luo Feng's eyes. It's a morphing of the mental state, Primal Chaos City leader realized, gasping in admiration. My disciple is a genius. For about five hours, Luo Feng recalled everything he had witnessed and experienced in the past 50,000 years. He broke into laughter when he recalled how he had saved that teenager of the Taiku race. In the past five hours, his mental state had been sharply improved, and his mental state reached an extraordinary level. He didn't need to deliberately strengthen his willpower anymore, as his mental state was tranquil and still as the starry sky. He didn't need to resist the illusion anymore, as the illusion was nothing compared to the wonders of the actual universe. Now, even Chaos City leader couldn't tell directly how Luo Feng had improved his mental state. After fighting for his family and his brothers when he was a teenager. After sacrificing everything to fight the Golden Horned Beast and being resurrected. After the hustle and bustle of the talent battle. After the obsession with life and death inheritance. And finally, after 50,000 years of witnessing the mysteries in the universe. His willpower was already as strong as that of a universe overlord. Perhaps the only ones with willpower stronger than Luo Feng were universe masters. Time's up, realized Luo Feng. It's now time to become undying. Luo Feng was excited, as he thought it was natural and only right that he should become undying now. He walked back to his palace and sat down with his legs crossed. His mental state was like still, deep waters. Within his core, the version of Luo Feng who had transformed from the origin pearl opened his eyes. Aggression shot out from Luo Feng's eyes. They were peaceful like the sky and oceans, yet they were as keen as blades, glinting fiercely. Break the shackles, he said. I will become undying. Luo Feng waved his hands. 16,000 pearls floated in the sky, and law engravings were densely dotted on them. The pearls connected with each other immediately and formed the skeleton of an aggressive, powerful beast god. Star and fire soaring sky, Luo Feng whispered. Crash and burn. Earth shattering. Hong. The beast god floating in the sky moved with a madness that showed he was ready and willing to crash and burn. Flames burned on his skin, trembling the core. Luo Feng's willpower, which couldn't be sharpened further, coupled with his beast god conception having been trained for 80,000 years, infused the beast god with tremendous power. He charged at the inner wall directly and smashed into it as if he were about to crumble. Crash and burn. Earth shattering. The third move of star map, star and fire soaring sky, crash and burn and earth shattering. Hong. The inner wall shook, followed by a loud sound. Pang. The wall was obliterated. After 80,000 years, the third move was completed. The first move, literally, hit the light racing star, the starlight spread all over the universe, was fast and light like constant raindrops. 
For the second move, splendid like stars, the red light rips the nightfall like a blade. There was only one trick to it, its speed. The key benefit of this move was its speed. It wouldn't attack enemies millions of times like the first move. On the contrary, it may produce one attack. However, it was incredibly fast and powerful. The third move, star and fire soaring sky, crash and burn and earth shattering, was all about power. It was slower than the second move, but it was more than ten times more powerful than the second move. The second move relied on the tail of the beast god, whereas the third relied on its entire body. It was definitely extremely powerful, and it would make enemies crash and burn. Each successive move was more mysterious and intricate than the previous one. Luo Fong broke the core shackles and immediately turned from the origin pearl connected to the gold law ocean of the land of origin in the universe. Gold law energy arrived at above Luo Feng's palace. Hong. Long. Long. Gold power flooded in. Some sector lords would only become ordinary undying fighters, which meant they only needed a small amount of godly power to make their bodies undying. But some powerful sector lords would become emperors the moment they became undying, they needed much more godly power, but the maximum was 100,000 times that of a sector lord. As for Luo Feng, his original earthling body had a life gene level of over 3,000 times, and his original earthling body became 300 million times stronger than sector lords once it became undying. His body was already far more powerful than most universe knights, as universe knights with a life gene level of 10 times only possess strength 100 million times higher than sector lords. Hong. Long. Long. Unlimited gold godly power poured in. A godly body 300 million times stronger than that of a sector lord required an incredible amount of undying power. However, though Masha body didn't require much undying power, Luo Feng's golden horned beast body was 600 million times stronger than a sector lord. Besides, he was over 600 miles long and thus required much more undying power than the original earthling body. But the most outrageous requirement belonged to the Bloody Sea. The Bloody Sea had a diameter of 6 billion miles, and its life gene level was perfect. It was 1 billion times stronger than a sector lord. It required hundreds of millions of times more undying power than the Golden Horned Beast did. A human universe knight's godly body would only need godly power equivalent to a billionth of the Bloody Sea. That was why Nine Remoteness Master was invincible in the universe with his Nine Remoteness Ocean, which could rival the most powerful true treasures in the universe. It wasn't a big deal when someone became undying. Even when someone became a universe knight, it wasn't that much of a scene. But Luo Feng becoming undying was impressive. It was a spectacle thousands of times greater than true Yan Emperor becoming a universe knight. After all, he surpassed universe knights in terms of quality. As for the quantity of undying power, it was hundreds of millions of times more than human universe knights, all thanks to the Bloody Sea. Onlookers were stunned. What happened, they asked one another. What's going on? Gold origin law arrived. Did someone become undying? But how can becoming undying cause such a scene? Within the Thousand Treasures River, some universe knights and lots of undying servants looked to the sky above Luo Feng's palace in shock. Golden light almost enveloped the entire Thousand Treasures River. They could hardly remember a time when they had seen anything like this. Even some universe knights were thrilled. Becoming a universe knight is nothing compared to this. However, those universe knights and undying servants could only see the surface. Primal Chaos City leader stood on top of the main palace, leaning against the handrail and looking up at the sky. The gold origin law had completely enfolded Thousand Treasures River. It was inconceivably powerful, already more powerful than when someone became a universe knight. Other great beings couldn't see the mysteries behind this, but Primal Chaos City leader could see dimly that the undying power was pouring into Thousand Treasures River, which revealed how vigorously Luo Feng was absorbing the undying power. Luo Feng has become undying. Even Primal Chaos City leader was dazed. He stood there watching, speechless for a long while. Chapter 1011, Forceful Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio The Universe Knights and Undying Servants within Thousand Treasures River all looked up at the boundless golden light up in the sky. They were all thrilled as they discussed this event. Unlimited Law Ocean is pouring in, and the undying power flows into Luo Feng's body. What a scene! Primal Chaos City leader looked up, amazed. Even the 108 Princes of Nine Remoteness Master won't make such a scene when they become undying. Chaos City leader had seen so much, and he knew this was the case for some beings with large bodies but low density. Hence, the remote ocean body at the height of more than 55,000 miles could transform into an ocean with a diameter of 6 billion miles. Although the ocean was significantly larger, they both contained the same amount of energy. Since the water didn't have the same consistency as flesh and blood, the ocean had a comparatively lower density. However, an ocean with a diameter of 6 billion miles still held a godly power that was billions of times greater than human universe knights. I've witnessed the scene of several special life forms becoming undying, said Primal Chaos City leader. Some of them were tens of millions of miles tall, but the scene was nothing compared to this one. The more impressive the scene was, the more powerful the special life forms were. Does this mean, he wondered, that Luo Feng is stronger than all the special life forms I've known? 
Chaos City leader found this impossible to fathom, but it was difficult to argue in the face of the unprecedented power that came from the arrival of Universe Origin Law. Luo Foam. There are some deep secrets behind him, Primal Chaos City leader whispered. Perhaps he's only revealing a small portion of his power in front of me. He smiled. All intelligent beings would hide their trump card, it was ingrained in them. Fantastic. When Luo Feng becomes a universe knight, the scene might be more terrific than many universe masters. There's soon to be born a supreme being within human race that can intimidate billions of races in the universe. Primal Chaos City leader nodded mildly. He didn't know what fate Luo Feng had met with. By all appearances, everything he knew, even his remote ocean body, wouldn't have led to such a scene. After all, the remote ocean body only rivaled one of the 108 princes, who were just mediocre special life forms. Obviously, Luo Feng was hundreds if not thousands of times stronger than he looked. This disciple of mine. Primal Chaos City leader looked at Luo Feng's palace from afar and saw Luo Feng sitting there with his legs crossed. The original earthling body had completely become undying. How strong this force is. He smiled. Inside Luo Feng's palace. Luo Feng sat with his legs crossed. The godly force permeated the palace. Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor were both thrilled. Terrific. The force was stronger than that of ordinary universe knights. Master. Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor, who were both groveling, exchanged eye contact, looking frightened. Inside the internal world. An ocean of godly power poured in from the hollow, flooding into the bloody sea. The internal world looked like the apocalypse had come. How? Golden horned beast floated in the sky among the pouring waters of the godly power ocean, howling with excitement. Ha ha. Fantastic. Fantastic. Luo Feng, dressed in black, stood atop the golden horned beast, looking at the godly power ocean. My original earthling body, golden horned beast body, and Masha body became undying immediately. Soul imprint merged with the godly power completely, and the godly power is all mine. However, this bloody sea of mine. Luo Feng looked at the bloody sea from afar. Its color was changing. It was originally blood red, but the color appeared to be fading. The density of godly power in the ocean kept getting higher. Hong. Long. Long. The limitless waters of the godly power ocean poured down and filled the area. The energy a universe knight requires to recover his godly body costs so much that it's much more costly than a treasure, Luo Feng murmured. My remote ocean's godly power is better in quality than a universe knight's, and it has billions of times more godly power, which means my remote ocean is more precious than billions of treasures combined. Perhaps it's as valuable as a true treasure, even a high-end true treasure. Luo Feng smiled looking at the remote ocean. With this remote ocean by my side, will there be any universe knights who can make me cower? Luo Feng suddenly understood the source of nine remoteness master's pride. While in the Nine Remoteness Ocean, Nine Remoteness Master wasn't even afraid of Universe Supreme Masters. As for Luo Feng, few Universe Knights could strike him down in his remote ocean. As enormous as the remote ocean was, the Gold Law Ocean from the Universe Origin was much mightier. After a short while, the entire Bloody Sea was transformed into a Godly Power Ocean. The water was tumbling in the ocean and was made up of Godly Power a billion times stronger than a Sector Lord's power. Remote Ocean, with a diameter of 6 billion miles. Luo Feng looked down at the remote ocean. Creation. Suddenly, a remote ocean body that was more than 5,000 miles tall walked out from the waves. Recover. The larger the body was, the more quickly he absorbed the godly power. A six-foot human absorbed godly power hundreds of millions of times more slowly than a world tree 60 million miles tall. This went without saying, appetite of an ant was nothing compared to a dragon. A dragon would eat more in a single bite than an ant could eat in its entire life. In the same way, a godly body standing 5,000 miles tall would only take the remote ocean a couple of minutes to supply its energies. Dissipate. Gather. Remote ocean body instantly dissipated into water and merged with the ocean. The remote ocean expanded but only slightly. An outsider probably wouldn't have been able to tell simply by looking at it. It's true that after becoming undying, the remote ocean can expand further, Luo Feng whispered. However, remote ocean can only expand by absorbing godly power gradually. It's so large that it needs a huge amount of godly power to increase its diameter by even a foot. How many years did it take Nine Remoteness Master to expand his ocean? Luo Feng felt fortunate. If he hadn't become undying, and couldn't transform his bodies into godly ones at one time, he would have needed an eternity to supply enough godly power for an ocean with a diameter of more than six billion miles. Inside the palace. Luo Feng smiled and got up. Master, Tian Chen Emperor and Ji Hong Emperor said respectfully. You two, stay here, Luo Feng ordered, then walked out of the palace. Luo Feng teleported himself in front of the palace where Primal Chaos City Leader lived, where some of the undying servants of Universe Knights stood. So powerful. The power. Two universe knights standing afar were terrified, and the undying servants were all trembling. Little did they know that this was only the force coming from the original earthling body, and it would be hundreds of time more extraordinary if it came from the golden horned beast body or the remote ocean. Luo Feng waited outside the palace. Although the door was open, everything inside was dimming, and he couldn't see things straight. 
Come in, came a voice from inside the palace. Luo Fong walked into the palace and saw Primal Chaos City leader standing in the distance. Luo Fong gave a salutation. Teacher. Primal Chaos City leader gazed at Luo Fong. Have you become undying? He asked after remaining silent for a long while. Yes, Luo Fong answered. Fantastic. You're doing better than I thought. Primal Chaos City leader nodded with satisfaction. He was content, happy, and even exhilarated. He nurtured all these disciples because he wanted to produce more great beings who could become the future pillars of the human race. Not only did Luo Fong meet his expectations, but he had also surpassed that to a huge extent. Even I can't sense the extent of your power now, Primal Chaos City Leader asked. Do you think you can defeat Chu Chong Emperor? Luo Fong was dazed. He answered, yes, I can. Indeed, he could. Luo Feng's golden horned beast body had a higher life gene level than Zhu Chong Emperor. His willpower, self-created techniques, and true treasures were all Zhu Chong Emperor's better. Even if he was defeated once, he could be revived time and time again with his remote ocean. He wasn't afraid of anything with his newfound immortality. Fantastic. Fantastic. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. What's your next step? Find an address of the god country and build it, Luo Fong answered. Hmm. A god country is vital. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. Interlayers of the space are immeasurable. Choose a deeper area. I understand. Luo Fong nodded. Go, Primal Chaos City Leader said with a wave of his hands. Luo Fong gave a salutation and left. Primal Chaos City Leader wouldn't meddle with Luo Feng's choices given his current power. Luo Fong would be the one to make his decisions from now on. Luo Fong left the primal region and arrived at the god country of his slaves. Master of my master, where should we go now? The slave of another race groveled in veneration. Star Tower, Luo Fong whispered. Yes, the slave answered and connected with the keepsake in Star Tower. Luo Fong had left it in the Star Tower before. No need to create the god country first. I can go there later. My remote ocean is better than most universe nights, quality-wise and quantity-wise, it's outrageously large. I'll see whether I can drive the most powerful true treasure, Star Tower. Luo Fong couldn't wait to give it a try. Chapter 1012, Luo Feng's God Country Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Star Tower was nine light years tall. It was so enormous, as if it were covering half the universe. This most power true treasure in the universe had led to mass slaughtering among the four pinnacle races, yet no great being was able to take it. The true treasure became a battlefield for billions of races in the universe, and countless undying fighters died inside. Inside the tower, at the core palace. A blurry, golden light was glowing as Luo Fong walked out of the golden light. Star Tower. Luo Fong smiled. He felt the joy from Star Tower. Go to Seal Space. Luo Fong walked to the edge of the palace, and a portal leading to Seal Space appeared. Star Tower was innately a sealing true treasure, and Seal Space was its center. It was vast with black ground and cordilleras. So. Luo Fong flew up and looked down at the ground. Remote Ocean, show up. Luo Fong yelled. Hong. With the earth shattering, the remote ocean appeared in the seal space out of nowhere. Remote ocean body, earthling original body, masha body, and golden horned beast body could all enter and exit the internal world instantly. Of course, after the internal world and space fragmented, being merged and turning into a god country, it would happen no more. The internal world could still exist for a while after someone becoming undying, but after a certain amount of time, the internal world would start to crumble. A diameter of 6 billion miles. Luo Feng stood on the ocean, stepped on the waves, and pride filled his heart. Such godly power. Boundless. Star Tower. Drive. Luo Feng started to control Star Tower with his mind. Willpower wasn't closely related to actual power but had a lot to do with one's training and experience. However, with consciousness bound together with power, a Sector Lord could kill a universe-level fighter with one look, as his consciousness force could crush a universe-level fighter's soul. After becoming undying, consciousness depended on godly power. Luo Feng's remote ocean body had greater godly power than most universe knights, and he had a terrifically large amount of such power. His consciousness surpassed most universe knights and had reached the universe overlord level. Hong. Long. Long. Water pillars swirled and extended to the hollow around them. They penetrated Star Tower, and the godly power merged with the entire Star Tower. Mysterious force emanated from Star Tower, and the seal stars and law engravings on the heavenly pillar bewildered Luo Feng. It's so complicated. I can't comprehend them at all. But it feels so good when my godly power and star tower completely merged with each other. I don't need to care about the meaning of the law engravings. I'll use my force. Luo Feng clenched his teeth and growled. Move. Hong. Star tower barely trembled, the amplification was so small that it was not visible. This is too difficult to drive. Luo Feng was a bit stupefied. He felt like an ant trying to push a rock. Godly power, burn. Drive. Luo Feng clenched his teeth. Hong. 
All the godly power in Star Tower started to burn, and it became 1,000 times more powerful. Star Tower started to move, and Luo Feng now felt like an ant carrying a grain of rice. Though it was still heavy, he could at least run with it. Luo Feng stopped after moving Star Tower only a little bit. Stop. Luo Feng stopped burning his godly power. Oh my god. I've already burned godly power dozens of times more than that of remote ocean body. Luo Feng was dazed. Though I can move Star Tower, I can't drive it like I do on other true treasures. Luo Feng shook his head. It was supposed to be easy when utilizing weapons. A spiritual force weapon was supposed to be at light speed when being utilized. When Luo Feng used Star Map, the stars would shoot out like lightning. On the other hand, he needed to burn his godly power when driving Star Tower, and it was still so slow that enemies could totally dodge it. No wonder, Luo Feng whispered. No wonder Master Swishan Ku said I can only drive Star Tower when I become a Universe Knight. He gave me the 9 volume manual and knew that I had a golden horned beast body. He could tell that I could easily achieve a life gene level thousands of times greater, but he still speculated that I needed to be a Universe Knight. Luo Feng nodded. It seems I don't have enough godly power, and neither do I have deep law comprehension. There were two ways to drive spiritual force weapons. One way was to achieve adequately deep law comprehension, which could amplify the effect of godly power tenfold. The other way was to obtain a large amount of godly power. If I'm really able to drive Star Tower, I'll be capable of changing the size of Star Tower to make it move as fast as lightning. Luo Feng shook his head. I'm only undying. It seems that I'm not yet qualified to use this supreme true treasure. Supreme true treasures were extremely precious in the universe. Only universe supreme masters or universe masters could use those true treasures, and one of the reasons was that the conditions for utilizing supreme true treasures were so harsh. Although Luo Feng had a perfect life gene level, he was still only undying. He would be dreaming if he thought he was able to drive Star Tower now. If it weren't for the remote ocean, Luo Feng couldn't have even moved Star Tower with his other bodies. After all, he had consumed an enormous amount of godly power just now. Remote Ocean, come back. Luo Feng stood above Remote Ocean. So. The Remote Ocean went back to his internal world. I will be one of the strongest beings in the universe when I'm able to drive Star Tower, Luo Feng whispered in the palace. He understood that he couldn't compare with Universe Masters like Primal Chaos City Leader and Master of Sky Wolf, even though he was indeed incredibly strong. However, his newfound immortality could already be a problem for some Universe Masters. Star Map was already an ultimate technique. The first move required 160 stars, the second required 520 stars, and the third needed 1,600 stars. When all the 1,600 stars combined, their power was increased exponentially. Luo Feng presumed that he would need more stars when he created later moves of Star Map, so he took some seal stars from Star Tower, and thus the stars on Star Map amounted to 10,000. I'll go and create my god country now. Back to the human territory. Luo Feng stepped into the golden glow. So. He disappeared. Inside the human territory, within the Ganwu universe. Luo Feng teleported himself into a region of space 50 million light years from Earth, where there was nothing but dying planets and stars. I'll choose this place, Luo Feng whispered. He thought he shouldn't follow any rules when choosing a god country. Zoom. Luo Feng tore the space apart and stepped into the interlayers. There were thousands of layers in the space interlayers. The first layer was shattered, fragmented space. The second layer was the god country. The third layer was the space flood. These were categorized in terms of an ordinary undying fighter. To the real supreme beings in the universe, there was only one vast layer of space interlayers. The closer it was to the original universe, the smaller the space fragments were, and the farther it was, the larger the fragments were. And the deeper the space interlayers, the more dangerous it got. At the safest areas, even sector lords could survive. However, some areas could be life-threatening even to some universe knights. So, Luo Feng teleported himself and flew past the god country layer. He entered the space flood layer, opened his Sherwu wings, and flew deeper. Ordinary undying fighters will establish their god countries in the god country layer, Luo Feng whispered. Some supreme beings will do the same thing. However, they'll move their god country deeper toward the space flood layer when they become stronger. The deeper it was, the safer the god country would be. Godly power was infused in the Sherwu wings, which made them stronger. It started to fly among the space flood like a flash of light. The space fragments are getting larger and larger, some with diameters of 6 billion miles. Luo Feng could only see those enormous space fragments. There were already land and water on some of them. They were flying at high speed, and once they hit someone, especially the ones with a diameter of 6 billion miles, they could annihilate an emperor instantly. So. So. Luo Feng flew deeper and deeper. Sometimes, he teleported himself to dodge a colossal space fragment. His internal world had a diameter of 600 billion miles, so he needed to choose a space fragment that was of equal height, width, and length. Two days after. Luo Feng finally saw some space fragments with a diameter of 1 trillion kilometers, and some were even larger. I need to be careful. 
Space fragments of this size can possibly kill a universe knight. Luo Feng was extremely careful. Those space fragments all came from the space flood, and they could easily hit someone because they flew so fast. Fortunately, Luo Feng had his Sherwu wings, which helped him dodge the space fragments nimbly. Luo Feng teleported himself around a space fragment that had the largest diameter of 3.9 trillion miles and the smallest diameter of 1.3 trillion miles. It could merge with his internal world completely. Build the God Country Luo Feng opened his wings and triggered his internal world. Suddenly, an invisible force burst out from his internal world, and it locked that space fragment. Who? An enormous world showed up out of nowhere, as if it existed in an illusion or another dimension. It flew toward the targeted space fragment, and the space fragment was likewise drawn to it. One looked real, and one looked like a void. They got closer and closer to each other. Hong. Long. Long. Space trembled, and all the other space fragments avoided it. The world and the huge space fragment merged, stabilizing each other. A new, real world was born, and after a short while, the illusory world completely disappeared. It was his god country. Chapter 1013, Mountainside Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio So Luo Feng took a step and teleported himself into his god country. The god country was filled with energy, and it was constantly expanding. The remote ocean was nothing compared to the god country. God Palace Build in the sky above remote ocean, a boundless amount of godly power gathered, and a towering palace came into being. It was a god palace emanating golden light and gold law energy. The top of the palace was a great spire and became the center of the god country the moment it was formed. A god country. My god country. Luo Feng stood in the sky with his eyes closed and arms opened. He felt fantastic. He felt an instant connection to this place, as if he had physically become the god country himself. Mountains. Plains. Swamps. A desert. An oasis. Lakes. Luo Feng sensed the entire god country with his eyes closed. At this moment, he and his god country were combined as one. Remote ocean's power merged with that of the god country, empowering each other multiple times. This god country is me, and I am this god country, said Luo Feng. The power of my god country might be able to kill some universe knights. Luo Feng opened his eyes and smiled. The foundation of the god country was of the utmost importance. The internal world was the foundation, and an unstable foundation wouldn't lead to a sturdy god country. Luo Feng's internal world had a diameter of 600 billion miles, which made his god country a rival of lots of universe knights. This single step made all the difference. My god country is finished. Luo Feng looked at the remote ocean. My remote ocean is able to perform my talent technique, I am the universe. Remote ocean body is already able to control the space and time around him to some extent. Together with I am the universe and the power of a god country, it's terrifically mighty. The god country, the remote ocean, and the talent technique I am the universe combined would wield exceptional power. However, if Luo Feng needed to risk everything like that, it meant he was cornered in a hopeless situation. After all, the god country was the vital element, if it was destroyed, Luo Feng could never improve himself unless a supreme being turned back time and helped him. And performing, turning back time, on Luo Feng would come at a high cost. The remote ocean guarded the god country. Luo Feng carried Masha body, golden horned beast body, and remote ocean body, remote ocean body at the height of more than 5,000 miles. Each of the three bodies resided in one world ring. I can enjoy fighting as much as I can now, said Luo Feng. Even if all my bodies are killed, Remote Ocean can recover them immediately. After all, even the godly power of the other bodies combined was nothing compared to what the Remote Ocean contained. The only thing I need to be mindful of is my true treasures. Luo Feng left his god country but was soon summoned by Primal Chaos City Leader. At the apex of Thunder Island. Shua. Luo Feng showed up and saw Primal Chaos City Leader standing at the edge of the cliff. Teacher, Luo Feng said respectfully. Come here, Luo Feng, Primal Chaos City Leader said as he turned around, saw Luo Feng, and smiled. Luo Feng walked to Primal Chaos City Leader, confused. Yes. Luo Feng stood behind Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader said, stand right next to me and look down. Um. Luo Feng took a step forward and stood side by side with Primal Chaos City Leader. He looked down and saw fog pervading the mountain. Through the haze, he could see the indistinct shapes of palaces. All the undying fighters of the virtual universe company live here. Primal Chaos City Leader said, looking down. The undying fighters live in the palaces on Thunder Island. On the mountainside of the center mountain on Thunder Island live the universe knights. As for universe masters, they live in the palaces at the top of the mountain, and some mighty universe overlords live there as well. Luo Feng nodded. He realized that having a palace at the top of the mountain on Thunder Island meant standing among the supreme beings in the universe. Now that you've become undying, it's your time to pick a place to live, Primal Chaos City Leader said. Although I haven't seen you fight since you became undying, my guess is that you have the power of a universe knight. Choose a place on the mountainside and build a palace. 
Luo Feng was dazed. The mountain sighed. Yes, teacher, Luo Feng answered respectfully. Every universe knight has their own dimension as their territory, primal chaos city leader said. I'll arrange a new dimension for you. Luo Feng blinked in surprise. He was already treated as a universe knight. Universe knights are already regarded as seniors of the human race, and they're involved with lots of important issues. Primal Chaos City Leader said, looked at Luo Feng. Universe knights can all participate in the Supreme Council of the Human Race, but you're just undying. Palaces on Thunder Island, dimensions in the virtual universe. These are all arranged by the virtual universe. I can make the decisions regarding those issues. However, the qualifications for joining the Supreme Council is decided by the entire human race. The virtual universe can't solely decide. I understand, Luo Feng answered. The Supreme Council. He had heard of it before. It was a council that only great beings stronger or equal to universe knights could participate in. Lots of major issues concerning the human race were discussed in the council. I believe that you have the power of a universe knight, but that's not enough, Primal Chaos City Leader said. You need to show your power and prove that you're entitled to the status of a universe knight. Empty words are not enough. I understand. Luo Feng nodded. Without battle records, nobody would be convinced. After all, humans were not special life forms. Luo Feng was incredible when he was a sector lord, and hence some great beings suspected that Luo Feng defeated the undying fighters using some special valuables. However, that didn't mean that Luo Feng could defeat Universe Knights. Universe Knights and Undying Fighters were at two totally different levels. Undying Fighters were only foot soldiers, future great beings and mentors of great beings of the next generation. But Universe Knights were the elites of a race. As for Universe Overlords and Universe Masters, they were the real pillars of a race. Okay. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. Choose a place on the mountainside. Yes, teacher. Luo Feng flew out and dove towards the mountainside. Primal Chaos City Leader watched Luo Feng diving. He had witnessed the scene when Luo Feng became undying, and thus he believed that Luo Feng had the power of a universe knight. He even believed it when Luo Feng said he could defeat Zhu Cheng Emperor. On the mountainside of the Central Mountain. The Central Mountain was a towering peak, and the palaces built here, where the universe knights lived, stood adjacent to each other. Their servants and disciples all lived in the same palaces, which had diameters of tens of thousands of miles or even more. These great structures only enhanced the beauty of the enormous central mountain. So, Luo Feng flew above the mountainside and looked for a suitable location. Luo Feng, he heard a voice say. Huh. Luo Feng turned his head and saw a shadow flying toward him. It was Nine Blade Knight in a cyan cape and purple scales on his head. Nine Blade Knight. Luo Feng smiled. Nine Blade Knight greeted Luo Feng like a friend. He thought to himself, although Luo Feng is not as strong as I am, he's the renowned peerless genius and a disciple of Primal Chaos City Leader. We're at the same status in the virtual universe. Nine Blade Knight smiled. Luo Feng, are you going to see your teacher? No. Luo Feng shook his head. I'm looking for a place to build my palace. Build a palace? Nine Blade Knight was perplexed. You've become undying, I presume, but undying fighters are supposed to build palaces at the bottom of the mountains. Why are you flying here? Ordinary undying fighters were not qualified to be on the mountainside. As for the servants in the palaces of the universe knights, they were only allowed to walk inside the palaces. Primal Chaos City Leader asked me to pick a place on the mountainside to build my palace, Luo Feng answered. Nine Blade Knight was dazed at first. Then he felt discontent. The very idea was outrageous. Everyone needed to follow the rules. Even the person in charge of the virtual universe should be expected to appeal to the great beings under him before making such a decision. Building a palace on the mountainside was a privilege of universe knights. Even the invincible emperors had to build their palaces at the bottom of the mountain. There should be no exceptions. Then keep searching, said Nine Blade Knight. He frowned and left. Luo Feng murmured, Nine Blade Knight seems upset. But I can't blame him, as I haven't proven my power yet. It's understandable that some universe knights are not comfortable with this. But he didn't scold me, perhaps because he doesn't dare offend Primal Chaos City Leader. Luo Feng picked his location and architecture style that day. The virtual universe helped Luo Feng build the palaces. But there was disturbance among the universe knights after Luo Feng began building palaces on the mountainside. Blade River Emperor, Luo Feng, is building palaces on the mountainside. Even if he became undying, he's not qualified to build palaces on the mountainside. It's outrageous. He needs to show his power no matter who his teacher is. Primal Chaos City Leader. The universe knights on the mountainside gathered quite often. It was a social circle of universe knights, and normally, they felt superior to all undying fighters. But now, there would be an undying fighter living among them. Although they didn't dare to swear because of Primal Chaos City Leader, they all expressed their discontent when they gathered. Chapter 1014, Honor Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio On the mountainside on Thunder Island, a waterfall roared down toward the enormous lake under it. 
There was an island with a diameter of several miles in the lake, and there, eight beings chatted with each other. Primal Chaos City Leader is the pillar of the human race, as he's made great contributions to us. But that Blade River Emperor Luo Fong. How is he related to the contributions of Primal Chaos City Leader? Humph. Primal Chaos City Leader earned his status with his power, his battles, and his contributions. As for Luo Fong. He's just a talent being cultivated and has been using the resources of our race. I didn't see his contributions at all. Why did he get true treasures? Why did he get the Beast God Inheritance token? Talents are just consuming the resources. They actually owe something to our race. As for us, we're earning resources for our race. No contributions, and he's weaker than us. How is he qualified to have our status? A 25-foot tall being growled in anger. He had massive, strong arms and wore black armor. A huge iron hammer rested beside his seat. What Thunder Knight said makes perfect sense. Yes, it makes sense. Other universe knights nodded. Don't talk too much, a handsome man with six pairs of wings said. He sat drinking alone. This is arranged by Primal Chaos City Leader, after all. Even if it's Primal Chaos City Leader's arrangement, Luo Fong should know that he isn't qualified to have a place here, Thunder Knight said in a hoarse voice. Yet he built palaces on the mountainside. That means he believes he's qualified to have the same status as us. Look, True Yen is here. It's True Yen. Stop talking. True Yen is very close with Luo Fong. All the Universe Knights raised their heads and saw True Yen Knight fly toward them like a beam of light. Thunder Island contained many great beings. The beings here formed friendships based on their varying levels. Universe Knights would usually befriend each other. True Yen Knight loved making friends with others, and thus he was close to quite a few Universe Knights. True Yen, come and sit down. Yes, True Yen, sit. The Universe Knights were all fairly welcoming. Although they were discontent with Luo Fong, they wouldn't vent their anger on True Yen Knight. After all, True Yen's sincerity had earned him quite a few close Universe Knight friends these years. True Yen Knight approached the handsome man with six pairs of wings and laughed. Blacksmith, you seem angry. Want to share with your brother. Bloody Wing Knight, do you mind giving me some of your wine? The winged man smiled and poured some of his wine out. Bloody Wing Knight and Thunder Knight were the most powerful among the eight Universe Knights. I am indeed angry, Thunder Knight said. Do you know the news about your disciple Luo Fong? The other seven Universe Knights looked at him unpleasantly, but Thunder Knight glared right back, saying, True Yen will know anyway. Know what? True Yen Knight was dazed. Is it he who is becoming undying? That doesn't have anything to do with me, Thunder Knight said. Do you know that Primal Chaos City Leader allowed him to build palaces on the mountainside, like us Universe Knights? True Yen Knight was stunned. Thunder Knight continued, he's only undying. How is he qualified to build palaces on the mountainside? Well, well. True Yen Knight was rendered speechless. Perhaps Primal Chaos City Leader has other thoughts in mind. Whatever thoughts he has in mind, he shouldn't have done this, Thunder Knight said. How could it convince us of his worthiness? Do you really think Luo Fong is as powerful as we are? Can you believe that? True Yen Knight hesitated to answer. Undying Fighters and Universe Knights were at two completely different levels. Universe Knights had hundreds of times more godly power than Undying Fighters, and along with the huge gap in law comprehension and complexity of techniques. Universe Knights, in general, were thousands of times more powerful than Undying Fighters, if not more so. Even for special life forms like Bark Mirror Emperor and Chong Emperor, they defeated some ordinary Universe Knights with their talent techniques. If it weren't for the talent techniques, the gap between their law comprehension and that of Universe Knights would have crushed them. Thunder Knight shook his head. I'm not being jealous. I just care about the rules of our race. Everyone needs to follow the rules. Otherwise, how will the other great beings be convinced? It's already upset lots of great beings, but nobody dares to challenge the majesty of Primal Chaos City Leader. Hence, they all talk about it secretly and wait for your disciple to bring shame upon himself. If you really want the best for your disciple, please tell him to move off the mountainside unless he wants to be a disgrace. Besides, he just made himself an enemy of many universe knights. Isn't that getting the short end of the stick? Thunder is straightforward, but what he said makes perfect sense, Bloody Wing Knight said with a smile. True Yen, you need to think about what's best for your disciple. True Yen Knight was also upset. On the open-air square of the World of Glory. Luo Fong was chatting with Thousand Rain Emperor when someone landed beside him. Luo Fong. Luo Fong looked up and was surprised. Why have you come, teacher? I sent you an email to say that if you wanted me for something, you could go to the virtual universe and ask me and I would be there immediately. Thousand Rain Emperor, I need to have a word with Luo Fong now, True Yen Knight said. Thousand Rain Emperor left immediately. True Yen Emperor sealed the space around him, stared at Luo Fong, and said, I did receive your email, but some of my friends on Thunder Island dragged me into their conversation. Friends. Luo Fong blinked. All because of you. True Yen Knight shook his head. Apparently, building palaces on the mountainside of Thunder Island has upset quite a few universe knights. Luo Fong shook his head. 
Do they really need to be so petty? That's where you're wrong. True Yen Knight frowned. They have eternal lives, and their families have all passed away. They have been practicing for an eternity, and that is how they earned their current status. Their status and their honor might look worthless, but they value it very much. Luo Feng was astounded. Status. Honor. True Yen Knight whispered. I was stuck at the Invincible Emperor level for an eternity, and I could only hide. Only after becoming a Universe Knight did I earn a high status and incredible honor. And only after that did I become famous again. Their status and glory were earned by their power and contributions to our race. True Yen Knight sighed. What else do you think they care about aside from their status and honor? Luo Feng now understood completely. He had been wandering in the universe for 50,000 years, but he had been observing the weak. He had only seen a few Universe Knights, and hence, he hadn't realized that Universe Knights were also living beings, just living beings with great power. They were dedicated to something they believed in. Without families, they cared about their race, status, and honor above all else. They could die for their own race. They could die for their own honor. I now understand, Luo Feng said. No wonder so many great beings were disappointed by this. If I were a universe knight, I would also be upset if an undying talent suddenly gained the same level of glory as me. You're still young, and you're always at the center, True Yen Knight said. It's normal for you not to realize that. Luo Feng nodded. Yes. Status and glory were incredibly important to a great being. If someone became undying, became a universe knight, and died without being known, it would be boring. The most exciting way was to fight for honor. For glory. I know it. Luo Feng smiled. I'll prove to those universe knights that I'm a qualified one. I just need to defeat a universe knight. Defeat a universe knight. True Yen Knight was shocked. He hadn't witnessed the scene when Luo Feng became undying, so even if he had faith in Luo Feng, he couldn't imagine an undying human being defeating a universe knight. Even Bark Mirror Emperor could only bully the most mediocre universe knights, and he was almost killed by True Yen Knight. Bark Mirror Emperor was a unique life form with a life gene level of 2000 times. There was a huge gap between undying fighters and universe knights. You don't believe me. Luo Feng laughed. Just watch. On the other side of the open air square. Look, Bark Mirror Emperor. There's Blade River Emperor. Bark Mirror Emperor was sitting with the great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance. He looked at Luo Feng and True Yen Knight from afar. He hated both of their guts. He is indeed more powerful. Bark Mirror Emperor sneered. It seems that this Blade River Emperor has become undying. It's been 80,000 years. He had deep law comprehension before he became undying, yet he still chose to wait for more than 80,000 years. So patient. I've been waiting for 80,000 years. Bark Mirror Emperor clenched his teeth. He wasn't sure whether he could rival True Yen Knight or not. However, he was confident that he could beat the famous Blade River Emperor. I'm undying, and you're undying as well, said Bark Mirror Emperor. It's not bullying if I fight you myself. After all, you're the peerless talent in the universe. Bark Mirror Emperor smirked and showed his fangs. Luo Feng and True Yen Knight were standing afar while True Yen Knight stood up and disappeared. Bark Mirror Emperor approached the heirs of the Hong Alliance. Bark Mirror Emperor is coming, someone said. Bark Mirror Emperor is walking toward us. All the 1000 heirs in Hong Alliance turned around, including Luo Feng. Chapter 1015, Bark Mirror Emperor and Blade River Emperor. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Luo Feng and the other heirs in the Hong Alliance looked toward Bark Mirror, along with heirs from other groups as well. They were all wondering what Bark Mirror Emperor would like to do. Hang. Hang. Bark Mirror Emperor smiled and kept walking toward the Hong Alliance group even though he was being stared at by lots of other heirs. He soon arrived at the where Hong Alliance group had gathered. A universe knight within the Hong Alliance stood up. Bark Mirror Emperor, what are you doing here? I'm here, for Blade River Emperor. Blade River Emperor. All the heirs who heard this stood up in anticipation. They had all heard that Bark Mirror Emperor had once hunted Blade River Emperor, and the latter could only resort to hiding in the Nine Remoteness Whirlpool to escape. Now, Bark Mirror Emperor was back for Blade River Emperor. Luo Feng looked at Bark Mirror Emperor and asked, Why are you looking for me, Bark Mirror Emperor? Haha. I haven't seen you for more than 80,000 years. Bark Mirror Emperor looked at Luo Feng, smiled, and showed his fangs. I can already sense that you're more powerful. Blade River Emperor, have you become undying? Quite a few heirs started to wonder the same thing. Hmm. Blade River Emperor is indeed more powerful. But still, he can't compare with Bark Mirror Emperor. Bark Mirror Emperor is a unique life form who can rival a universe knight. As for Blade River Emperor, he is, after all, a human being. It's quite normal that he's less powerful. There were many discussions among the heirs in the distance. But Luo Feng wasn't affected by the discussions at all. He nodded and answered, you're indeed perceptive. That's right. I just became undying. Congratulations. Bark Mirror Emperor broke into laughter. 
The legendary Blade River Emperor, who could kill an Emperor Limit when he was only a Sector Lord, who could escape me when he was only a Sector Lord, and who could stay alive under the attack from Mud Knight when he was only a Sector Lord. You had 620,000 battles and won almost all of them. Bark Mirror Emperor seemed to be flattering Luo Feng, but his tone sounded aggressive. The heirs listening to the conversation were quite disturbed by his words. Luo Feng's reputation was built on them. However, they had to admit that Luo Feng was indeed impressive to have accomplished so much as a mere Sector Lord. Now that you've become undying, Bark Mirror Emperor continued, I have to admit that I was not as good as you when I was a Sector Lord. I'm exhilarated that you've become undying. Exhilarated. Thanks, Luo Feng said. If you were that powerful when you were only a Sector Lord, said Bark Mirror Emperor, you must be much more powerful now that you've become undying. The heirs on the open air square thought that the way Bark Mirror Emperor complimented Luo Feng was bizarre, but they agreed. Luo Feng must be incredibly strong if he was able to win so many battles without the help of Outer Force, and he was only a Sector Lord back then. I'm here, said Bark Mirror Emperor, glaring at Luo Feng, firstly to congratulate you, and secondly, to challenge you. Blade River Emperor, you're worth challenging. Blade River Emperor, you're worth all my efforts. Do you dare have a life or death battle with me, Blade River Emperor? Bark Mirror Emperor gazed at Luo Feng. Silence. The open air square went silent instantly. The airs were all excited, but they kept quiet and watched Luo Feng. Life or death battle? Luo Feng frowned. Whereabouts? Inside the world of glory. Of course not. Bark Mirror Emperor licked his lips, and his golden eyes glinted with hostility. I mean a real life battle. We can pick a place in the Ancestral God's secret region and have a battle with the promise that neither of us will accept any assistance. It's an entirely one-on-one, -on -one, life or death battle. Do you dare accept my challenge? He smirked. No need to invent excuses. Just tell me, do you dare accept? If you're scared, you can say no. However, I don't think a universe-renowned peerless talent will disappoint me. Bark Mirror Emperor stared at Luo Feng. Accept. Or not. The open air square was deathly silent. Tens of millions of heirs all listened carefully. Blade River Emperor was indeed a legend. Would he fight Bark Mirror Emperor after becoming undying? Even though Bark Mirror Emperor wasn't as fabled as him, he was, after all, a powerful unique life form that could intimidate countless undying fighters. Would he accept the challenge? It was understandable to assume that Luo Feng wouldn't dare accept the challenge. After all, a life or death battle invitation from a powerful unique life form was intimidating enough to most. However, his reputation would be shattered if he said no. Luo Feng was undying, but Bark Mirror Emperor was undying as well. They were both undying, yet Luo Feng was still terrified of Bark Mirror Emperor. Accept or deny? Bark Mirror Emperor asked again, staring at Luo Feng. Who? Luo Feng stood up, looked at Bark Mirror Emperor, and smiled. How can I not take the chance since you're leaping to your own death? All the heirs on the open air square were thrilled. You accepted it. Bark Mirror Emperor's eyes gleamed. Of course. Luo Feng said. He looked around. I won't deny any challenges from undying fighters. The voice resounded on the entire square. All the heirs were stunned. Oh. Reckless. What Luo Feng had just said was so audacious that Zhu Chong Emperor, who had been watching from afar, couldn't help smiling. A gloomy teenager in half-transparent purple armor chuckled. Zhu Chong Emperor, he said he won't deny any challenges from undying fighters, said the teenager. It was difficult to tell whether the teenager was male or female. Are you just going to let him go like that? If I were still undying, I would kill him myself. Zhu Chong Emperor glanced at the purple armored teenager beside him. Purple Rain Knight, you're already a universe knight. Don't meddle. The purple armored teenager was an incredible unique life form with a life gene level higher than that of Zhu Chong Emperor. He was the mightiest undying fighter on Bauhenia Island before, and he had killed quite a few universe knights when he was undying. After becoming a universe knight, he grew to be a powerful combatant in the Ancestral God School. He might not even survive Bark Mirror Emperor, let alone me. Zhu Chong Emperor shook his head. Luo Feng is too arrogant. He may be a peerless talent, but Bark Mirror Emperor is a special life form with a life gene level of 2000 times. That's a huge gap. Yes. Purple Rain Knight nodded. Special life forms had their own sense of pride. Haha. <laughs> Fantastic. Bark Mirror Emperor broke into laughter. I'll send an email to you later and tell you the universe coordinates. I'll choose an area right next to the portal of the Ancestral God's secret region. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. What time? The sooner, the better. But I need to give you some time for preparations. In half a day, and I'll tell you the location later. Bark Mirror Emperor was further excited. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Ha ha. Bark Mirror Emperor laughed again. He stared at Luo Feng. Blade River Emperor, I didn't imagine you would be this brave. I hope you can still laugh at the end of the battle. Luo Feng smiled. The one with a strong personality, Bark Mirror Emperor said, grinning, is always the one who dies first. So. 
Bark Mirror Emperor disappeared. Luo Fong looked around and noticed Yu Chong Emperor and the purple armored teenager staring at him. He smiled and vanished. The news incited a firestorm. All the heirs in Ancestral God's school were thrilled. Even the battle between two real Universe Knights wouldn't have drawn so much attention. After all, a battle between two undying fighters with Universe Knight power was rarer. Bark Mirror Emperor was a unique life form with the power of a Universe Knight. Blade River Emperor, a universe-renowned supertalent of the human race, and he had just become undying. A life-or-death battle between those two. It was such explosive news that billions of races in the universe knew about it instantly through the airs on Bauhinia Island. All the superpowers knew about it immediately, and so did the human race. What? Blade River Emperor Luo Fong is going to engage in a life-or-death battle with Bark Mirror Emperor in the Ancestral God's secret region. Is that a joke? Bark Mirror Emperor is a powerful special life form, and he has the power of a universe knight. Even ordinary universe knights can be killed by him. Blade River Emperor is simply reckless. Blade River Emperor has a clone talent technique. He won't die. But he can get killed. And then his treasures will be taken away. His true treasures were bestowed by our human race. If they're taken by Bark Mirror Emperor, it's a loss for all of us. Reckless. Arrogant. Foolhardy. Those universe knights who were already dissatisfied with Luo Fong all thought this peerless talent was too haughty. They had seen many peerless talents who were similarly full of themselves, and they would only come to their senses after they suffered great losses. He will come to his senses after this battle. However, it will cost him true treasures. Meanwhile, Luo Fong spent his time in the palace on Bauhinia Island. This Bark Mirror Emperor is indeed confident, Luo Fong chuckled. Master, said Tian Chen Emperor. Primal Chaos City Leader gave you a big challenge by letting you live on the mountainside of Thunder Island. Of course, I know that. Luo Fong nodded. That's why I need Bark Mirror Emperor. True gold fears no fire, the stronger the fire is, the purer the gold is. It's about time. Luo Fong stood up. We congratulate our master beforehand, for we know you will return with a victory, Tian Chen Emperor said respectfully. Prepare a celebration feast, said Luo Fong. I'll invite Thousand Rain Emperor, Chaman Emperor, and my teachers after I defeat Bark Mirror Emperor. He laughed, then teleported himself to the square in front of the leader's palace on Bauhinia Island. He then teleported himself to the secret region through the waterfall. Chapter 1016, Mad Luo Fong Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio In an area of the Ancestral God's secret region floated some fragments of mountains. A stooping shadow stood on top of one of the mountain fragments. It was Bark Mirror Emperor. Zoom! A silver shadow showed up and landed on another mountain fragment. Bark Mirror Emperor, you arrived here quite quickly, said Luo Fong, standing on the mountain fragment with his wings open. Bark Mirror Emperor sneered. You're not slow, either. I thought your true treasure, the wing, was lost in the Nine Remoteness Whirlpool. But now I see it again, it should be claimed by some supreme being of the human race. Luo Fong smiled. Think whatever you want. In the open air square of the World of Glory. All the heirs gathered on the open air square, they were all sitting and looking at Bark Mirror Emperor, who was at the center of the square. I'll broadcast this battle through the virtual network. Bark Mirror Emperor looked around. Everyone will see who the winner is. Hong. Bark Mirror Emperor pointed to the space beside him. Suddenly, a light shot out and formed a projection. All the heirs could see distinctively that Luo Fong stood on a gigantic mountain fragment while Bark Mirror Emperor stood on another. They stood face to face with each other. Bark Mirror Emperor is so reckless and confident that he is doing a live broadcast through the virtual network, someone said. He's a special life form. Why would he not be confident? Quick, tell our race. The virtual network kept broadcasting the battle, and the heirs watching the fight telecast it back to their own races. Haha. Ha. Let's see how the human dies. He'll win without question. The Northern Territory Alliance looked fierce. As for the heirs in Hong Alliance, they were all watching, holding their breath. Thousand Rain Emperor asked True Yen Knight in a low voice, Do you think Blade River Emperor can win, True Yen Knight? True Yen Knight gazed at the project in the sky. Just watch. At this moment, lots of seniors from the superpowers of the universe were also paying close attention to the fight, like many universe knights in the human race. Luo Fong stood on a floating mountain fragment, looking at Bark Mirror Emperor in the distance. He glared at him. Bark Mirror Emperor, I didn't expect you to do a live broadcast through the virtual network. What? Are you afraid? Bark Mirror Emperor grimaced and showed his fangs. Luo Fong shook his head. If you want to bring shame upon yourself, why should I stop you? So arrogant. Bark Mirror Emperor snorted. Now that we've both arrived, there's no need to wait longer. Let's start the fight now. So I can kill you even earlier than expected, Luo Fong replied. Bark Mirror Emperor's face twisted. Foolhardy human. Bark Mirror Emperor roared. Hong. 
His godly power started to burn, and the force surged. It twisted and tore apart the space around him. Bark Mirror Emperor was small compared to other special life forms, but he was still much larger than human beings. He already had an advantage in size. Shing. A bloody glove showed up around his right claw, and that claw cut apart the space around it. In response, Luo Feng grinned and burned his godly power. Hong. Luo Feng's force also surged and tore apart the space around him. Bark Mirror Emperor was startled. How is that possible, he said. Luo Feng wasn't as powerful as he was in the world of glory, and he even felt weak before the fight. However, when Luo Feng started to burn his body, he began emanating power as intense as Bark Mirror Emperor, a special life form. And Bark Mirror Emperor's godly body was stronger than some universe knights. Bark Mirror Emperor glared at Luo Feng and yelled, You hid your power. Luo Feng shook his wing. Too late, he said. So. 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 Countless stars floated with law engravings on them. After being injected with Luo Feng's godly power, they disintegrated the space around them, forming miniature black holes. No space fragments would even touch the stars. 520 stars. 520 miniature black holes. The stronger the user was, the more powerful the treasures would become. Luo Feng's godly body was stronger than many universe knights, and each of the burning stars was fully utilized. Although he hadn't performed his technique, the stars had already made the space around them collapse and form black holes. This is a true treasure. Bark Mirror Emperor was terrified, as the power was incredible. I've told you, it's too late. Luo Feng waved his hands. Instantly, countless golden threads burst out of the 520 miniature black holes and formed a forceful beast god. The 520 black holes connected with each other and took the shape of the beast god's tail. Bark Mirror Emperor clenched his teeth. It was happening too fast. He had intended to crush Luo Feng, but now Luo Feng was slightly more powerful than him, and his spiritual force weapon was a true treasure. Arg! Bark Mirror Emperor roared. Goddamn human. You're only so powerful because of your true treasures. As for your weapons. Ha ha. I'm a special life form with a godly body much more powerful than yours. Even true treasures are not going to help you. Die. Bark Mirror Emperor charged Luo Feng fiercely. Both of them cast Space Seal to start of the battle. Splendid like stars, the red light rips the nightfall like a blade, said Luo Feng. He shook his wing and dodged Bark Mirror Emperor. Meanwhile, he watched the gigantic beast god in the distance. The beast god growled. Bark Mirror Emperor growled as well and performed his talent technique. Luo Feng was attacked but was left unharmed. I was already able to defend myself against the talent technique using Tower Pearl. Now, I can withstand it even without Star Pearl. He looked at the Beast God and Bark Mirror Emperor afar, who started to fight. This was the power of a spiritual force leader. He didn't need to engage in close quarters combat. Hong. The Beast God's tail moved like a flash of shining red light. Out of the three ultimate techniques Luo Feng had created, the second move was the fastest one, and besides, all the power was integrated into this one move. If the enemy dodged it, Luo Feng might need some time to make a second strike. The red light tore apart the surrounding space and attacked Bark Mirror Emperor directly. Bark Mirror Emperor waved his claws, bellowing loudly. Pang. The attacking power broke Bark Mirror Emperor's arm instantly. The Beast God's tail slashed Bark Mirror Emperor's chest. Pang. The godly body started to crack, and the golden light emanating from the true treasure armor dimmed. I'm impossible. Bark Mirror Emperor glared at Luo Feng, terrified. Six percent of his godly body was destroyed. And it had happened with his armor protecting him. Luo Feng sensed that Bark Mirror Emperor had become weaker. He nodded and thought, just as I expected. He had more godly power than Bark Mirror Emperor. Although Bark Mirror Emperor also had true treasures, Luo Feng's star map was a true treasure, too. As for techniques, although he only performed the second move of star map, the second ultimate move was already much more powerful than the third pinnacle move. The third move needed 160 stars, whereas the second one required 520. Although Bark Mirror Emperor created his own claw technique, it could barely pass the threshold of pinnacle techniques. All of them made Luo Feng stronger than his competitor. Besides, his incredible willpower further strengthened his godly power. Warriors didn't need much willpower when attacking while spiritual force leaders valued willpower to a great extent. The capacity of a spiritual force weapon depended on the strength of willpower. With such an extraordinary will, Luo Feng destroyed 6% of his enemy's godly body. You're doomed, Bark Mirror Emperor. Luo Feng gazed at Bark Mirror Emperor coldly. Hong. The beast god attacked Bark Mirror Emperor again and again. He strived to dodge the attack, but he was nowhere close to the speed of the spiritual force weapon, which might be faster than Luo Feng with his Sherwu wings. He could only be slashed again and again. Bark Mirror Emperor had true treasures to protect his godly body while Luo Feng had a true treasure to attack him. They didn't have any advantages over each other in this aspect. Bark Mirror Emperor still looked mad. Haha, he roared. My godly body is clearly much larger than yours. You need to consume more than 1% of my godly power to annihilate my godly body. 
Do you really have that much power? Really? Luo Feng sneered. The more powerful one had an edge in annihilating godly power. For instance, emperor limits had the same amount of godly power as pinnacle emperors did. However, they used their secret amplification techniques or attacking techniques to strengthen their power tenfold, and that was how they could annihilate Emperor Limit's godly bodies by consuming 5-10% to of their own power. As for Luo Feng, he also needed to consume 1% of Bark Mirror Emperor's godly power to destroy him completely. However, Luo Feng's godly body looked tiny. How come? Why isn't your godly body being weakened? Bark Mirror Emperor's golden eyes were wide open, filled with fury. Moron. That's because of my clone technique. Luo Feng grinned. One of his rings was holding a remote ocean body, and the remote ocean body, at the height of more than 5,500 miles, kept supplying him with endless godly power, which kept the original earthling body at 100%. Ah. Bark Mirror Emperor was petrified. How could he have forgotten about that? You're carrying your bodies. Bastard human. With that, Bark Mirror Emperor went mad. He tried to run, but the beast god just kept slashing him, and his godly body kept being damaged. 51%. 45%. 39%. Your teacher True Yan and you, roared Bark Mirror Emperor. He had completely lost his mind. He could only resort to self-destruction unless he wanted to fall. Explode. 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 Hong. Long. Bark Mirror Emperor's remaining body exploded, and tens of millions of miles of space around him were annihilated. Suddenly, a huge shadow showed up. The figure looked around, then shook his head. I'm late, he said. I tried to get here as soon as possible after realizing something was wrong, but I'm still too late. Bark Mirror Emperor exploded. Huh, said Luo Feng, standing amid the aftershock of the explosion. He turned around and saw the figure in the distance. Its sudden appearance startled him. Pei Feng Knight, one of the supreme beings of the Northern Territory Alliance and one of the candidate deified generals. Although he was weaker than actual deified generals, he was a universe overlord. Relax, Blade River Emperor, said Pei Feng Knight. I'm not here to kill you. Although you killed Bark Mirror Emperor, the true treasures he left belong to the Northern Territory Alliance. I'm here to take them away. Pei Feng Knight dashed toward Luo Feng like a flash of light. I was the one who killed Bark Mirror Emperor. Luo Feng said. I'll claim those true treasures as my trophies. Under the burning godly power, his voice was like thunder resounding through the broken space. Meanwhile, the gigantic beast god formed by 520 stars grabbed the space ring, armor, bloody gloves, and crystal balls. Chapter 1017, Universe Overlord Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio So, the gigantic beast god grabbed the trophies with his claw and flew back like a flash of light. He was so fast that even Pei Feng Knight couldn't catch him. In my pocket. Luo Feng waved his hand and put the space ring, the world ring, and the true treasure armor into his own world ring. A furious roar blasted near Luo Feng's ears. Blade River Emperor, you're just greedy. Luo Feng turned around and saw Pei Feng Knight dashing toward him. He grinned and transmitted his voice. Pei Feng Knight, you're a candidate deified general. Are you really that stupid? Do you really believe Bark Mirror Emperor would have left my true treasures alone if I were the one who got killed? What a joke. If you want them back, take them with your own hand. Pei Feng Knight was infuriated. The only rule in the universe was to fight. If Bark Mirror Emperor killed Luo Feng, he would have taken Luo Feng's true treasures as well. As for Pei Feng Knight, he thought Blade River Emperor should have given the true treasure back to him as he had already asked politely and promised not to kill him. You moron. You're too arrogant. Pei Feng Knight transmitted his roaring sound, and there was fire burning in his eyes. He was more than 1,000 feet tall, which made him look taller and bigger than Bark Mirror Emperor. Though he couldn't catch up with Luo Feng instantly, he opened his mouth. Who? An intangible attack dashed Luo Feng in light speed. Soul attack. It was faster even than the spiritual force weapon, and it was flexible. No. Luo Feng was terrified but couldn't dodge it. He could only withstand the attack with all his power. Pei Feng Knight was a candidate deified general, which meant he had already reached the perfect level at one of the 72 deified general inheritances. His soul amplification already reached 100 times, which was the limit, and he also learned a set of special attacks that only belonged to deified generals. The power of that set of attacks was more powerful than the talent techniques of many special life forms. It was the ultimate technique of deified general inheritance, and it was a universe master level technique. Pei Feng Knight, as a being at the same level as Shi Luo Duo, had a life gene level of more than 60 times. Besides, he was a universe knight who had a godly body 100 times that of an undying fighter, which meant his godly body was 600 million times stronger than that of a sector lord, which made it more powerful than Luo Feng's original earthling body. Stronger godly body, perfect soul amplification, universe overlord level willpower, and universe master level techniques. He was superior to Luo Feng in all aspects. Um. It was soundless. When Luo Feng's godly body was attacked, he could feel that his godly power was being stripped away. 
This technique attacked the life imprint in the godly power directly, and its goal was to completely destroy the life imprint, which was equivalent to destroying Luo Feng's soul. Guard. 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 Luo Feng was roaring in his heart, with his willpower and burning godly body controlling Tower Pearl. Star Pearl gleamed and locked Luo Feng's godly body, which protected him from all the fierce attacks from Pei Feng Knight. Although he was inferior to Pei Feng Knight in all aspects, without Tower Pearl, his soul would have been crushed completely under one attack. However, this was when the power of a true treasure was manifested. Luo Feng could resist Bark Mirror Emperor's talent technique with Tower Pearl when he was only a Sector Lord, and now that his godly power was half that of Pei Feng Knight and he had the Tower Pearl to guard his soul. Haha, <laughs> laughed Luo Feng. Pei Feng Knight, your technique is not that impressive. Luo Feng transmitted his voice and started to flee like a beam of light. He knew that a Universe Overlord had multiple techniques, and he would have to utilize all he'd gotten if he wanted to fight a Universe Overlord. Besides, even if he utilized everything he had, a win wasn't guaranteed. He had just become undying, and he still hadn't gotten a top-tier true treasure like Force Arm. So, Sher Wu Wing was utilized, and Luo Feng started to flee swiftly among the space fragments. What? Pei Feng Knight said. He resisted it. Pei Feng Knight was shocked. Bark Mirror Emperor speculated that Luo Feng had a soul true treasure after hunting Luo Feng before, but he didn't report it back to the seniors of Northern Territory Alliance because soul attack was a merciless technique and soul true treasures were precious without comparison. True treasures like pieces of armor and the Sherwu wings could only weaken soul attacks. As for soul true treasures, they could guard the soul. If Flying Palace true treasures could defend one against material attacks, soul true treasures could defend the soul. Soul true treasures were more attractive to great beings, which was why Bark Mirror Emperor didn't make it public, as he was afraid that Luo Feng would be killed by some supreme being in Northern Territory Alliance. Thus, he couldn't get the soul true treasure. Instead, he had been waiting for the perfect opportunity, yet he resorted to self-destruction. Seeing Luo Feng escape like a flash of light, Pei Feng started to chase him and performed another technique. Law Domain Pei Feng Knight knew he didn't have much time, as the supreme beings of the human race might arrive soon. After that, he wouldn't have the chance. Who? The hundreds of millions of miles of space around them turned silent, trapped in the Law Domain. Luo Feng was trapped as well. Law Domain, of Time Law. He was stunned. Undying fighters could perform Law Domain, and so could Universe Knights. Besides, space and Time Law were more superior than gold, wood, water, fire, ground, wind, thunder, and light. Control over Law Domain could make the power of Law Domain surge. Even as powerful as Luo Feng's world projection had been as a Sector Lord, the Law Domain of official-level Undying fighters could rival his world projection. Pei Feng Knight gazed at Luo Feng coldly. Wind annihilation, he cried. Qi. 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 The flow of time was bizarre within the time domain. Luo Feng tried to flee, but miniature tornadoes showed up around him, each about the size of an eyeball. They surrounded Luo Feng and dashed at him one after another. Get the hell away! Luo Feng shouted. He tried to use his Sherwu wings to block the tornadoes, but they dodged the wing strikes, easily making contact with Luo Feng's godly body. He didn't dare to close his Sherwu wings completely. If he did so, he would be significantly slower, and he would be caught by Pei Feng Knight. Although he was already affected by Space Law Domain, it was not omnipotent, he could still change direction and keep his distance from Pei Feng Knight. Qi. 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 The miniature tornadoes bit into Luo Feng's body. Ah. 60% of Luo Feng's godly body was gone immediately, which terrified Luo Feng. He's trying to annihilate my godly body. Luo Feng thought in horror. Fortunately, he had stored his world rings on his body where he had remote ocean body, Masha body, and golden horn beast body. The world ring with remote ocean body let out godly power, restoring Luo Feng's godly body. Qi. 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 Luo Feng's godly body kept being weakened, but each time, it recovered. So this is the power of a universe overlord. Said Luo Feng. He isn't even close to me yet, but he can still damage me like that. Luo Feng kept using his Sherwu wing to keep his distance from Pei Feng Knight. He's still alive, said Pei Feng Knight. Pei Feng Knight was dazed. Although this move wasn't effective against Universe Overlords at his level, it was lethal against ordinary Universe Knights. It was a technique made for Time Law Domain. His godly body is constantly being consumed, but somehow, it's still at 100%. But of course, he has the clone technique. He must have stored a body. Pei Feng Knight had figured it out. Bark Mirror Emperor had used the virtual network to broadcast the fight against Luo Feng when it first started, but when he realized he couldn't even defend himself against Luo Feng, he had turned off the broadcast as he felt ashamed. Which was why. The heirs in the open-air square of the World of Glory and other superpowers in the universe only knew that Luo Feng had crushed Bark Mirror Emperor. Pei Feng Knight had not known that Luo Feng had brought his bodies to the fight. Pei Feng Knight's eyes gleamed with madness. I can only kill him after destroying his bodies. Pei Feng quickly hatched a plan. 
He had said he wouldn't kill Blade River Emperor before, as he knew Blade River Emperor would be revived even if he killed him. However, Blade River Emperor was obviously carrying his bodies with him. He didn't know exactly how many bodies Blade River Emperor had, but the number couldn't be large. Together with the original body, some fighters had two godly bodies while others had three. Pei Fong Knight's eyes glinted fiercely. Kill, he snorted. Two black whirlwinds came out of his nose and flew toward Luo Fong like two miniature black dragons. The two black whirlwinds didn't appear powerful, but all the space fragments they touched vanished immediately. Danger. 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 Luo Fong felt the wind's life-threatening essence and quickly realized he was in trouble. Chapter 1018, Blade River Emperor, You Are Vicious. Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio. My human godly body will be annihilated immediately if I am touched by these two black whirlwinds. Thought Luo Fong. Although he was significantly inferior when it came to battle techniques, he could still sense that the two black whirlwinds were the most horrendous attacks he had ever encountered. Pei Fong Knight had already made three moves. The first move was one of the deified general ultimate techniques, and it was terrifically powerful. Luo Fong had withstood that attack with his Tower Pearl. The second move was a material attack, which was used when being cornered by weaker universe knights. However, it could still destroy half of Luo Feng's godly body. As for the third move, it was a material attack used when fighting universe overlords. Both of the two black whirlwinds were hundreds of times more powerful than the miniature tornadoes. No. Thought Luo Feng. I'm trapped in time law domain now, so even if I use ancient boat galaxy, I can't get away. Perhaps I'll even take my ancient boat galaxy. As for my Masha body, he is only able to perform domain when he's alone, so I would need to put my original earthling body back in the world ring. However, Pei Fong Knight would never give me a chance like that. Luo Fong flew swiftly with his Sher Wu wing. He had made up his mind. Neither ancient boat galaxy nor Masha body was suitable. That left him with only one option. Pei Fong Knight pursued Luo Fong, his eyes glinting greedily. He's got to have a soul true treasure to be able to resist my deified general technique, he thought. He's got to. No wonder Bark Mirror Emperor wasn't able to kill the then Sector Lord Blade River Emperor. And Bark Mirror Emperor had the benefit of an incredibly powerful talent technique. Pei Fong Knight was feeling more confident now. The deified general technique could severely damage even a universe overlord. Luo Fong would need a soul true treasure to resist it. A soul true treasure. The human race must indeed highly value Blade River Emperor. Even I, as a universe overlord, don't have that kind of true treasure. Pei Fong Knight watched the Black Whirlwinds closing in and shouted eagerly, Die. Die. I'll take your true treasures after you're dead. Pei Fong Knight was a universe overlord, yet he only had two true treasures, both of which were mediocre and common. One was a piece of protective armor, and the other was a blade. He immediately figured out that this peerless talent of the human race had a true treasure wing and a soul true treasure. Die. Die. Pei Fong Knight cried, watching expectantly. It's all over, he thought. Even a universe knight with true treasure armor is likely to be killed by this move. All was silent. Two black whirlwinds intertwined with each other as they got closer and closer to Luo Fong. Pei Fong Knight, you've left me no choice. Luo Fong transmitted his roaring voice. Hong. A towering shadow suddenly appeared behind Luo Fong. It was more than 5,500 miles tall. A godly body standing at a height of 5,500 miles was a terrific sight, and Pei Fong Knight was shocked to his very core. What? What kind of special life form is this? Pei Fong Knight stammered. A godly body at a height of more than 5,500 miles existed almost exclusively among flesh and blood type living beings. Earth only had a diameter of 6,000 miles. This living being was nearly as large as the planet Earth. Hong. The entire godly body started to burn, and the godly tower surged, destabilizing the time law domain. Although remote ocean body only had a life gene level of 1,000 times and the original earthling body had a level of 3,000 times, remote ocean body emitted millions of times greater pressure to the time law domain than the original earthling body. The reason, remote ocean body was simply gigantic. The godly power he burned every second was more than 100 million times that the original earthling body did. The two black whirlwinds pursued Luo Fong at light speed, but remote ocean body charged directly at the black whirlwinds. Luo Fong had chosen the most appropriate time to let out remote ocean body, as he did so when the black whirlwinds were only 6,000 miles away from him. Remote ocean body enveloped the black whirlwinds. Chi. 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 Like snow melting under the sun's rays, remote ocean body was being consumed. Larger, larger, larger. Remote ocean body broke into laughter, and the sound resounded through the boundless space. His godly body was suddenly enlarged, and he became 60,000 miles tall. The density of his body, therefore, became much lower. Yet the black whirlwinds were trapped inside remote ocean body and needed to annihilate the godly power around them to move forward. Chi. 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 The black whirlwinds kept consuming the godly power around them, but remote ocean body had unlimited godly power. 
Remote ocean body had the same godly power as universe knights, said Luo Foam. I had a godly body at the height of more than 5,500 miles for you to destroy. Let's see how much your black whirlwinds can destroy. Luo Foam relied solely on the gigantic godly body. It was unlikely for an enormous godly body like that to fall. One wouldn't be able to destroy the body, even if the body didn't fight back at all. After a few seconds, the two black whirlwinds dissipated after annihilating an enormous amount of godly power. You can destroy 9% of my godly body. Remote ocean body laughed. Ordinary universe knights can't damage one one thousandth of it even if they self-destruct. No wonder you're a universe overlord. Hum. Remote ocean body dashed at Pei Feng Knight. Pei Feng Knight had been chasing Luo Feng all along, and they were now only six million miles away from each other. Remote ocean body raced towards Pei Feng Knight. The original earthling body is moving in the opposite direction with remote ocean body moving in a straight line. I'll get closer and closer to you if you continue to pursue the original earthling body. Blade River Emperor, do you really think you're invincible with that body? Pei Feng Knight roared. I'll let you know now that even a gigantic godly body like this is useless against me. Remote ocean body bumped into Pei Feng Knight. Explode. 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 Remote ocean body roared and blew itself up. What? Pei Feng Knight shouted, completely shocked. Never in his wildest dreams would he have expected this. Supreme beings with powerful godly bodies like that would never self-destruct. A godly body at a height of more than 5,500 miles would cost too much to recover, yet remote ocean body let out all its energies at once. The power was unbelievably mighty. Hong. Long. Long. An area of 60,000 miles around remote ocean body was dead silent, but everywhere within 600,000 miles was instantly blasted by the godly power. Space fragments flew hundreds of millions of miles into the distance. Bastard, came a furious cry from the center of the explosion. A blue figure stood at the center of the explosion. He was surrounded by black air. The six eyes glinted fiercely. Damn you. Damn you. Enough, Pei Feng Knight. Two powerful figures stood face to face with each other. One of them was Pei Feng Knight, and the other was a werewolf great being, beside whom stood Luo Feng. Luo Feng looked at Jiu Feng Knight in front of him. Jiu Feng Knight had received the complete deified general inheritance. He was a candidate deified general and a universe overlord. Jiu Feng had arrived just as Luo Feng's remote ocean body exploded himself. Luo Feng flew beside Jiu Feng Knight, as he didn't want to continue the fight. Universe overlords are too powerful, Luo Feng thought. My remote ocean body can only injure him after self-destruction. Jiu Feng Knight and Pei Feng Knight faced each other at a distance. They were both candidate deified generals, and they belonged to the same category of deified general inheritance. Pei Feng Knight glared at the werewolf great being. You want to stop me, Jiu Feng? I'm human, Jiu Feng Knight said coldly. I'll surely defend a great being of my race. There were black whirlpools in all the six of Pei Feng Knight's eyes, and the airflow was tumbling around him. Then let's fight, he said. Jiu Feng Knight responded, Jiu Feng, you were not my match even before 20% of your godly body was depleted. I suggest that you leave. Otherwise, other great beings of my race will arrive soon. Bastard. Pei Feng Knight clenched his teeth. Damn it. He was exasperated. He was a universe overlord. It was strenuous to complete the deified general inheritance, yet he had done it. And as a universe overlord, he was seldom defeated unless he facing other universe overlords or universe masters. He hadn't risked everything yet. However, he hadn't expected to be attacked by the self-destruction of that godly body at a height of more than 5,500 miles. 5,500 miles. If it weren't for his true treasure armor, he would have been annihilated. Even with his true treasure armor, 20% of his godly body was gone. He was defeated by an undying fighter. Blade River Emperor. Pei Feng Knight roared, glaring at Luo Feng. You. You were willing to blow up your godly body. A godly body as powerful as a universe knight. A godly body at the height of greater than 5,500 miles. You are vicious. Luo Feng remained calm. All too easy, he said. I've underestimated you, Pei Feng Knight said. He stared at Luo Feng. Next time. I'll utilize everything I've got. I'll treat you like a universe overlord. Pei Feng Knight glanced at Jiu Feng Knight. Jiu Feng. You only rely on your true treasures. With that, Jiu Feng Knight turned into a beam of light and teleported himself away. Although they were both universe overlords, Pei Feng Knight came from a mighty race of Northern Territory Alliance. There were lots of races within the Northern Territory Alliance, but they only had about the same amount of resources as the Hong Alliance did. It was fortunate for Pei Feng Knight to have been given two true treasures. As for Jiu Feng Knight, he came from the human race, a pinnacle race in the universe with valuables to spare. Naturally, they highly valued their own great beings. Jiu Feng Knight had four true treasures, and they were a perfect combination. With his own mighty power and four true treasures, Jiu Feng Knight was indeed Pei Feng Knight's better. 
Good for you, Luo Feng, Jiu Feng Knight said. He glanced at Luo Feng with a smile on his face. Chapter 1019, Prove Himself Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio The space gradually became peaceful, and the space fragments vanished completely. Jiu Feng Knight and Luo Feng stood facing one another. You just injured Pei Feng Knight, a universe overlord, said Jiu Feng Knight. You were able to injure someone who's able to fully operate the third form of the true treasure armor on his body with his law comprehension. Impressive. Impressive, indeed. I'm just lucky. Luo Feng smiled. Generally, true treasures had different forms. For instance, his Sherwu Wing had three forms, and with the user getting stronger, it could be better utilized. When Luo Feng tried to drive Star Tower, he could feel that the law engravings inside it were complex to the point of being incomprehensible. Thus, he couldn't even operate it at a minimum level, let alone make the best of it. Pei Feng Knight was a universe overlord, and that true treasure armor barely crossed the threshold of true treasures. He was indeed able to operate a true treasure in its third form, which was why he had only lost 20% of his godly body after a 5,500 mile tall godly body exploded in front of him. Jiu Feng Knight shook his head and looked at Luo Feng. It's because of your power. For what it's worth, I admire how you just blew up that enormous godly body. I'm not even in his league, Luo Feng said. I didn't have other option. Yes, Jiu Feng Knight said. He indeed overpowers you to a large extent. After all, you're only undying, and your law comprehension can't even compare with him. He can wield the power of the same true treasure much better than you. I assume you're unable to make the best use of your true treasure wing. Yes. Luo Feng nodded. He had just started the second form of Sherwu Wing. Besides, Jiu Feng Knight continued, he underestimated you in the first place and didn't even consider that you might be a contender. In the future, you might not even have the chance to self-destruct and hurt him. Luo Feng nodded. In the future, Pei Feng Knight might keep his distance from remote ocean body. As long as he was more than 60,000 miles away from the center of the explosion, the blast wouldn't be dangerous. And if Luo Feng was too close to Pei Feng Knight, he didn't dare detonate remote ocean body, as he was afraid that his original earthling body would be injured as well. This time, his original earthling body had been millions of miles away from the center of the explosion. Naturally, he hadn't been hurt at all. If, however, his original earthling body had been in close quarters combat with Pei Feng Knight when he had detonated the remote ocean body, the original earthling body would have been annihilated immediately, and Pei Feng Knight would have only suffered a few injuries. At that point, Pei Feng Knight would definitely have taken all the treasures left by Luo Feng's earthling original body. He'll be onto you after this, Jiu Feng Knight said. He'll definitely turn this around. I'll tell you about him to make sure you won't be bullied by him in the future. Luo Feng listened carefully. Pei Feng Knight has two true treasures, Jiu Feng Knight said. One is a piece of armor, and the other is a blade. As his true treasure weapon is a blade, he devoted lots of his energies and time to close combat, and he created incredible blade techniques. His fighting power, together with his blade, can destroy lots of treasures in one strike. Luo Feng was stunned. You must have been able to resist his soul technique if you survived that fight, Jiu Feng Knight said. As for some distant attacking skills, I'm sure you can handle them as well. The only thing you need to be aware of is his close quarters combat techniques. They're his trump card. In close quarters combat, he can fully utilize his true treasure blade. Even if you have true treasure armor, your godly body won't be able to withstand the shock wave. Jiu Feng Knight shook his head solemnly. Unless you have a flying palace type true treasure. Is the combination of his fighting techniques and true treasure blade really that powerful? Luo Feng couldn't help but ask. Can it really destroy a treasure with a single strike? Did does that mean my ancient boat galaxy would be at risk? There are different levels of treasures, Jiu Feng Knight said. Some top-tier treasures and set treasures are already close to true treasures, and they are difficult to destroy, whereas some ordinary treasure armors or weapons will be fragile. Luo Feng nodded. Ancient Boat Galaxy was a top-tier treasure and was as valuable as true treasures. Besides, it had belonged to an inborn beast god known as Wine Master before. It should be solid. Remember, be mindful of his close quarters combat techniques, Jiu Feng Knight said. He nodded. All right, let's go back. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Luo Feng knew he didn't want to reveal his trump cards. He had only utilized the second move of Star Map when fighting Bark Mirror Emperor. And when he was fighting Pei Feng Knight, he could have hidden an ancient boat galaxy and let Masha Body perform his talent technique domain to escape. However, if he had done so, he would have revealed two of his deepest secrets. Ancient boat galaxy and the talent technique domain. Only a few in the universe, including Nine Remoteness Master and Chaos City Leader, knew about domain. It was a vital trump card for him, as he could almost certainly escape from any enemies weaker than Universe Masters. Hence, he wouldn't use it unless his life was seriously threatened. As for the remote ocean body, at the height of more than 5,500 miles, he could recover it in no time. After all, he should at least show some real power. In the open-air square of the World of Glory, there was hustle and bustle among the heirs. What's the result of the battle? Bark Mirror Emperor is such a sore loser. He was the one who wanted a live broadcast in the first place, but he turned it off after realizing that he was at a disadvantage. 
It must be Bark Mirror Emperor who lost. That's right. He lost without a doubt. The heirs were upset by Bark Mirror Emperor. He had been exceedingly confident and had wanted all the heirs to watch the fight, presuming he would crush Blade River Emperor. It had indeed excited many heirs. The news spread across the universe, drawing attention from lots of supreme beings. Little did they expect Bark Mirror Emperor to cut off the feet halfway through the fight. Look, it's Blade River Emperor. All the heirs in the square looked towards the portal. A shadow appeared. It was Blade River Emperor. Luo Fong looked at the heirs in the distance. He saw his teacher True Yen Knight and his friends, including Chaman Emperor. His voice resounded on the square as he said, Hi, all. I've already finished the battle with Bark Mirror Emperor. Here is a clip of the battle. A blurry light shot out from Luo Feng's wrist guard, and a 3D virtual projection showed up in the sky of the square. The clip began at the point when Bark Mirror Emperor and Blade River Emperor met. The fight was fierce, but Bark Mirror Emperor was completely suppressed. Finally, at the end of the fight, Bark Mirror Emperor blew himself up in order not to be enslaved. It was a universe night level battle, yet both of them were undying. One was a special life form while the other was a timeless and peerless talent of the human race. But, to everyone's surprise, the result was that the human won, and the special life form was left with no choice but to destroy himself. Incredible. He, he died. Self-destruction. The heirs were astounded. They had already reasoned that Bark Mirror Emperor must have lost after watching the first half of the battle, but they didn't expect Bark Mirror Emperor to be so crushed so badly that he died. The square was filled with a sense of shock. The consensus was that only a universe knight could kill Bark Mirror Emperor. The heirs watched Luo Fong as he walked to where the heirs of Hong Alliance gathered. He sat beside his teacher Truyan Knight. Hmm. Luo Fong glanced around and saw a shadow afar. Pei Fong Knight. Luo Fong frowned. Pei Fong Knight was also watching the video clip. He was visibly terrified to know that Blade River Emperor was making the footage of the battle public. Luo Fong could practically read his thoughts, is he going to show the footage of him injuring me? Beings like Pei Fong Knight cared about their reputations a lot. Pei Fong Knight immediately connected to the world of glory with his consciousness. All good, all good. Pei Fong Knight was relieved. He only showed the footage of the battle between him and Bark Mirror Emperor. Pei Fong Knight suddenly turned around. While Luo Fong looked at him, they exchanged eye contact. Hang. Hang. Pei Fong Knight's eyes glinted aggressively. He moved his lips without making a sound, but Luo Fong could tell clearly what he had just said, Blade River, let's see who'll rescue you next time. I'll defeat you again next time. Luo Fong also moved his lips without making a sound. Hang. Pei Fong Knight vanished. Luo Fong grinned and looked back at the open air square. All the heirs were amazed by the footage of the battle, and they all recorded it and transferred it back to the powers they belonged to. Likewise, the video was transferred to Hong Alliance and the human race. If I want to be a supreme being in the universe, I need to be a supreme being within the human race first. Thought Luo Fong. Many universe knights within the human race are bitter because I made my settlement on the mountainside of Thunder Island. Words are useless, I need to prove myself with my records. Luo Fong smiled. Universe knights like Nine Blade Knight will get to watch the footage soon. He made the footage public, as he wanted to prove his power with his record. To prove he could not only rival ordinary universe knights, but that he also killed them. Chapter 1020, Supreme Council. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. The mountainside of Thunder Island was boundless. There were only twelve servants in Luo Feng's palaces, and they were all carefully selected sector lords. During the 80,000 years when Luo Feng had created the ultimate technique star map, Luo's family had developed into a true superfamily with its huge sum of resources. It was a top-tier superfamily in every aspect, members, training system, and a number of great beings. There was even a large group of sector lords. It was normal to train someone to be a sector lord, and it was easier with adequate sources. Babata had been confident that he could raise Luo Feng to be a sector lord, and his resources were nothing compared to what Luo's family had. Two sector lords greeted Luo Feng as he walked in the hallway. Family Master Family Master Their eyes gleamed. As Luo Feng's descendants, they worshipped him. You can walk out first, Luo Feng said as he quickly walked out of the hallway and arrived at the square in front of the palace, in front of which was a cliff. Yes, sir. The two sector lords walked out. Luo Feng looked out into the distance. A shadow flew toward him. It was True Yen Knight. Teacher. Luo Feng shouted, smiling. Luo Feng. True Yen Knight landed on a rock. Please, teacher, take a seat. Luo Feng walked along the path beside him. There were several pavilions on a square made of rocks, including exquisite wooden desks and chairs. They sat face to face with each other. You came here to pick me up immediately after I sent you an email. True Yen Knight said, looking pleased. You're such a good disciple of mine. I shall respect my teacher, Luo Feng said. Ha ha. Stop acting. True Yen Knight laughed. I know you want to know how other universe knights reacted. Don't you? 
You're so perceptive, teacher, Luo Feng answered. It had been two days since he fought Bark Mirror Emperor, and the footage had already spread throughout the human race. Many Universe Knights had watched the clip. It must have evoked strong reactions, because lots of Universe Knights had been dissatisfied before. Those same Universe Knights may have been amazed after watching the clip. Luo Feng felt good just imagining that. He wanted to see the look on those Universe Knights' faces. Luo Feng may not have cared about what ordinary life forms thought, but he did feel accomplished by dumbfounding those Universe Knights of the human race, many of whom had their own Universe countries. Haha. Ha. I knew it. True Yen Knight guffawed. It never rains, but it pours. You never defended yourself when those Universe Knights were trashing you, yet you showed everyone the footage of you killing Bark Mirror Emperor. Luo Feng laughed as well. Well, just as you expected, those Universe Knights were all amazed. True Yen Knight said, excited. I don't know about others, but those same friends who asked me to tell you to leave the mountainside have now apologized to me. They wanted me to tell you how sorry they are. Sorry. Luo Feng was dazed. You proved yourself to have the power of a mid-tier universe knight by killing Bark Mirror Emperor, True Yen Knight exclaimed with amazement. You're so powerful, yet you're just undying. Those universe knights want to respect you as you'll definitely be a universe overlord when you become a universe knight someday. No one wants to be your enemy. Luo Feng nodded. When you were weak, supreme beings would look down on you. But when you were as strong as they were, or even manifested greater potential, they would apologize and try to befriend you. Hmm. Luo Feng nodded. I've received quite a few congratulatory emails in the past two days, and lots of them came from Universe Knights. Universe Knights like Gunwoo Universe Master and Guei Knight, who were already close with Luo Feng, had sent emails to congratulate him immediately. Some Universe Knights Luo Feng had never met also sent him emails and told him that they would visit him a few days later. Of course, there were some Universe Knights who couldn't change their attitude instantly. Those were the ones who voiced their discontent the loudest. Meet as many as possible and be friends with them. True Yen Knight smiled. I'll stay here for the next couple of days. Some powerful Universe Knights won't take me seriously, but they value you a lot. I'll take advantage of that. Suit yourself. Luo Feng smirked. It's my honor to be taken advantage of by you. Luo Feng's palaces were alive with activity. Many Universe Knights had visited his place. When the news that Luo Feng killed Bark Mirror Emperor was made public, it meant Luo Feng entered a new circle, the Circle of Universe Knights. Great beings valued each other's power. Though Luo Feng was greatly valued by his own race, the Universe Knights within his race wouldn't associate with him voluntarily. To them, Luo Feng was a mere talent, and he was yet to be a great being. Whereas now, Luo Feng was already a great being. And he might get even stronger in the future. It was likely that he would become a pillar of the human race in the future. Gulu and Universe Country Master, Heibei Knight, Golden Axe Knight. Luo Feng muttered, looking around. So many Universe Knights and Universe Country Masters. In total, 163 Supreme Beings have visited here in the past few days. Family Master is so mighty. The two Sector Lords transmitted their voices. They were exhilarated that they could actually meet those legendary Universe Country Masters and Universe Knights. These were individuals whom lots of undying fighters would never be able to lay eyes on. Luo Feng, True Yen Knight, and Nine Flames Universe Master were chatting loudly. Hmm. Luo Feng turned around. A flash of light was flying toward them. Nine Flames Universe Master also turned around. Another Universe Knight. A man in a fiery cape appeared. He wore a mystical and alluring smile. True Yen Knight stood up. It's Guei E Knight. Guei E Knight, said Nine Flames Universe Country Master, standing up and greeting him. Brother. Luo Feng walked out. Guei E Knight was the second disciple of Primal Chaos City Leader, and he had always served Primal Chaos City Leader. He was definitely one of the closest to Primal Chaos City Leader. His power was legendary, even a tiny portion of it could amaze many. He was the mouth and tongue of Primal Chaos City Leader who relied on him to deliver messages and execute orders. So lively here. Guei E Knight looked at Nine Flames Universe Country Master. Nine Flames Universe Country Mazer, I didn't interject on your conversation, did I? Not at all. Luo Feng, True Yen, and I were just having a casual chat, Nine Flames Universe Country Master said. Guei E Knight nodded and smiled. Good. Because I have an important matter. Huh. Luo Feng looked to Guei E Knight. Brother, Guei E Knight said. I'm here at our teacher's request to tell you that the application for you to join the Supreme Council of our race has been approved, and from now on, you'll be qualified to participate in the Supreme Council. The Supreme Council? Luo Feng was thrilled. He had expected that he would be accepted once he demonstrated his power, but he was still overjoyed. Finally. He was finally admitted into the ranks of the seniors of the human race. True Yen Knight smiled. Congratulations, Luo Feng. You two, as teacher and student, got admitted into the Supreme Council together. Nine Flames Knight laughed. It'll be a wonderful story for our human race to tell. Guei E Knight continued, Brother, though you're qualified to participate in the Supreme Council, meetings are rarely held. 
Every time it is held, the Council discusses matters that are vital to us humans. However, based on what I know, there will soon be a Supreme Council meeting. The Virtual Universe system should send you a notification shortly. Oh. Expectations flashed in Luo Feng's eyes. So soon. Yes. Nine Flames Universe Country Master became solemn. Yes. There shall soon be one. Luo Feng, this Supreme Council meeting is all important. What is it about? Luo Feng couldn't help asking. It will be held very soon, and you'll learn all the details then, Nine Flames Universe Country Master said. Of course, this is only my speculation. It may not be about any specific matter. Luo Feng looked at Nine Flames Universe Country Master and Guei Knight, perplexed. True Yen Knight was also confused. Guei E Knight and Nine Flames Universe Country Master left without elaborating on the Supreme Council meeting of the human race. Luo Feng and True Yen Knight didn't ask any further questions, as the meeting would be held in the near future. A message from the world of glory, said Luo Feng. Luo Feng's consciousness left the virtual universe and connected to the world of glory, where he received quite a few messages instantly. Some of them were from the heirs in the Hong Alliance, while some were from the system of the world of glory. Blade River Emperor, you're an exceptional heir of the ancestral god school, said one message. You've proven your power with your records. And your records have attracted the attention of a beast god of the ancestral god school. In the near future, Thunder Beast God of the Ancestral God School will arrive on Bauhinia Island in the flesh and bestow you a valuable in public. Luo Feng was dazed by the message. Thunder Beast God would bestow him a valuable. In public. What happened to Zhu Chong Emperor will finally happen to me. Luo Feng realized. He was thrilled. I remember that Bark Mirror Emperor wasn't conferred any true treasures, but Zhu Chong Emperor was bestowed two true treasures. One of the eight beast gods will arrive on Bauhinia Island and give me the valuable personally. Luo Feng was both stunned and exhilarated by the news. Chapter 1021, Weaponize Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Inside Luo Feng's palace on Bauhinia Island Knowing that the ancestral god school was about to publicly bestow him a valuable, Luo Feng stayed on Bauhinia Island and waited patiently. Thunder Beast God is going to arrive here himself and bestow you a valuable. True Yen Knight stood up abruptly and opened his eyes wide. You're not kidding, are you? How could I kid about this, teacher? Luo Feng said. It'll happen soon. True Yen Knight stroked his hair and walked around the hall. He frowned and murmured, if one of the eight beast gods actually arrives here himself and puts up such pageantry, he's at least going to give you a true treasure. But it doesn't feel right. Though the ancestral god school is the greatest superpower in the universe, it won't just throw away a true treasure randomly like that. What do you mean by, throw away, teacher? Luo Feng asked, smiling. Zhu Chong Emperor was bestowed with two true treasures. As for me. It's okay for me to get at least one, right? True Yen Knight shook his head. You're not the same as Zhu Chong Emperor. Not the same, said Luo Feng. Luo Feng was dazed. He thought the power he manifested was at Zhu Chong Emperor's level. Besides, both of them were sub-members of the Ancestral God School. What was the difference? Zhu Chong Emperor is a special life form, said True Yen Knight. He doesn't belong to any other power, and hence, he belongs to the Ancestral God School completely. Whereas you are firstly a member of Hong Alliance, then a sub-member of the Ancestral God School. Bark Mirror Emperor, who is admitted by the Northern Territory Alliance, was never given any true treasures by the Ancestral God School. Luo Feng suddenly understood. The Ancestral God School is the greatest power in the universe, True Yen Knight went on. Though it doesn't fight for anything, it doesn't value the great beings of other powers as much as it does its own members. Bark Mirror Emperor is most loyal to the Northern Territory Alliance. You're most loyal to the Hong Alliance, the human race. Zhu Chong Emperor didn't join any other powers, so he is only loyal to Ancestral God School. True Yen Knight looked at Luo Feng. I've collected information on lots of exceptional heirs, and I found out that only those who are 100% loyal to the Ancestral God School can receive the best. If one belongs to another power, he won't be treated the same as those who show complete loyalty. Luo Feng nodded. It made perfect sense. If pressed to choose between the Ancestral God School and the human race, there's no doubt that you'll stand with the humans, True Yen Knight said. That's why the Ancestral God School won't grant you much, even if they want you to be part of them. However, they did invite Thunder Beast God to come personally. It would be insulting to him if he gave you a mere treasure. It's got to be a true treasure. True Yen Knight paused, then added, which baffles me. Luo Feng nodded. He would stand with the human race without a doubt. As for the Ancestral God School, he was indeed not faithful to it, even after knowing that they would bestow him a valuable. He stood in solidarity with the human race. For what it's worth, said True Yen Knight, looking at Luo Feng, apparently, the Ancestral God School highly values you. In light of that, they're willing to give you a valuable even knowing that you're with the humans. I understand. Luo Feng nodded. Don't expect too much, True Yen Knight said. Although I think it'll be a true treasure, the Ancestral God School surely won't be too generous. I'll just have to wait for it, Luo Feng said. 
Luo Feng looked at True Yen Knight and thought that if the valuable given by the ancestral god school was not useful to him, he would give it to teacher True Yen. Days passed, and Luo Feng continued waiting on Bauhinia Island. While he was waiting, Luo Feng familiarized himself with the valuables he got from Bark Mirror Emperor. Inside the World Ring Ha ha! The Northern Territory Alliance paid a huge price to rope Bark Mirror Emperor. Luo Feng's original earthling body was wearing golden armor in a bizarre shape. It was covered with weird beast engravings, which did not belong to any one of the beast gods. It was the true treasure armor. As soon as Luo Feng put it on, the information about the armor was sent to him instantly. The true treasure armor was named Golden King Armor, and it had three forms. The first form could weaken the power of a material attack to 1% of its original power, the second form could weaken the power of a material attack to 1 1,000th of its original power, the third form could weaken the power of a material attack to 1 10,000th of its original power. If the armor couldn't withstand the attack, it wouldn't be able to effectively weaken the power of the attack, and if the attacking power was too strong, it wouldn't be able to weaken it at all. When the user was fighting a universe knight, even the third form of the armor could only weaken the attacking power by half. For universe masters, these ordinary true treasures were not useful at all. As for beings like Zwishan Ku, they could destroy an ordinary true treasure easily. Those universe masters don't care much about ordinary true treasures, but they are earnestly desired by universe knights. Luo Feng studied the ancient armor he wore. I'm yet to have the power to rival universe masters, so this golden armor is invaluable. Luo Feng exclaimed with thrill, no wonder they all want true treasures. He finally understood why Pei Feng Knight had only been injured when his remote ocean body exploded in front of him. He had relied on the true treasure armor in its pinnacle form. I wonder which armor is better, mine or Pei Feng Knight's, Luo Feng thought. Bark Mirror Emperor was wearing this golden armor. Fortunately, I have the true treasure star map, and I combined the power of 520 stars, which multiplied their power. Star map and the golden armor neutralized each other, and that was how Bark Mirror Emperor died. Luo Feng looked in the distance and saw a gigantic beast. It was the golden horned beast. I'll have the original earthling body wear the golden armor, Luo Feng thought. And when I get the force armor in the future, I'll have the golden horned beast wear it. The golden armor was different from force armor. The golden armor only had defending power, yet the force armor could derive soldier armor, general armor, and king armor, which meant force armor had enormous godly power. In Luo Feng's plan, his original earthling body followed the spiritual force leader path, so he only needed the golden armor. Golden horned beast did close quarters combat, and hence force armor could be fully utilized on the golden horned beast. Luo Feng had acquired quite a few valuables from Bark Mirror Emperor, and two of them suited Luo Feng the best. One was Golden King Armor, and the other was a set treasure called Swallowing Claws. This was comprised of four claw gloves that Bark Mirror Emperor had worn on his claws. Now, Golden Horn Beast wore the set treasure. When he utilized the set, the power of the four gloves would be transferred to one, making its power surge. Bark Mirror Emperor had some other treasures, but they were useless to Luo Feng. The precious materials used to recover godly bodies were meaningless to Luo Feng, as he had the remote ocean. Luo Feng waited for the arrival of Thunder Beast God while familiarizing himself with the golden armor and the swallowing claws. Eleven days after he received the email from the Ancestral God School, a terrific power arrived in the sky over Bauhinia Island. The power was so strong that it was superior to that of the Guarding Beast God on Bauhinia Island. The heirs flew out of their palaces. Thunder Beast God is arriving. True Yen Knight said, flying out immediately. Island Luo Feng's palace, Masha Body sat with his legs crossed, and the original Earthling Body was still familiarizing himself with the golden armor. When the power arrived, Masha Body was thrilled. The original Earthling Body flew out of the World Ring. He finally came, said Luo Feng. He took a deep breath, stepped out of the door, and flew into the sky. In the sky over Bauhinia Island stood more than 100 millionaires. Luo Feng and True Yen Knight stood side by side with each other. Hong. Long. Long. Bolts of lightning filled the sky and covered five-colored Aurora Lake. An enormous shadow was dimming in the lightning. This figure was the source of the power. Hang. A loud snort was heard. Power surged, and all the airs in the sky dove down. Even Universe Night airs couldn't resist the force. Slowly, the enormous shadow flew down and showed its true face. He was covered with cyan hair, and each strand of hair looked like a whip of a thunder god. His three claws seemed to step on and suppress all of space, and his partially opened wing churned the lightning above him. His most striking features were his eyes. His eyes were like oceans. The eyes of thunder. Nobody dared exchange eye contact with him. Majestic, said Luo Feng. After only a glimpse, he felt that the terrific being in the sky was like a part of universe origin law. It said that becoming a beast god means merging with the law, but the guarding beast god is not as powerful as this. Will becoming an actual beast god change one's foundation? None of the heirs could resist the power. But it wasn't because of the sheer power, it was the arrival of the universe origin law. I am Thunder Beast God. His sound was like thunder, resounding across the entire Bauhinia Island. One of the eight beast gods. Air, Blade River Emperor. Intangible power enveloped Luo Feng, and he rose into the sky. 
The heirs on the ground looked at Blade River Emperor in shock. Now, they all understood that the arrival of Thunder Beast God was for the human, Blade River Emperor. Chapter 1022, Turn Back Time Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio So, this is the control over space and time, thought Luo Feng. He sensed that the intangible power enveloping him was neither space nor time but a force that was superior to both. Blade River Emperor rose up gradually. At that moment, he was like the sun coming out, attracting attention from all the heirs. Thunder Beast God looked down with his eyes of thunder. His eyes glinted with friendliness, and the power enfolding Luo Feng vanished, dazing Luo Feng. Thunder Beast God opened his mouth and started to talk. Blade River, Thunder Beast God said. Luo Feng gave a salutation in the sky. Beast God, he said. Your power, your improvement, and your will all satisfy me, Thunder Beast God said. He looked down and concentrated on Luo Feng. I'll bestow you a valuable. Hua. Almost all the heirs down on the ground were thrilled and couldn't help talking among themselves. It's indeed a public bestowal. Thunder Beast God arrived here himself to bestow a valuable. It has to be a true treasure. Why else would Thunder Beast God be here? Blade River Emperor is so lucky that he's going to get a true treasure again. The heirs were all excited, and Thunder Beast God didn't stop their discussions. He was happy to see other heirs jealous. What's all the fuss about, said one heir. If you could kill Bark Mirror Emperor as an undying fighter, the Ancestral God School would also think highly of you and bestow you with a valuable. Blade River Emperor is at the same level as Yu Chung Emperor, who was given a valuable in public before. I'll train myself. Perhaps someday I can have the same treatment. Luo Feng couldn't hear the discussions on the ground. Neither did he want to hear them. He was looking forward to the true treasure with exhilaration. Thank you, Beast God. Luo Feng saluted him. Keep up your hard work. Thunder Beast God's voice rumbled. Meanwhile, a gigantic ball of lightning showed up in front of him. The ball had a diameter of tens of thousands of miles, and it flew toward Luo Feng like a meteor. The lightning vanished as the light ball dove down. When it dropped to Luo Feng, the lightning completely disappeared, leaving only an ancient mirror with a diameter of hundreds of miles. The mirror was round and golden, emitting golden light from its surface. It stopped moving directly in front of Luo Feng. Luo Feng looked at the giant mirror in front of him, perplexed. A mirror. Luo Feng blinked. I believe it will be of good use to you, Thunder Beast God said, looking down. Each of his eyes was larger than the mirror. Take it. Yes, Luo Feng answered respectfully. He stored the ancient mirror in his world ring. As for studying the valuable, Luo Feng decided to do it after the Beast God departed. After all, Beast Gods were of high status in the Ancestral God School. Thunder Beast God smiled and said, Don't disappoint me, Blade River. Hong. Thunder Beast God disappeared, and so did the intangible power. Everything on Bauhinia Island was back to how it had been, and all the heirs on the ground were quickly engaged in heated discussions about what had just happened. Many heirs of other races rushed to try to talk to Luo Feng. Congratulations, Blade River Emperor. Congratulations on getting another true treasure, Blade River Emperor. Luo Feng smiled and went back to his palace immediately. He didn't want to talk to other great beings. This baffled them. What is that mirror-like valuable? asked one heir as Luo Feng left. I don't know, replied another. I've seen some mirror-type true treasures used to aid illusion attacks. Blade River Emperor is proficient in spiritual force weapons. Why would the Ancestral God School give him a valuable to aid illusion attacks? Don't make random assumptions. Perhaps only Blade River Emperor knows what it is used for. Hustle and bustle filled Bauhinia Island, and the news that Thunder Beast God had arrived on the island and personally bestowed Luo Feng with a valuable head quickly spread. At the same time, Northern Territory Alliance got the news. A white-haired, four-hoofed being walked into the area and said, Ha ha. The Ancestral God School has been using the same technique since the beginning of the universe. They immediately started to draw Blade River Emperor to their side after seeing how excellent he is. Woo. Pei Feng, did Bark Mirror Emperor come here before? Yes, teacher, Pei Feng Knight said as he followed him. Bark Mirror Emperor did come here before, and he stood on the square in front of my palace. When, the white-haired and four-hoofed being asked. Three years ago, Pei Feng Knight answered. Okay. The white-haired and four-hoofed being walked slowly through the area and stopped on a square in front of a floating palace. Pei Feng Knight followed respectfully. Leave me first, as I'll turn back time, the white-haired and four-hoofed being said. Don't be in my range. Yes. Pei Feng Knight's eyes gleamed. Pei Feng Knight flew to a distant place like a beam of light and looked toward his teacher, full of expectations. Though he was a universe overlord, he had only witnessed universe masters performing the turning back time technique once before. Turning back time could injure universe masters, and if a universe master was severely injured, enemies could take advantage of the chance to kill him. This was why universe masters preferred to perform it in secret, unless they trusted the witnesses completely or the chance was small that it would backfire. How? 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 The 
white-haired and four-hoofed being growled and looked around calmly. Who? 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 The time and the space around him started to go backward. It was like a movie being rewound at a rapid rate. Many airs came here on the square, the all the great beings were flying backward, even speaking backward. Time was quickly being turned backward. It all seemed like a strange illusion. So. Time suddenly stopped, and so did the scenes before them. Bark Mirror Emperor was talking to Pei Fong Knight in the scene when time had paused. That's me. Pei Fong Knight said, looking at the paused scene from afar. It was Bark Mirror Emperor standing with him. Everything was illusory in the space and time affected by, turning back time. Only the white-haired and four-hoofed being was real. Bark Mirror Emperor, said the white-haired and four-hoofed being, looking at Bark Mirror Emperor. Come, my child. The white-haired, four-hoofed being whispered, and an intangible power quickly put Bark Mirror Emperor under its protection. Go back. Hong. Everything started to be restored. It was like a coiled spring, at some point, it would spring back. The universe was able to recover itself, and after a universe master turned back time, the universe would reverse it. Every point in time was in the past for the universe and should not exist at present. The universe would bite back if someone tried to break this rule. Ah. Ah. Bark Mirror Emperor screamed. Ethereal power enveloped him continuously. The white-haired and four-hoofed being watched calmly. He was protecting Bark Mirror Emperor and transferring the backlash of the universe to himself. He was a universe master, and thus he was strong enough to resist such power. Ah. 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 Bark Mirror Emperor uttered heartrending cries, overcome with agony. The universe kept biting back. The power could easily kill Bark Mirror Emperor. Reversing time and resurrection were against universe law, which would be punished by the universe. However, universe masters volunteered to bear such punishment. After a short while, everything was back to normal, but Bark Mirror Emperor now stood on the square, looking around in confusion. I. What happened? asked Bark Mirror Emperor. Teacher. Pei Fong Knight said, flying toward Bark Mirror Emperor. The white-haired and four-hoofed creature nodded and looked at Bark Mirror Emperor. It's done, he said. Bark Mirror Emperor, you've been resurrected. Do not forget that you have died once. I have, died once. Bark Mirror Emperor was dazed. Suddenly, all the memories flooded his mind. It was him. It was him. Blade River Emperor. Bark Mirror Emperor's eyes glinted with bitterness and madness. He quickly noticed that something wrong. My true treasures, where are my true treasures? The white-haired and four-hoofed being looked down at Bark Mirror Emperor and said, Bark Mirror Emperor, my job was only to protect you when I reserve the time. I won't bring a true treasure back. It would cost more than obtaining ten more new true treasures. I'll only resurrect you. Those true treasures and ordinary treasures you had are all gone. After he was done, he disappeared. Pei Fong Knight gave a salutation. Thank you, teacher. Chapter 1023, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Bark Mirror Emperor saw the giant, white-haired, four-hoofed being leave. He couldn't help looking at Pei Fong Knight and saying, Pei Fong Knight, why is Qi Lan Master less powerful? Do you even need to ask? Pei Fong Knight said, looking at him coldly. You're an undying special life form with the power of a universe knight. Resurrecting you is like resurrecting a senior universe knight. My teacher reserved the time to save you, and he bore the entirety of the backlash from the universe. Fortunately, my teacher is a top-tier universe master, which is how he's able to withstand it. Such backlash power could easily kill a universe overlord, and my teacher needed to resist it all by himself. If even you can sense the change in teacher's power, teacher was severely injured and will need quite a few valuables to recover. Bark Mirror Emperor was dazed. Actually, he had not known that universe overlords could only be revived by universe supreme masters. He only had the power of an ordinary universe knight, but he was undying. That meant reviving him was like reviving senior universe knights, and the universe bit back hard. Even universe masters were injured by it. Beings at Bark Mirror Emperor's level wouldn't easily notice it, yet he had this time, which meant Chi Lan Master's injuries were indeed serious. Pei Fong Knight looked at him and said, Northern Territory Alliance thinks highly of your potential, but reversing time to resurrect a great being costs a lot. The backlash power from the universe when resurrecting undying emperors is easily recoverable to universe masters, but resurrecting universe knights will take universe masters a long time to regain their health. You know the rule. This is a free revival. If you die next time, you'll bear all the costs for your resurrection, and it can't be afforded by ordinary universe knights. I understand, Bark Mirror Emperor said in a low voice, clenching his teeth. Remember, you've died once, Pei Fong Knight said. They were in Pei Fong Knight's palace, which was at the center of the Northern Territory Alliance, resembling the primal region of the human race. That was why Chi Lan Master had been able to resurrect Bark Mirror Emperor without concern. Blade River, Bark Mirror Emperor growled, grinding his teeth harder than ever. Just a tip, said Pei Fong Knight. His eyes glinted with disdain. Don't even think about revenge until you become a universe knight. Bark Mirror Emperor glanced at Pei Fong Knight fiercely. Blade River Emperor is as powerful as a senior universe knight, said Pei Fong Knight. Even I was injured by him. 
Do not seek out Blade River Emperor for the sake of vengeance. What? Bark Mirror Emperor opened his eyes wide in shock. Until you become a universe knight, you cannot even beat him, let alone kill him. Pei Fong Knight shook his head, took a step forward and returned to his palace. Bark Mirror Emperor stood on the square with his face twitching. Blade River. Blade River. Bark Mirror Emperor clenched his claws. His face twisted with rage. While Bark Mirror Emperor privately seated, Bauhenia Island was a tumult of activity. The heirs were still discussing the arrival of Thunder Beast God. The heirs were all speculating what valuable Blade River Emperor had gotten. Inside Luo Feng's palace, Masha Body sat with his legs crossed. His original Earthling body was already back in the World Ring, testing the new valuable. On the boundless plain was an ancient mirror with a diameter of hundreds of miles. Luo Feng stood in front of the mirror and pointed at it. Life imprint, seer. A trace of godly power flew toward it and merged with the mirror. The life imprint contained in the godly power was seared into the valuable. So. 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 The mirror quickly shrank to the size of his palm. Meanwhile, information flooded Luo Feng's mind. It's called Golden Thread Aurora Mirror. Luo Feng looked at the mirror with a thrill. It's not a true treasure, but it's a top-tier treasure. Regardless, it's more precious than lots of ordinary treasures and would be the envy of any universe knight. Luo Feng immediately understood that the ancestral god school had bestowed him with the most suitable valuable. There were different categories of valuables, including attacking weapons, spiritual force weapons, defense armors, escape valuables, like wings, boots, and ribbons, ceiling types, origin types, flying palace types, soul types, and domain types. Original true treasures were used to recover godly bodies. As for surviving, flying palace types and soul types were the most useful. Both of them could weaken material attacks or soul attacks by almost 100%. Sky Wolf Palace and Star Tower were both of the flying palace type. Another type of treasure that was the equal of flying palace type and soul type was the domain type. Thousand Treasures River and Five Color Aurora Lake were both domain type true treasures. Once they were utilized, they were able to control the area they touched. Within that particular area, the users could suppress enemies who were their equals, and they could bound the enemies who were superior to them, giving them the chance to flee. As for enemies who were weaker, true treasures like Thousand Treasure River and Five Color Aurora Lake could easily kill them. Domain type true treasures, although they were aids, were quite handy, to say the least. A domain type top tier treasure, Luo Feng said. He looked at the palm sized mirror. Ancestral God School is indeed generous. I'll be able to control my own fate when fighting supreme beings and decide whether to battle or to flee. Golden Thread Aurora Mirror Luo Feng burst into laughter. He opened his mouth, and Golden Thread Aurora Mirror shrank to the size of the head of a pin and flew into his mouth. It then merged with Luo Feng's chest and left a golden imprint. Drive Luo Feng injected his godly power into Golden Thread Aurora Mirror. Home Golden Thread suddenly emitted from Luo Feng and enveloped the area of 60 million square miles around Luo Feng. Inside the area were countless golden auroras scurrying around like fish. Luo Feng was the center of the area. This is my domain. Luo Feng looked around. Suppress. The golden threads gathered. It might have been able to annihilate an undying emperor easily. Godly power, burn. He drove the law domain again. Hong. The golden light pervaded this domain, and the law domain merged with the domain of golden thread aurora mirror. Ha ha. The ancestral god school is so considerate, said Luo Feng. They know that I became undying after completing gold law comprehension, so they gave me a valuable of the gold category. Luo Feng found out that Golden Thread Aurora Mirror's power surged after gold law domain overlapped Golden Thread Aurora domain. So powerful. Luo Feng said. He suddenly felt like he could kill an ordinary universe knight when driving the golden threads with his godly power. With such a treasure, even if I meet with supreme beings, I can bind them first and run away. If I want to fight, I'll just let remote ocean body approach my enemies and self-destruct. My enemies will be trapped in Golden Thread Aurora Domain, and they'll be so suppressed that they can't even run away. Luo Feng was overjoyed. This Golden Thread Aurora Mirror was rarer and more precious than ordinary true treasures. Besides, to great beings, the compatibility of valuables was much more important than the quantity. Apparently, this Golden Thread Aurora Mirror could help Luo Feng's power move one step forward. It amazed Luo Feng to realize how thoughtful the Ancestral God School had been to give him this valuable. Ancestral God School, I am first and foremost of the human race, thought Luo Feng but I'll be grateful to you for bestowing me with this valuable. After receiving the Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, Luo Feng studied it every day and tried to combine it with his other true treasures. He pondered the best way to fight. Pang. 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 The door of Luo Feng's palace on Bauhenia Island was fiercely knocked on. Blade River, open the door. Blade River. Someone was shouting outside eagerly. Luo Feng, dressed in black waved, his hand and opened the door, saying, Come in. Without Luo Feng's permission, even his friends wouldn't dare trespass in his palace within range of the five-color Aurora Lake. 
Luo Feng saw Chaman Emperor, Lili Emperor, and Thousand Rain Emperor rushing in. What happened? What's got you so worried? Luo Feng smiled. I've never seen you guys like this in all the time we have known each other. It was Masha Body who greeted them, and he had different auras from the original Earthling Body. After all, Masha Body only performed his talent technique, Replicate, to replicate the aura of the original Earthling Body. Which was why Chaman Emperor, Lili Emperor, and Thousand Rain Emperor didn't notice it. Luo Feng, Chaman Emperor said. Something has happened. Something really bad, Lili Emperor added. Blade River, said Thousand Rain Emperor, you're in big trouble this time. Luo Feng frowned. What's the issue? Don't worry, just speak slowly. You didn't go to the World of Glory, did you? Chaman Emperor said. That's why you don't know yet. Don't know what? Luo Feng frowned. I've been in my palace these past few days. He had devoted his time to joyfully studying his new golden thread Aurora Domain. Besides, he was waiting for the Supreme Council meeting of the human race. Why would he go to the World of Glory? If he did, he would just be surrounded and assailed with questions. Just tell me, what happened? Luo Feng pressed them. Li Li Emperor and Chaman Emperor opened their mouths almost at the same time. I. You just. Luo Feng couldn't help but cut in. Li Li Emperor, he said. Tell me what happened. Chapter 1024, The Cusp of Public Opinion. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Li Li Emperor nodded solemnly and said, Luo Feng, Bark Mirror Emperor, who was killed by you, has been revived. How do you guys know he was revived? He died once and didn't have an inheritance token anymore. Luo Feng smiled. But, on second thought, he's an undying special life form, and the Northern Territory Alliance gave him a true treasure before. I already expected he would be resurrected. If you think this is the trouble I'm going to have. No. Li Li Emperor shook his head. Thousand Rain Emperor and Chaman Emperor both looked grave. This is what happened, Li Li Emperor continued. After being resurrected, Bark Mirror Emperor was asked by other heirs in the Northern Territory Alliance about how he got killed. He tried to defend himself, but what he said got you into big trouble. Luo Feng frowned. What did he say? They all looked at him. What did he say? Luo Feng repeated. Bark Mirror Emperor said. Li Li Emperor's voice started to tremble. He said the reason why he was crushed by you was that his talent technique was not even able to affect you. His talent technique is soul attack, which is so powerful that it's able to intimidate many few universe knights. Even if it can't kill you, it should at least be able to affect you. Luo Feng frowned. The reasons behind that were his tower pearl and his mighty willpower. He also mentioned that he once hunted you in nine remoteness space, and he used his talent technique soul attack at the beginning, Li Li Emperor said. You were only a sector lord back then, but you were still able to withstand it. The heirs who talked with Bark Mirror Emperor immediately inferred that you have a soul type true treasure. And Bark Mirror Emperor admitted that. A soul type true treasure. Thousand Rain Emperor couldn't help exclaiming. Material attacks can only annihilate part of the godly body, yet one trace of a soul attack can completely bend a great being's will. It's terrific. Soul type true treasures, flying palace type true treasures, and domain type true treasures are all ranked among the top tier true treasures, but when it comes to survival, soul type true treasures are definitely the most precious. One soul type true treasure is more desirable than dozens of or even 100 ordinary true treasures. Even many universe overlords don't have soul type true treasures. Luo Feng became anxious. It had been made public. In the past, he had escaped Bark Mirror Emperor's pursuit, but he had been afraid that Bark Mirror Emperor would make his secret of soul type true treasures public. And now, his fears had been realized. And there's more, Li Li Emperor said. More. Luo Feng said. Bark Mirror Emperor said that the spiritual force weapon you used to attack him was a true treasure, said Li Li Emperor. No great beings doubted him, as they all watched the footage. Bark Mirror Emperor also said that you killed him and got his true treasure armor and top tier set treasure. Besides, you've obtained a valuable in the land of valuables, and that was one of the top 108 valuables. Plus, you were just bestowed a valuable by Thunder Beast God. Li Li Emperor gazed at Luo Feng. Luo Feng frowned. What did he mean by that? He also added that, Li Li Emperor said, after being killed by you, a universe overlord in the Northern Territory Alliance tried to get the true treasure armor back, but you took the true treasure and ran away with a true treasure flying palace. Luo Feng opened his eyes wide. What? Pei Feng Knight rushed to the place where you killed Bark Mirror Emperor, and some supreme beings asked him what happened, Li Li Emperor continued. Pei Feng Knight only said that he was stopped by Jiu Feng Knight and got injured, but he didn't reveal any further details. However, Pei Feng Knight and Jiu Feng Knight left through the portal at different times, and Pei Feng Knight should have had enough time to deal with you. The assumption that you have a flying palace true treasure is not verified, but it's suspected. All in all, you've had three true treasures, and you've got two true treasures from the Ancestral God School and one from Bark Mirror Emperor. Which means, continued Lili Emperor, you must have at least six true treasures. One, presumably, is a soul type true treasure, and another is likely to be a flying palace type true treasure. Soul type, flying palace type, and domain type. 
All of them are earnestly craved by universe overlords. Each is as priceless as dozens or even 100 ordinary true treasures, yet you have two out of three of them. The news has spread through the airs and will soon spread across the universe. Can you imagine how many supreme beings will have their eyes on you? Perhaps universe masters don't care about them, but as for universe overlords. They might set a trap to kill you at any time. Luo Feng was ghastly pale after hearing it. Bark Mirror Emperor. He thought. You are vicious. He indeed had soul type true treasures, but Bark Mirror Emperor had completely invented the story that he had flying palace type true treasures. Ancient Boat Galaxy and Golden Thread Aurora Mirror were indeed of the flying palace type and domain type, respectively, but they were top tier treasures, not true treasures. Still, they were more precious and rarer than ordinary true treasures. This proved that flying palace type true treasures really could make great beings go crazy. The news is, Blade River Emperor has six true treasures, and two of them are of soul type and flying palace type, Chaman Emperor said. Yet you're only at mid-tier universe night level, if not senior universe night level. Luo Feng, you're in big trouble this time. Chaman Emperor, Lili Emperor, and Thousand Rain Emperor left soon after. They gave Luo Feng some video footage before they left. It was the record of Bark Mirror Emperor's conversation with other great beings in Northern Territory Alliance. In the footage, Bark Mirror Emperor said, I have low law comprehension and weak techniques. I've always used my secret talent techniques to fight Universe Knights. He has a soul type true treasure to withstand my talent technique. What could I do about that? I could only wait to be killed. Did you say that he had a flying palace? I was already killed, so I didn't know about it until I spoke with the Universe Overlord who went to rescue me. Luo Feng glared at Bark Mirror Emperor on the footage. Well played, Bark Mirror Emperor, well played. Luo Feng whispered and went to the open air square in the world of glory. The moment Luo Feng stepped into the open air square, he attracted the attention of all the heirs in the square, all of whom had been talking about him. After all, they could now confirm that Luo Feng had at least six true treasures, including a soul type true treasure. They also speculated that he had a flying palace type treasure. All of which made the heirs jealous. Even the universe knights were green with envy. After all, few universe knights had true treasures. Luo Feng could even feel the disparity between him and the great beings in the Hong Alliance. Apparently, because of their jealousy and greed, their relationship with Luo Feng had changed. Just as I expected, Luo Feng thought. He took a brief tour and then left the world of glory. Everyone knows about this. All the heirs know, and the superpowers in the universe will probably find out in no time. Is this your revenge, Bark Mirror Emperor? In the secret region of the Northern Territory Alliance. On a floating star fragment, many palaces had been built. There were tens of thousands of servants inside. Ha ha ha. This is my revenge, said Bark Mirror Emperor. This is my revenge on Blade River. Bark Mirror Emperor stayed in his practice room, and his eyes glinted with madness. Indeed. I'm not able to kill you myself, human. It might take me an eternity to be able to do that. Unfortunately for you, you have too many valuables for your own good. I don't need to deal with you myself. Now, there will be universe overlords who come for you. You're dead. Dead. Bark Mirror Emperor laughed out loud. After he was resurrected, the Northern Territory Alliance had bestowed him with several treasures to protect himself. However, he wouldn't be granted a true treasure anymore. Plus, when he had applied for a Beast God Inheritance token, he had been rejected. The senior within the Northern Territory Alliance had told him coldly, Bark Mirror Emperor, there's no need going there now, as you can't receive higher Beast God Inheritance. Just wait until you become a Universe Knight. After that, we'll give you a Beast God Inheritance token. Don't even think about that before becoming a Universe Knight. Bark Mirror Emperor left reluctantly, and the senior had added as he left, a moron who only demands but never contributes. Bark Mirror Emperor was infuriated after hearing that. However, the senior was overwhelmingly more powerful than him. Bark Mirror Emperor resented Luo Feng full-heartedly for his misfortunes. It's all because of you. Bark Mirror Emperor growled, clenching his teeth. If you didn't have a soul-type true treasure, I could have killed you in nine remoteness space and gotten all your valuables. And I would still be the powerful special life form. Infuriated by everything that had happened to him, Bark Mirror Emperor had come up with a way to avenge himself. Given that it was almost impossible for him to kill Blade River Emperor, he would let the great beings of the universe go after Blade River Emperor instead. Inside Luo Feng's palace on Baohenia Island. Tru Yen Knight went to Luo Feng immediately after hearing the news. Luo Feng, Luo Feng. Tru Yen Knight called, walking into the hall. Luo Feng sat in the hall, drinking tea, relaxed. You're in big trouble now. How are you still drinking tea? Tru Yen Knight asked anxiously. What trouble? Luo Feng said. He took a casual sip with a smile on his face. Just because I have too many true treasures. So you've heard the news. Tru Yen Knight was astounded and sat down calmly. I'll deal with anyone who comes for me, Luo Feng said, drinking his tea with a smile on his face. All the great beings of other races will only be my practice targets. He smirked. I'll kill all of them who come for me. What if you can't kill them? Tru Yen Knight asked. Then I'll flee. Luo Feng sipped his tea again and put down the teacup. 
but relax, there will be fewer and fewer great beings who are able to force me to flee. True Yen Knight could sense the unrelenting determination and confidence in Luo Feng's words. He could even sense that Luo Feng was already prepared for endless fights and slaughters. Beware, True Yen Knight said. Luo Feng replied, the path to becoming a supreme being is paved in enemies' blood and bones. Luo Feng frowned. He had just received an email in the virtual universe telling him to attend the Supreme Council meeting. True Yen Knight was startled. The meeting is today. Chapter 1025, Supreme Council Meeting Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng and True Yen Knight exchanged eye contact, they had both received the email from the virtual universe system at the same time. I've never been to a Supreme Council meeting, True Yen Knight said. Same. Luo Feng smiled. Let's go. They both connected to the virtual universe with their minds. Go to Pantheon Mountain, Luo Feng whispered in his palace. Pantheon Sanctuary on Pantheon Mountain was where the Supreme Council meeting was held. Since the Supreme Council meeting was being held today, Pantheon Mountain would open automatically when the virtual universe system sent the notifications through email. It was, however, normally closed. Clouds surrounded the mountains. One great being showed up after another, including Luo Feng and True Yen Knight. Some universe knights greeted Luo Feng warmly when he showed up. Blade River. Luo Feng. Luo Feng. Nine Flames, Thunder. Luo Feng greeted them one by one. He was close with quite a few human universe knights. Luo Feng, Bark Mirror Emperor has brought you lots of trouble after being revived, a winged man said with a smile. A soul type true treasure and a flying palace type true treasure. Perhaps they will attract lots of universe overlords of other races. You need to be careful in the future. Luo Feng said, it is indeed a bit tricky, but if those other races want to kill me, they need to decide whether they're powerful enough to do that or not. They'll stay away unless they want to be killed by me. The winged man held the wine glass. It's a wonder you're able to remain calm even under such circumstances. It's clear to see where Blade River gets his reputation. Stop making fun of me, bloody wing. Luo Feng smiled and shook his head. Although Luo Feng had met quite a few universe knights, most of them were only acquaintances. Only a few of them were his actual friends. Bloody Wing Knight was one of them. Bloody Wing Knight was known for his aloofness, but Luo Feng and Bloody Wing Knight enjoyed each other's company. To be honest, Bloody Wing Knight said, lowering his voice, the news revealed by Bark Mirror Emperor was indeed surprising. If I belonged to the other races, I would try to attack you. I understand. Luo Feng nodded. Look around. Bloody Wing Knight said. Luo Feng glanced around and saw more than 1,000 universe knights nearby, and there were more in the distance. Some of those he didn't know looked at him significantly, as if they had been talking about him. However, Luo Feng couldn't hear the others' conversations, just as the others couldn't hear his conversation with Bloody Wing Knight. I bet many Universe Knights are talking about you, Bloody Wing Knight said. Especially those you don't know. Many of them are jealous of you. Jealous. Luo Feng was surprised. There are two groups of beings on Pantheon Mountain, Bloody Wing Knight explained. One is here, and those who gather here are four-starred, five-starred, and six-starred great beings. They have the power of Elementary Universe Knights, Secondary Universe Knights, and Senior Universe Knights, respectively. The other place is where the seven-starred overlords and universe masters gather. Luo Feng nodded. Indeed, he didn't see any universe overlord around him. The most powerful ones gathering here are at my level, Senior Universe Knights, Bloody Wing Knight continued. Few Senior Universe Knights have a true treasure, whereas Secondary Universe Knights and Elementary Universe Knights don't have any. Usually, universe overlords have several true treasures. As for you, Luo Feng. You're indeed exceptional, but you still can't compare with Universe Overlords. Yet you have six true treasures. And two of them are Soul Type and Flying Palace Type. That's excessive even for Universe Overlords. How could the Universe Knights here not be jealous of you? Bloody Wing Knight smiled. Even I am a bit jealous. Luo Feng laughed. Of course, they're humans, so nobody will attack you, Bloody Wing Knight said. However, those Universe Knights who don't know you might try to exclude you out of jealousy. Exclude me. Luo Feng whispered. Because they're bitter, Bloody Wing Knight said. Then I'll convince them with my power, Luo Feng said. If I can rival Universe Overlords or even surpass Universe Overlords in the future, they'll have to respect me. Then you need to become a Universe Knight. Bloody Wing Knight smiled. Luo Feng gazed into the distance. The great beings from the Huge Axe Dojo, the Universe First Bank, the Universe Star River Bank, and the Universe Mercenary Alliance were all talking about this issue with their friends. At least six true treasures. Luo Feng didn't have the valuable or the treasure bestowed by Thunder Beast God when he was being hunted by Bark Mirror Emperor in Nine Remoteness Space. However, he already had three true treasures. In particular, that soul type true treasure. He was only a Sector Lord back then. How was he able to obtain a true treasure? It had to be given to him by a great being. Yes, Primal Chaos City Leader favors him too much. How could he just give a soul type true treasure to a Sector Lord? 
We universe knights don't even have ordinary true treasures, whereas he could get a soul type true treasure as only a sector lord. The more they talked about it, the more unfair they thought it was. Why? Why would a sector lord be qualified to have three true treasures? Especially a soul type true treasure. Lots of universe overlords within the human race didn't have soul type true treasures. Even if Primal Chaos City Leader had treasures, he shouldn't have just given them all away. It couldn't convince anyone. Although they were upset, none of them dared to talk about it with Primal Chaos City Leader. After all, he was the supreme leader of the Virtual Universe Company. They were not entitled to pick a fight with him. Time passed, and more and more Universe Knights gathered on Pantheon Mountain. The Supreme Council meeting was about to be held. Luo Fong. True Yen Knight walked towards Luo Fong. Luo Fong turned around. Teacher. True Yen Knight blocked the sound around them and said, It seems that lots of Universe Knights are upset about you obtaining three true treasures when you were only a Sector Lord, especially the Soul Type True Treasure. Many of them think that Primal Chaos City Leader has been unfair. Do you think you ought to go to Primal Chaos City Leader and tell him about this? Three true treasures when I was a Sector Lord. Unfair. Luo Fong didn't even know how to react. Primal Chaos City Leader had only given him one true treasure, Sher Wu Wing. Both Star Map and Tower Pearl had been given to him by Zwishan Ko. Especially the Soul Type True Treasure Tower Pearl, it was a vital component of Star Tower, the center of the sealed space. It had nothing to the human race. Well. Luo Fong hesitated. He didn't know what to say. Surely he couldn't say that it was given to him by Zwishan Ko. I'll think of something, Luo Fong said, shaking his head. It doesn't matter that they're talking about this. I can't expect to be close with all the great beings. Some of them are my friends, some of them are jealous, and some of them are my foes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter to you, True Yen Knight said. However, it will affect Primal Chaos City Leader's reputation. Even if Primal Chaos City Leader did bestow me a valuable, said Luo Fong, he gave me his own valuables instead of using the shared resources of the human race. He can do whatever he wants with them. Just let the others be jealous. Luo Fong smirked. Besides, Primal Chaos City Leader earned his status by his invincible power. Primal Chaos City Leader was invincible in the Primal Universe. With this advantage, no matter how biased people thought he was, nothing could sway his status. The issue was that Primal Chaos City Leader had been fair and just. Reckless Universe Masters didn't draw any complaints, even when they did something preposterous, but many great beings would be upset if they thought Primal Chaos City Leader was biased. More and more great beings gathered on Pantheon Mountain. Hong. All the Universe Knights looked up and saw two golden doors open gradually. There were stars on the doors, and the location of the meeting was in the floating palace on Pantheon Mountain known as Pantheon Sanctuary. A voice resounded down the mountain. Human great beings, gather. Who? All the Universe Knights on Pantheon Mountain disappeared and were transported to Pantheon Sanctuary. Hong. Long. Long. The doors closed. Inside Pantheon Sanctuary stood a gigantic round table with exquisite sculptures on it. Luo Fong could only see a portion of the table while the other part was blurry, as if it were surrounded by mist. Luo Fong sat on one of the thrones surrounding the round table. Ha! Huh. Luo Fong touched the arms of the chair and turned around. He saw the words Blade River etched on the chair. He looked around. So many Universe Knights. There were many Universe Knights sitting at the bottom, and they were all elementary Universe Knights. They had the smallest thrones, and each was around 6 feet wide. The thrones of secondary Universe Knights were around 30 feet wide. Those of senior Universe Knights were around 160 feet wide. Luo Fong sat on a 30 foot wide one. He was only able to see elementary Universe Knights, secondary Universe Knights, and senior Universe Knights. As for Universe Overlords and Universe Masters, he couldn't see them at all. Luo Fong struck the throne and exclaimed, The throne fits my godly body perfectly. His hands fit on the chair's arms precisely. Chapter 1026, The Original Star Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Densely surrounding the gigantic, round table, the numerous thrones were divided into five different classes, 6 feet wide, 30 feet wide, 160 feet wide, 650 feet wide, and 3,200 feet wide. All the great beings had thrones that fit their godly bodies perfectly. Among them, some universe overlords, like the Heaven Erosion Palace Lord, Geofong Knight, and Undying Knight, were seated on the 650 foot wide thrones. And at the top, on towering thrones way high up, many universe masters were seated at the highest tier where they looked down at all the other human great beings. They were super beings from the five forces of the human race. All of the towering, 3,200 foot wide thrones were made of dazzling gold except the two towering ones right in the middle, which were black and emanated an air of power. One of the two black thrones had a faint sculpture of a huge axe. Seated on this throne was a giant with thick fingers and messy, long hair that made him look like a barbarian. The black throne next to him was empty. No one occupied that seat. The other golden thrones were filled by towering figures. Primal Chaos City Leader, the barbaric giant said, looking to the golden throne on his left where Primal Chaos City Leader sat. He said with a smile, you are very biased towards Luo Fong. 
This appears to have brought about much discontent for many universe knights. They are discontented, and I am not surprised. A soul type true treasure. Primal Chaos City Leader, your disciple, Gue Yi, he also has power that matches a universe overlord, and he always stays by your side, yet he does not seem to own a soul type true treasure. He hasn't gotten one, and Luo Feng received one way back when he was merely a sector lord. I'm afraid Gue Yi Knight would somehow find it unfair. Discontented my foot, someone shouted. All at once, voices could be heard from the dozens of thrones that were enshrouded by a foggy mist. A soul-piercing cold permeated the air. To bestow them with valuables is showing them kindness. Not giving them any valuable is just a matter of due course. Want a true treasure? They can fight with each other. Primal Chaos City Leader can choose to bestow a soul-type true treasure to whomever he decides. No one else has the right to say anything more. If you ask me, I think we should mete out punishment to one as a deterrent to the rest. The one who rejoices the most ought to be put behind bars in the prison of the primal universe. That is too much. We should never subject ourselves to the discussions of the knights down there. They did not rob nor kill. They have done nothing to deserve being sent to prison. Everyone, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Seated on his golden throne, he flashed a smile. I may be extremely fond of this disciple, but the way I work is clear to everyone. I would never bestow upon Luo Feng a soul-type true treasure when he was a mere sector lord. The other universe masters, including the giant on the black throne, looked over. It was true. Primal Chaos City Leader was known for being a most impartial and authoritative leader. After all, to attain such a great existence as that of a universe master truly required one to have the patience to manage all matters and to plan and make arrangements for unexpected events of the race. There were many universe masters who simply could not be bothered with such matters. However, Primal Chaos City Leader had the patience. And he had always been much respected. When Luo Feng was a sector lord, he had three true treasures, said Primal Chaos City Leader. Only the Sher Wu wings were bestowed by me. The other two came from my disciples' miraculous encounters in which Lady Luck smiled upon him. Ah. He got the true treasures by himself. Those true treasures are not common, they are not easily obtainable, even if one meets with miracles. They are usually left behind by super beings on purpose, for their successors. We should not be bothered about which super beings. Anyway, it is a good thing when these true treasures fall into the hands of us humans. Ha ha ha. Correct. Regardless of who left the treasures behind for their successors, they belong to Luo Fong. No matter what, priority should always be given to the human. Thereafter, we can look into the roots of these true treasures. No wonder. I was not convinced when I heard that Primal Chaos City Leader bestowed three true treasures on Luo Fong. Primal Chaos City Leader is not one of such a character. Now I see why this situation made no sense to me. The words echoed from the dozens of thrones, everyone trying to be heard at once. The other knights are waiting, so let us commence the meeting, said the barbaric giant sitting on the black throne with a faint sculpture of an axe. He looked to his left and said to Primal Chaos City Leader, Primal Chaos City Leader, you should chair the meeting. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. On the thousands of thrones crowded together, Luo Feng conversed with the other universe knights next to him and soon discovered some basic information. The thrones in the Pantheon Sanctuary were divided into five classes. One would only be able to see the great beings who were a class higher than oneself. As for conversing, one could initiate a conversation with someone from the same class or someone from a lower class. Therefore, Luo Feng could only converse with four-star great beings, elementary universe knights, and five-star universe knights, secondary universe knights. As for elementary universe knights from the lower class, they were only able to converse with other elementary universe knights. Everyone, a kind and powerful voice announced. Pantheon Sanctuary fell into silence within an instant. The moment Luo Feng heard the voice, he knew it was his teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader. A Supreme Council meeting is convened every time a vital matter major enough to affect the entire race occurs, Primal Chaos City Leader's powerful voice resounded throughout Pantheon Sanctuary. No one dared interrupt. This time, the Supreme Council meeting is convened because, the original star is about to open. Almost all the Universe Knights registered shocked expressions. The original star is about to open, a few of them murmured. The original star is the center of our vast universe, the territory that billions of races fight for, continued Primal Chaos City Leader. This opening will not be an exception. If you want to obtain a true treasure, if you want to make a big contribution to your race, your opportunity is here. Here's some detailed information. Let's all take a look first. Directly in front of the densely populated thrones where many great beings were seated, a screen showed up. A set of detailed descriptions appeared on the screen. Luo Feng fixed his attention on the screen before him. The very center of the entire universe was none other than the land of origin, yet for countless years, except for the conscious mind's occasional arrival in the land of origin, no other great being was able to reach the land of origin in person. It was as though the place was imaginary, yet the original star truly existed. Altogether, there were 10,081 of them. According to the information handed out since the birth of the universe, these 10,081 original stars revolved around the land of origin. It was said to be located closest place to the land of origin in the entire universe. These 10,081 original stars were full of valuables but also fraught with danger. There were 10,081 paths leading to the original stars, yet those thousands of paths were usually closed. 
But, after a long period of time, the way would open once. Every time, the way to the original star would be kept open for 1,000 eras. After 1,000 eras, the star would shut. All great beings who had entered needed to make their way out before it shut, or else they would be killed. Utilizing a clone or another body was not good enough, many of these survival techniques had proven futile. If one did not leave the original star when the path was shut, death was inevitable. No exceptions whatsoever. This was the most mysterious place in the universe. Northwest other place could compare to it. Not only were there treasures to be found in those 10,081 stars, but true treasures also appeared frequently. Super beings of the billions of races on the universe had engaged in epic battles for such treasures. Each race fought to claim these valuables as their own. Every time a star opened, it meant there would be universe masters being killed from within. It was all very bloody and cruel, yet the potential for these treasures drove countless great beings crazy for the opportunity. Such was the nature of the original star, the place that was closest to the land of origin of the universe. Contribution, eh, muttered Luo Feng as he looked to the bottom for another set of descriptions. The valuables obtained from the original stars, if obtained alone, could be kept as one's own. If you had no need for the valuable you obtained, you could offer it to the race in exchange for a contribution. The way races grew more powerful was dependent on the contributions offered by numerous great beings. In this case, a contribution could be used to exchange for other valuables. Luo Feng looked through the sets of information. One was related to information on the original star, the other was related to the detailed elaboration of contributions. It was obvious that only newcomers like Luo Feng and Truyan Knight, who were attending the Supreme Council for the first time, would receive the second set of information containing detailed elaboration on contributions. This description read. Within the race, there are two kinds of humans. The first kind consists of those who enjoy the resources. The second kind is made up of those who contribute these resources. Ordinary humans and undying spirits are the ones who enjoy the resources. For instance, ordinary humans can enjoy peace and stability, while undying spirits who showed outstanding performance can receive the guidance and advice of supreme beings, or even have valuables bestowed upon them. They are the ones who enjoy the resources. Once one crosses over to become a universe great being, they are admitted to the supreme council. That would mean, you have become a core member of the human race. The human race requires the contribution of true great beings like yourself. Only through your contributions can there be billions of humans, generations of geniuses and immeasurable amounts of resources to use. All of you risk your lives to fight for valuable resources to offer your race. All of these will be officially recorded as contributions. You can make use of these contributions in exchange for all the valuable resources you need. Blade River Emperor Luo Feng, when you join the Supreme Council, you abandoned your previous status as a talent and will now be entitled to a generous quota of resources. From this moment on, you are one of the supreme beings among us humans. You are perfectly capable enough to contribute greatly to our human race and can make use of your contributions to exchange for the resources and valuables you need. Contributions. Luo Feng said softly. Of course, he thought. In everyone in a race of beings wanted only to receive benefits, if everyone expected the race to bestow resources to them, then it would be contributing. Luo Feng understood now. It was the equivalent of a tribal community. The men were expected to head out and hunt for food while the women would plant crops for harvesting, and the children would enjoy the fruits of the adults' labor. Within a race, the supreme beings contributed so that the talents, the weaker ones, and the ordinary humans, could enjoy the resources. Only after you cross over to become one of the universe great beings can you start to contribute to the race. Realized Luo Feng. Very well, Luo Feng said softly. This is quite good, actually, as it is meaningless to always be taking advantage. The original star. His eyes were sparkling. The universe is simply amazing. Prior to this, I was unaware of such a place. 10,081 original stars. The mysterious place that is closest to the land of origin of the universe. While all the supreme beings of the human race at the Supreme Council were still in shock, Primal Chaos City Leader finally spoke again. The opening of the original star is still a whole ten years away, he said. In the coming decade, everyone should start preparing. For instance, you could form small teams with a few other great beings, where your skills complement one another. Or you could borrow valuables from great beings who are unwilling to enter the original star. All preparations must be done within the decade. Ten years from now, we humans shall enter the original star. Chapter 1027, Great Beings Come Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio In ten years, us humans will enter the original star. The Supreme Council meeting ended after the calm voice from Primal Chaos City Leader. Hong. Long. Long. The door of Pantheon Sanctuary opened, and almost all the Universe Knights stood up. So soon. Luo Feng and True Yen Knight also stood along with the others. The Universe Knights all walked to the golden door of the Sanctuary, chatting and laughing. They stepped through the door and disappeared. What are you guys waiting for? Bloody Wing Knight walked towards them. How short the meeting was. Luo Feng smiled. Bloody Wing Knight explained, I was also surprised at that the first time I attended the Supreme Council meeting. However, I grew to understand later that it takes a long time for an issue to come up that actually affects us humans. Besides, more than half of the Supreme Council meetings involve no discussions, and only Universe Masters need to know. Only those that require voting take a long time. 
After all, those superior universe masters don't have time to elaborate on the issue for us. Luo Feng nodded. It was indeed efficient. Primal Chaos City Leader hadn't talked much. Instead, he had only mentioned the original star. Then the screen showed up in front of the Universe Knights, which gave a detailed description. Let's go, Bloody Wing Knight said. Okay. Luo Feng, True Yen Knight, and Bloody Wing Knight stepped into the Golden Door side by side. Nearby, some Universe Knights were talking quietly. Look, it's Blade River Emperor. Rumor has it that Blade River Emperor has at least six true treasures. Though he was able to kill Bark Mirror Emperor and thus is ranked among the exceptional undying fighters, he is, at most, a secondary Universe Knight power-wise. He'll become the perfect target for supreme beings of other races on the original star. Yes. He has at least six true treasures, and two of them are of the Soul type and the Flying Palace type. He'd just be a moving treasury on the original star. There are always supreme beings from billions of races on the original stars. The Universe Masters of other races will probably attack Blade River Emperor on sight. Universe Overlords and Universe Masters of other races will definitely attack him. What are you thinking? The weaker Universe Knights never choose to go when the original stars are open. Blade River Emperor is not stupid. Those other races can't do anything about him as long as he doesn't go. They also stepped into the Golden Door and disappeared. On the mountainside of Thunder Island. Luo Feng, Bloody Wing Knight, and True Yen Knight sat together and talking about the original star. To be precise, it was Bloody Wing Knight who did the talking while Luo Feng and True Yen Knight listened to him carefully. There are 10,081 original stars, and each of them is full of valuables, Bloody Knight said. Many superpowers in the universe gather there often. Those treasures or ordinary true treasures won't result in any significant fighting, whereas there will surely be horrifying battles for some precious true treasures, like those of the Flying Palace type, Domain type, and Soul type, or even Senior True Treasures or Top Tier True Treasures. The more precious the true treasures are, the more attention will be drawn, and Universe Masters will fight to the death for them. Every time an original star opens, Universe Masters get killed. Luo Feng couldn't help but interject. Many Universe Masters have survival techniques like clone techniques. Those without clone techniques won't go to the original stars in the first place, right? This is where you're wrong. Bloody Wing Knight shook his head. There are only a few Universe Masters. A race is qualified to be a powerful race as long as there's one Universe Master among them. Even we humans, one of the pinnacle races, count just a few Universe Masters among our ranks. Few Universe Masters fear death. Although they're careful, the opening of original stars is a great chance for them to get top-tier true treasures, and they'll strive not to miss such an opportunity. If they can get some top-tier true treasures and even pinnacle true treasures, they can roam the universe with few enemies. Luo Feng nodded. He understood how useful true treasures were. For instance, Thousand Treasures River gave Primal Chaos City Leader significant power, and he had been able to easily overpower Master of Sky Wolf, even with Sky Wolf Palace. The Purple Knight was one of the 72 Deified Generals, and he was much stronger than candidate Deified Generals like Pei Feng Knight and Geo Feng Knight. He actually had the power of a Universe Master. Yet Master of Sky Wolf had been able to easily suppress him with his Sky Wolf Palace. I've been there once, and I almost got killed, said Bloody Wing Knight. But just when Bloody Wing Knight was describing his experience on the original star, a shadow flew toward them. Luo Feng. Luo Feng turned around. Nine Blade Knight. He thought. Luo Feng was dazed. After becoming Undying, many Universe Knights had traveled to congratulate him, but Nine Blade River hadn't been one of them. Luo Feng knew that he was supposed to be beneath him, which was probably why Nine Blade River was reluctant to do so. His pride was too great. Nine Blade Knight, Luo Feng greeted him, smiling. Luo Feng. Nine Blade River also had a warm smile on his face. He glanced at True Yen Knight and Bloody Wing Knight beside him and added, And I see you two are also here. Ha ha ha. Nine Blade. Are you here to borrow a true treasure? Bloody Wing Knight said. Nine Blade Knight froze a bit. Indeed, he was here to borrow a true treasure. After all, among the humans, only senior Universe Knights or Universe Overlords had true treasures. However, these supreme beings would normally go to the original stars. Few who had true treasures chose not to go. By all accounts, it was likely that Luo Feng would choose not to go, despite the fact that had at least six true treasures. There are no grudges between Luo Feng and me, he thought. Instead, we've known each other for a long time. I can easily become friends with him if I show him some respect. Besides, if I have a true treasure, I have a much higher chance of getting valuables on the original star. I just need to show some respect. Thus, after some consideration, Nine Blade Knight had made the decision to come to Luo Feng. Power was the only thing that mattered on the path to becoming a great being. Other great beings would respect you only if you were strong. Luo Feng, I'm indeed here to borrow a true treasure from you, admitted Nine Blade Knight. I'm good at close combat, so I want to borrow your true treasure armor. He knew that it was impossible for him to borrow the soul type true treasure. Borrow a true treasure. Luo Feng was dazed. I realize it might sound a bit ridiculous. Nine Blade Knight smiled. I'll return you the armor the moment I leave the original star, and I'll give you ten treasures to show my gratitude. We can ask the virtual universe to verify the lending and sign a contract. If I don't return it to you, it would be as good as betraying my race. 
Luo Feng hesitated a bit. Would it be a bit disgraceful if he just said no? Nine Blade Knight, Luo Feng said. I. I'm sorry, but. Nine Blade Knight immediately understood that he had failed, but he persisted. Luo Feng, the original star will be open for 1,000 eras, and I can get out of there at any time. Once I get a valuable, I'll leave immediately. I might just stay there for hundreds of, if not 1,000 years. It's not that I don't want to lend it to you, Luo Feng said, but I actually plan to go to the original star myself. Nine Blade Knight didn't know what to say. Since Luo Feng wanted to go to the original star himself, he surely wanted to be as powerful as possible. Haha. <laughs> well then. Bloody Wing Knight laughed. Nine Blade, I was actually here to borrow a true treasure from Luo Feng as well, but I didn't expect you to have the same idea. Now that I know Luo Feng wants to go to the original star, however, I needn't ask any more. I must thank you, Nine Blade. Nine Blade Knight smiled as well. He thanked Bloody Wing Knight secretly, his words had eased the awkwardness of the situation. Nine Blade Knight left soon, but after only a short while, another great being arrived to borrow true treasures. Second brother, Luo Feng greeted him. A bold man in a fiery cape flew towards him. It was Kuei Knight. He had been with Primal Chaos City leader until now. Luo Feng, I think you've already figured out why I'm here. Kuei Knight stepped on the ground and looked at Luo Feng. I'm here because I want to borrow that soul-type true treasure from you. I speculate that you're not going to the original star, and that's why I'm here. After getting out of the original star, I'll return the soul type true treasure immediately and compensate you with three true treasures. Three true treasures. Luo Feng was shocked. Many universe overlords didn't have that many true treasures. Pei Feng Knight, for instance, only had four. Guei Knight spent a lot of time around Primal Chaos City Leader, perhaps that was how he got more true treasures. Still, three true treasures was an exceedingly generous offer. Second brother, Luo Feng said. Your offer is indeed tempting, but the thing is, I want to go to the original star myself. Luo Feng, Gui E Knight said, startled, you also want to go. Luo Feng nodded. Yes. Don't you know how dangerous it is there? Gui E Knight said. Ordinary universe knights are unlikely to attain any true treasures. Even if you were a universe overlord, you wouldn't be able to get three true treasures if you didn't have enough to protect yourself. Luo Feng understood his logic. Gui E Knight was implying that it was a better deal for him to get three true treasures for lending him one soul type true treasure, since even many universe overlords weren't able to get three ordinary true treasures. Luo Feng felt conflicted. Second brother, he thought, you don't know that my soul type true treasure is Tower Pearl and that it already recognizes me as its master. Universe Knights would certainly be killed if they tried to merge it with their souls. I'd still like to take my chances there, Luo Feng said. Okay, Gui E Knight said. He nodded and smiled. Then I'll leave first. Looks like I'll need to find another way to borrow true treasures. Chapter 1028, Going to the Yenshin Race. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Luo Feng watched the departing Gui E Knight and felt a little regret. He simply could not comply this time, and while things might not seem any different on the outside, there was bound to be a knot formed in their hearts. What a pity, Luo Feng said quietly. My soul type true treasure, Tower Pearl, is one of the treasures from the Star Tower and already recognizes me as its master. Universe Knights who try to merge with it will die. If it was an ordinary soul type true treasure, temporarily loaning it to Gui E Knight wouldn't be a big deal. Anyway, the original star opens for 1,000 eras. I can also wait for a few hundred eras. My power is bound to get much stronger. Who knows? I might even become a universe knight. Luo Feng. Bloody Wing Knight walked over. I think, you should lend it to Gui E Knight. Gui E Knight is of a different status. It is not easy for him to make such a request. Haha. <laughs> that goes without saying. Luo Feng laughed and shook his head. It wasn't because he did not want to him lend the treasure. He couldn't. It's up to you, Bloody Wing Knight said good-naturedly. You are quite ambitious. Well, I would like to give it a shot, Luo Feng replied. Indeed, Luo Feng wanted to experience what it was like on the mysterious original star. But he knew his power still did not make the grade. Time flew by, and many universe knights approached Luo Feng, wanting to borrow his true treasures. Naturally, most great beings would think that Luo Feng would not want to enter the original star. Yet, they all were met with rejection. Of those who approached Luo Feng, some were friends, some were close acquaintances, and others were complete strangers. News of how the earliest batch of Universe Knights was rejected when they went to Luo Feng to borrow his true treasures spread fast. Almost all the Universe Knights came to learn of it. Blade River Emperor Luo Feng actually wanted to venture into the original star, and anyone who wanted to borrow his true treasures could banish all thoughts of it. Conversations on the topic were common. Luo Feng wants to enter the original star. He is merely an undying fighter. Although he is said to be impressive, he is still just a secondary Universe Knight. Yet he owns so many true treasures. In the original star, he will be a walking treasury. Any supreme beings from the other races will attack him as soon as they meet him. Isn't he courting his doom? If he wants to die, what do you care? 
Going into the original star at that level is purely suicidal. Let's see what his end shall be when he enters the original star. It is okay for him to die. But if he dies, the true treasures will land in the hands of the other races. That will be a loss for our entire race, a most egregious sin. Fret not. He will not die so easily. Primal Chaos City Leader values him a lot. He will help him. Who knows? Primal Chaos City Leader may even arrange for two other universe overlords to form a team with him. There was indeed quite a crowd of universe knights who either found Luo Feng's very presence an eyesore or were jealous of him. These universe knights were always fighting hard to obtain valuables to offer their race so they could earn contributions in exchange for valuables and resources they needed for themselves. Yet, as a sector lord, Luo Feng could obtain soul-type true treasures. Of course, this would cause the other universe knights to develop a great deal of resentment, discontent, and even hostility toward him. Many universe knights were just waiting to watch Luo Feng make a fool of himself. He had to be kidding. What kind of a place was the original star? It was a realm where universe masters and universe overlords ran rampant, where senior universe knights were commonly seen, and even senior universe knights would usually form teams to survive there. The power of any team, regardless of size, could not be belittled, so how could Luo Feng, who was only undying, overcome such odds? Even if he was blessed with a special life form, even if he was blessed with special techniques or even the most powerful valuables, he did not stand a chance. He was undying, which meant his fate was predetermined, and he could never create miracles on that original star. In the virtual universe, on the mountainside of Thunder Island, Disciple and teacher, Luo Feng, and True Yen Knight, met up. I will not be entering that original star, said True Yen Knight. My powers are far from adequate. There was a note of bitterness in his eyes. I would really love to give it a shot, but I know where I stand Luo Feng, you are my disciple, so let me give you some advice. Your powers are impressive enough, but there is no rush to enter the original star. Moreover, because of your eagerness, you may have estranged your relationship with two universe overlords. Luo Feng could only laugh. Yes, there were two universe overlords who wanted to borrow his true treasures. One was Gui Yi Knight, and the other was Bai Feng Knight. Both had wanted to borrow his soul-type true treasure, but he was unable to accede to their requests, and he could not explain why. You are certainly my disciple, said True Yen Knight. You even share the same temperament as me. True Yen Knight laughed while shaking his head. However, when you enter the original star, you must be careful. Be amply prepared. Judging from the information we have gathered so far, it is really very dangerous in there. Luo Feng nodded. Senior Universe Knights getting killed was common. In fact, it was frequently seen. Universe overlords getting killed was common enough. There were quite a handful of universe overlord deaths. Universe masters getting killed. That was possible, too. Teacher, I am preparing, Luo Feng said. Hmm, said True Yen Knight. You did not lend the true treasures to anyone, so now, many universe knights of the human race are waiting to see you make a joke of yourself. Even your friends are not quite convinced that you are capable of such an unlikely achievement. But I am your teacher. I have watched you grow along the way. I believe in you. Luo Feng grinned. Remember, do not give them the chance to mock you, True Yen Knight said. Yes, teacher, Luo Feng said, nodding. A moment later, Luo Feng watched the departing True Yen Knight. I'm afraid that, other than teacher, not many believe that I can accomplish this miraculous task, Luo Feng said softly. Even I am not so confident, given my current power. If I were to run into a universe overlord, I would still need to avoid him. Trying to snatch food from a tiger's mouth is reckless, trying to vie for those true treasures is the same. Too difficult. Force armor. Don't disappoint me. Luo Feng was sure of his power. With his power, he could run rampant anywhere in the universe. Yet, in that original star, where supreme beings from billions of races gathered, that was where the truly bloody fights occurred. Among all the universe masters, universe overlords, and senior universe knights in their own small teams, he was indeed ranked at the bottom. He could only depend on. Force armor. The universe supreme master, sitting mountain guest, left his second disciple two true treasures. One was the Yan Shen Halberd, and the other was the original soul. For his third disciple, Luo Feng, he also left two true treasures. One was the Star Tower, the other was the Force Armor. The Star Tower had met with some accidents while in the making, bringing about an explosive boost in its power, allowing it to reach the level of a supreme true treasure. Force Armor, Yan Shen Halberd, and Original Soul, they were all true treasures that were of the same standard. Every one of them was unimaginably precious. Sitting Mountain Guest had paid an immeasurable amount for these. They did not pale in comparison to Primal Chaos City Leader's Thousand Treasures River. However, Force Armor had been specially refined by Sitting Mountain Guest for his prospective third disciple, and it was designed and created according to his plan so that it would be customized to a high degree of compatibility with Luo Feng when he used it. The star map and Sherwu wings are just ordinary true treasures, Luo Feng thought. Universe Masters are not concerned with them, as they do not serve much use. Force Armor, however, though a measure below the Star Tower, which is one of the supreme true treasures of the universe, still qualifies as one of the top-tier true treasures and pinnacle true treasures. It is much stronger than the Sherwu wings. The might of Force Armor must be quite extraordinary. Yanshin race lived in a deserted land far away from the human domain. It was an independent race that occupied a large region of the universe. 1. 
On a desolate planet, vivid green light rays filled the surroundings. A hideous being of another undying race and a youth clad in golden armor appeared on this desolate planet. Not bad, said the youth in the golden armor said, flashing a smile after one look at the hideous being. The hideous looking being groveled in veneration repeatedly. According to the many different races under my command, and the many tokens and locations they have left in this universe, right here, is the area closest to the Yenshin race. With a wave, Luo Feng summoned the hideous looking being into his world ring. Setting off from here to where the Yenshin race is, the distance is still incredibly far. Fortunately, I have the ancient boat galaxy. Luo Feng flipped his hand, and an ancient boat the size of a date kernel appeared on his palm. Larger, larger, larger. Luo Feng waved his hand. The ancient boat flew up into the air in an instant. At the same time, Luo Feng exerted his godly power with a gurgle. His godly power prompted a change as the ancient boat quickly grew larger while suspended in the air. In the blink of an eye, it became as big as the planet Luo Feng was on. Luo Feng laughed. Then, with a single step, he boarded the ancient boat. He stood on the deck, looking at the vast starry sky. A top-tier treasure such as a flying palace type is so much more powerful than a universe planet ship. Luo Feng exerted his godly power and shrank the ancient boat until it was about 3,200 feet long. After all, to keep the ancient boat at such an enormous size would have required him to use up a lot of his godly power. Take off. Luo Feng commanded using his mind. So. The ancient boat accelerated sharply, while sweeping away, it left a silver flare across the starry sky. Almost immediately, it reached the threshold of the speed of light. Thereafter, it disappeared from the sky and entered the dark universe. Within the dark universe, the ancient boat galaxy was still accelerating at a crazy rate. Ten times the speed of light. Twenty times the speed of light. Thirty times the speed of light. One hundred times the speed of light. Two hundred times the speed of light. Three hundred times the speed of light. Ha ha ha. Marvelous, marvelous. Standing before the handrails on the ship's deck, Luo Feng held onto the railing and looked out. The prow of the ancient boat galaxy had naturally formed a shield that protected the ship within it. Compared to those biological planet ships and mechanical planet ships, this is much faster. Luo Feng constantly increased the speed of the ancient boat galaxy. Finally, at almost 800 times the speed of light, the speed ceased to increase. This was Luo Feng's limit, not the limit of the ancient boat galaxy. If Luo Feng had set his godly power ablaze, he would have increased the speed even more. And if Luo Feng's law comprehension had been better, he would have been able to increase the speed to a superior level. Enough, Luo Feng said to himself. I think it should take around two months or more of flying in the dark universe to reach the Yenshin secret region. The Yenshin race lived in a large region of the universe, and because this region was occupied and ruled by the Yenshin race, some universe great beings often referred to it as the Yenshin secret region. Riding the ancient boat galaxy, Luo Feng traversed the dark universe. After close to three months, the ancient boat galaxy finally reduced its speed and left the dark universe. In the vast, empty sky, Luo Feng stood on the deck of the ancient boat galaxy, gripping the rail as he looked out. I have reached the Yenshin secret region. Chapter 1029, Flame Emperor Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Flame Emperor led the Flame God race out of the human race and found a remote territory far away from the human territory to live and breed. After many eons, Flame God race became much stronger, and together with Flame Emperor's invincible power, nobody dared to mess with the Flame God race. The territories of Flame God race and the human race were extremely distant from each other, but the Flame God race would often enter the outer domain battlefield, joining other groups to fight against the humans. I obtained some pieces of armors before, and they're all in the garbage dump after the war. Luo Feng stood on the deck of Ancient Boat Galaxy and gazed out into space. The Flame God race has already detached from the human race, but they still cooperate with the Bug race, the Demon race, and Automaton race to fight the humans. It seems there's a feud between them and the human race. Technically, the Flame God race had belonged to the humans before. Now that they had left the human race, there was no need for them to continue the fight. However, the information Luo Feng had obtained in the virtual universe, along with the armor pieces he had found in the dump pile, indicated that the Flame God race was hostile toward the human race. Flame Emperor is a universe master cultivated by Masters Wishan Ko, thought Luo Feng, and he has two powerful true treasures, Flame God Halberd and Original Soul. He's definitely much more powerful than Master of Sky Wolf. However, even if he exited the human race, he didn't dare to go against Masters Wishan Ko. So. Luo Feng waved his hands, and Ancient Boat Galaxy immediately shrank to the size of a date pit and fell into his palm. I'll go and see the second brother of mine. Luo Feng teleported himself toward the lair of the Flame God race. The Flame God race lived on three vast continents. The smallest of the three had a diameter of over one light year, and the largest one had a diameter of more than three light years. The three of them surrounded each other. In the central space of the lands floated towering palaces, and there were endless fires around the palaces, burning black, purple, white, green and blue. Undying warriors were walking in the hallway and on the square. Sometimes, they would look to the tallest main palace at the center with veneration. 
All the warriors of the flame god race were tall, robust, and aggressive looking. The shorter ones were 25 feet tall, while the taller ones were over 30 feet tall. There were scales covering their skins, and each had a single horn between set between their eyebrows. Their hands and feet looked like those of earthlings but thicker and covered in scales. Inside the main palace, a towering being sat on the throne. It was almost 6,000 miles tall, and the air exhaled from its nose burned the space around him. His black horn seemed to pierce the sky, and he was covered in black scales. He tapped on the handrail and gazed out into space. He saw the shadow of Luo Fong flying toward him in the distance. Such a strong force. There's a guest in the secret region of my flame god race, the towering figure whispered. He was a universe master. Ordinary universe knights were already able to sense faraway space ripples, but universe masters who were able to completely control space and time were able to detect all the space ripples within tens of millions of light years around him. As long as he wanted, space and time were like his horns that could spread. Let's see who the guest is. The towering being looked afar and saw through everything blocking his sight. A black-haired young man was flying toward him. Hong. Huh. The force of the towering being on the throne trembled, shaking the surrounding space. Third brother. The towering being murmured. I knew you'd come here after becoming Undying. Taking True Yen as your teacher and Primal Chaos City Leader as your teacher. Third brother, why are you so connected to the human race? Have you forgotten that your homeland, Earth, was robbed by the human race? Don't you know that they treat you well because they want you to sacrifice for them? He shook his head. I'm sorry. I won't allow a true treasure like Force Armor to fall into human hands. The towering being smiled. Without Masters Washan Ko's order, you will never get the Force Armor. Masters Washan Ko. Flame God felt intimidated even mentioning that name. The more powerful he got, the more he realized how remarkable Zwishan Ku was. Zwishan Ku had given Flame Emperor the original soul, the Flame God Halberd, and a Force Armor. He left Force Armor in Flame Emperor's place only temporarily. After becoming a Universe Master with three super true treasures, there was almost no one whom he needed to be afraid of. He wasn't afraid of Primal Chaos City Leader or Meng Tuo Master. Although the pinnacle beings among the Universe Masters were able to suppress him, they couldn't kill him. The only ones who were capable of killing him were the Universe Supreme Masters. All the Universe Supreme Masters were incredibly powerful. They were able to change laws and completely control a certain area. However, the Universe Law suppressed them from being too powerful, and that was why they could only manifest power slightly stronger than Primal Chaos City Leader and Meng Tuo Master. That gigantic axe founder didn't dare anger me because of his relationship with the human race, muttered Flame Emperor. However, Masters Wishan Ku has all sorts of skills, and everyone who messed with him ended up being crushed. Flame Emperor's eyes gleamed coldly. Besides, he's always been alone, and he knows all my trump cards. If we fight, I'll... Zwishaku was the only one in the universe that Flame Emperor feared. Besides, even I can't control the Force Armor completely. Flame Emperor stroked his arms, and a transparent suit of armor appeared on top of his scales. There were intricate engravings constantly changing on it. Zwishanku was the best at creating true treasures. The Force Armor was created for my third brother, and thus all the other great beings aren't able to make it recognize them as their owners. Even though I'm able to do that, I can only wield a part of its power. Like Tower Pearl. Anyone who tried would die. Although the Force Armor was not that extreme, the other great beings wouldn't utilize it at all. Even Flame Emperor was only able to partially utilize it. Although I'm only able to wield a portion of its power, it's still better than lots of top-tier true treasures. Flame Emperor caressed the transparent armor and looked at the shadow in the distance. He smiled and whispered, Third brother, if you can arrive here and get to see me, I'll follow the order from Zwishan Ku and hand it to you. However, the prerequisite is for you to see me, or you at least need to arrive at the dwelling place of Flame God Race. As long as Luo Feng didn't arrive, didn't get the chance to tell the undying fighters within Flame God race of his intentions, then Flame Emperor could pretend to know nothing. However, if Luo Feng couldn't even make it to the land of the Flame God race to see the seniors within the Flame God race, Flame Emperor could pretend not to know about it. He, he. You want the Force Armor now? Wait until you become a Universe Knight. Your power is not even strong enough to get to the land of Flame God race. Flame Emperor abruptly stood up, left his throne room, and walked outside of the palace. Flame Emperor knew Zwishanka's personality, as everything he did could be tolerated by Zwishanko. Seal. Flame Emperor muttered. The space ripples hundreds of light years around his center became completely sealed. The space coordinates of the Flame God race are already concealed, but I'll add some further security to that. Even if you ask Primal Chaos City Leader to help you crack it, it'll take some time. Flame Emperor smiled and flew into the dark universe at light speed. So. 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 Luo Feng teleported himself continuously as he approached the land of the Flame God race. Almost there. Luo Feng thought. Ha. Huh. Luo Feng said, suddenly stopping to look at the space in front of him. Star fragments floated before him. The space ripples here are completely locked. Why? Within the five-color Aurora Lake, great beings are unable to teleport themselves, thought Luo Feng, and teleportation is only allowed in certain areas on Bauhinia Island. 
In some of the vital places of human territory, like the primal region, teleportation is also forbidden. Does this apply to flame god race also? Universe masters were able to sculpt law engravings on some gigantic special buildings and drove them with specific crystals like flame god origin crystals, by which they were able to maintain the effect of space seal. They could also accomplish that by using some true treasures. But if he did that, beings of flame god race also couldn't teleport themselves. Luo Feng frowned. Did my second brother seal the space deliberately? Wait. Luo Feng sensed something going on behind him. He waved his wings, and a beam of light flashed behind him and reached the dark universe at light speed. Luo Feng flew in the dark universe and arrived at the land of flame god race. At least, he thought he did. Where are the coordinates? Where are the coordinates of the lands of flame god race? Luo Feng held the locator on his left hand. The coordinates on the screen kept changing, and the coordinates at the center completely disappeared. Luo Feng was stupefied. This was even more brilliant than the way Hu Yanbo had hidden the coordinates in the dark universe. You are simply devious. Luo Feng whispered. You hid the coordinates in the dark universe and sealed the space. Which means I can only fly there. Hundreds of light years. Even if I fly there at light speed, it'll take me hundreds of years to arrive. Luo Feng now realized that his second brother Flame Emperor had done this on purpose. He was clearly reluctant to return the Force Armor. However, although he hid the universe coordinates and sealed the space, he didn't come here to attack me, Luo Feng thought, it seems that he doesn't dare go against Wushan Ku directly. Chapter 1030, The Impenetrable Net Between Heaven and Earth Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio The Yenshin Secret Region, upon comparison, was a far cry from the Ancestral God Secret Region in regards to its level of danger. However, given the power he possessed, the Yenshin Secret Region alone was not a threat to him in any way. A biological planet ship was heading toward the Yenshin Secret Region at sublight speed. Second Brother Luo Feng sat in the control room, holding a wine glass. Up until today, Big Brother Pu Ti does not own a single real top-tier true treasure. You already have two. At the same time, you have been taking my force armor under your possession for as long as billions of years. This top-tier true treasure is certainly difficult to part with. Your reluctance to let go of it is completely understandable. However, being overly greedy is not good. Luo Feng tilted his head and emptied his wine glass. Then he poured himself another glass in a carefree manner. The original star stays open for 1000 eras. Even if I were to ride a planet ship and cruise slowly, it would only take a couple hundred years to reach your Yanshan race's home. A couple of hundred years is merely the time taken for a meditation session. Luo Feng was not the least bit anxious. Yanshan race had three vacant palaces surrounded by land. In the main palace, Flame Emperor's towering figure was looking far out into space, and through the layers of space that obstructed his view, he caught sight of that dark purple biological planet ship. He could even see Luo Feng drinking his wine in a casual manner inside the planet ship. How unbelievable. He does not know when to back off. Flame Emperor shook his head. Space was sealed, and the coordinates of the Dark Universe were hidden. Yet you simply do not know how to stay away. Dear Third Brother, do you really think that your second brother would not be able to stop you if I set my mind to it? The original plan was not to offend anyone, but you were so persistent in coming here for your Force Armor. Don't blame me, then. A trace of hostility swept across Flame Emperor's face. Within the territory of the Nine Territory Alliance, there was a life planet that seemed ordinary, but this was where humans of the Mudfrog race resided. Thousands of humans of the Mudfrog race were scattered all over this planet. In one of these communities, following the command given by a burly human of the Mudfrog race, a group of Mudfrog race took a test one after another. Individuals will take the test one by one in order, said the burly human. The best performer will be able to receive one-to-one -one guidance from Third Elder. Upon receiving Third Elder's guidance, one can almost be considered to have become a great being and will be able to fly. From afar, Third Elder stood with his wooden club, smiling as he oversaw everything. His single green eye of his was filled with joy. He relished the peaceful life and living together with the lowest class of this race. When he was still a weak nobody, he used to live in a simple and defenseless community like this. Ha! Huh. Third Elder gripped his wooden club and frowned. That Blade River Emperor, Luo Feng, who is a human, yet compared to a unique life form with his ability to bend heaven's will, has actually appeared within the territory of Yenshin race. And to have so accurately located our coordinates. Third Elder's single green eye showed a hint of surprise. Unquestionably, this news was released by the Yenshin race. Flame Emperor is a universe master. If Blade River Emperor enters his territory, will he stand back and do nothing? It is also fair to say that since Flame Emperor is one of the top-tier beings among the Universe Masters, this simply may not be worth his attention. Moreover, I heard that Flame Emperor used to be from the human race. This might be part of his concerns. Blade River Emperor, Luo Feng. He owns at least six true treasures. News has spread. Those who dared approach him were Universe Lords who were supremely confident. Senior Universe Knights are afraid and thus do not deserve the right to fight. Third Elder oversaw the ongoing test. He loved life in a lowly community, and only he could understand that he was the core of the Mudfrog race, their true pillar of support. 
He was the greatest being of the mudfrog race, and when it came to enhancing one's power, he was at the top of the list. Soul type true treasure, he muttered to himself. I must obtain that. Still grasping his scepter, Third Elder remained unmoving on the same spot. His true form, however, had left the planet, leaving behind a soulless human form. As a universe overlord, he only needed an energy form to contain his consciousness. Maintaining his power to meet the level of a sector lord was child's play to him. Amid one of the universe's secret regions, a seemingly ordinary mountain suspended in the air suddenly opened nine gigantic eyes, these nine eyes were filled with excitement. Ha ha ha. Blade River Emperor Luo Feng has actually deviated from the human race. A soul type true treasure often seen with fighters like the bug soldiers, and every one of them are all masters of the soul type. If I have a soul type true treasure always on hand, nothing can go wrong. Ha ha. This soul type true treasure is mine. Following this, the mountain vanished in the blink of an eye. The moment some supreme beings of the human race got wind of this news, there were explosive reactions within minutes. Why did Luo Feng go to the territory of the Yenshin race? Is he tired of living? Initially, I thought he would die in the original star. But now, it seems he finds the wait to be too long, so he headed straight into the enemy's den. News that spread like wildfire. It started in the open-air square of the World of Glory in the Ancestral God School, which was known to be a top-tier news distribution center. It was where heirs of superpowers of the universe gathered, so it was only a matter of time before everyone got wind of this news. Although he was unable to go to Bauhinia Island, and also could not enter the World of Glory, Bark Mirror Emperor, too, heard the news that day. Ha ha. Blade River, he gloated. Ah, Blade River. I have always worried about how you hit among the human race, refusing to come out. There were numerous heirs in the Northern Territory Alliance, and quite a number of them were close to him. Now, you have actually come out, said Bark Mirror Emperor. And you even made it to the territory of the Yenshin race. Now that the original star is about to open, there are many universe overlords finding among themselves with a lack of true treasures, or finding that their true treasures are lacking in power. Yet you choose to make a sudden appearance here in the territory of the Yenshin race. You are courting your own doom, and it is not my fault. Bark Mirror Emperor laughed heartily. This was the happiest moment for him since his resurrection from turning back time. Supreme beings from various races in the universe had their circles of close friends, they all heard the news and came over to the territory of the Yenshin race in no time. The Yenshin race had three vacant palaces surrounded by land. In the main palace, a blurry red light appeared. A lone figure walked through while calling out in a mildly respectful tone, Flame Emperor. Coming. The towering figure at the palace entrance was staring into space. He smiled as he said, Ba Fong, the reason I called you here is because of Blade River Emperor Luo Fong. Ba Fong Knight was one of the universe overlords of the Nine Territory Alliance. The shape of his body resembled a bamboo pole while his skull was squarish. With a furry face and three eyes positioned vertically in a straight line, the moment he had his eye on someone, the other party would fall into a state of illusion. Ba Fong might have had powers that were considered average when compared to universe overlords at the same level, but when pitted against weaklings, he was excellent. Blade River Emperor Luo Fong. Ba Fong Knight seemed a little uncertain. I just heard some news. Apparently, Blade River Emperor Luo Fong has appeared here in your territory, Flame Emperor. Yes, Flame Emperor nodded. Take a look. Flame Emperor pointed into the empty space. In that split second, ripples formed within the surface, and a scene that was hundreds of light years away appeared right before him. It was a biological planet ship in flight. This is Blade River Emperor Luo Feng's planet ship, Flame Emperor said with a chuckle. What do you mean? Ba Feng Knight said, confused. As you know, I was originally from the human race, said Flame Emperor. Dealing with this fellow. I do not want to do it myself. So you shall do it. I understand, Ba Feng said, nodding repeatedly. Ba Feng Knight had lived a long life. He knew about the event years ago when Flame Emperor had betrayed his own human race. That event had been explosive news in the universe during that era. Do not worry, Flame Emperor, Ba Feng Knight said with confidence. Though he has the powers of a secondary universe knight, Luo Feng is merely an undying knight. When face to face with me, he stands no chance. Even a senior universe knight does not scare me. He is not a cause for worry. Before me, no one can even think of escaping. Flame Emperor merely nodded. I know you have your ways. Ba Feng Knight was proficient at dealing with weaklings. That was why Flame Emperor had summoned him. Flame Emperor, you just have to give the command, and I will take immediate action, Ba Feng Knight continued, to kill or to capture alive at your command. To kill, of course. Flame Emperor said cold-heartedly. Why would I want a human captured alive? Yes, Ba Feng Knight replied and did not dare say anything more. Of course, there is no rush for now. Flame Emperor shook his head. The news has spread, and many fighters from other races will attack him. That is why I called you here. Just in case. Should the other races lack the skills and allow Luo Feng to escape. That is when I will need your skills. Ba Feng Knight nodded vigorously. Flame Emperor had a very high status in the Nine Territory Alliance and belonged to one of the highest tiers of existence. His status in the Alliance was definitely comparable to the status of Primal Chaos City Leader in the Hong Alliance. 
To handle matters under his orders, Bafong Knight did not dare keep a slack hand. Let's wait and see, Flame Emperor whispered. Yes, said Bafong Knight, standing behind the towering Flame Emperor obediently. Flame Emperor was, however, only focused on the scene before him. He was secretly saying to himself, Dear third brother, I trust that given how well informed you are, you will know that I was the one who let the cat out of the bag. You still have time to escape now. If not, it will be too late. I wonder, are you going to retreat or continue to advance? In the biological planet ship. Luo Feng sat with his wine glass in his hand. His mind was still maintaining the connection with the virtual universe. Thousand Rain Emperor was the first to contact Luo Feng through the virtual universe. His face was filled with worry. Blade River, he said. Word has spread from the open-air square of the world of glory that you, Luo Feng, have entered Flame Emperor's territory and is now advancing to where he lives. Even the universe coordinates of your location have been revealed. Now, many supreme beings of other races are rushing over. You are not really there, are you? Luo Feng was taken aback. Really? The news has spread. That's right, said Thousand Rain Emperor. And the information is very detailed. I felt it must be true the moment I heard it. Luo Feng, do not hide anything from me. You are in grave danger now, extreme danger. Thousand Rain Emperor's voice was fraught with worry. I got it, Luo Feng replied with a smile. Thank you. Don't take things lightly, urged Thousand Rain Emperor. You must leave quickly, right away. Supreme beings from all corners of the universe are hurrying in your direction. If you hesitate further, I am worried that you will be hunted down in no time. By then, it will be too late to take flight. Thousand Rain Emperor was genuinely worried. Do not worry, Luo Feng replied. I am very aware. Luo Feng cut the line of communication with Thousand Rain Emperor, but following close behind it were calls from Chaman Emperor, True Yen Knight, and even Bloody Wing Knight, who also reached out to him through the virtual universe. Clearly, they must have all heard the news and considered it a kiss of death for Luo Feng. Anyone could guess that supreme beings from all corners of the universe were bound to gather to hunt down Luo Feng. Chapter 1031, Universe Overlords Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Flame Emperor stood in the main palace with his eyes closed. He spared a portion of his mind to sense the space ripple around Luo Feng's spaceship. Any ripple would alert him. Flame Emperor thinks too highly of that human, Ba Feng Knight thought. He's a pinnacle universe master, and he doesn't need to mind that human. However, Ba Feng Knight still stood behind Flame Emperor quietly and respectfully. Hmm. Flame Emperor suddenly opened his eyes. Hua. Suddenly, the biological spaceship stopped, and the golden armored figure flew out, soaked in blurry green light. God Country Transportation. Flame Emperor was startled. Did my third brother give up and prepare to leave? God Country Transportation was allowed in space-sealed areas. In the Sacrificial Tower, teleportation was not allowed, but God Country Transportation was. After all, the way they worked was different. This Blade River Emperor is scared, Ba Feng Knight said. He expected many great beings of other races to arrive, so he planned to run back to the human territory with God Country Transportation. Better for him to escape with his life. Flame Emperor whispered, grinning, lucky him. It's because of your mercy, Ba Feng Knight said. If you attacked him and control space and time, he wouldn't even have the chance to run away. Flame Emperor looked at the scene, smiling without saying anything. Suddenly, Luo Feng waved his hands, and an ugly undying fighter appeared. He first groveled at Luo Feng, then stepped into the blurry green light. As for Luo Feng, instead of leaving, he went back to the biological spaceship and kept progressing forward. Ah! He didn't go back. Flame Emperor frowned. Why did he send a slave? Ba Feng Knight was confused as well. The first great being of another race has arrived. Flame Emperor said with a smile. In another portion of space, he saw an enormous snake with a silver belly, a dark cyan back, and two wings on his back. There were nine horns on his forehead, all of which had branches that were bent. His horns wound around each other like a crown. A greenish light, mixed with dimming golden light in his eyes, gleamed coldly. He seemed to notice the gaze of Flame Emperor, so he lowered his head to show respect for Flame Emperor. Demon Wing Leader of the Demon Race, Ba Feng Knight said. He's an ambitious and powerful universe overlord, Flame Emperor said. Suddenly, he looked in another direction and noticed an elder of the frog race with a black scepter. The elder also sensed the gaze, and he bowed slightly to show respect. Frog the wise, Flame Emperor whispered. Both of them are exceptional. And the third one is coming. Flame Emperor looked in another direction and saw a human-like being flying toward him. There were two horns thicker than thighs on his head, and the horns wound around his godly body like braids. His blue eyes were like stars that could pierce through souls. This great being also bowed to him. Masha Knight, Flame Emperor muttered. He has a domain-type true treasure. Against this treasure, it is the least likely that Luo Feng will escape. Ba Feng Knight said, Demon Wing Leader, Frog the Wise, and Masha Knight are all universe-renowned supreme beings with extraordinary skills. Demon Wing Leader comes from the pinnacle race Demon Race. 
Frog the Wise is the leader of an entire race. And as for Masha Knight, he has a domain type true treasure. It'll be difficult for Blade River Emperor to flee from any of them. Flame Emperor smiled. Third brother, prepare for the feast I designed for you, he said. Hong. Suddenly, the godly power coming out of the main palace was weakened, and the range under the space seal was reduced to 100 light years. In the sector of the Flame God's secret region, Demon Wing Leader's body slid across a floating star fragment, and he gazed into the distance. Blade River Emperor is supposed to be there, Demon Wing Leader said in a hoarse voice. Blade River. All of your true treasures belong to me. So. He teleported there. For my frog race. I have to get the true treasures from Blade River Emperor, the elder of frog race whispered and teleported himself toward the publicized location. I have a domain type true treasure, said Masha Knight, and if I have a soul type true treasure and a flying palace type true treasure. Even universe masters will find it difficult to kill me. Masha Knight caressed his horns and went away. The news Flame Emperor let out was made known to the entire universe. Because it was so well known, ordinary universe knight didn't dare meddle. The first three who arrived were all universe overlords. The biological spaceship slowed down and stopped. The space seal is gone. Luo Fong stood in the space and saw the mist permeating. Why did my second brother stop the space seal? Luo Fong closed his eyes and started to feel his surroundings. His Masha body could sense the space as well as Universe Knights, he inspected along the direction toward the lands of the Flame God race and could distinctively feel that the space ripple 100 light years around him was stopped. Not stopped, he realized, but shrank. No matter what you've done, you've saved me 100 years. Luo Fong waved his hands and took back the biological spaceship. He teleported himself. A giant snake shadow appeared. Teleportation ripple. Demon Wing Leader's greenish eyes glinted with a thrill. He, Frog the Wise, and Ma Sha Knight showed up in different places and couldn't sense the other's teleportation. Besides, Demon Wing Leader was the closest to Luo Foam. To Universe Knights, they were only able to sense the teleportation ripple that was 1000 light years close to him. It must be him. Demon Wing Leader shook his wings and tail and teleported himself toward Luo Foam. Luo Foam arrived at the periphery of the space sealed area. My second brother narrowed the range. Luo Foam stood in the space pervaded by mist and looked back. Have those other races arrived? Whatever. Luo Fong flew into the space sealed area like a beam of light. Hong. Just as Luo Fong was flying into the space sealed area, Demon Wing Leader showed up and saw the shadow in the distance. Human Blade River. Demon Wing Leader transmitted his hoarse voice with his godly power. So. Demon Wing Leader flew forward. Luo Fong kept flying in the secret region in near light speed and looked back at Demon Wing Leader who was chasing him. You won't catch me, Luo Fong said with a glance. Human Blade River, you can't run away. Demon Wing Leader roared as he chased him. Instead of worrying about him, Luo Fong kept flying at near light speed. He had already hit his fastest speed. If he reached light speed, he would enter the Dark Universe. The coordinates in the Dark Universe around the lands of the Flame God race were concealed, and it would be squandering his time if he entered the Dark Universe. Law Domain Demon Wing Leader suddenly performed Law Domain, and everything for 60 million miles around him was trapped in time Law Domain, including Luo Fong. Hong. Luo Fong burned his godly power and maintained his speed. A simple law domain is useless, Luo Fong told Demon Wing Leader behind him. Suddenly, two powerful ripples appeared, which shocked and terrified Luo Fong. No. He realized. Other hunters. Demon Wing Leader sensed something wrong and looked back as well. Frog the Wise and Masha Knight were flying toward them. They teleported themselves and arrived at the periphery of the space sealed area, and they both went into the area and started to chase Luo Fong. Three universe overlords were running after Luo Fong. However, none of them could teleport themselves in the space sealed area. Haha. -ha. Frog and Demon Wing. This is the space sealed area. Masha Knight guffawed. Your law domain is only able to affect Blade River Emperor. It's not enough to trap him and kill him. It seems that I'm the lucky one after all, and the soul type true treasure belongs to me. 90 million Sand River Domain, build. Masha Knight's voice resounded around Demon Wing Leader and Frog the Wise. In the enormous, spherical area were countless grains of sand, and it was indestructible. Though each grain of sand was weak, when they were combined, they could easily annihilate some universe knights. Damn it. Demon Wing Leader growled. He was furious. Masha, the true treasures belong to me too. Masha Knight, don't be so selfish. Frog the Wise said, glaring at Masha Knight behind him. But Masha Knight was infuriated. They're mine, he shouted. They belong to me. Damn frog. You dared attack me. It's useless. Your soul attack techniques can hardly affect me. I'll stop wasting my time on you too. Human Blade River, die. Your treasures are mine. Hong. Under Masha Knight's manipulation, each grain of the sand was glowing and dashing at Luo Foam, and their power kept multiplying as they gathered. They formed a giant sand whirlpool and raced toward Luo Foam. 
Flame Emperor watched it all from his main palace. Third brother, he said, don't blame me for losing your true treasures. You're the one who wants the Force Armor. Chapter 1031, One Strike, All Out. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Flame Emperor watched what was happening hundreds of light years away, thinking that everything was under his control. Meanwhile, Luo Fong looked at the giant sand whirlpool that surrounded him. It was hundreds of miles high, and the sand was thick and dense. Each individual grain was weak, but when numerous grains were combined, they were strong enough to make Luo Fong feel strangled. Masha body, said Luo Fong, holding onto a stone in his left hand. Who? The stone vanished in an instant. Hong. Long. The giant sand whirlpool enshrouded Luo Fong. In an instant, he was smashed to pieces. The very next instant, he was strangled to death, reduced to naught. Human Blade River is dead. Dead. His true treasure is mine. Ma Sha Knight exclaimed from afar. Ma Sha Knight was overwhelmed with excitement, anticipating what he would have when he got hold of the true treasures. It had not occurred to him that the true treasures would not be so easily obtainable. There were at least six true treasures. Did he really think that obtaining them would be such a breeze? Ah. Ma Sha Knight let out a high-pitched, ferocious roar. Where is my true treasure? The true treasures. Where are they? No matter how he scoured the sand, there was not a single true treasure to be found. So. In the distance, the figure of a youth in golden armor appeared. Demon wing leader and frog the wise both looked over. Luo Fong. Blade River Emperor Luo Fong. There he is. One moment, he was surrounded and attacked by countless grains of sand. The next moment, he is tens of thousands of miles away. Could it be teleportation? But within the confinement of sealed space, it is impossible to teleport. Ma Sha Knight stared at the faraway Luo Fong in disbelief. Luo Fong had not died. Human Blade River, he growled. Die. Countless grains of sand from all around flew toward Luo Fong in a wicked flurry. Who? Luo Fong vanished into thin air. Instantly, he reappeared tens of thousands of miles away. Zoom. 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 Luo Fong flashed about at a crazy speed. In the blink of an eye, he was already thousands of miles away. This is not teleportation, it is his talent technique, Frog the Wise said with a slight frown. It is a space-type talent technique, domain. We are in trouble. Demon Wing Leader curled his body and spread his wings, then turned back to look at the fuming Masha Knight. He sneered. Old Frog, out of the three of us, Masha Knight must be the most disappointed. Even with a domain-type true treasure, Luo Fong was still able to escape. With his talent technique, Luo Fong will be able to escape from anyone below the rank of a universe master. Only a handful of universe overlords may be able to hold him back. Frog the Wise nodded. Domain was a technique by which one first merged with space, then transformed into a godly body. No matter how Masha Knight manipulated his true treasure to launch attacks, the moment Luo Fong merged with space, it would be easy to dodge the attacks. Of course, the situation would be different if the opponent was a universe master. A universe master was able to fully control space and time. Everything in this space and time would be controlled. Even when merged with this space, anyone could be forcefully kicked out. However, Masha Knight, Frog the Wise, and Demon Wing Leader could not achieve this. Damn, damn, damn it, roared Masha Knight. Watching Luo Fong make his escape with just one technique domain, yet being unable to do anything about it, was enough to make Masha Knight feel helpless. He could only roar with fury. Frog the Wise and Demon Wing Leader watched the entire episode with amusement. Masha Knight wheeled on them angrily. Neither of you got anything either. Masha Knight fumed. What is there to gloat over? Masha Knight, you are a universe overlord, and look at what a scene you have made, Frog the Wise said, grinning. Demon Wing Leader and I are not gloating. The three of us went after Blade River Emperor Luo Fong together, and both of us truly believed that you would be most hopeful in succeeding. We did not hold high hopes, and without expectations, we naturally would not feel disappointed. But you are different. You were so close to obtaining the true treasures, yet you did not expect Luo Fong to still have a hidden card up his sleeve. That is why a true treasure has again slipped through your fingers. This agony. Ha ha. We can empathize. Ha ha ha. Demon Wing Leader let out a deep laugh. Go, he called out. Old Frog. Frog the Wise nodded with a smile, then together with Demon Wing Leader, accelerated quickly and reached the speed of light within an instant. Both entered the dark universe and left. Damn it. Bastard. Idiot. Ah. Masha Knight shouted, his handsome features twisted with anger. Although Masha Knight was a high and mighty universe overlord, it did not mean he could not get angry. There were not many things that anger make beings at his level. This time, he was within reach of obtaining at least six true treasures like the Soul Type True Treasure and Flying Palace True Treasure, and for everything to come to naught all of a sudden, the contrast was too agonizing and infuriating for Masha Knight to bear. Blade River. Masha Knight gritted his teeth and let out an angry roar. Then he too entered the dark universe and left. 
Yanshan race had three palaces surrounded by land. In the main palace, Ba Feng Knight was careful not to utter a single word. At that moment, he knew Flame Emperor was seething with anger. Flame Emperor stared into space with a cold look. Ripples of images appeared to show Luo Feng's advances as he relied on his talent technique domain. Very well, my dear third brother. I have underestimated you, Flame Emperor thought, looking at the image with indifference. Flame Emperor, what should we do now? Ba Feng Knight finally spoke up after he sensed that Flame Emperor's anger had subsided. Do you have any way to kill him? Flame Emperor asked, looking at Ba Feng Knight. If he is bent on escaping, there is no way I can stop him, Ba Feng Knight said, shaking his head. This talent technique domain can only be owned by some unique life forms that have excellent hiding and fleeing skills. It is said that within the Masha race, only a handful have such power. Although these life forms do not have outstanding fighting abilities, their survival abilities are quite strong. Wait, Flame Emperor said. He looked into space. Right now, there is a continuous stream of great beings of other races making their way here. There are universe overlords, senior universe knights, and more. Who knows? There might be someone able to stop this human blade river emperor. Ba Feng Knight listened obediently, but in his heart, he was confused. Is there a need for Flame Emperor to be so determined to kill this Blade River Emperor Luo Feng? If he really wanted to kill Luo Feng, he could have done the deed by himself. If he did so, he could have annihilated Blade River Emperor Luo Feng with a snap of fingers. Yet up until now, he made no move and merely paid close attention. So strange. In the Yanshan secret region, Luo Feng gave full play to his talent technique domain for quite some time, then he boarded his planet ship and continued to advance. Second brother, the moment you sealed the space and hid the dark universe coordinates, your younger brother guessed your intentions. Luo Feng held his wine glass. So earlier on, I arranged for a servant to take my many true treasures back to the human domain under the guise of my golden horned beast body. Original earthling body, Masha body, and remote ocean body. From true treasure to valuable, these three bodies do not possess a single piece. Even if they were to fail, at the very most, I would only be wasting a little energy. Luo Feng sneered. He was no fool. Knowing that Flame Emperor would not give up the Force Armor easily, there was no way he would subject any of his true treasures like Tower Pearl and Sherwu Wings to such risk. Upon learning that his Golden Horned Beast body had brought his true treasures back to the human domain, he was able to face up to all obstacles without worries. During the earlier attack by Masha Knight's domain-type true treasure, his original Earthling body was annihilated, but the Masha body was able to escape with the World Ring. The Remote Ocean body was hidden within the World Ring, and with the godly power of the Remote Ocean body, the annihilated original Earthling body was recovered to its original form. This time, I have revealed my greatest trump card for escape, talent technique domain. Luo Feng squinted. My teacher, Primal Chaos City Leader, once said that this technique domain is only second to the skills of Universe Masters. Otherwise, the chance of escaping is almost 100%. Now that I have revealed this technique, I must obtain Force Armor. Force Armor, you will be mine. Luo Feng looked out into space and surmised that Flame Emperor would be observing his every move. What is mine will be mine, he said. No matter how hard you try, you cannot keep it. Luo Feng gave a crooked smile. Following the arrival of the earliest batch of Universe Overlords, the trio consisting of Demon Wing Leader, superpowers of all kinds like Universe Overlords and Senior Universe Knights came flocking from faraway domains in a flurry. With techniques like God Country Transportation and Teleportation, they rushed to the territory of the Yenshin race as fast as they could. The number was increasing tremendously. Luo Feng had ventured deep within the domain of Sealed Space, so the other great beings were unable to keep up with him. So Flame Emperor shrank the domain of Sealed Space by another 100 light years. This way, the others in pursuit would be able to catch up with Luo Feng easily. Second brother, how shameless you can be, Luo Feng thought with a sneer. Zoom. This time, Luo Feng showed no trace of hesitation. First, he teleported directly to the border of the domain of sealed space. Then, with his talent technique domain, he penetrated his way into the sealed space by speedy and continuous flashes. The moment the fastest great being of another race caught up, Luo Feng would have put a couple hundred miles between them. The talent technique domain was enough to convince several great beings in pursuit to give up, and when Luo Feng had penetrated into the deeper region of the sealed space, other great beings who arrived later would not even have the chance to fight him. A bunch of trash. Flame Emperor madly surveyed the images before him. At that moment, his rage was unleashed without restraint. The entire palace seemed to have fallen into a burning furnace. Ba Feng Knight stood by his side, filled with fear. He did not understand why Flame Emperor was fuming over the fact that Luo Feng was not killed. Flame Emperor swept a look in his direction. Take your leave. Yes, Ba Feng Knight said respectfully. Then, stepping into the blurry red light, he left. Trash, trash, a bunch of trash. Flame Emperor seethed. He had not felt such anger in a long time. Ambushing Luo Feng had failed, which meant Luo Feng would be taking force armor away. This made him furious. Third brother, take your time, Flame Emperor said coldly. You still need over 100 years of flying to get here. He had shrunk the domain of sealed space twice. With the status of a high and mighty universe master, and with the matter implicating sitting mountain guest and force armor, he could not help losing his cool. 
Shrinking the sealed space twice in a row was, after all, a despicable thing to do. The original star is about to open, Flame Emperor thought. I shall enter the original star for a round of battle. Maybe I will be able to find a true treasure that is comparable to the Force Armor. However, he knew that the chances were extremely low. Flame Emperor had experienced many openings of the original star and had obtained quite a handful of true treasures. However, most of them were ordinary ones. Even the senior true treasures were few and far between, and there were no top-tier true treasures to speak of. Of course, through his ventures in other domains, killings, and fighting, he had paid dearly to be able to obtain a single top-tier true treasure, his black armor, as a backup plan. But black armor, when compared to force armor. The two were on completely different levels. Hang. Flame Emperor sat on his throne and looked into the vast space. Then he closed his eyes and silently waited for the original star to open. When it came to Luo Feng, he was at his wit's end. After all, sitting Mountain Guest was a deterrent preventing him from going overboard. Chapter 1032, The Original Star Opened Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Many supreme beings rushed to hunt Luo Feng. However, those who tried to hunt him all failed after Luo Feng performed his talent technique domain. As for those who arrived late, they couldn't even begin to chase him after him because he was already deep in the space-sealed area. They all gave up. Yet, at the same time, Luo Feng's secret technique domain went public. The great beings who chased Luo Feng all knew about it and spread the news. Many great beings of other races were stunned by the news that Blade River Emperor had such an exceptional skill. Pei Feng Knight was furious after learning about domain. He dared to look down on me. He didn't even perform the technique when I attacked him. He didn't even fight with all his strength. Well played, Blade River. Why did he dodge it again? Why is it so difficult for him to die? Bark Mirror Emperor was exasperated after realizing this. He roared so hard that the walls of his room cracked. While the other races were shocked, the human race was thrilled. The talent technique domain was bestowed by the universe and couldn't be gained by practice alone. Blade River Emperor will be able to survive for a long time with this technique. As long as he doesn't meet any universe masters, he'll be able to survive. Talent technique domain is indeed incredible, and many universe knights aren't able to deal with it. However, some still have extraordinary skills. For instance, the most powerful world tree is already able to control space and time as well as a universe master. There are other special life forms who can suppress the talent technique domain. Through the virtual universe, Luo Feng learned about the discussions outside, which made him further realize that the only way to win respect from other great beings was power. Many universe knights concluded that Luo Feng going to the original star meant he was rushing to his own death. After they witnessed him performing his talent technique domain, however, the number of naysayers declined in number. Domain is only used for escape, thought Luo Feng. In the original star, one must fight for true treasures. Fleeing is not enough. Force armor. I must have it. Compared to force armor, the talent technique domain was nothing. Force armor was an item desired by supreme beings like Flame Emperor. Even Primal Chaos City Leader was willing to fight to the death for a true treasure like that. Ten years passed. At the top of Thunder Island stood Primal Chaos City Leader. Luo Feng. The original star will be open tomorrow. I heard that you're going, too. Yes, teacher, Luo Feng said, standing behind Primal Chaos City Leader. What's your plan? Primal Chaos City Leader asked. Who do you want to team up with? Did you invite some great beings? No, Luo Feng replied. If you want to team up with someone, I can help, Primal Chaos City Leader said. You're still relatively weak. Senior Universe Knights often find some great beings to help them and give them a higher chance of survival. You should also find some suitable great beings to help you. Team up with whom? Luo Feng shook his head. Senior Universe Knights can't help me much. As for Universe Overlords, even if they say yes, it'll be because of you, and from the bottom of their hearts, they'll believe that I'm dragging them back. I'd better go there by myself. You're thinking of doing this, by yourself. Primal Chaos City Leader was startled. I just want to go there to broaden my horizons, said Luo Feng. I'll be careful. That's right, you have your bloody sea. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. It's all in your hands. But, Luo Feng, why would you go to the lands of the Flame God race and perform your talent technique domain? A revealed trump card is no longer a trump card. If the enemies wish to attack you, they'll prepare for this technique. You need to make sure that it's the only option before you show your trump card. I understand, Luo Feng said. I decided to go there because of something private. Something private? Primal Chaos City Leader glanced at Luo Feng. Then I won't ask any further questions. However, I must remind you that the lands of the Flame God race belong to Flame Emperor, who is one of the top-tier universe masters. He was as talented and exceptional as you. If you've done some research, you'll know that Flame Emperor is a human. He was beyond exceptional. He never failed, and nobody at his level could rival him. He never failed. And he respected nobody. He's a fearless great being. However, he also believed that nobody could suppress him, and he got too ambitious. He couldn't live with being under others. Primal Chaos City Leader shook his head. Luo Feng listened quietly. 
too ambitious and couldn't live with being under others. To top it all off, something's wrong with his mental state, said Primal Chaos City leader. He only remembers how others have wronged him. He cannot remember the good that others do for him. Primal Chaos City leader shook his head. After becoming a universe knight, he grew ever more arrogant and tyrannical. And he was extremely selfish. Extremely selfish, said Luo Feng. He dared to attack universe masters within his own race. Primal Chaos City leader exclaimed. He attacked them for their valuables. Gigantic Axe Founder decided to punish him by imprisoning him, but little did he expect that Flame Emperor had betrayed us humans with beings from his hometown. It was a great joke to the rest of the universe. Luo Feng was startled. He's indeed a genius. Primal Chaos City leader exclaimed. And every time I see you, it's like seeing him. We human cultivated him, but he turned his back on us. Every time there was a war between the races, he grew crueler toward us humans. Chao City leader shook his head. Luo Feng, if he attacks you, just summon me, and I'll be there instantly. Okay. Luo Feng nodded. Luo Feng was stunned to realize what his second brother was really like. Selfish. Thought Luo Feng, recalling everything he had been through. Yeah. He's selfish, all right. Force armor was left by Masters Wishan Kutumi, but he tried to keep it. On the second day, the original star opened. It was a massive party for the billions of races in the universe. Of course, the undying fighters didn't know of it, as it was a killing festival for the supreme beings. Though Luo Feng was in the territory of the Flame God race and couldn't see the opening of the portal to the original star, he could still watch the scene through the virtual universe. The power from the opening of each portal was more terrific than that of Universe Masters. Various groups flooded into the original star. 10,081 portals were distributed throughout the universe. Supreme beings from all the superpowers, made up of billions of races in the universe, flew into the portal and entered the original star. 10,081 original stars. The slaughter was about to begin. The universe takes care of me, said Flame Emperor. Force armor is about to be taken by my third brother, and I have to hand it over because of Master's Washanko. Perhaps I can get better true treasures. Flame Emperor walked into a portal to original stars and landed on one. The biological spaceship traveled through the mist. Luo Feng had a simple life, spending most of his time on space law and the beast god path. Luo Feng had already fully comprehended the second mystery of space law, seal, during the 80,000 years of creating ultimate techniques. As for the third one, strangle, he was close. One could become a universe knight after completing the comprehension of all three mysteries and combining them as one. Apparently, Luo Feng needed a long time. It's cruel in the original stars. Although Luo Feng didn't go, he watched some footage taken by some great beings who made it out. Original stars were closest to the land of origin in the universe. They were stars full of valuables. And they were filled with hazards. It was the first place Luo Feng knew of that couldn't connect to the virtual universe. My decision was a wise one, he said. Without the force armor, I can only flee with my power. To Luo Feng, he went through a peaceful 100 years, yet on the original stars, 12 large-scale battles took place because of the valuables. Hundreds of universe knights and more than 20 universe overlords died during those wars, but all the universe masters survived. Of course, all the superpowers were excited by the slaughtering. The more precious the valuables were, the more great beings they were willing to send out. The footage isn't even clear. Luo Feng shook his head. The level of the slaughter there is apocalyptic, and there's no way to record the battles clearly. Shame. None of the battles have anything to do with me. Luo Feng stood in the control room and watched the three lands in the distance through the virtual scene. They were the inhabitants of the flame god race. Although he finally saw the lands, he was still so distant from them. It took him another month to get to the border. A silver-armored undying warrior flew towards him. His eyes glinted furiously. This is the territory of the flame god race. How dare you come here, human? Hang. Luo Feng frowned. Godly force permeated from him, suppressing the undying fighter of flame god race. Flame Emperor. I've arrived at your territory. Luo Feng shouted, looking at the main palace surrounded by the three lands. Show yourself. Chapter 1033, The First Encounter. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. What audacity, the undying Yanshan warrior shouted angrily. A long spear suddenly appeared in his palm, and he pointed its sharp tip at Luo Feng. Human, Flame Emperor is not someone at your beck and call. Flame Emperor was the absolute ruler of the Yanshan race, so even though Luo Feng displayed formidable power, this warrior was not intimidated enough to retreat. Luo Feng looked at the undying warrior. Though surrounded and oppressed by his power, the warrior was filled with fighting spirit. The moment his godly power dispersed, it would drown this undying warrior with its absolute power. Yet, the eyes of that undying warrior were so filled with anger that they looked as though they could spout fire. He did not give any further utterance. Luo Feng looked toward the main palace and said, Flame Emperor, even this lowly undying warrior has the guts to shout at me. Why are you in hiding? This is your sanctuary, where you can control the space and time. Don't you pretend you can't hear me. Finishing his words, Luo Feng waited in silence. 
Indeed, everyone knew that this was the home of the Yanshan race, where Flame Emperor possessed ultimate control. If he pretended to turn a deaf ear to Luo Feng's words, that would be him taking Luo Feng for a fool. Mere seconds later. Hong. A strong wave of godly power spurted out from the main palace in the distance and was followed by a complete closure of the sealed space. With a flash of light, a figure appeared directly before Luo Feng. Are you Luo Feng, the human blade river emperor? Asked a burly, single-horned man with a bald head. He wore black war armor and was approximately 30 feet tall. His body was plastered with scales resembling those of a snake. Even his face was covered with scales, leaving only his scalp bare and shiny. He was a universe knight of the Yanshin race. Luo Feng nodded. Yes, he said. I am Ice Deuteron Knight, the single-horned, bald knight said with a smile. Flame Emperor has instructed me to wait here for Blade River Emperor, and here you are, finally. The moment I learned of your arrival, I closed the sealed space meant to protect our race without delay. Luo Feng laughed to himself. Closed it. He knew the sealed space had been specially prepared for him. As the two conversed, the undying warrior who was oppressed by Luo Feng's godly power could not hear a single word. Ice Deuteron Knight gestured to him. Would Blade River Emperor be so kind as to release my fellow man? Ice Deuteron Knight asked. Luo Feng retracted his powers upon request. Ice Deuteron Knight turned to the Undying Warrior and commanded, Take your leave quickly. Yes, Knight. The Undying Warrior gave a few respectful bows. Then, in an instant, he disappeared. Ice Deuteron Knight gave a smile and looked at Luo Feng. Blade River Emperor, please follow me. Luo Feng followed with a nod. He was not afraid of whatever tricks Flame Emperor had up his sleeves. While he was on his way here, he had met with all sorts of obstacles, and nothing had brought him down. Now that he had arrived at the territory of the Yanshan race, if Flame Emperor was unable to play nice, it would be an insult to Luo Feng, and an insult to their teacher, Sitting Mountain Guest. The duo teleported directly to the palace grounds. There were endless flames around the palaces, and they burned an empty path right in the middle. At the end of the path, several undying warriors of the Yanshan race stood deferentially on both sides. Luo Feng and the single-horned knight walked side by side. Where is Flame Emperor? Luo Feng asked. That is the main palace, the single-horned knight said, pointing to the highest palace in the distance. It is also where the Flame Emperor resides. The two other palaces on each side are the secondary palaces where common guests reside. Blade River Emperor, please proceed to the secondary palace hall. You may be granted an audience with Flame Emperor when he returns. Luo Feng changed his countenance. Buying time. Luo Feng stared at the single-horned knight. Is that what Flame Emperor instructed you to do? Did you convey the news of my arrival? Don't bother trying to tell me that there is no way you can inform him at present. Flame Emperor is the one and only universe master of the entire Yanshan race. He definitely would have caught wind of any news that spread to this area at any time. Don't get so anxious, Blade River Emperor. To his credit, the single-horned knight was not shaken by Luo Feng flaring up. I have just sent word to Flame Emperor. He is currently in the original star, so, to return from the original star, he could make use of God Country Transportation, which will bring him here in no time. Luo Feng said with indifference, you lead the way. I will follow your arrangements for now and take a rest in the palace. I shall just wait to see when this Flame Emperor will turn up. Please follow me. The single-horned knight showed similar disregard for Luo Feng as he led the way in front. The two walked into the secondary palace hall. After instructing the servants to prepare a spread of delicacies, the single-horned knight left. A hey, nobody. And with such arrogance, the single-horned knight growled once outside. He looked toward the palace. With much disdain, he mused, even though you are an undying life form, you only possess the powers of a secondary universe knight, at the very best, you excel at escape tactics. Who are you to show disrespect to our flame emperor? If not for Flame Emperor's command to not create trouble, I would have shown you the consequences for being disrespectful. Humph. With that, the single-horned knight turned and left. He could not be bothered with Luo Feng. In the secondary palace, a fine spread of delicacies from different locations throughout the universe was served. There was also a fine selection of wine. The food alone would have cost undying emperors their entire fortunes. This second brother of mine certainly puts on quite a show, Luo Feng thought, sitting at the table. Someone leaked the news about my whereabouts, and I am almost certain it was him who discreetly spread the news. He clearly knew I was coming, and yet he chose to delay our meeting. I am here by the orders of Sitting Mountain Guest, and I wield enough power to drive the Force Armor, which is why I am here for it. This is our teacher's command, yet he is putting on the airs of a Universe Master. Luo Feng could only shake his head. The Force Armor belonged to Luo Feng to begin with. Flame Emperor had been using it for a long time, and now that its rightful owner had appeared, he was in no rush to return it. On the contrary, it seemed he ordered his underlings to deal with Luo Feng so that he could hold on to force armor. I shall wait, Luo Feng said to himself. Now, to see how long I have to wait. This matter has already been blown out of proportion. The supreme beings in this universe are coming after my life. News has spread all over the place, and I am certain our teacher, sitting mountain guest, must have known and is also paying close attention to everything happening here. Second brother, oh, second brother. 
With teacher keeping an eye on you, I would like to see how far you can go in this game. One day, two days, three days passed. Then one month. Then two months. And still, there was no news. Flame Emperor still had not arrived. More delays. He just continues delaying. Luo Feng closed his eyes and mediated while staying connected with the virtual universe with his consciousness. He waited in silence. This power was, after all, inferior to humans. He could only wait. Flame Emperor sat cross-legged in one of the ancient forests on the original star. He was attentively feeling for the waves coming from the distance, if precious valuables were about to appear, there would be unique signs to announce their presence. Third brother, he muttered, allow me to tame that arrogance of yours. An extraordinary genius from the human race. Hmm. I was much stronger than you back then. I shall help you understand why a junior like yourself should respect someone with seniority. Luo Feng had already stayed in the palace for a year or more, and during this period, he had been waiting peacefully and patiently. One day, was Luo Feng was meditating cross-legged, he suddenly heard a loud noise. Hong. A powerful force dispersed over his surroundings, enshrouding the entire palace grounds. Every being within the palace grounds, from servants to undying warriors, rushed out immediately to bow their respect. Luo Feng also opened his eyes, then said, Finally, you're here. Hong. Long. The surrounding time and space changed. Luo Feng merely observed the transformation happening. Then he found himself in a spacious palace hall. On the throne of this palace sat a towering, lofty figure. He was densely covered with scales. With that gigantic horn, he was the very picture of the Yanshan race. His eyes looked down at the waiting Luo Feng who felt an intangible power. It felt as if he had been cast into a burning furnace. Second brother, Luo Feng said, raising his head to meet Flame Emperor's eyes. He smiled. Second brother, you are finally here. I, your younger brother, have been waiting a long time. Hong. The towering figure stood up. Step by step, he made his way down the stairs. His godly body shrank as he moved, and by the time he reached the bottom of the stairs, he had reduced to a height comparable to that of Luo Feng. From an earthling's point of view, Flame Emperor carried an overbearing arrogance and ignored the presence of all others. This arrogance was in his bones, his very soul. It emanated from him naturally. There was no pretense at all. This was different from some other proud and arrogant great beings. Flame Emperor's arrogance and self-honor were so convincing that many people exclaimed that he was truly deserving to be their overlord. Third brother, Flame Emperor said, looking at Luo Feng with a trace of friendliness in his gaze. I was on the original star, fighting with countless other great beings from the other races for valuables. I met with the crucial moment when a valuable first appeared, so I was delayed for quite a while. I trust you did not take it to heart. Of course I didn't, Luo Feng replied. Hmm. Flame Emperor nodded and said, I had a chat with Pu Ti. Our teacher, sitting mountain guest, has also given me some orders. As for you, I did gather some informative materials intentionally. You are certainly one in a million. An extraordinary genius from the human race. But you should know that everything you have today is because of teacher's faith in you. Do not be proud. Train humbly and become a universe knight as quickly as you can. Then move on to the status of a universe master. Your first brother and I are waiting for that day to arrive. Luo Feng gave a slight frown. He did not like this display of superiority that Flame Emperor was showing, but he dealt with the situation by replying, Of course, I will work hard. Luck is with you. You can take on the life or death inheritance of the Star Tower to become Sitting Mountain Guest's third disciple. Flame Emperor looked at Luo Feng. That's why you should cherish this opportunity more than ever. Do not ever disappoint our teacher. Second brother, Luo Feng replied immediately, You must know my purpose in coming here. Haha. <laughs> For the Force Armor. Of course, I know. Flame Emperor smiled at Luo Feng. When it came to his third brother, Flame Emperor disliked him. It was purely by instinct. Sitting Mountain Guest had trained the young Flame Emperor wholeheartedly, which was why he had become one of the top-notched, transcendent geniuses of the universe. And now, Luo Feng was not the least bit inferior to him. Even Flame Emperor realized that in the future, this third brother would come to own the supreme true treasure, Star Tower. Thus, Flame Emperor saw Luo Feng as an immense threat. Yet Luo Feng was the third disciple Sitting Mountain Guest had dedicated himself to. There was no way Flame Emperor could put a stop to this. Big Brother Pu Ti was the least of Flame Emperor's concern. He had previously been Sitting Mountain Guest's servant, so his powers were a far cry from those of Flame Emperor. But this third brother. He kept Flame Emperor on his toes. Right, said Luo Feng. Here I am for my force armor. Our teacher instructed me to obtain it from you when I possess the power to drive it. So now, here I am. Force armor is one of the super true treasures in this vast universe, Flame Emperor replied, gazing at Luo Feng, it has limitless power, and you have only just become undying. You are still too weak to unleash its power. You might even lose the force armor if it were under your possession. The way I see it, for the sake of the force armor, and for your own safety, my brother, you should continue cultivating your power. It is not too late for you to obtain the force armor when you have become a universe knight. I shall gladly continue to take care of it for you, and when you have become a universe knight, I will deliver it straight into your hands. 
Chapter 1034, Flame Emperor's Ambition Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Inside the Palace Luo Feng, who was already dissatisfied with Flame Emperor, was infuriated. Force armor belongs to me, he thought. Whether I am able to use it or not, and whether I might lose it or not, has nothing to do with you. I'm here to take the Force Armor under Master's Washanka's command, and all you need to do is give me the Force Armor. Why were you rambling? Though Luo Feng was full of anger, his only choice was to suppress it. Flame Emperor looked at Luo Feng, grinning. Brother, he said, train yourself well and become a Universe Knight. Then you can use the Force Armor. Luo Feng smiled. Second brother, he said. I was able to survive being hunted by all the great beings in the Universe without Force Armor. If I can get Force Armor now, I'll be much more powerful and far less likely to die. You don't need to worry about me, second brother. Just give me the force armor. Don't take any chances. Flame Emperor shouted. His voice trembled Luo Feng's soul. Force armor is a super true treasure desired even by universe masters. How can you dare attempt to try your luck? Flame Emperor stared at Luo Feng. His power permeated outward like a physical force, suppressing Luo Feng like mountains. Force armor may have belonged to you, but it was, after all, created by Masters Wushanku after endless time and energy. You should be able to guarantee that you won't lose it. I'm doing so for your own best interests. Train yourself and become a universe knight, then I'll give you the force armor. Flame Emperor's voice rumbled, shaking Luo Feng's soul. However, Luo Feng's willpower was robust, and even without Tower Pearl, it was as strong as that of a universe overlord. Flame Emperor was only a powerful universe master proficient in close combat. He wasn't able to change a universe overlord's mind with his voice alone. Second brother, do I sense that are you reluctant to give me the force armor? Luo Feng gazed at Flame Emperor. Hang. Flame Emperor suddenly became furious, and the entire palace was trapped in anger. His power suppressed Luo Feng. Third brother, Flame Emperor said, I've been keeping the Force Armor for you for hundreds of millions of years under the order of Masters Wushan Ko, and I'll give it to you when you're strong enough. Although you can utilize the Force Armor, you're still weak, and I'm doing this for your best interest. If you lose the Force Armor, you'll disappoint Masters Wushan Ko. Don't worry about that. Luo Feng was firm. I'll tell Masters Wushan Ko myself if I lose it. Tell him. How are you going to tell him? Flame Emperor asked him. It's none of your business, Luo Feng answered. Just because you've accomplished a little bit, you became so arrogant. Flame Emperor shook his head. Luo Feng looked at Flame Emperor and said calmly, No need to say more, second brother. I'm here today to take Force Armor. Are you going to give it to me or not? You're not powerful enough, said Flame Emperor. But Luo Feng cut him off. I don't have the power to take it from you if you're not willing to give it to me. My only recourse is to tell Masters Wushan Kalator. If Masters Wushanka thinks you should still keep Force Armor, I won't bother you again. Luo Feng slightly bowed. I'll show myself out. Luo Feng turned around and started to leave. Flame Emperor was startled. He had never said that he was unwilling to give up Force Armor. He wanted Luo Feng to back off on his own. Flame Emperor believed that if Luo Feng gave up, Masters Wushanka wouldn't meddle. After all, it was Luo Feng who conceded first. Flame Emperor couldn't say no directly, as it contradicted the order of Masters Wushanka. Third brother. Flame Emperor yelled. However, Luo Feng didn't stop. Stop. Flame Emperor yelled. His voice shook the very space and time around him. Luo Feng went back to the palace after seeing the scenes around him change. He looked at Flame Emperor and said, Why are you stopping me? I'm going to see Masters Wushan Ko. When did I say I was refusing to give it to you, demanded Flame Emperor. I was just telling you that you're weak. But if you really want it regardless of my warnings, then I'll have to give it to you. Don't blame me if you lose it in the future. This is Force Armor. Flame Emperor turned his hands around, and a set of exquisite, diamond armor appeared on his palm. There were engravings dimming on the armor. The Force Armor was like a heavenly god in Flame Emperor's hands, and Luo Feng held his breath looking at it. Gazing at Force Armor, Luo Feng was thrilled. It was derived from many more solid pieces of armor, General Armor, King Armor, and Emperor Armor, and it was a superior true treasure prepared by Zwishan Ku for his third disciple. Even a pinnacle universe master like Flame Emperor was reluctant to give it away. After all, he had never obtained a true treasure like Force Armor or Flame Emperor Halbert on his own. What are you still waiting for? Flame Emperor said. Luo Feng reached out his hands, and his godly power wound around the Force Armor like threads. He pierced Force Armor with a trace of his godly power and seared his life imprint in it, and at the same time, ancient information on Force Armor flooded Luo Feng's mind. So, Luo Feng put Force Armor into his world ring. Second brother, I'll take my leave now, said Luo Feng with a smile. I'll come back and see you again, if I have the chance. You can come here whenever you want, Flame Emperor said. Luo Feng left the main palace immediately and walked along the portal separating the space palaces and the outside. The palaces were isolated from the surrounding space ripples, which meant it was impossible to teleport outside. 
The only one who could do that was Flame Emperor, the owner of the palace. So. Luo Feng teleported himself immediately after leaving the palaces and left the territory of the Flame God race using the God Country transportation of one of his slaves. Hang. Third brother, Flame Emperor whispered. Impressive. Both of the two candidates died during life or death inheritance, yet you survived. Although he claimed that Luo Feng was lucky, he knew clearly that Swishan Ku had a wide range of options for his disciple. There were billions of beings in each generation on Earth, and Luo Feng was the first one to succeed in billions of years. Even without Swishan Ku's training, he was exceptional. Flame Emperor had become who he was today after endless suffering, but he knew that the obstacles Swishan Ku gave him were not tricky. Life or death inheritance was the most terrifying one. He took the Force Armor in the end, Flame Emperor said, slowly calming himself down. Though he was wary of Luo Feng, he knew that even if Luo Feng became a Universe Master with Star Tower, he was, at most, an exceptional Universe Master who could suppress him, being a Universe Master was not enough to kill him. Unless he became a Universe Supreme Master. There are only few Universe Supreme Masters in the Universe. As long as a race has a Universe Supreme Master, it's a pinnacle race. Only superpowers who have Universe Supreme Masters on their side are the real top tier superpowers. They're able to turn back time to resurrect Universe Overlords, and they can withstand the backlash from the Universe easily. They all have exceptional skills. They're able to control the sky and land wherever they go, and even Universe Law has to avoid them. Masters Wushan Ku is one of them. Only if someone becomes a Supreme Master can they be at the top of the Universe. Flame Emperor's eyes gleamed with desire. He wasn't willing to be second best to anyone, which was why he had always been so determined to improve his power sharply. Though he had Zwishan Ku as his teacher, he had made his breakthrough mainly through independent practice. He already stood among the top tier Universe Masters, and he was only one step away from becoming a Universe Supreme Master. The term, Supreme Master, was self-explanatory enough. They were considered the most powerful beings in existence. They were able to dominate an entire territory of the universe. They could wander the universe alone without fear of being disturbed. They could also admit talents as their disciples by robbing other races without being stopped. I'll be at your level if I can take one step further, Masters Wushan Ku, Flame Emperor said. He turned around and walked back to his palace. Human Territory, Ganwu Universe Country Masha Luo Feng walked out of a pit on an arid planet. My god country is 3,300 light years away. Masha body stepped forward. So. In no time, he traveled 1,000 light years forward. Masha body was able to merge with space better than universe knights, and when becoming a special life form after absorbing the essence from space heart, Masha body had been able to perfectly merge with space. He had even gained the talent technique domain, by which he could teleport himself 100 light years at one time. After becoming undying, his godly power and mind were significantly improved, and he could teleport himself as far as universe knights. So. 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 He entered the space interlayer after three teleportations. He teleported once more and entered his god country. The god country was boundless, and the remote ocean was expanding slowly. In the sky above the remote ocean, Luo Feng walked out from the gleaming golden palace and stood on the waves. Force Armor Luo Feng was covered by a suit of transparent armor, which had completely integrated with his godly body. Each fiber of force armor was combined with Luo Feng's muscles and organs, and boundless strength filled his body. The power felt magnificent, omnipotent. Luo Feng closed his eyes and reveled in it. No wonder it's a true treasure prepared by Masters Wushan Ko. Luo Feng exclaimed. He had already received the information while with Flame Emperor. Force Armor was a special suit of armor. Unlike other true treasures that required law comprehension to be utilized, Force Armor required the strength of godly bodies, like Soldier Armor, General Armor, and King Armor. The sturdier the godly body was, the more powerful Force Armor would be. Hong. Huh. A gigantic shadow suddenly appeared. It was Golden Horned Beast. Luo Feng smiled. Try the force armor on, he said. So. The transparent armor flew toward Golden Horned Beast like a beam of light, merging with the godly body of Golden Horned Beast. Chapter 1035, This is the Force Armor. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. When Luo Feng received force armor, he, too, had a taste of its power. He connected to the virtual universe with his consciousness, as he wanted to inform his master, True Yen Knight, that he would enter the original star. In the virtual universe, near the boundless mountainside of Thunder Island, stood True Yen Knight's palaces. There were six figures sitting before the palaces, drinking wine while chatting loudly. A burly, stout man with three horns on his head held up a strange wine bottle and took big gulps. Rumor has it that on the vast plain of one original star, a splendid godly palace emerged out of the blue, he said. In front of it, there was an ancient tablet that documented detailed information about a top-tier true treasure. With this true treasure, one can escape from enemies by teleporting or cut through layers of space easily while in battle. It is a superior true treasure that is good for escaping and attacking. This top-tier true treasure is called the Heavenly Gold Sail. He tooted and sighed. The very next moment, three Universe Masters, 18 Universe Overloads, and more than 100 Universe Knights dashed into the palace. The doors shut quickly. And when it opened again six years later, the number of survivors was half the number who entered. 
Rumor has it that the heavenly gold sail was eventually taken by a universe master of the Northern Territory Alliance. The other five universe knights, including True Yen, jested in response. Really? Kuangzhou Knight, don't make up more stories like you did before. If that really happened, why were we unaware of it? Kuangzhou Knight glared so hard his eyes seemed to bulge out like little, round balls. Make up stories. I did not, not now, not then. But previously, the news that you shared was about something that happened when the original star opened two cycles back, teased a werewolf knight whose body was covered in cyan hair. The heavenly gold sail I just mentioned is a top-tier true treasure that had just made its first appearance when the original star opened this time. Kuang Zhou Knight said, his eyes still wide open. I have many good friends, and many of them who entered the original star this time came back with stories of all sorts. I just learned about the heavenly gold sail today and immediately came to tell you all about it. And you think I'm bluffing? If you don't believe me, just wait and see. After a few years, news of the heavenly gold sail will reach everyone. By then, you all will know the truth. Don't be angry, Kuang Zhou Knight. Tell us more about the birth of this top-tier true treasure. Yes, tell us more. Let me pour you more wine. The other universe knights persuaded him with smiles. Kuang Zhou Knight was appeased and downed the wine in his bottle in a single gulp. Then he held it out and said, fill this up. You are all too greedy. These top-tier true treasures. Every one of them is precious enough to drive universe masters crazy with desire, crazy to the extent that they are willing to kill one another. Kuang Zhou Knight shook his head with a sigh. This time around, the original star has only been open for slightly over 100 years. How is it possible to have so many top-tier true treasures to talk about already? If even a few top-tier true treasures were to emerge, I'm afraid there are bound to be several universe masters killed. Suddenly, the other universe knights turned to look at a faraway figure flying toward them. Everyone, take a look. Isn't that Blade River Emperor Luo Fong? True Yen, your disciple is here. Indeed, it was Luo Fong. I heard your disciple was in the territory of the Yenchen race about a hundred years ago where he was hunted down by countless great beings of other races. But he managed to escape and scathed. True Yen, upon comparing techniques, at least his ability to escape is much stronger than yours. Of course, he is stronger than me, True Yen laughed. He is a future pillar of support for the human race. His survival power must be superior. While they were chatting, Luo Fong had made his way to where they sat. Teacher, Luo Fong greeted with a smile. Luo Fong, come, take a seat, Tru Yen said and pointed to a seat next to him. Luo Fong laughed and sat down. He looked around at the other universe knights and acknowledged them with a smile. Everyone else is here, too, I see. An elderly who resembled a lion at first glance, because his body was covered with long hair, said with a smile, we did not dare enter the original star when it first opened. We would like to hear more news about it, to get to know more about what is happening in the original star. Blade River Emperor, we heard about your intention to enter that original star. Why is it that you have yet to go? He had inferred as much because the moment one entered the original star, it was impossible to connect to the virtual universe. Kuang Zhou Knight glowered. How would you know whether Blade River Emperor has gone or not? Blade River Emperor has the talent of dividing himself into several bodies. Maybe he has left one body in the human race domain. That way, he would be able to enter the virtual universe anytime. That makes sense. Kuang Zhou Knight makes a lot of sense. The others laughed loudly. Some looked over at Luo Feng and said, Blade River Emperor, have you been to the original star? Not yet. Luo Feng smiled. But really soon. I am here to inform my master. Then I will enter the original star. Immediately. Tru Yen Knight was slightly taken aback. Blade River Emperor, who is going in with you? The werewolf knight asked. You are not going alone, are you? Luo Feng nodded. I am going alone. Everyone began objecting. That is too dangerous. There were numerous senior universe knights being killed. Blade River Emperor, it is better for you to form alliances with other great beings. Luo Fong laughed and said, no worries. I am just going to accumulate experience. Kuang Zhou Knight looked at Luo Fong through his bell-shaped eyes. Well, I have some detailed information about the original star, including all kinds of things that have happened over the past hundred years. I like making friends. This allows me to collect all kinds of information. I may not know the most, but I definitely rank in the top three on that list. I shall provide you with the information later. Before you enter, take a good look and understand everything that roams within each original star. Luo Feng was thankful. That is just so gracious of Kuang Zhou Knight. Kuang Zhou Knight does know a lot of things and has a plethora of information, Tru Yen Knight agreed, smiling. But Blade River Emperor, Kuang Zhou Knight continued, his eyes still wide open, the more knowledge I collect, the more I realize how much danger lurks on the original stars. There is no law and order there to keep it in check. Initially, it may seem peaceful. However, when true treasures start to emerge, there will be much commotion. Supreme beings will come forth to fight for the right to claim them. The weaker ones will be eliminated in no time. The way I see it, with that power of yours, and the many true treasures in your possession, you are bound to attract the attention of the jealous great beings of other races. 
Your chances of survival may not be more than 10%. 10%. Are you sure? The other universe knights shook their heads. Luo Feng has the talent technique domain. How can you say his chance of survival does not exceed 10%? Thanks to escaping death while being hunted down by a horde of universe great beings, Luo Feng had earned himself quite a reputation. Still, Luo Feng was taken aback. Were his chances really that low? Is it because of the universe masters? Luo Feng frowned. Universe masters are strong, of course. More than half of those gathered on the original star this time around are said to be universe masters. But there are few of them, and they are scattered across all the 10,081 original stars. There won't be any universe masters on the majority of the original stars. The chances of running into one are low. I am saying that your chance of survival is low because of the environment inside the original stars, not because of the universe masters, Quang Zhou Knight explained. Every original star can only be so big, and there are so many senior universe knights and universe overlords gathered in the stars. But once your location is exposed, the others will immediately plan their counterattack against your talent technique domain. Hence, you will not be able to escape. And eventually, you will be killed. Luo Feng gave a slight nod. That was true. As had been pointed out to him before, a trump card revealed was no longer a trump card at all. Domain's powers may have been out of this world, but that did not make him invincible. If a few universe overlords with malicious intentions worked together, it wouldn't be difficult to defeat him. There were even some universe overlords with first-rate techniques strong enough to solve problems single-handedly. It is best that you have a partner, Quang Zhou Knight warned. Complement one another so that when there is danger, both of you can depend on your talent technique domain to escape. Some kinds of danger require the help of a partner to withstand. Thank you, Quang Zhou Knight, Luo Feng said with a smile. The information has been sent to you, Quang Zhou Knight said. The next moment, Luo Feng received an email. The attached file contained an extensive amount of detailed information in the form of text, pictures, and video clips about various events that had happened during the hundred years or more since the opening of the original star. Luo Feng sighed inwardly. Luckily, he had obtained his force armor. With force armor, it is as if I am carrying a fortress with me, Luo Feng thought. Together with the power of my Masha body to transform and replicate the shape and aura of other beings, who could recognize me as Blade River Emperor, Luo Feng. Back in his god country, his original earthling body and golden horned beast body had tried on the force armor and had each felt its power. The situation coincided with the information he acquired as to what would happen the moment the force armor recognized its master. Luo Feng could not help but marvel. Force armor was truly a supreme true treasure. He could understand why a supreme being such as Flame Emperor would resort to such underhand means to hold onto it. Luo Feng guessed that Force Armor might even be more powerful than Thousand Treasure River. Force Armor was refined and made according to Sitting Mountain Guest's design. It was a true treasure in the form of a unique set of armor and was very different from the other true treasures Luo Feng knew of. To control true treasures like the Sherwu Wings and Golden King Armor, as well as treasures like Ancient Boat Galaxy, required one to have a very high law comprehension, even someone like Luo Feng could only achieve the second forms of Sherwu Wings and Golden King Armor. As for Ancient Boat Galaxy, he was still unable to unleash its full potential. But Force Armor was entirely different. Soldier, General, King, and Emperor Armor were all unrelated to law comprehension. Instead, they were dependent on bodily strength. Force Armor was the same way, it was dependent on bodily strength. If the godly body was not strong enough, it would be useless even if one had high law comprehension. If the godly body was strong, nothing would go wrong even if one had low law comprehension. Force Armor had three different forms. The first form required 100 million times the strength of a Sector Lord for activation. Once activated, it could block off and weaken the force of material attacks to 1 slash 1, 0, 0, 0. soul attacks would be weakened to only 1 tenth, and the user would gain strength equal to 100 million times that of a Sector Lord. The second form required 100 billion times the strength of a Sector Lord for activation. Once activated, it could block off and weaken the force of material attacks to 1 slash 10, 0, 0, 0. soul attacks would be weakened to 1 tenth, and the user would gain strength equal to 1 trillion times that of a Sector Lord. The third form required 100 trillion times the strength of a Sector Lord for activation. Once activated, it could block off and weaken the force of material attacks to 1 slash 100, 0, 0, 0, soul attacks would be weakened to 1 tenth, and the user would gain strength equal to 100 trillion times that of a Sector Lord. This was an extremely powerful life-saving true treasure. Once a Universe Master burned up his godly body to activate it, he would be able to activate the third form. With this form, any material attacks by super true treasures of other Universe Masters were rendered futile. Material attacks would pose no threat at all. These effects only applied as long as one was not facing off against a more powerful attack-based true treasure, such as supreme true treasures. Should such a supreme true treasure appear in the original star, a heated fight among numerous universe masters would occur. For one or two universe masters to lose their lives in the fray was nothing out of the norm. Chapter 1036, Entering the Original Stars Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Inside Luo Feng's Palace on Thunder Island In the sanctity of his private quarters, Luo Feng read the material on the original stars. Impressive, he said. This Quang Zhou Knight indeed gathered detailed information about the original stars, and my plan will work. 
but it's indeed dangerous. And it's a place where the strong rule. Okay, the other three bodies of mine are already at the portal to original stars. In a space more than 100 light years away from the human territory, there were no stars in the space. Instead, there were only storms formed by hydromagnetic fluid. A 40-foot shadow stood in the space. He had a pair of silver horns and purple eyes, and he was covered with gray scales. In addition, he had a scorpion tail. He stood there, bloody and powerful. There was a strange beast squatting on his shoulder. The beast had wings, five horns on its head, and thick hoofs. Anyone knowledgeable would be able to identify this creature, a creature in human form with horns, gray scales, and a scorpion tail. It was Purple Pupa Beast. Beasts could come in all forms, and some of them looked like humans. Purple Pupa Beast was one of them. Purple Pupa Beasts were known for their bloodthirstiness. Of course, most space beasts were bloodthirsty. Many great beings would have also recognized the strange, three-foot-long beast on Purple Pupa Beast's shoulder. It was Golden Horned Beast, one of the twelve pinnacle creatures of space beasts. Haha. -ha. Even my teacher is unable to recognize me, Luo Feng said with a smile. Masha body turned into the shape of a Purple Pupa Beast, and it didn't produce any aura. Luo Feng struck the golden horned beast on his shoulder. The world ring inside Masha body was hiding remote ocean body, and remote ocean body emanated its force through the world ring. Luo Feng smiled. Other great beings would only sense the bloodthirsty ferocity when they witnessed Masha body firsthand. His forceful presence rivaled that of a powerful universe knight. The extent of a being's power was related to its godly body. The stronger the body, the stronger the power. Universe overlords were powerful because of the pinnacle or ultimate techniques they created. However, their power was similar to that of Universe Knights, which was why it was impossible to sense a Universe Overlord if he didn't voluntarily show his power. Luo Feng's remote ocean body was 100 million times stronger than that of a Sector Lord, and because of its enormous size, its power was comparatively greater than many strong Universe Knights. Of course, the power of Golden Horn Beast was even stronger. Although Golden Horn Beast was currently only around 6 feet long, he had already performed both Deities of the World and Beast God transformation. Luo Feng had bought innumerable precious material to practice deities of the world during the 80,000 years he had spent creating his ultimate techniques. After all, it wouldn't cost him much to practice as a sector lord. Luo Feng had already been at a high status without his multiple treasures, and he could trade one of the treasures for many precious materials. He easily achieved the highest level of deities of the world, 36 times amplification. After finishing deities of the world, his body could be easily enlarged and shrunk at will, and it wouldn't affect his power. Deities of the world had amplification of 36 times, and the third level of beast god transformation had amplification of 8 times. When they were combined, they could only give golden horned beast's body an amplification of 45 times. However, if he performed his talent technique strengthen, he could reach an amplification of 90 times. My Masha body emanated the force of remote ocean body, and it's at the level of senior universe knights, Luo Feng thought. However, the force coming from golden horned beast is much more powerful. Luo Feng looked at the golden horned beast on his shoulder, and the golden horned beast looked at him as well. They exchanged eye contact. Ha ha. Anyone who sees us will regard us as two great beings of the Space Beast Alliance. Luo Feng smiled. There were nine superpowers in the universe, and they were the six alliances of the six pinnacle races, the Ancestral God School, the Northern Territory Alliance, and the Space Beast Alliance. The six alliances and the Northern Territory Alliance fought fiercely against each other. As for the Ancestral God School and the Space Beast Alliance, they avoided confrontations. The Ancestral God School didn't fight for any territories, and the Space Beast Alliance was rarely seen. Even an ordinary space beast was a rare sight. The land of Space Beast Alliance was a secret in the universe. Although some great beings of Space Beast Alliance could be seen under some special circumstances, such as the opening of original stars, few knew where the land of the Space Beast Alliance was. A type of being that normally avoided battle and didn't fight for territories. It was the perfect disguise. My human identity is renowned in the universe. In my own form, I am like a moving treasury on original stars. I'll definitely be hunted down by the various races. Luo Feng took a glance at his gray scales. This appearance won't attract much attention, and I won't be encircled by them. After all, there were great beings of all races on original stars. They intimidated each other. They wouldn't attack others unless they could guarantee success, and the one known as Blade River Emperor, Luo Feng, was certainly tempting. Two great beings of Space Beast, however, were not so easy to deal with. Luo Feng looked at the distant place. There was a gigantic whirlpool among the hydromagnetic storms. It had a diameter of 6 billion miles. It was gleaming and twisting the space around him, and the pressure from the whirlpool could crush an ordinary undying fighter. A portal to original stars. Luo Feng whispered. So. Luo Feng stepped into the portal and flew inside. The deeper he got, the stronger the pressure became. Hong. Long. The pressure trembled the surrounding space, and Luo Feng disappeared deep in the portal. A towering figure flew out of the whirlpool. Its bloodiness and fierceness were terrifying. However, there was a more ferocious force around him. Two forces emanated from the towering figure and the strange, somehow endearing beast. These are the original stars. Luo Feng looked around. The whirlpool portal was behind him. 
They're boundless. Luo Feng could feel the pressure bearing down on him. It was far stronger than it had been on a neutron star or an ice hell. Luo Feng landed in a forest. There were 10,081 original stars, and each of them was of the same size, a diameter of 60 billion miles. Space ripples were completely frozen on the original stars, and the pressure could annihilate ordinary undying fighters. The pressure trembled the space. In addition, God Country transportation was not allowed here. The star only had a diameter of 60 billion miles, which wasn't large to supreme beings. However, under such pressure, it would take Luo Feng a long time to boost his speed. Plus, under such great pressure, turning and changing speeds would be a clumsy affair. This place was like a domain coming out of a domain type true treasure. The pressure is enormous. Even my Masha body with a life gene level of 100 times and strength 10 million times greater than that of a sector lord finds it difficult to walk on original stars. Luo Feng walked carefully with golden horned beast lying on his shoulders. He walked out of the forest and arrived at the bottom of the mountain. There was a vast plain in front of him. Luo Feng moved forward and carefully sensed the energy force surrounding him. According to the information gathered by Quangzhou Knight, sensing the energy force on original stars was the most popular way to find valuables among the great beings. After a long while, Hong, an energy ripple reached Luo Feng. It's there. Luo Feng turned around. Hong, Luo Feng immediately sped up like a beam of light. However, the faster he got, the stronger the resistance became, and Masha body clearly couldn't bear it. The resistance is so strong. Burn godly power now. Luo Feng started to burn a portion of his godly body. He sped up and reached sublight speed instantly. He flew off into the distance. There was a boundless plane beneath him. Luo Feng kept flying. After a short while, he saw five great beings fighting one another on the hills. So. Luo Feng landed. Five universe knights, Luo Feng muttered. He saw someone from the demon race on one side. He was enormous and incredibly powerful. On the other side, there were beings of various other races. Luo Feng quickly speculated, if one of them is of the demon race, and the others are probably from Nine Territory Alliance. There were nine superpowers in the universe, and there were twelve top powers. The twelve top powers were not necessarily inferior to the human alliance and demon alliance when it came to the number of races and universe knights. The only thing distinguished them from the superpowers was a universe supreme being. There are six teams of great beings, Luo Feng though, looking around. Apparently, many great beings were attracted to the fight, and there were six more spectators other than him. However, they were all watching from afar instead of meddling. A beast with three heads transmitted its voice, calling out, Prison Race Alliance, Crystal Race Alliance, and C.I. Huan Alliance. And there's a great being of the Space Beast Alliance, too. We've already got two of the three treasures. Let's go. Space Beast Alliance. A being of the demon race with a turtle shell looked toward Luo Feng. Let's go. Demon race was closely related to the Space Beast Alliance, and the demon race had always thought that Space Beasts belonged to the demon race. So. So. Two Universe Knights of the Demon Race left, and so did the other three Universe Knights of the Nine Territory Alliance. Chapter 1037, Chancing Upon a Valuable Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio After the fight, the great beings from the Demon Race and the Nine Territory Alliance left. The seven waves of the audience, consisting of great beings from other races attracted by the commotion, watched the fight from afar. Thereafter, the crowd dispersed quietly. Everything that happened matched the description Quang Zhou Knight gave me precisely. Luo Feng said as he cruised along the skyline of the deserted plain with Golden Horned Beast crouching on his shoulder obediently. The great beings within the original star are very cautious. If they're too few valuables, or if they are not confident enough, they will not take action. During the fight between the Demon Race and the Nine Territory Alliance, there was no aura of a true treasure at all. I think it probably involved only a few treasures. If its aura was concealed, then a true treasure would not be easy to differentiate from an ordinary treasure based on appearance alone. However, things were different on the original stars. The original stars were full of valuables. When different types of valuables appeared, there would not be much response, when some top-tier series of treasures appeared, perhaps there would be some response. However, during the birth of a true treasure, there would absolutely be a response. The greater the response, the higher the level of the true treasure. There was even a palace surfacing from underground. This palace was where a true treasure was hidden. It could be implied, therefore, that the greater the response, the higher the level of the true treasure. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng said, observing a whirlpool from a distance. It was suspended in midair. Another whirlpool portal, with no means of knowing which original star the path leads to. According to the description provided in the information given to him, there were 10,081 original stars, and there were 10,081 whirlpools associated portals randomly distributed that led to each star. Among them, only one was used for leaving the stars, which was the path leading to the whirlpool portal Luo Feng had utilized to arrive at his destination. The other 10,080 paths led to the other 10,080 original stars. All great beings in the original stars seek treasures, said Luo Feng. They do not run about randomly and recklessly. Most of them probably stand guard at a certain spot and wait patiently. 
Once they sense a trace of an aura or any other unique, telling sign somewhere, they rush to it. Luo Feng decided to learn from the experience accumulated from the prior generations of original stars. He would faithfully follow their practices. So. Immediately, Luo Feng dove down and found himself flying into a low-lying ancient forest. There was a mountain that was approximately 600 miles high. Although it was much taller than any other mountain on earth, when compared to those in the original stars, it would have been considered average. The ancient trees, flowers, and foliage on the stars were beautiful. Treading on a bed of fallen leaves, Luo Feng strolled about leisurely. The pressure here on the original star is overwhelming, he said. Weaker undying spirits would surely be annihilated. Yet these plants are able to thrive and bloom here amid mountains and rock formations. Luo Feng looked around and saw a short, sturdy tree with a trunk that was a whopping 100 feet thick. Unquestionably, these plants could all be materials for making undying weapons. They are definitely rare materials of high value. Luo Feng was aware of this, but he would not take anything. There were pioneers who had already attempted to do so. Pang. Luo Feng kicked the tree trunk. Judging by the impact created by his strong godly power crashing against the tree, Luo Feng could sense that the large tree merged as one with the vast land. From a single kick, his entire body was thrown into the air, and he landed quite a distance away, sprawled among the lush garden of flowers and greenery. He picked himself up. Truly. He marveled. All this foliage is merged as one with the original star. The intel mentioned that the plant life here was not easily damaged. Even if super beings tried to cause damage intentionally, they would gather together and grow rapidly to recover their original form. Luo Feng used his godly power to isolate himself from the surroundings. Then he ignited the godly power on his right leg. His power increased tremendously. A loud hum. Sounded as he stamped his foot into the ground, creating a large cloud of soil launched into the air. The impact had created a hole in the ground. Luo Feng stood aside and watched wordlessly. A while later, the dispersed soil redistributed itself, and the hole was once again filled. There was no sign of the hole in the ground. Everything returned to its original form. Indeed, Luo Feng mused. What an amazing original star. On the original stars, any object that was seemingly merged as one with the original star, the earth, the foliage, and more, could be forcefully taken away, but only for a short moment. It would always return to its rightful spot very quickly. It was destined that any efforts to harvest these objects would prove futile. Only objects that were not merged as one with the original stars, like valuables that had just emerged, could be taken away. Immersing himself in the amazing original star, Luo Feng strolled through the forest, observing everything around him. Qi. Luo Feng's leg felt something hard and solid. Given his godly power, ordinary stones would have flown away, the uneven ground would be flattened. Ha! Huh. Luo Feng looked down. A sharp, silver edge was jutting out of the ground. Its tip was stained with mud. Luo Feng felt the object meticulously. There was something unique about it. He blinked. I can't be that lucky, can I? He muttered to himself. There were so many valuables in the original stars. Some treasures might appear without any indication, they could appear in places like the river and beneath the soil. Even while walking, one might chance upon a treasure. This sort of occurrence was not unprecedented. Chancing upon a valuable while walking. Luo Feng squatted down and touched the sharp edge with his right hand. His sharp nails locked on firmly, and his godly power encircled the sharp silver edge as though it were a network of threads. He exerted some force. Hua. As though he was plucking a carrot, he pulled. The earth loosened, and a silver object with a squarish body, approximately a foot and a half long was pulled out of the ground. Luo Feng skimmed the object with his godly power, and all the mud was wiped off. A silver, square body with an exquisite cover inscribed with some ancient laws was revealed. Its aura was indistinct, but it was undoubtedly a treasure. Ha ha. No wonder Sir Nine Blade was willing to use ten treasures as a thank you token just to borrow one of my true treasures, said Luo Feng. He was all smiles. On this original star, there are so many treasures that I could chance upon one while walking. Chancing upon a valuable while walking. Now, that was lucky. However, there were indeed many treasures on the original star. So long as one stayed there long enough, it would not be too difficult to obtain dozens or maybe even hundreds of these treasures. They could then be contributed to one's race in exchange for a series of treasures. Moreover, these treasures could also be disassembled into valuable materials that were normally difficult to find. Upon disassembling a great volume of treasures, countless valuable materials could be gathered and reconstructed into an ordinary true treasure. Making an ordinary true treasure was no easy feat there may have been only one being in the universe who could construct super true treasures such as Force Armor, Original Soul, and Yen Chen Halberd, and that individual was none other than Sitting Mountain Guest. Luo Feng's life imprint branded this square body, instantly, it became his belonging. A stream of information was transmitted into him, and the silver square body shrunk rapidly, as though it were a magic cube. Soon, it was no bigger than a peach. Ha! Huh. A seal-type treasure that could contain a sealed space within itself. This is comparable to a sealed star. Luo Feng nodded with satisfaction. The first treasure since I entered this original star, and on the first day. If I could obtain one every day, after hundreds and thousands of years, how many treasures will I have collected? Ha ha. 
He knew that it was impossible. Nonetheless, it was fun to think about chancing upon treasures every day during leisurely strolls. Luo Feng walked about the forest for half the day, but alas, not a single treasure was to be found. He roamed aimlessly and found an empty spot where he sat down cross-legged amidst the falling leaves. There, he waited patiently. Time flew by. The original stars had stayed open for a full 1,000 centuries, affirming the fact that the chances of previous true treasures emerging were destined to be low. The occurrence was once in a blue moon. Eventually, a series of treasures and ordinary true treasures, normally common items, became highly sought after. Finding treasures required a little luck. It had been two years since Luo Feng had first set foot on the original star, and he had yet to catch sight of a series of treasures. Although he did manage to sense their aura on three occasions, the auras were relatively weak to his senses. This showed how sharp the other great beings were. The ones closest to the valuables when they appeared were the luckiest ones. During the three times when the series of treasures had appeared, Luo Feng was too far away. By the time he rushed over, the fight for the series of treasures had already ended. Luck. I don't even have a single series of treasures. It has been two years, and I have only obtained two treasures. What a shame. Luo Feng stood at the apex of the ancient forest and looked out into the distance. Two years for two treasures still would have been considered quite efficient. After all, life in the original star was fraught with constant risk. Luo Feng was now disguised as a member of the Space Beast Alliance. As the Space Beast Alliance bore a mysterious, otherworldly aura, great beings of other races would usually steer clear from the great beings of this alliance. It had been two years, and Luo Feng, along with the Golden Horned Beast on his shoulder, had earned quite a reputation for themselves. At least, many great beings had come to know and remember them. The Humanity Alliance, the Demon Alliance, the Automaton Race Alliance, and the Bug Soldiers Alliance have all been engaged in violent fights, Luo Feng muttered to himself. So long as there is a pretext for violence, battles are always a possibility. The four pinnacle races were adjacent to one another. Hatred was being perpetually accumulated, and the battles in the original stars were always exceedingly violent. Maybe Luo Feng was still too young to understand. Even though he had experienced an ambush by spies of the Bug Soldiers, which had led to the destruction of a planet, as well as an assassination attempt by Mud Swallowing Knight, his detest for the Bug Soldiers, the Demon Race, and the Automaton Race, was not intense to the point of being extreme, nor to the extent of insanity. Luo Feng simply did not harbor such hatred in his herd, but great beings of the human race who had truly lived for a long time were different. They had lived too long and, as a result, had accumulated countless conflicts and excessive hatred for the other three pinnacle races. One fight followed another, building up their hatred bit by bit. It seemed that eventually, every man's hatred ran deep. I have been here for two years, yet never once have I engaged in battle, Luo Feng sighed to himself. Just as he was feeling some self-pity, he detected a unique aura spreading out toward where he was. Now that he was more experienced, he was stunned. Immediately, he reacted. It's a series of treasures, he realized. Or an ordinary true treasure. And this aura seems close. Luo Feng was excited. He hadn't been even remotely close to the treasures he had sensed the previous three times, but this time, it felt very close. So. Luo Feng's Masha body ignited its godly power in a blink of the eye. At full speed, it shot off. Hong. It flew straight to the source of aura. A huge being from the prison race, standing at a height of over 30 feet with his entire body ablaze with golden flame, could be seen with two other universe knights, each at least 300 feet tall. They had 12 pairs of black wings over their arc backs with bodies covered with black scales. This aura is quite strong. It might be a series of treasures or possibly a true treasure. Together, they flew over to where the aura came from. The aura of an emerging treasure. It's a treasure. The six different troops who happened to have been assembled in the region now rushed toward the source of the energy at top speed. Following the aura that was spreading out, troops of two or three universe knights came rushing over to the source of the aura as quickly as possible. Chapter 1038, All Out Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Feng dashed towards the energy emanating in the distance. The energy is strong, Luo Feng thought. He was pleasantly surprised, and worried. He was happy because such a powerful energy source implied at least a top-tier set treasure or even an ordinary true treasure. However, he was worried because even if he could get to the valuable in the first place, he would draw a bloody fight. It seems that my first fight on an original star is drawing near. Luo Feng said, his eyes glinted fiercely and coldly. Xiao. A creature appeared beside Masha body. It was Remote Ocean body. Remote Ocean body shrank to 30 feet and transformed into the shape of a purple pupa beast in human form, complete with horns, gray scales, and a scorpion tail. Masha body went into the world ring instantly. Fight combination. Luo Feng's eyes glinted aggressively. Luo Feng presumed that it was difficult to kill the golden horned beast because of his enormous godly body with the force armor. Remote Ocean Body hadn't been able to kill Pei Feng Knight even with self-destruction, and Golden Horn Beast Body had the same level of godly body and amplification as Pei Feng Knight. As for size, Golden Horn Beast was thousands of times larger than Pei Feng Knight. 
and his force armor could weaken material attacks by 99.99%. With force armor, Golden Horned Beast is solid, Luo Feng thought. Besides, Golden Horned Beast has a powerful godly body, and Remote Ocean Body has the same amount of godly power as he does. Remote Ocean Body doesn't need to serve as godly power storage anymore. Xiao. Xiao. Remote Ocean Luo Feng flew into the sky with Golden Horned Beast on his shoulder. He flew across the forest and the plain and arrived above a swamp. It's there. Luo Feng quickly sensed the origin of the energy and dove towards it. He found a black hilt sticking out of the water. Only one. Luo Feng said. He exhilarated. It's a true treasure. If there were several pieces, they were a set treasure. However, based on what Luo Feng observed, it had to be a true treasure. And I'm the first on here. Luo Feng raced toward the black hilt. At the same time, a towering creature made of rocks and engulfed in flames, as well as two twelve-winged great beings of the prison race, flew toward him. They could all clearly see the black hilt in the swamp and the blade revealing itself. The three great beings were all excited. It's a true treasure, one of them screeched. Space beast, put down the true treasure or die, the being engulfed in flames roared. But Luo Feng didn't pay him any mind. He put his hand on the black hilt and started to penetrate it with his godly power. Huh. Luo Feng sensed that the black hilt and the swamp were combined as one. Oh, no, he realized. It hasn't fully come into being yet. Luo Feng was startled. This sort of thing happened to some precious valuables, especially true treasures. For instance, when a shrine gradually revealed itself, others couldn't get into the shrine and get the true treasure hidden inside until it completely revealed itself. The same rule applied here. They needed to wait until the black blade completely surfaced from the water for it to recognize someone as its master. Ha ha ha. The three great beings were overjoyed upon seeing this. The towering being engulfed in flames guffawed. Go away. Remote ocean body and golden horned beast body looked at the three great beings of the prison race and protested, This is mine, prison race. Leave it or die. Hong. The giant being engulfed in flames landed in the swamp. The swamp was only half a mile deep, and it was barely up to his ankles. The other two great beings of the prison race floated into the sky and glared at Luo Feng with their wings open. Leave it or die. The flaming rock giant looked down at Luo Feng. Are you seeking your own doom? Hang. Luo Feng snorted. Hong. Hong. Remote ocean body and golden horned beast body started to enlarge themselves at the same time. Remote ocean body, which was only 30 feet tall, became more than 5,500 miles tall. And golden horned beast became 6,000 miles tall. According to the move, deities of the world, the length of one's body wouldn't affect its power as long as it was not too large or too small. Remote ocean body was more than 5,500 miles tall, and he was able to wield his pinnacle power. Remote ocean body stood while golden horned beast body floated in the sky with his wings open. Now, it was their turn to look down at the three tiny beings. Three tiny beings. The golden flamed rock giant was around 6 miles tall, while the two winged great beings were only 0.06 miles tall, they were indeed tiny compared to the massive creatures standing before them now. Hang. The golden flamed and rocked being looked up at the two gigantic creatures and snorted. No. The two black winged great beings were terrified. Size represented power, after all. Lie and I, one of the black winged great beings said. Though space beasts are known for their size, an adult golden horned beast is usually 600 miles long. There are, however, methods within the Space Beast Alliance to improve their genes. We've seen Golden Horned Beast 6,000 miles long. But what's wrong with that purple pupa beast? The largest we've seen is around 60 miles. How is this one so big? Don't worry about that. What matter is, the bigger they are, the more difficult it is to kill them. On original stars, universe overlords usually act alone. Almost all those who cooperate with each other are senior universe knights. There are two of them while we have three. I'll deal with the Golden Horned Beast. You two deal with that purple pupa beast. Let's get the true treasure together. Okay. Don't get wrapped up in a long battle. They're enormous, and we'll be in a disadvantage if we do that. Remote ocean body was more than 5,500 miles long, and Golden Horned Beast was 6,000 miles long. They were blotting out the sky and land so that the three universe knights weren't even able to see the Black Blade. Luo Feng concentrated on the Black Blade. It was gradually surfacing and was moments away from completely revealing itself. I just have to make it through the waiting period, and then the true treasure will be mine, Luo Feng thought and looked down at the three tiny beings under him. He had to be careful. Usually, universe overlords acted alone on original stars, and senior universe knights acted together. Three senior universe knights made for a mighty team. However, Luo Feng was still confident that he could persevere. Senior universe knights. They are as powerful as Sherwa Knight. I was like an ant in front of Sherwa Knight before, whereas now, I can deal with three senior universe knights. But, without realizing it, he was already standing among the supreme beings in the universe. Kill. All the three supreme beings started the attack. Golden Thread Aurora Mirror. Law Domain. Merge. Golden Thread Aurora Domain. 
Golden Horned Beast bared its fangs and fueled Golden Thread Aurora Mirror by burning his godly power, after which the area of 60 million square miles around him was trapped in endless golden light. A domain type valuable. Such strong resistance. It's at least a top tier domain type treasure, if not a domain type true treasure. That space beast has a domain type treasure. The three great beings were terrified, as that treasure was already as powerful as an ordinary true treasure. Though there were three of them, being suppressed by the domain type treasure placed them at less of an advantage. Space Beast, you're courting death, the golden flamed rock giant roared and dashed at golden horned beast like a streak of light, wielding a fiery hammer. Die, bastards of the prison race! Golden horned beast yelled and waved his wings. The golden Sherwu wing was tens of thousands of miles wide, and it swung toward the golden flamed rock giant like two colossal blades. Star and fire roaring sky. The wing rushed at the golden flamed rock giant. Although Luo Feng's moon policy had not yet reached ultimate techniques, Luo Feng had begun improving it a long time ago. After all, he could wield one mystery in different ways, and although it took him a long time, the third move of moon policy could already beat all the 1,600 competitors Primal Chaos City leader had set for him. That meant it was already a top-tier pinnacle technique. It was six or even seven times more powerful than when it was first created. Blade technique was a super pinnacle technique, the weapon was a true treasure. And with godly body and amplification at universe overlord level. Although he was comparatively weaker in beast god conception, he wasn't afraid of senior universe knights at all. Star and fire roaring sky, crash and burn and earth shattering. Remote ocean body shouted, standing beside the black blade and wearing golden king armor. He performed the move under his burning godly power and spiritual force amplification technique. Thousands of shadows flew out of his chest, forming a towering beast god. The beast god roared and dashed at the two black winged great beings. The third move of star map, star and fire roaring sky, crash and burn and earth shattering. Luo Feng had never performed this move before. The first time he had performed it, he'd relied on remote ocean body. Remote ocean body and golden horn beast body were both going all out, now. And with golden thread aurora domain slowing his enemies down, they clashed wickedly with the three senior universe knights of prison race. Chapter 1039, A Pair of Wings for a Shield Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Hong The golden flamed rock giant swung his hammer with all his strength, and the hammer flew at golden horn beast with a thunderous rumble. The force within the golden thread aurora domain was rendered defenseless. One strike from this hammer and stars like the star traveler or the neutron star would shatter and be reduced to naught. Even the black hole would have crumbled beneath such a strike. The golden flamed rock giant growled as he deployed his strongest strike. The environment within the original star did not shatter, but it was not because the hammer was not powerful enough, it was because the environment within the original star had unique traits. Pang. The hammer collided with the golden light blade of a pair of wings. With hands still grasping his hammer, the golden flamed rock giant was thrown backward and propelled into the air where his rocky legs lost contact with solid ground. He was forcibly suspended in midair. That loathsome space beast, the golden flamed rock giant roared in rage. Crush the prison race. Golden horned beast transformed into a ray of light and made a turn back before landing again. The golden light blade sliced through the air, looking as if it could make mincemeat out of every obstacle in the way. Pang. 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 Strike after strike. The golden flamed rock giant was not as agile as golden horned beast with its Sherwu wings. Moreover, the golden thread aurora domain had met with heavy resistance and was attacked under pressure. Golden horned beast was enormous. Hence, his Sherwu wings could spread as wide as tens of thousands of miles. Should it flap one wing down, the golden flamed rock giant being would not be able to hide even if it wanted to. Remote ocean body was like the Dinghai divine needle as he stood before the black blade. While watching the two twelve-winged knights of the prison race in the distance, he was also manipulating the gigantic beast god while it hunted down the two knights of the prison race. Hong. Long. Long. Beast God was roaring while racing in midair quick as a phantom. The moment the two black-winged knights made it slightly further away, the Beast God would no longer give chase. The Beast God was tasked with guarding a certain area around the black blade. If the two knights of the prison race trespassed this area, they would be attacked. It was imperative to understand that the Beast God was a true treasure in the form of a spiritual force weapon and had an extremely swift flying speed. Now that it was coupled with Golden Thread Aurora Domain, the moment the two black-winged great beings of prison race set foot within this guarded area, they would be knocked out within a split second. Bang. A black-winged great being was sent flying out straight away. The other black-winged great charging into that area from the opposite direction approached the gradually ascending black blade at top speed. Roar. Beast God let out a roar and set off in the opposite direction so quickly that he left a trail behind him. Right away, he rammed into the black-winged great being with a loud crash, swatting it into the distance. Ah. What should we do? We can't force our way in, said one of the black-winged beings. The two twelve black-winged great beings traveled far away enough while transmitting their message to the golden-flamed rock giant. That spiritual force weapon is way too fast. And they have a domain-type treasure. We have used up 3% of our godly bodies, yet that loathsome purple pupa beast has not even used one one-thousandth of its godly body. We can't afford to go on like this. The golden-flamed rock giant gave a thunderous roar of rage. 
He was at his wit's end. Although he was huge, the portion of the godly body he used up was small. He was aware that the golden horned beast before him would use up an amount even smaller than he had. Even if he were to set his entire godly body ablaze, the golden horned beast might not even have used up 1% of its godly body. But the golden flamed rock giant suddenly transmitted a confident response. Ha ha ha. I can sense great beings of other races approaching. Fight a little while longer. These two space beasts will definitely feel flustered when the other beings arrive. That is when we seize our opportunity. The two twelve black wings great beings scanned their surroundings, instantaneously feeling joyful. As expected, two troops appeared coming from two different directions. Ha. Huh. Remote ocean body said, noticing the new arrivals. That is a group from the Northern Territory Alliance, a total of three universe knights. And the other group is from the Han Alliance. They have two universe knights. Remote ocean Luo Fong looked around and made a speedy judgment. Given my current identity, the group from the Han Alliance will see me only as one of the Space Beast Alliance, and they'll react accordingly. There was no way he could bother himself with any other concerns. He had to deal with the three universe knights of the prison race while keeping an eye on the black blade that was gradually ascending from the ground. Gradually, it arose. The entire tip of the black blade had nearly emerged. Almost there, it is going to come out fully soon. Luo Fong was anxious and expectant. Hurry, hurry, hurry. If I hope to stand any chance at all, it must be fully revealed before the other groups arrive. The two troops flew over quickly. Although the members from the Hong Alliance were not humans, they made their judgment quickly. Ha ha ha. It is a valuable. Definitely a true treasure. And still in the midst of being born. The treasure has yet to recognize its master. Hurry up. While the Space Beast group and the group from the prison race are engaged in a deadlock, we should quickly grab the treasure right out from under them. Meanwhile, the three Universe Knights of the Northern Territory Alliance troop were thrilled, realizing they had been presented with a great opportunity. They took off for the treasure as though their lives depended on it. The Northern Territory Alliance was said to be the alliance consisting of the greatest number of races in the universe. A tremendous number of races gathered as one, bringing the number of Universe Knights within the Northern Territory Alliance to an extreme high. For example, in the open-air public square of the World of Glory of the Ancestral God School, the number of heirs from the Hong Alliance was merely in the thousands, while that of the Northern Territory Alliance was in the tens of thousands. There was a sizable difference, meaning that within the original star, troops of Universe Knights from the Northern Territory Alliance were seen more than any other group. When compared with the six pinnacle races like the human race, the distribution of resources, like treasures for great beings of similar power, were fewer in number. Out of the three Universe Knights of the Northern Territory Alliance, one was over 30 feet tall. He had purple gold plates all over his body, and he flew toward the black blade at top speed. Upon careful observation, he started to show a hint of confusion. Ha, huh, he said. That seems to be... impossible. It can't be. Hurry. 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 Luo Feng agonized with anxiety. The black blade may have ascended to its tip, but it was emerging much more slowly than the approach of the groups of beings flying toward it. The two troops of Universe Knights from the Han Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance were still approaching at a consistently high rate of speed, even though they were within the Golden Thread Aurora Domain. Ha ha ha. You can't make it. The golden flamed rock giant of the prison race laughed aloud. Space Beast, you will not be able to get that true treasure. It is not yours to claim. Golden Horned Beast let out a thunderous roar of rage. Hong. Golden Horned Beast waved its wings suddenly, immediately turning back to the area surrounding the Black Blade. Hua. Remote Ocean Luo Fong also took a step back to stand beside the Black Blade. Come on. Remote Ocean Body and Golden Horned Beast were both standing near the Black Blade, obviously guarding it with their lives. They just had to endure for a short while longer, and this true treasure would be theirs. I would stand against greater than Universe Knights than all of you. Remote Ocean Luo Fong thought. Even if you were Universe Overlords, Golden Horned Beast has the Force Armor. It is fearless. My remote ocean body may be slightly weaker in terms of strength. The Golden King armor can only be activated up to its second form, which means it could weaken the power of material attacks to 1 slash 1, 0, 0, 0. It may be weaker than force armor, but remote ocean body is huge. Defending with its sheer brute strength should be possible for a short while at least. Remote ocean body and golden horned beast were like two mountains. One stood by the black blade while the other hovered above it to ward off any beings who dared to venture near. Meanwhile, the groups from the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance both realized that the other groups had appeared. Kill. Kill. Grab the true treasure. Hurry up, the other five troops are arriving soon. We need to hurry. Three groups, the Hong Alliance, the Northern Territory Alliance, and the Prison Race, comprised of eight senior universe knights. Plus, the Space Beast group was charging toward the center. Hong. 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 The three troops transformed into rays of light simultaneously and charged. Ha! Golden Horned Beast immediately spread its wings and stood at the forefront. Hua! Hua! Its wings suddenly increased in size. The Sherwu wings, being a true treasure, could change colors at will, and this time, they were a magnificent gold. They spread wide open without inhibition, expanding outward in all directions. 
They became gigantic, easily spreading over 100,000 miles in a mere instant. The monstrous pair of wings surrounded the black blade like a mother hen protecting her chicks. Anyone who wanted to grab the black blade would have to forcefully move those wings out of the way. Attack. Ha ha ha. He actually thinks to resist us. Kill him. The eight senior universe knights launched their attacks as one. One knight from the Hong Alliance held a flying wheel, an ordinary true treasure, and was exceptionally generous with his attacks. Numerous crashes sounded as attacks were thrown towards the golden wings. Golden Horned Beast stood firmly within the swamp, its four strong limbs like heavenly pillars. The depths of the swamp were unable to even submerge its claws. Its wings were propped up high and mighty. Hong. 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 The eight senior universe knights' joint effort boosted their power to the level of universe overlords. They struck repeatedly. I must stand with this bit of power. Golden Horned Beast said. He stood his ground, stable as a mountain. Regardless of the number of strikes dealt, the Sherwu wings and the force armor combined to weaken each impact. With these treasures, combined with its gigantic godly body, warding off the attacks was a piece of cake. The eight senior universe knights from the Northern Territory Alliance, the Hong Alliance, and the prison race instantly concluded that the situation was beyond their expectations. Those wings are a true treasure. It must be a true treasure. Few treasures can expand to such a size. No matter how big a treasure can be, to be jointly attacked by eight senior universe knights, the size should reduce, or it would disintegrate. That pair of wings must be a true treasure. Ordinary treasures could be destroyed by some universe overlords. Even for a top-tier treasure. Whether it shrank to ward off attacks or intentionally enlarged so that the impact of the attack would be weakened, no matter what it did, escaping unscathed was out of the question. Yet the combined attacks of eight senior universe knights proved futile against Golden Horned Beast. At that moment, Golden Horned Beast and Remote Ocean Body shifted their gazes over to the Black Blade. The tip of the Black Blade was finally out of the swamp, and it was now hovering over the spot where it had emerged. Its aura was now fully restrained. It seemed like an ordinary treasure. Treasure, come to me. Golden Horned Beast gave a deep command. Immediately, a trace of godly power headed for the Black Blade, ready to brand the blade with his life imprint. Chapter 1040, Blade River Luo Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Luo Fong infiltrated the Black Blade with a trace of his godly power and sealed his life imprint on it, making the blade recognize him as its owner. Ha! Huh. Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted with confusion. What's going on? Why is there no information being transferred? Remote Ocean Luo Fong was also looking down at the Black Blade, perplexed. Usually, when a treasure or true treasure recognized someone as its owner, it would transfer information to the owner's mind. The information was generally a description of the weapon or the techniques used to utilize the valuables. There were, of course, exceptions, like Star Map, Sher Wu Wing, and Tower Pearl. If the great being who created the valuable had left information behind, there would be information contained in the valuable. Tower Pearl was a part of Star Tower, and so it didn't contain any information. As for Star Map, it was an ordinary true treasure created by Zwashan Ku with a picture scroll and lots of seal stars. That was why some true treasures and ordinary treasures didn't contain any information. However, according to the intel Quang Zhou Knight had gathered, true treasures and ordinary treasures that came into being on original stars were bred by the universe. They were supposed to carry information innately. This one did not seem to have anything. Weird, Luo Fong was baffled. Hong. 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 The eight senior universe knights attacked the wing of Golden Horned Beast relentlessly, disrupting Luo Feng's thoughts. So. Golden Horned Beast shrank its giant black blade and merged it with his body. Howl. He howled, making the sky and land tremble. At the same time, the gigantic golden wing quickly reduced in size from hundreds of thousands of miles wide to tens of thousands of miles wide, and he revealed Golden Horned Beast and remote ocean body. The eight supreme beings were disappointed. The true treasure is taken. It has recognized him as its master. Goddamn space beast. Let's go. They all glared at remote ocean body and golden horned beast body. The three great beings of the prison race left first. The other five universe knights of the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance were also upset and gave up on their hopes of claiming the valuable. They all knew that they stood a chance if the valuable hadn't recognized him as its owner. However, the only way they could capture the valuable was to kill the golden horned beast, and golden horned beast was able to defend himself against all eight of them. If he wanted to flee, there was no way they could stop him. They were all upset. The size of the golden horned beast was what stopped them from taking the valuable by force. His godly body is too enormous, and our godly bodies might be burned out before we can kill him. We should have gotten here soon. The true treasure fell into the hands of space beasts. Ha ha. You guys are late. Golden Horned Beast said in a hoarse voice. You just got lucky. Let's go. The three universe knights of Northern Territory Alliance and Hong Alliance left. Golden Horned Beast body and remote ocean body watched them go. 
He saw one team after another coming here, following the energy signature of the true treasure. Go. Remote ocean body shrank to 30 feet tall, and golden horned beast shrank to around 300 feet long. Golden horned beast waved his wings with remote ocean body sitting on his back. So. That space beast has got the valuable, grumbled a new arrival. Let's go. We need to wait until next time. Is it a top tier set treasure or an ordinary true treasure? The universe knights speculated about what had happened with their companions. They were all puzzled, but they had to leave. On the original stars, those who were closest to the valuables when they appeared were the luckiest ones. Here, great beings needed both power and luck. The three universe knights of the Northern Territory Alliance were flying back to the place they inhabited, the apex of a small mountain. Those space beasts are indeed lucky. The Space Beast Alliance is mysterious and powerful. Those two have a domain type valuable, a wing true treasure, and now a black blade true treasure. They were all talking among themselves, and the universe knight made of metal was ruminating. That, that pattern. It is that valuable. The purple metal knight's eyes gleamed. He isolated them from the surroundings with his godly power and looked to the strange beast knight with hundreds of soft dorsal fins around his mouth. Hundred raccoon knight, he said, you have a body at the center of our alliance, right? Send a message to our alliance and tell them that we just found the godly blade of Blade River Luo. Blade River Luo. Both universe knights were dazed. Hundred raccoon knight's eyes glinted with excitement. The legendary top tier true treasure, Blade River Luo. Blade River Luo was the most attractive true treasure in a century after the original stars had opened. A giant tomb came out from underground. It was the tomb of the blade, the blade tomb. An ancient tablet on the blade tomb told that there were many godly blades and several ordinary true treasures. And the most precious of all were the components of Blade River Luo, which were made of a compass and nine godly blades. Once all the godly blades were integrated into the compass, it could become a boundless blade river, and it was omnipotent. If all the nine blades merged into one, the power was even more terrific. It was a domain-type treasure, but it had the attacking power of a pinnacle true treasure. The compass itself was already a domain-type ordinary true treasure. Its power could be improved with one blade blending in, the more the godly blades inside the compass, the more powerful the compass would become. It would reach the perfect status once all the godly blades merged with it. It was such a superb true treasure. The last time the compass showed itself, it only carried one black blade. A godly blade of Blade River Luo. Where did we find it? Hundred Raccoon Knight asked. Where were we? The moment the other Universe Knight talked, the Purple Metal Universe Knight said, It's the true treasure, the black blade the two space beasts obtained. I've seen the photos of Blade River Luo, and the black blade we just saw was exactly the same as the blade in the photos. Black Raccoon Knight was startled. Go. Go tell our alliance. The Purple Metal Knight shouted. Sure. Hundred Raccoon Knight nodded. Many supreme beings who entered the original stars had left their clone with their own race, but there were also some who left their original bodies behind. Clones were able to send simple messages, but they weren't capable of dealing with important issues. My clone has entered the center of our alliance. A universe master is meeting me, Hundred Raccoon Knight murmured. After a long while. I've told the universe master what happened, and I've replicated the shape of the black blade using my mind. The universe master I spoke with confirmed that it's indeed a component of Blade River Luo. There are few true treasures, and it's almost impossible to have true treasures of the same pattern and come into being on the original stars in such a short period of time. It's got to be a godly blade of Blade River Luo. The Universe Master asked us not to take any actions. He has told some universe overlords closest to this original star and Fu Mo Master to come here. And he has marked our contribution. Hundred Raccoon looked at his companions, and they all smiled. The Northern Territory Alliance immediately arranged great beings to go to the original star Luo Phone was staying on. Inside the virtual universe, in an open-air bar, many universe knights of the Hong Alliance city gathered. Almost all the great beings who entered original stars left clones, and they used them to connect to the virtual universe. This was how they conveyed information. Another true treasure showed up. See. It's this one. I saw it myself. What true treasure? Come here and see. On which original star? Everyone was interested in what happened on the original stars. Look, this is the photo of it. A bald-headed, golden-eyed great being covered with body hair was showing everyone a photo. This true treasure surfaced from the swamp. Unfortunately, I arrived late, and the true treasure was captured by two great beings of the Space Beast Alliance. A true treasure. What a pity. You can't get the true treasure even it's right in front of you, and what's worse, it was taken by the Space Beast Alliance. What could I do, the bald-headed Universe Knight said. Both great beings of the Space Beast Alliance have godly bodies of around 6,000 miles long. Do you really think I can still get it back? Even universe overlords would have a hard time facing such gigantic bodies. Isn't this the godly blade of Blade River Luo? Yeah. It's the godly blade of Blade River Luo. Everyone was thrilled. Meanwhile, Luo Phone was walking toward the open-air bar. So strange, he thought. 
The valuable on the original star has already recognized me as its master, but it still hasn't sent me any information. Luo Fong was bewildered, and thus he connected to the virtual universe and came to the place where the great beings of Hong Alliance shared information. He wanted to ask some of his friends about it. Kuang Zhou Knight, Luo Fong shouted when he saw Kuang Zhou Knight. Kuang Zhou turned toward him and beamed. Blade River. Luo Fong walked towards him, smiling. Suddenly, he frowned as a being caught his attention. It's him. Luo Fong recognized that bald universe knight. It was one of the two universe knights of the Hong Alliance who had attacked him. Chapter 1041, Escape. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. When Luo Feng's mind was still in the virtual universe, three great beings gathered in the forest under the whirlpool portal on the original star where Luo Feng was staying. We arrived here as fast as we could under the order of our alliance, said one of them. It seems we're the first ones to arrive. Yes, replied another. Once those space beasts find out that the godly Black Blade is a part of Blade River Luo, they'll all rush to that whirlpool portal. If they succeed, they can do teleportation and god country transportation, and we can't catch them anymore. We must safeguard this place and stop them from doing that. So, we'll just wait here, the third one said in a deep voice. There will be a group of universe overlords arriving here, and Fu Mo Master may also arrive. That's only a godly blade of Blade River Luo. How many contribution points do you think we can earn? In my opinion, Wang Jia Knight can guard this place while Bei Feng Knight and I attack him first. Bei Feng Knight and I together could kill those space beasts. Well. Why were you still hesitating, said the one with the deep, low voice. Other universe overlords will arrive soon. Are you on board, Bei Feng Knight? I am, said a timid voice. Okay. I'm on board too, but remember, if we get the godly blade, we need to divide the contribution points equitably among us three. Of course. They looked at each other and smiled. So. So. Two creatures flew up in the sky. One of them was around 100 feet tall. He was a repulsive creature with three horns on his head and eyes like a hawk. He had thick, sturdy arms, and he grasped an ancient spear with three bloodstains on the tip. As for the other one, he was around 30 feet tall and was entirely enveloped by a black cape. Even his face was covered by a black mask. Bei Feng Knight, you can attack his soul first. Said the three-horned knight holding the ancient spear. If you can't kill them directly, you can affect them. Then I'll engage in close combat with them with my burning godly body, my ultimate techniques, and my chi blood spear. Even if the space beasts are wearing ordinary true treasure armor, my terrific attack can rival that from a universe master. Their armor might only be able to weaken the attack to one one-thousandth or even one one-hundredth. Your chi blood spear is a might senior true treasure, said Bei Feng Knight, smiling behind his black mask and black cape. We'll definitely succeed. Chi blood palace leader was a renowned universe overlord in the Northern Territory Alliance. He had three true treasures, and the weapon he used for close quarters combat was a senior true treasure. Together with his close quarters combat techniques, he could even fight with a universe master for a short time. Once he attacked with his full strength, it would surpass the limit of an ordinary true treasure. Within the limit, the third form of an ordinary true treasure armor could weaken the material attack by 99.99%. However, once the attack surpassed the limit of the true treasure, its function would sharply decline and could only weaken it to 1 1,000th, 1 1,000th, 1 1 10th. It might even break. That was why ordinary true treasures were disdained by universe masters. Although they have larger godly bodies, I can kill them with my chi blood spear by attacking them several times. Chi blood palace leader transmitted the voice while flying at high speed. Bei Feng Knight, just use your soul attack to stop them from running away. I heard that the golden horn beast has a wing true treasure. Just leave it to me. Bei Feng Knight and Chi blood palace leader raced toward Luo Feng like two flashes of light. Luo Feng was the first one to arrive at the birthplace where the Black Blade unveiled itself, so the Northern Territory Alliance quickly extrapolated that Luo Feng must be staying in an area close to the birthplace. That was how Bei Feng Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader knew where they should be heading. Inside the Virtual Universe Luo Feng looked at the bald Universe Knight in the distance, shocked by what he saw. Him? One of the two Universe Knights from the Hong Alliance who fought against us for the valuable. At the same time, a large group of Universe Knights gathered around that bald Universe Knight. They seemed to be engaged in an exciting conversation. Luo Feng listened in, hearing every word that was being said. Blade River Luo A godly blade of Blade River Luo. Rumor has it that the compass of Blade River Luo was obtained by a universe master of the Thorn Ring Alliance. That universe master. He must be dying to acquire other blades and will be willing to get the blades at an extremely high cost. It looks like an ordinary true treasure, but it's at least as valuable as a senior true treasure. That's right. Blade River Luo will be perfect only when all the blades are gathered, and as long as there's one blade hiding with us, the Hong Alliance, the Thorn Ring Alliance will get it back. What a shame. Those two space beasts got it. A godly blade of Blade River Luo. Thought Luo Feng in surprise. Taken by two space beasts. Unfortunately, I was late, said the bald universe knight. He shook his head. 
the picture of the black blade was still floating in front of him. Otherwise, I would have got the godly blade. Luo Fong was amazed. God. The black godly blade he had obtained was a godly blade of Blade River Luo. Luo Fong was aware of its power and force based on some brief descriptions. It was a top-tier domain type true treasure, and it had the attacking power of that of a pinnacle true treasure. It was at least as valuable as Thousand Treasures River after all the blades merged with the compass. A voice came from afar. Quick. Tell us where the godly blade unveiled itself. Yes. Tell us now. We'll be there as soon as possible. We can kill those space beasts and get the godly blade together, after which the Thorn Ring Alliance will be willing to pay a high price for it. We can also give it to our alliance, and it will definitely give us many contribution points. I need to flee. Luo Fong thought, suddenly realizing that he was in great danger. Blade River. Kuang Zhou Knight said and ran toward him. I have some issues to deal with right now, Kuang Zhou Knight, said Luo Fong. I'll talk to you later. Luo Fong then disappeared, which bewildered Kuang Zhou Knight. In the forest on the original star where Luo Fong was staying. Quick, 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 said Luo Fong. Remote Ocean Luo Fong and the Golden Horned Beast immediately stood up. Many great beings from Hong Alliance will gather soon, he said. I need to leave now. The Prison Race, the Hong Alliance, and the Northern Territory Alliance all saw the Black Blade when I got the valuable. Great beings from the Hong Alliance have now started to gather. They might not have enough time to stop me, but those from the Northern Territory Alliance and the Prison Race will be here very soon. Remote Ocean Luo Fong shrank to six feet tall and sat on Golden Horned Beast's back. Escape was his only option this time. The Golden Horned Beast was speedy when it came to fleeing, and he was the best at defending himself against dangers. So. The Golden Horned Beast became thirty feet long and opened his wing. He burned his godly power and flew. Under the burning godly power and the true treasure Sher Wu wing, he zoomed like a beam of golden light. At that moment, two universe overlords, Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight of the Northern Territory Alliance, were flying toward him. The original star was enormous. Traveling at light speed, it took almost an hour to fly from the Whirlpool portal to the forest where Luo Feng stayed. That was why Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight weren't there yet. As a matter of fact, the great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance were all rushing toward the original star Luo Feng was staying on. Including Fu Mo Master. However, even Fu Mo Master had to fly toward the Whirlpool portal slowly. Each original star was identical, having a diameter of 60 billion miles. Even someone flying at light speed, he could only travel at 6 billion miles in an hour, meaning it would take a long time if they were far from the Whirlpool. The great beings gathered together by the Northern Territory Alliance were already rushing there as fast as they could. Finally, Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight saw it. Look, it's the Golden Light. It's the Golden Horned Beast. They were racing toward Luo Feng from the Whirlpool while Luo Feng rushed to the Whirlpool. Naturally, they could see each other midway. Both remote ocean body and the Golden Horned Beast saw those two flashes of light. Ah! They might be some great beings from other races, but it's unlikely that they're here to come after me. How is it possible that they're that fast? Oh well. I'll just run to another original star later. So. The Golden Horned Beast kept flying, and he sometimes turned to keep the distance from those two traces of light. Who? Who? The two great forces made a sharp turn and got closer to him. No. They are after me. As soon as Luo Feng realized they were coming after him, he recognized them. The one with three horns. It's Qi Blood Palace leader from the Northern Territory Alliance. And it's Bei Feng Knight beside him. Luo Feng immediately put his remote ocean body back into his world ring. Both Qi Blood Palace leader and Bei Feng Knight were universe overlords. And they were far from ordinary universe overlords. Generally, universe knights who reached the pinnacle level in law comprehension and technique creation and could rival most mediocre universe masters were considered universe overlords. However, universe overlords who had ordinary true treasures and those who had the senior treasures were at very different levels. Additionally, a human universe overlord was different from a universe overlord that was a special life form with a life gene level of 8,000 times. As for Qi Blood Palace Leader, he had a senior true treasure. And Bei Feng Knight was a universe overlord proficient in soul attack. Space beasts, said a mild voice, there's no way you can run away. A deep voice immediately added, Give us the blade. Chapter 1042, Qi Blood Spear Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Qi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight were known not to be trifled with. Who? Luo Feng quickly waved his golden wings and flew off in another direction. I didn't expect to be discovered so soon, he muttered. The whirlpool portal to the outside is likely to have been discovered already. If I go there, I'll be walking into a trap. Hmm. Well, I'll just go to another original star through another whirlpool portal. Qi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight looked at him indifferently. Apparently, everything was under their control. It's your turn, Qi Blood Palace Leader said. Bei Feng looked at Luo Feng in the distance. His eyes glinted. 
Suddenly, the flow of time surrounding him twisted. An invisible soul attack immediately caught Golden Horned Beast and penetrated his body. It quickly started to consume his godly power. Each part of his godly power contained a soul imprint, meaning Luo Fong would be doomed if he was eroded. Seal. Power Pearl let out countless threads and connected the entire godly body instantly. Hong. 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 The soul erosion assaulted his soul. However, Luo Fong had a mighty willpower in addition to a Tower Pearl to guard it. Soul erosion couldn't affect Luo Fong at all. Bei Fong Knight looked contentedly at Golden Horned Beast, flying in one direction and slowing down because of the resistance. He transmitted his voice to Chi Blood Palace leader. I don't think I successfully eroded his soul, he said, but he must have been affected when he tried to defend himself from my soul attack. Now, it's your turn. Ha ha. Just wait and see, Chi Blood Palace leader said. He charged at Golden Horned Beast like a flash of light. Bei Fong Knight was following him. Golden Horned Beast. Chi Blood Palace leader called out as he raised the ancient spear in his hand. The three blood stains on the tip glowed with countless bloody law engravings. Chi Blood Palace leader emanated bloody energy. His eyes turned red, and he quickly pressed on toward Golden Horned Beast. Break. Chi Blood Palace leader growled and burned his godly power. At the same time, a huge amount of godly power was infused into his spear. He waved his spear fiercely. Pooh. The spear pierced toward Golden Horned Beast, who just noticed it and tried to close his wings to protect himself. Jiang. The spear was so forceful that the space it passed through was twisted wickedly, forming visible space ripples. It punctured the wing of Golden Horned Beast. Pang. This weapon was mighty. Golden Horned Beast bounced away under the force of the shock wave. It was like he'd been hit by a planet. Go. Don't let him escape. Chi Blood Palace leader said. So. So. Bei Fong Knight and Chi Blood Knight chased after Golden Horned Beast. So powerful. Golden Horned Beast thought after the blast. He could feel the extent of his injury. I pretended to be affected because I wanted to test the power of the terrific spear. No wonder it's so famous. Even my Sher Wu Wing didn't help to resist it. Luo Fong already knew that the more powerful an attack was, the less useful an ordinary true treasure armor would be against it. Sher Wu Wing was a flying true treasure. Although the wing could be utilized as a shield, it was, after all, inferior to real armor type true treasures. Luo Fong speculated that Sher Wu Wing only weakened the attack by half, while Force Armor weakened it by 99.99%. Together, Golden Horn Beast bore one twenty thousandth of the power of the Chi Blood Spear. That was like a drill, said Luo Fong. The power still entered my godly body after piercing through Sher Wu Wing and Force Armor until it was annihilated by my godly body completely. Luo Fong was startled. Regardless, I was still injured. Although the injury was nothing given the enormous godly body, the Golden Horned Beast had been injured. Luo Fong was still in shock. If it hadn't been for the Force Armor. If he had only been wearing an ordinary true treasure armor. He could only drive the second form. If that had been the case, it would have been lucky if that armor could weaken the attack to one-tenth its original strength. One twenty-thousandth compared to one-tenth, a difference of two thousand times. That meant that if someone was over one thousand times stronger than the other, he could annihilate his enemy with one move without consuming any energy. For instance, when a pinnacle emperor wanted to kill an undying fighter, he could easily do so without consuming any of his godly power. What? Why is he still so powerful? Chi Blood Palace leader said. He was shocked. Even if he wielded the third form of an ordinary true treasure armor, he could, at most, only weaken the power by 99%. I performed my ultimate technique by consuming almost one one-thousandth of my godly body and using cheap blood spear. He should have been severely injured. Shio. Golden Horned Beast waved his wing and sped up. Too fast. Chi Blood Palace leader said. Bei Fong Knight, hurry. Stop him. Leave it to me. Bei Fong Knight said as he looked up at Golden Horned Beast. He performed his soul attack again, attempting to affect Golden Horned Beast. However, instead of slowing down, Golden Horned Beast kept speeding up, nearly hitting light speed. He's not affected. Bei Fong Knight was amazed. We've been tricked. Chi Blood Palace leader said, transmitting his voice. He wasn't affected at all. He deliberately withstood my attack to demonstrate his enormous defending power. Rat bastard. He was insulting me. Insulting me. Stop him, Bei Fong Knight. I'll teach him the consequences for insulting me. Chi Blood Palace leader roared hoarsely. His eyes glinted with bloodthirstiness. Ever since obtaining his Chi Blood Spear, he had become more and more ferocious. He was usually able to control it, but when he was triggered, he would occasionally go mad. And he was the most terrifying when he went mad. Bei Fong Knight looked at Golden Horn Beast from afar and waved his hands. So. 30,000 blade daggers showed up and flew toward the Golden Horn Beast. It was a spiritual force true treasure Bei Fong Knight owned, and as a great being proficient in soul attack, he was also good at using spiritual weapons. Even the speed of a great being couldn't compare with that of a spiritual force weapon. The spiritual weapons kept drawing near. After a short while, they surrounded Luo Fong. No, the Golden Horn Beast said. 
He knew he was in trouble when he saw tens of thousands of shadows flying toward him. Wing cap. Golden horned beast opened his golden wing. It immediately grew larger and blocked most of the black daggers. Some of them pierced through the belly of the golden horned beast and kept hitting his body. Golden horned beast body slowed down sharply as Bayfone Knight and Chi Blood Palace leader approached. Damn you two. Still chasing, he said. I have force armor to protect me. They really think they can hurt me. I pretended to be affected by the soul attack because I wanted to feel the power of the legendary Chi Blood Spear. Otherwise, they wouldn't have even had a chance to injure me. You want to stop me by using a spiritual force weapon, he said. If I use Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, it'll have a much stronger resistance power than your spiritual force weapon. Golden Horned Beast Body looked back coldly. He didn't even consider Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bay Fong Knight to be a threat. Though he was far inferior when it came to attacking power, his force armor and the enormous godly could make Bay Fong Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader despair. He only wanted to test the power of Chi Blood Spear, and now he was leaving. Regardless, I need to get rid of those two, he thought. Otherwise, my plan will be seen through. I'll teach them a lesson first. Who? Golden Horned Beast body growled and waved his wing. Hua. He turned back and dashed at Bay Fong Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader. Chi Blood Palace Leader was exhilarated seeing this, and he shouted, that stupid Golden Horned Beast wanted to die. I'll happily satisfy his wish. Hong. Chi Blood Palace Leader burned his godly body and raced toward Golden Horned Beast body. Ho. Golden Horned Beast's wings struck out like blades. Ha ha ha. Bloody light flashed across the eyes of Chi Blood Palace Leader, and his Chi Blood Spear was covered with bloody light as well. He had gone completely insane. It was like two stars hitting each other. Hong. The space trembled. Golden Horned Beast body clashed against Chi Blood Palace Leader with his sharp wing again and again while Chi Blood Palace Leader kept dodging it. At the same time, he wielded his spear unrelentingly. The way he wielded his spear was strange. It went faster and faster, and his godly body became more and more forceful. Poo. 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 They fought each other fiercely for several seconds. Chi Blood Palace Leader backed down first. The bloody light in his eyes had already dissipated, and he was not nearly as predatory as before. What happened, Chi Blood? Bei Fong Knight asked as he flew toward him. Even your ultimate technique is not working. Your 13 spear uses the special techniques contained in Chi Blood Spear and the Burning Godly Body. You said before that you need to burn more and more of your godly body and few universe overlords can withstand the 13 spear. 13 spear. When the spear attacked the first time, it only consumed one one thousandth of the godly body, but the more it attacked, the more energy it consumed. And after the spear attacked 13 times, it consumed 9% of his godly body. What? What? Chi Blood Palace Leader's eyes flared with shock and anger. Impossible. Impossible. I lost 9% of my godly body but still couldn't weaken his force. Bay Fong Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader glared at Golden Horned Beast. Golden Horned Beast looked back at them and growled. At the same time, the vigorous Golden Thread Aurora domain enveloped the hundreds of millions of square miles around them. Bay Fong Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader were completely trapped. It's a domain type valuable. So. Golden Horned Beast Body waved his wing and flew away from the endless Golden Thread Auroras and muttered, Lesson taught. Got to go now. For what it's worth, this Chi Blood Palace Leader is impressive. He was able to consume one ten thousandth of my godly body even with my force armor protecting me. If I were a smaller sized universe overlord, I might have been annihilated. Chapter 1043, Superpowers That Should Not Be Underestimated Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio In the sky above the plane, Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Fong Knight gazed at each other with fright and solemnness. Impressive. Bei Fong Knight said with his mild voice. That great being from Space Beast Alliance must have a domain type treasure and a flying type true treasure. As for the armor he uses, it must be a senior true treasure. Yes. It's got to be a senior true treasure, and the third form has been triggered, Chi Blood Palace Leader said in a deep voice. If it were only an ordinary true treasure, he wouldn't have defended against my Chi Blood Spear so easily. They exchanged eye contact. They were in trouble. A senior true treasure in its third form, together with that enormous godly body. This was a combination that could make Universe Overlords tremble. The more powerful a great being was, the more demeaning it was to fall. It was difficult for Universe Overlords to die, as even if they couldn't fight against their enemies, they could still escape. And as for those with senior true treasure armor that was able to weaken the power of an attack by 99.99%, it was almost impossible to kill them, especially if they also had enormous godly bodies. Unless, of course, the power gap was significant, or they were attacked by Universe Masters or Universe Overlords who were special life forms. We can't do anything about it, Bay Fong Knight continued in his mild voice. Besides, he was alerted to what just happened. Our arrangement might not work anymore. What should we do, then? Chi Blood Palace Leader asked. First of all, we can't admit that we fought the Golden Horned Beast, Bei Fong Knight said. No great being saw us, and nobody will know if we don't tell anyone. 
Secondly, we'll follow the order from our alliance. A universe master is making arrangements, and there are members of our alliance sent to the whirlpool portals close to the birthplace of that godly blade. Fu Mo master will come here himself later, and that golden horned beast won't be able to run away. Chi Blood Palace leader nodded. The Northern Territory Alliance was one of the strongest powers in the universe, and few could get away from the blockade. Inside an ancient forest on the original star, Golden Horned Beast hid. His eyes gleamed anxiously. What should we do? The original plan won't work now. Luo Fong had known about the godly blade of Blade River Luo in the virtual universe previously. He decided to run right after that, and he chose to run to the Whirlpool Portal. Based on Luo Feng's original plan, he would fly to the Whirlpool Portal first, and when he almost arrived, he would temporarily separate the Golden Horned Beast body, Masha body, and Remote Ocean body. The Golden Horned Beast would transfer all the valuables to Masha body, who would carry Remote Ocean body and hide by camouflaging himself as mud. Then the Golden Horned Beast would try to pass the Whirlpool Portal. If he succeeded, Masha body would follow. If he failed, he would self-destruct. At the same time, the original Earthling body of Luo Feng would seek help from Primal Chaos City leader through the virtual universe. The Whirlpool Portal was the closest to human territory. After Primal Chaos City Leader arrived, he could take Luo Feng away with his power. The plan may have been simple, but it was also direct and efficient. However, the fight between Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight had made Luo Feng change his mind. They both flew here to look for me, thought Luo Feng, which means the Northern Territory Alliance is fast. Perhaps the Universe Knights from the Northern Territory Alliance recognized the blade when it unveiled itself. He could speculate from his combat with Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight that the Northern Territory Alliance had made arrangements for this a long time ago. The Universe Master from the Northern Territory Alliance was now on his way, and he might arrive sooner than Primal Chaos City Leader. It'll be a slaughter if I try to run to the Whirlpool Portal now, said Luo Feng. I'm not comfortable with this plan. But what should I do, then? Should I go to other Whirlpool Portals? There are 10,081 Whirlpool Portals on one original star, and each of them is hundreds of millions of miles away from each other. It would normally take more than half an hour to fly from one portal to another. It would take him around 15 minutes to fly from the Whirlpool portal closest to him. If the arrangements made by the Northern Territory Alliance were as meticulous as I suspect, there will probably be guards at the Whirlpool portals closest to the birthplace of the Godly Blade. Luo Feng shook his head. If I go there, it'll be running into a trap. It was dangerous for him to go to any of the Whirlpool portals connecting the outside world, regardless of the distance. Flying to the Whirlpool portals in the distance was out of the question. The Universe Master would have arrived by the time he made it there. The Universe Master could control space and time, and he could suppress his enemies even if the enemies were far from them. How about Masha Body's inherited technique, replication? But Luo Feng shook his head again. Masha Body was from one of the ordinary races, and the inherited technique was just a lower tier technique. Although it was strange and unique, it could be defeated. The Northern Territory Alliance was one of the top nine powers in the universe, and once it had finished its arrangements, it would be almost impossible for Luo Feng to get away. I have to turn to my teacher now, Luo Feng concluded. At the apex of Thunder Island in the virtual universe, Primal Chaos City Leader's palace was enveloped by mist. Luo Feng stepped into the palace and shouted respectfully, Teacher. A figure in a golden cape walked out. Luo Feng, said Primal Chaos City Leader, smiling at Luo Feng. You should be on the original star now. What are you here for? I have an emergency, Luo Feng said. He hesitated. I set my golden horned beast body and my Masha body to the original star. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded and listened. He surely already knew this, as the original Earthling body was in Thousand Treasures River. I happened to get a component of Blade River Luo, Luo Feng said. Oh. That was you. Primal Chaos City leader was thrilled and laughed. I just got the news that two Space Beasts from the Space Beast Alliance got the component. I was thinking that if the component could fall into the hands of us humans, it would be important leverage against the Thorn Ring Alliance. Yes, but I'm in big trouble now. The Northern Territory Alliance also knows about it, and it started to prepare to attack me. Primal Chaos City Leader frowned. Tell me more. Yes, teacher. Luo Feng started to elaborate. He mentioned Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight by name. You weren't hurt by them. Primal Chaos City Leader said, looking at Luo Feng in shock. Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight were renowned universe overlords who represented the power of ordinary universe overlords. Primal Chaos City Leader was thrilled that Luo Feng had been able to defend against him. Instantly, he speculated that his disciple Luo Feng must have a defending true treasure and that it might be a senior true treasure like a senior true treasure armor. However, he didn't ask Luo Feng directly. He had known for a long time that Luo Feng kept many secrets, like the exceptional power of his undying godly body, which was better than those of many universe knights. Primal Chaos City leader had seen Luo Feng become undying, as well as the scene he had caused when the origin law arrived. Besides, Luo Feng had become undying within Thousand Treasures River, and his control on space and time told Primal Chaos City leader that Luo Feng's godly body was stronger than that of some universe knights. Primal Chaos City Leader didn't ask any further questions. 
Perhaps my disciple got lucky, he thought. Perhaps he met an omnipotent being. Perhaps it's before the Grand Nirvana period. Whatever the reason, Primal Chaos City Leader was happy to see it. He didn't care what happened to his disciple, as long as he could get stronger. The more powerful Luo Feng became, the more likely that a new pillar for humans would be born. I'm still not as good as Chi Blood Palace Leader when it comes to combat, said Luo Feng. I survived because of my godly body. Godly bodies are also part of your strength, Primal Chaos City Leader said. Luo Feng quickly replied, Teacher, you must understand by now. Those great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance are coming after me. What should I do? I'll be in danger no matter which portal I go to. Please, teacher, would you help me out? You're smart enough not to make such a decision by yourself. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. You would be caught and killed without help, now. The Northern Territory Alliance is a rival of our alliance. And they have more great beings and races. They have all sorts of special life forms and races who have inherited techniques. You won't be able to defend yourself against them. Your inherited technique, replication, is an impressive hiding skill. Only universe masters controlling space and time can see through your disguising. Luo Feng nodded. Control over space and time was indeed impressive, and domain and replication would both be rendered useless. As for his inherited technique, strengthen, his godly body amplification could hit 100 times at most, and it would not be helpful. Inherited techniques were effective only when one's power was weak. When one became a universe master, only a few inherited techniques were still useful. However, Luo Feng had achieved a perfect life gene level, and the universe had bestowed him with one of the top-tier inherited techniques, I am the universe. Inherited techniques can be cracked by other inherited techniques, Primal Chaos City Leader continued. There are all sorts of inherited techniques in the universe, and some might even be inherited techniques bestowed by the universe. There are different levels of inherited techniques, and naturally, they have different levels of power and usage. Some of them counteract each other. Some of them are similar to each other. However, the more powerful you become, the less useful those inherited techniques will be. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled and added, For instance, the Soul Attack Bark Mirror Emperor has was an inherited technique, but any sort of soul attacks from Universe Masters are much weaker than that. Luo Feng nodded. The Northern Territory has set you up, and there's no way that you can use your techniques to break out. Primal Chaos City Leader shook his head. You've underestimated its power. Then what should I do? Luo Feng said. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. I have my ways. Chapter 1044, A Meeting on the Original Stars Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Teacher, would you like to give me some advice? Luo Feng asked. He listened carefully. Primal Chaos City Leader smiled. The Northern Territory Alliance might have guards in front of every Whirlpool portal, which means what you need to do is not get close to any Whirlpool portal. Luo Feng was dazed, but he understood what his teacher was implying. Teacher, do you mean that I should just wander across original stars and stay away from any Whirlpool portal? Yes. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. Stay away from any Whirlpool portal in the place where the godly blade unveiled itself. Then those universe overlords will find it difficult to meet you. The only way to catch you is to wait for the arrival of a universe master of the Northern Territory Alliance. Luo Feng nodded. It would be safe for him not to go to the Whirlpool portal. However, a universe master of the Opposition Alliance would arrive, after which he could only wait to be captured. Your disguise is useless in front of a universe master, Primal Chaos City Leader added. You don't need a disguise. All you need to do is separate your Golden Horn Beast body and your Remote Ocean body. Leave all your valuables with Remote Ocean body. As for Universe Masters of the Northern Territory Alliance, they'll only search for those two space beasts, and they won't be able to recognize your remote ocean body even if they see it. There are Universe Knights of all races on the original stars. You'll be identified in your camouflage, but your remote ocean body doesn't need it. Luo Feng smiled. Even if he kills Golden Horn Beast Body, he won't be able to find any valuables, Primal Chaos City Leader went on. He'll then start to inspect all the great beings on the original stars. But he won't dare to be reckless. As long as you separate your bodies, you can earn yourself enough time. I'll arrive by then. All you need to do is to survive until I arrive at the original stars. Luo Feng nodded. I understand, teacher. It was plain and simple. All Luo Feng had to do was stall his enemies and not go near the whirlpool portals. He would be safe when Primal Chaos City Leader arrived. It was a simple plan, so simple that there were few flaws. Go, Primal Chaos City Leader said. Remember what I said. Besides, the Universe Master of the Northern Territory Alliance might get there before I do. Don't give the plan away after he arrives. I understand, Luo Feng said, nodding. Within the Thousand Treasures River of the Primal Region, Human Territory. Hong. Long. Long. Thousand Treasures River vanished and transformed into a shirt, covering the towering Primal Chaos City leader who now stood over 6,000 miles tall. He carried a rugged stone staff and stood in the sky barefoot, gazing out into the distance. I'll go to the original stars first, he said, but I'll be back soon. Stop studying your techniques and help me guard the Primal Region. Yes, brother. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. He took a step into space and disappeared. 
Several universe knights and servants in the palaces within the Thousand Treasures River noticed the Thousand Treasures River had suddenly disappeared. Where is the Thousand Treasures River? Thousand Treasures River disappeared. Our teacher might have gone out. Luo Feng's earthling original body also stood outside the palace and looked into the distance. I hope everything goes well. He whispered. At the end of the whirlpool portal closest to the place where the godly blade of Blade River Luo had appeared, a flash of light was approaching. Man Kunite is coming, someone cried. He has a domain type true treasure, and we have our third level arrangement. We're more likely to succeed now. No matter how powerful that space beast is, and even if he's a special life form, he won't be able to get away. The latest news is that some great beings of Hong Alliance are also trying to kill those space beasts. No. What should we do? Should we just wait here? Relax. The original stars are enormous, and nobody can teleport or initiate god country transportation here. Do you really think it's that easy to hunt someone down? Let's just wait here and guard this place. In the forest under the whirlpool portal to the outside. There were seven beings in the forest where Bailey Knight and Chi Blood Palace Leader landed. Chi Blood Palace Leader, Bei Feng Knight. You two finally arrived. You were supposed to arrive earliest. Wang Jia Knight said that you two were surveying the surroundings. Chi Blood Palace Leader snorted. Of course we were surveying the place. Do you really think we'll go fight those space beasts? Nothing certain. Hang. Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight both snorted. Do you think I would be back this soon if I was fighting the space beasts? It would take a long time to travel from the birthplace of the godly blade back here. Chi Blood Palace Leader gazed apathetically at the being with almost 1,000 hooves. Don't speculate without any evidence. Chi Blood Palace Leader and Bei Feng Knight glanced at Wang Jia Knight, who immediately realized that they'd failed. Fortunately, I used quite a few resources and valuables to recover my godly body, Chi Blood Palace Leader said as he glanced around and sat down with his legs crossed. He thought, if they notice that my godly body is injured, there will be trouble. Meanwhile. Hong. Hong. Two beings showed up at the Whirlpool Portal. Look. Something's happening. All the nine supreme beings looked up into the sky. No need to hurry. They're universe knights who entered the original stars from the outside. They belong to the Hong Alliance. Two universe knights of the Hong Alliance again. Why do great beings of Hong Alliance keep coming here? This worried the great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance who were hiding here. Bei Feng Knight transmitted his mild voice, saying, perhaps the Hong Alliance also found out about the component of Blade River Luo. Wang Jia Knight, report this to our alliance. We'll be in trouble if the Hong Alliance meddles. Okay. After the news about Blade River Luo spread through the virtual universe, quite a few universe knights raced toward there, and some of them only went there because they wanted to enjoy the fights. They all knew that, a component of Blade River Luo would produce a furious upheaval, and there was no way they would miss it. Some of the universe knights closest to the birthplace had arrived, followed by many others. On the original star where Luo Feng resided, many great beings of the Hong Alliance were flying towards the birthplace of Blade River Luo. Meanwhile, the Northern Territory Alliance was constructing a delicate arrangement. After Luo Feng's chat with Primal Chaos City Leader. So. A flash of light flew by in the distance. There's another forest, Golden Horned Beast said, looking afar and diving down at sublight speed. I'll fly into the forest and separate my remote ocean body and my Golden Horned Beast body. Golden Horned Beast body was fast, he quickly arrived above the forest and dove down. Hua. Golden Horned Beast body stopped after arriving at the forest. He stepped on a thick trunk and looked at his wing. The golden wing was trembling. What's happening? Luo Feng was astounded. Sher Wu wing, which had merged with the scaled wing, was trembling unrelentingly. Ang. Um, Ang. Um, Ang. Um. It was shivering out of Luo Feng's control, as if some singular point of origin afar was attracting it like a magnet. Sher Wu Wing has already recognized me as its master, Luo Feng said, shocked to his very core by what he was seeing. A true treasure that has recognized me as its master should completely follow my orders. Shouldn't it? Why is it out of control now? What's happening in that direction? Golden Horned Beast looked into the sky in the distance. He felt that if he didn't suppress it, Sher Wu Wing would lead him in that direction. What? What's happening? In that direction, a being stood in the sky. He was around 25 feet tall with thick legs and eight arms. By all appearances, he looked as if he were made entirely of metal. He didn't have any hair on his body but was completely bald. He was in the shape of a being of automaton race. He wore black armor, and there was a black set of wings on his back. Ang. 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 The wing quivered crazily. Ha! Huh? The bald, eight-armed knight turned around and looked at his wing. He gazed into the distance. What's the meaning of this? My wing is a true treasure, and I've been utilizing it for hundreds of thousands of years. This has never happened. He was powerful and venerated. He had come to original stars eight times before, and he'd been through far deadlier situations. 
However, this was the first time his true treasure wing had behaved outside of his control. What's going on, he said, his eyes gleaming coldly. So. He shook his wing and flew in the direction of the strange sensation like a flash of black light. Golden Horned Beast Body stood on the trunk with his wing open. He looked up at the sky and could distinctively feel that the attraction was growing stronger by the second. It was as if the point of origin were approaching him. In that direction. There's a black spot. Golden Horned Beast Body saw a beam of black light. There was a black point far in the distance racing toward him. It appeared to be a supreme being. It's him, said Golden Horned Beast Body, gazing at the figure. The source of the disruption. The black light continued pressing on toward him. The being of automaton race also looked in Golden Horned Beast's direction and saw the golden winged body of the Golden Horned Beast. They now both saw each other. Wait, the wing on his back, said Golden Horned Beast, immediately noticing the black wing on the great being's back. The bald, eight-armed being looked down and saw the golden wing on Golden Horned Beast's body. They sensed each other at the same time. Could it be that my wing is only a portion of a true treasure? Luo Fong murmured to himself. Luo Fong was firstly startled, then exhilarated. The eight-armed, bald knight was also overjoyed, having arrived at the same conclusion. My wing is only a component, he said, grinning. They gazed upon one another from a distance. An aura of hostility sizzled between them. Chapter 1045, Tianyang Knight Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio No wonder Sher Wu Wing didn't send me any detailed information when it recognized me as its master when I obtained it, said Luo Feng. I thought it was because the great being who created Sher Wu Wing didn't leave any information. But the real reason is that Sher Wu Wing is a broken true treasure. Besides, Primal Chaos City Leader told me when he gave it to me that no other lives in the universe knew about the existence of Sher Wu Wing, and he also said that it was not created by him. Apparently, Sher Wu Wing is more mysterious than I realized. The information on Sher Wu Wing was recorded in a book my teacher Primal Chaos City Leader gave to me. Luo Feng could still remember the book. It detailed the three different forms of Sher Wu Wing and had been discovered by Primal Chaos City Leader during his research. According to the information, Sher Wu Wing appeared virtually of nowhere, Luo Feng recalled. It was exceptionally tough and tensile, and even beings as strong as Universe Masters aren't able to destroy it. Luo Feng got more excited. I'm particularly curious about this part. Powerful Universe Master should be able to damage an ordinary true treasure. However, based on the information given by Primal Chaos City Leader, Sher Wu Wing is indestructible. I've always thought it was because the material of Sher Wu Wing was special. Until now. It seems that my Sher Wu Wing is a component of an incredible true treasure, which is why the material is also extraordinary. Just like that, Luo Feng's questions had been completely solved. True treasures that had recognized someone as their owners could attract each other. The only reason this had happened was because they had originally been one. Golden Horned Beast body looked up at the sky, and the eight-armed, bald knight looked down at Golden Horned Beast. Thoughts flooded both of their minds. Actually, in the long period of time they had spent using the true treasure wing, they both felt that their wings were different from other ordinary true treasures. However, nobody could say for sure that they were broken true treasure. After all, such a notion was inconceivable. Like Thousand Treasures River, which was made up of over 1,000 true treasures, true treasures strengthened each other, resulting in boundless power. However, every true treasure had hidden flaws. Many fighters might only be able to wield the power of top-tier treasures. Luo Feng's Sher Wu Wing, after all, always worked as a fine ordinary true treasure. Even a mere component of a true treasure works so greatly. Luo Feng thought. What if they're combined? The eight-armed, bald knight looked down at Luo Feng. Light Wing saved me several times, and even now that I'm a universe overlord, it is an ordinary true treasure that has never disappointed me. The Light Wing is actually a component of a powerful true treasure. I need to get the other part no matter what. If they're combined, they must lead to material change, and the power will be significantly improved. Golden Horned Beast Body looked up at the being in the sky. The most prominent universe overlords had records within the human race, and Luo Feng remembered all of them. He was able to recognize most of them, except few supreme beings who kept themselves hidden. Tian Yang Knight, thought Luo Feng. A universe overlord of the automaton race. Based on the available record, he has three true treasures. One of them is an ordinary true treasure armor, one is an ordinary true treasure wing, and one is a senior true treasure, eight light shuttle. He's the candidate deified general for Xing Guang general, and he created the ultimate technique eight shuttle. Luo Feng realized that he was in trouble after recalling his information. Tian Yang Knight was a handful. He was powerful and proficient in escape techniques. Luo Feng could sense that this enemy was not to be trifled with. Though I don't need to worry about Universe Overlords because of my Force Armor, they have much stronger attacking skills. It's difficult for me to kill Senior Universe Knights. As for this Tian Yang Knight, it would be almost impossible for me to kill him. Tian Yang Knight looked down at Golden Horned Beast and was a bit hesitant. Who is he? He wondered. It's a Golden Horned Beast in Golden Armor and a Golden Wing. I don't recall a great being like that in Space Beast Alliance. The Space Beast Alliance was always mysterious, and the great beings who showed up were known for their giant bodies. To kill a Golden Horned Beast Universe Knight, such a feat was nearly impossible. Golden Horned Beast and Tian Yang Knight stared at each other. 
Each wanted the true treasure wing possessed by the other. However, they both felt that the enemy standing before them should not be underestimated. Luo Feng was not confident because he was too weak to injure his enemy, while Tian Yang Knight was not confident that he could kill a golden horned beast that was over 600 miles long. I am Tian Yang Knight, Tian Yang Knight said, slowly coming to a landing. He landed on a branch and transmitted his voice. Golden Horned Beast transmitted his hoarse voice in reply. I am Golden Wing Knight. Tian Yang Knight raised his head and looked at Golden Horned Beast. He smiled. Golden Wing Knight of the Space Beast Alliance, my true treasure wing and your wing seem to have some sort of special connection. I want your true treasure wing. Name your price. One top tier true treasure, Golden Horned Beast said. Hang. Tian Yang Knight frowned. A top tier true treasure. Even some universe masters didn't have top-tier true treasures, and even if the wings were combined, they wouldn't necessarily become a top-tier true treasure. So, you don't want to exchange? Tian Yan Knight said, transmitting his voice. So, do you? asked Golden Horned Beast. They knew each other's decision the second they transmitted their voices. Apparently, they both valued their true treasure wings. They needed extremely precious true treasures. However, they wouldn't be able to afford such a trade. Hong. Hong. They both moved. Then die. The eyes of Tian Yang Knight glinted with hostility. This godly power started to be burned. Eight twenty-foot-long projectiles emanating black light showed up on his arms. These shuttles shot at Luo Feng. You. Golden Horned Beast burned his godly body, growled, and charged at Tian Yang Knight. Hong. Long. Long. Trees started to fall, and they began to fight each other in close proximity. They attacked over one hundred times in a single second. To be exact, it was Tian Yang Knight who attacked Golden Horned Beast. Golden Horned Beast quickly became half a mile long and defended himself, using his wing to counter-strike occasionally. 8. Tian Yang Knight said, and the power of eight shuttles surged. 8. Tian Yang Knight screamed again. 8. He screamed three times, and his voice resounded and shook the soul. Tian Yang Knight's face looked holy, but there was a black light radiating from his eyes. The ultimate technique eight shuttles was a magnificent move. Golden Horned Beast was not able to fight back. He could only bear the attacks again and again. Tian Yang Knight grabbed the eight formidable looking shuttles. They were a breathtaking sight. The wing on Tian Yang Knight shook continuously, and the change in the flow of time around him made his shuttles even more splendid. It was a glorious ultimate technique. And it was terrifically powerful. Hua. Golden Horned Beast rolled like a mountain and ran over the trees. He stood up instantly. Tian Yang Knight floated in the sky and gazed down at Golden Horned Beast. Your. Tour godly body is not even injured, he said. He had already performed his ultimate technique and had consumed 3% of his godly body. Meanwhile, to his surprise, his enemy's godly body was not hurt at all. Unfortunately, your godly body is, Golden Horned Beast replied in a deep voice. A large godly body in powerful armor, said Tian Yang Knight. Humph. Your true treasure wing will belong to me someday in the future. Tian Yang Knight's eyes glinted with bitterness. He shook his black wing and flew away. How could he continue? A giant godly body with powerful armor made him despair. So. Golden Horned Beast flew away. After a short while, the forest recovered as if there hadn't been a fight at all. After Golden Horned Beast left the forest, Remote Ocean Body left as well. Golden Horned Beast Body Store Sherwu Wing, Claw Set Treasure, Tower Pearl, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, Force Armor, and the component of Blade River Luo. Then Remote Ocean Body shrunk to around 30 feet tall and sat down in the grass on a hill. Golden Horned Beast Body flew away without even one valuable. He flew across the plain and flew into a vast forest. Another True Treasure Wing. Remote Ocean Body said as he lay on the grass with his eyes half closed. I have a strong defense and a strong godly body, just like Nine Remoteness Master facing a Universe Supreme Master, Luo Feng said. Universe Supreme Masters are much stronger than Nine Remoteness Master, but they couldn't do anything to him in Nine Remoteness Ocean with a diameter of over 10 light years. However, it's impossible for Nine Remoteness Master to kill a Universe Supreme Master. This worked to his disadvantage. He was after all an undying fighter. Even his godly body could rival that of a universe knight with the help of the nine volume manual, and he had the superior true treasure force armor and an enormous godly body to protect him. Even among universe overlords, there were few who had such strong defending power. However, he was still weak when it came to attacks. First of all, he had low law comprehension. He did have true treasures for attacking and strong willpower and mind to fight against senior universe knights, but universe overlords who had true treasures and higher law comprehension could still crush him when it came to attacking skills. Although they could crush Luo Feng, Qi Blood Palace leader had consumed 9% of his godly power yet had only damaged one ten thousandth of Golden Horn Beast's godly boy. Tian Yang Knight, similarly, had consumed 3% of his godly body, but he couldn't even damage one ten thousandth of Golden Horn Beast's godly body. How can I get that true treasure wing? Golden Horn Beast wondered, snarling with bitterness. Hong. All of a sudden, an incredible force hit the original star and permeated outward. 
Golden Horned Beast was entangled by the invisible force. It was complete control over the space and time. Control on the space and time. Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted with fright. He knew a universe master had arrived. Chapter 1046, Fu Mo Master. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. A towering being landed slowly on the ground beside the space whirlpool. He was more than 1,000 miles tall, and he was covered with black and red scaled armor. He had a green face, green eyebrows, and two cardinal horns. He had only one eye, but that I could see through everything on the original star, which trembled the space around him. Hong. Every spot on the original star, plains, forests, deserts, mountains, swamps, and oceans, was bound by the power. All the great beings on the original star were shocked to their very core. A universe master has arrived. It's a universe master. Universe masters have come to this original star. Most of the universe knights didn't know why a universe master had arrived, but none of them dared to resist. Although control over space and time couldn't kill a universe master, it could still make it hard for universe overlords to walk, not to mention fly. Universe masters, on the other hand, could fly all the way to their targets and kill them. Although universe overlords could rival the most ordinary universe masters when they let out their full strength, they could only rival universe masters when they didn't use any true treasure. Unfortunately, it was impossible for universe masters not to have any true treasures. That was why there were only a few universe overlords who dared to fight universe masters, and at least there were no universe overlords who were able to do that on this original star. This was why, when they felt the powerful binding essence, they all knew it came from a universe master, and none of them dared to revolt. No. It's not likely to be Primal Chaos City Leader. Golden Horned Beast raised his head. He could feel the fetters of this powerful force everywhere. If it had been Primal Chaos City Leader, he would have transmitted his voice already. How powerful the Universe Master is! Luo Feng exclaimed. The fetter is so strong, and he might have not even let out all his strength. Once someone became a Universe Master, he was able to control space and time, he could even turn back time and see everything that happened. If they were powerful enough, they were even able to resurrect a fallen being. He was able to control an enormous area of space and time. The original star was completely under his control. The universe overlords heard a voice that made their heart miss a beat. Leave it to me, said the voice. You can all go now. They were universe overlords, and they knew most of the universe masters within the Northern Territory Alliance. They could tell from the voice immediately that it was Fu Mo Master. They stopped being so careful. Instead, they were overjoyed. Fu Mo Master stood on the plane and immediately had everything on the original star under his control. He saw through all the space, the mountains, and the mud of the ground, and easily located the Golden Horned Beast lying in the forest afar. Space Beast Alliance A chill flashed through Fu Mo Master's eyes. Hang. Hong. Inside the forest. The fetter in the space and time around the Golden Horned Beast suddenly surged as if an intangible giant had grabbed him with crushing force. Ah. Golden Horned Beast felt the terrific pressure bearing down on him. He quickly started to burn his godly power to resist it. However, the power of the fetter kept increasing. Chi. 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 Golden Horned Beast's godly body kept being weakened, 1% was depleted immediately. The total quickly dropped from 99% to 98%, then 97%. His godly body just kept being weakened. If I have my force armor on me, thought Luo Feng, I can weaken the force by 99.99%. .99%. That way, I won't be so easily annihilated. Anyhow, Universe Masters are so mighty. I haven't even seen him yet, yet I'm already seriously injured. Golden Horned Beast tried to stand still and resist the pressure. Golden Horned Beast, a cold voice resounded. Where's your true treasure armor? You were attacked by eight senior universe knights, one of whom has a true treasure, yet you were not injured at all. Why is it you are hurt only by my manipulation of space and time? Where's your true treasure armor? Where's your wing? Just go on and kill me. Kill me. Golden Horned Beast growled. Ha ha ha. It seems that you've moved all your true treasures, said Fu Mo Master. Hang. Golden Horned Beast snorted. Fu Mo Master was omnipotent, and it was natural that he could speculate Luo Feng's actions. He just wanted to use space and time to suppress Golden Horned Beast. Then he was going to concentrate his godly power to attack him directly. However, before he could even concentrate his godly power, Golden Horned Beast's godly body was being consumed. This was entirely beyond Fu Mo Master's expectations. How could a Golden Horned Beast, who had incredible defending power, and who was more difficult to deal with than Universe Overlords, be killed so easily? There was only one explanation. The Golden Horned Beast had transferred all his true treasures elsewhere. Golden Horned Beast, I'm a Universe Master, he said in a cold voice. You're not even worth killing to me. I bet it took a long time for you to cultivate that godly body. Just give me the component. As long as you give me the component, or tell me where you put it, I'll let you go. Universe Master, I might have been killed if I carried my true treasures, Golden Horned Beast said. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any valuables on me, so there's no point threatening me. Golden horned beasts have clone techniques, so even if this godly body falls, the others will remain intact. As for a soul attack. Though my mind and willpower are not your match, I can easily self-destruct before you erode me. All was silent. Fu Mo Master also stayed quiet for a while. Indeed, it was extremely difficult to control a universe overlord's mind. It was almost impossible, even for universe masters who specialized in soul type attacks. Firstly, there wasn't a huge gap between the willpower and the mind of a universe overlord and a universe master, all universe overlords were extraordinary. Fu Mo Master didn't even specialize in soul type attacks, yet it would be a walk in the park for him to control the mind of a universe overlord. As for soul erosion killing, universe overlords were perceptive and careful. Once they realized they couldn't resist it, they would destroy themselves. Golden Horned Beast, the voice said, growing even colder. Are you threatening me? Of course I'm not, Golden Horned Beast replied. I just don't want to give you the component of Blade River Luo. I attained this valuable through luck and power. Universe Masters are superior and venerated. Why would you need to capture my valuable using such powerful methods? You can't possibly need that valuable that much. Hang. Fu Mo Master was becoming angry. You can only transfer your true treasure to other great beings instead of getting it out of the original star, he said. After all, there were arrangements around the portal. Since the birth of Blade River Luo, there have been 122 potential universe knights who were close enough for you to have transferred it to. Out of all 122 universe knights, 89 of them are from the Hong Alliance or of the prison race, and they wouldn't be willing to help you. That leaves 33 who may have helped you. Your true treasure must be hidden with one of the 33 universe knights. I'll give you two choices, Fu Mo Master continued. Option 1, tell me where the true treasure is. All I need is the godly blade of Blade River Luo. Option 2, I take the time and slaughter every one of those universe knights until I find it. Odds are I'll have to kill at least 10 before I find it. After that, I'll take all your other true treasures, too. It's your choice. Option 1 or Option 2. Golden Horned Beast looked startled. You. You'd slaughter universe knights just to get it. Most of them will be willing to be interrogated by me under the threat of death, Fu Mo Master went on, so I may only need to kill some of them. In any case, those who dare to go against me deserve to die. You, you. For the first time, Golden Horned Beast appeared to become anxious. Luo Foam, however, was not anxious. In fact, everything was going according to his plan. Just as Primal Chaos City Leader had told him, he could buy himself some time by separating the Golden Horned Beast body and remote ocean body. And, of course, the longer he kept Fu Mo Master talking, the more time he bought himself. If Primal Chaos City Leader couldn't make it here on time, Fu Mo Master would find all the true treasures eventually. Perhaps Fu Mo Master wouldn't really kill Universe Knights of other races recklessly just for a godly blade of Blade River Luo, thought Luo Foam. For now, I'll just buy as much time as possible. Golden Horned Beast continued to act surprised. Fu Mo Master, he said, why died? You're a Universe Master. How could you? Hong. Another terrific ripple arrived and surrounded the original star. The fetter binding the Golden Horned Beast was immediately gone. Another Universe Master. Two Universe Masters. What's happening on this original star? The Universe Knights on the original star were all petrified. My teacher. Luo Feng thought. A giant beast engulfed in flames, standing over 6,000 miles tall, showed up in the sky. The figure exuded boundless power. Fu Mo Master, resounded the voice of the giant beast engulfed in flames. I heard that you're going to attack a great being of the Space Beast Alliance and capture his valuable. You. Are you provoking our Space Beast Alliance? Flame Star Master. Indignation flashed through Fu Mo Master's eyes. Flame Star Master was the most ancient and most powerful being of the Flame Star Beasts, one of the twelve pinnacle bloodlines of the Space Beast Alliance. Chapter 1047, Three Universe Masters Meet Each Other Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio Flame Star Master growled in the endless flames. Hong. Long. Long. Each inch of the original star was trembling, and the space and time under Fu Mo Master's control were taken away. Apparently, Flame Star Master and Fu Mo Master were fighting for the control over the original star. Fu Mo Master. The giant beast in flames roared, and his voice pierced through layers of space and blasted beside Fu Mo Master's ears. That golden horned beast is a member of my Space Beast Alliance. Now that I'm here, don't even think about hurting him. Ha ha ha. You can't suppress him by controlling space and time, and you can only fly towards him. The great being of my Space Beast Alliance will have already left through the whirlpool long before you arrive. Ha ha ha. Fu Mo Master, who was standing on the plane like a mountain, replied with indignation, Flame Star Master, my Northern Territory Alliance has already arranged everything. Even if you can stop me, I can still stop you from controlling the space and time. The great beings of my Northern Territory Alliance will encircle that Golden Horned Beast under my command. There's no way he can run away. First team, move to coordinate. Second team, move to coordinate. 
Fu Mo Master transmitted his voice to the great beings arranged by the Northern Territory Alliance, and he even gave the order to the six teams on the other side through his alliance. Although Fu Mo Master wasn't able to suppress Golden Horn Beast through his control over space and time, he was still able to know his every move. Yes. Hong. There were several universe overlords coming out of all six whirlpool portals. At that moment, dozens of universe overlords gathered on the original star and started to encircle the Golden Horn Beast. He's a member of my Space Beast Alliance. Flame Star Master said, infuriated. Although he also couldn't manipulate space and time while Fu Mo Master was disturbing him, he was still capable of knowing everything that was happening on the original star. Even Flame Star Master was amazed by the number of races and great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance. There was only one Universe Supreme Master within the Northern Territory Alliance, but the number of Universe Masters and Universe Knights was much higher than in other alliances. That was why the Northern Territory Alliance was so reckless when it came to fighting for resources. Fu Mo Master, it was the great being of my Space Beast Alliance who acquired the valuable. How dare you? Flame Star Master was exasperated. He clenched his teeth as he growled, you have invoked my fury. Humph. Stop preaching to me. Fu Mo Master snorted. Power is the thing that matters most in the universe. Flame Star Master, I promise not to hurt the Golden Horned Beast as long as he gives us the godly blade. It may have only been a component, but Blade River Luo was a top-tier domain type true treasure. It had the attacking power of a pinnacle attack type true treasure. The blade was definitely more precious than a senior true treasure, and the Thorn Ring Alliance would be willing to risk everything to get it back. Ha ha ha. You're joking, right? Flame Star Master roared. The fire around him raged. You're not the only one who can summon great beings. I'll summon Golden Horn Master here. Let's see what you can do against the great beings of my Space Beast Alliance. Fu Mo Master sneered, unintimidated. Do you really think I'm afraid of him? Let him come. I bet it'll take him a long time to arrive here, anyway. I hold influence over space and time here, and even Universe Masters will have to fly slowly as a result. However, Fu Mo Master was a bit daunted inside. As Golden Horn Master was a terrific being among the Universe Masters of the Space Beast Alliance, and he had four godly bodies. Do you think the great beings of my Northern Territory Alliance are inferior to yours? Fu Mo Master demanded, refusing to back down. The great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance were notorious for their temperaments, the alliance was made up of quite a few powerful races, but none of them were pinnacle races. They had needed to be humble before they were united. But after being united, with a Universe Supreme Master to guard them, everything changed. The Northern Territory Alliance group would have to admit defeat against a Universe Supreme Master. However, they would sooner die than surrender now. Once a valuable was born, the great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance would flood this place. After all, the Northern Territory Alliance was known for being reckless and for its high number of great beings. While Fu Mo Master and Flame Star Master confronted each other, standing tens of billions of miles apart, another omnipotent force flooded in through the whirlpool portal. It was a towering figure standing 6,000 miles tall. He carried an ancient, rugged stone staff and walked barefoot. He wore a thousand treasure coat. Ha ha ha. I didn't expect to find two Universe Masters here, his voice resounded. Though the voice was not at high volume, it echoed in the hearts of all the great beings on the original star. Hong. Long. Long. Star Sky River enveloped the original star. Powerful objects floating on the blurry river. All the great beings, including the universe overlords ordered to action, froze. Fu Mo Master was startled. Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader. Flame Star Master was also shocked. Both Fu Mo Master and Flame Star Master were renowned universe masters, yet they couldn't compare with Primal Chaos City Leader. Primal Chaos City Leader had three bodies, and each of them was overwhelmingly more powerful than they were. The Thousand Treasures River was a top-tier domain-type true treasure, and the power of the true treasure could easily kill them. Of course, Primal Chaos City Leader wouldn't dare kill them recklessly, unless he had made up his mind to engage in all-out war with the Northern Territory Alliance. Universe Master slaughtering the weak was a rare occurrence. Primal Chaos City Leader, Flame Star Master said, growing anxious. That's a great being of my Space Beast Alliance. You're a revered Universe Master, and it would be condescending of you to seize a valuable from a nobody. Power is all that matters. What can you do if Primal Chaos City Leader actually captures it? Please, Primal Chaos City Leader, for Space Beast Alliance's sake, Flame Star Master said. If Primal Chaos City Leader hadn't had the Thousand Treasures River, Primal Chaos City Leader couldn't intimidate Flame Star Master. However, Primal Chaos City Leader could instantly kill Golden Horned Beast with Thousand Treasures River. That was one of the advantages of a domain-type true treasure. It could sweep away the weak. Do you really think the Hong Alliance care about your Space Beast Alliance? Fu Mo Master said. Primal Chaos City Leader, I'll back off now because of you and your Thousand Treasures River. As for the component of Blade River Luo, it belongs either to you or Flame Star Master. Though Fu Mo Master had stopped meddling, he still wanted to see what would happen next. The Hong Alliance was one of the greatest superpowers. The Space Beast Alliance was aloof and mysterious, but it had strong unity. It would be interesting to see the confrontation between those two. Flame Star Master opened his mouth. Primal Chaos City Leader. 
Flame Star Master, I don't think Primal Chaos City Leader would come here for nothing, Fu Mo Master said. Ha ha ha. Primal Chaos City Leader's laughter resounded, affecting Flame Star Master and Fu Mo Master. They were all amazed. It was clear why Primal Chaos City Leader was considered one of the most powerful universe masters. Flame Star Master, said Primal Chaos City Leader, since you asked, I'll stop meddling with it for your sake. Fu Mo Master was taken aback. Flame Star Master quickly responded, Thank you, Primal Chaos City Leader. Humph. Fu Mo Master snorted and stepped into the Whirlpool Portal. Retreat. Fu Mo Master gave the order to the Universe Overlords of the Northern Territory Alliance. He wouldn't interfere anymore, even though he was a bit irritated. After all, as a Universe Master, he needed to keep his promise. He, like all Universe Masters, valued his reputation. Go. Let's go. Although those Universe Overlords like Chi Blood Palace Leader were reluctant, they had to follow his orders. Universe Knights of the Hong Alliance, do not attack the Golden Horned Beast, Primal Chaos City Leader commanded. He was at the highest level in the Hong Alliance, which meant his voice was heard by the Universe Knights present. They all followed the order. Hua. Thousand Treasures River disappeared, and so did Primal Chaos City Leader. As Primal Chaos City Leader was transmitting his voice to other great beings, Luo Foam heard a different message. My disciple, it's in your best interest that the Space Beast Alliance is involved in this. The Northern Territory Alliance won't interfere anymore now that Fu Mo Master has made a promise. Other Universe Knights won't meddle since they know three Universe Masters are involved. The only thing you need to worry about is the Thorn Ring Alliance, but don't be too anxious about that. Get out of here with your remote ocean body and some other great beings. Even if the great beings of the Thorn Ring Alliance want to come and arrange an attack, it will take them quite a while. Luo Foam relieved. Golden Horned Beast waved his wing, preparing to fly away. Hua. Little thing, Flame Star Master's voice rang out beside Golden Horned Beast. I've never seen you in the Space Beast Alliance before. Have you been vagabonding? Every Space Beast vagabonds when they are young, until they are taken back to the Alliance when they become undying to be discovered. Tell me, have you never been back? Chapter 1048, Space Beast Alliance Sanctuary Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio Woo, perhaps you don't know who I am, the voice continued. I am Flame Star Master from the Space Beast Alliance. I was previously on another original star, and I came here because I realized that the Northern Territory Alliance had dared to attack one of us based on the conversations I heard from other great beings from the Northern Territory Alliance. Thank you, Flame Star Master, the Golden Horned Beast replied respectfully, lowering his head. No need to thank me, said the voice. You poor thing. You haven't returned. Ever. No, I haven't, the Golden Horned Beast said. I've been alone since the day I was born, and I've never been able to return to the Space Beast Alliance. Luofone was afraid of being recognized. However, he recalled what Primal Chaos City Leader had said before, that after becoming undying, souls would merge with every inch of godly power, and even Primal Chaos City Leader couldn't recognize whether the Golden Horned Beast was Luo Fong himself or a real Golden Horned Beast. However, the virtual universe was all-powerful. One could identify someone's race by connecting to it. If the enemies of other races tried to connect to the sensor of the virtual universe, they would be denied. Unless they sent some human spies, or spies of the Hong Alliance whose minds were controlled. The virtual universe was an incredible invention, and it had many unique functions. Even the most powerful organization, the Ancestral God School, who claimed to be the guardians of universe law, couldn't invent something like the virtual universe. It was a universe of consciousness, and all universe origin laws could be simulated. Never. Flame Star Master said. We have space beasts everywhere in the universe, and all of them rise to power by themselves. They'll only be guided back after becoming undying. There are many great beings of the Space Beast Alliance on the original stars. You can find one of them, act, and go back to the Alliance together. Of course, if you can't wait to go back, you can come back directly. This is the universe coordinate. This is one of the gathering places of our Space Beast Alliance. There will be beings of our race to receive you, and you'll have the opportunity to go to the Space Beast Alliance Sanctuary. Sanctuary. The Golden Horned Beast's eyes glinted curiously. Yes, Sanctuary. Every great being who is just received will have the opportunity to visit the Sanctuary once, and your power will be further improved there. We'll give you some resources based on your power and potential. You might get special treatment, given that you became so strong even without the help of our race. The Golden Horned Beast listened carefully. Remember the universe coordinates, Flame Star Master continued. You can choose whether to go back now or not. I can tell you that there are lots of great beings from the Space Beast Alliance now, and you can take this chance to meet some of them. Also, beware of the Thorn Ring Alliance. I believe that you've transferred your valuables somewhere else, but don't waste this godly body. Golden Horned Beast nodded mildly. Three Universe Masters came here because of that godly blade. The Thorn Ring Alliance is way weaker than us, and all they can send are some Universe Overlords. But be careful anyway. Hong. The giant beast stepped into the Whirlpool Portal and disappeared. 
Many great beings from the Hong Alliance and the Northern Territory Alliance had retreated when Flame Star Master and the Golden Horned Beast were talking, and Luo Fang's remote ocean body raced toward the whirlpool portal like a beam of light. He kept flying. He even saw two universe knights from the Hong Alliance. Neither of them could identify the remote ocean body's race, but they speculated that he was a universe overlord since he dared to act alone. However, because they believed remote ocean body to be a universe overlord, they avoided him. Such a smooth journey. No battles at all. Remote ocean body flew out of the vast whirlpool portal and arrived back to the outside. There were indeed no shackles at all. The great beings of the Northern Territory Alliance have retreated, and I didn't see anyone from the Thorn Ring Alliance. Remote ocean body smiled, teleported himself to a distant place, and went back using God Country Transportation. Golden Horned Beast flew far away from the portal, and he had flown across the plain and entered the forest. It would take him a long time to arrive at the Whirlpool Portal, and the Thorn Ring Alliance would have enough time to make arrangements. My Golden Horned Beast didn't have any valuable or slave. It's such a waste of time to just fly back like that. Golden Horned Beast blinked his eyes in the silent forest. Suddenly, a loud explosion resounded through the trees. Under the strong pressure and consolidated space of the original star, only hundreds of thousands of square miles around him were affected. Many ancient trees fell, but after a moment, all the fragments gathered, and everything was recovered. It was as if the explosion had never happened. After a long time. So. 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 Three beings of the crystal race arrived. There were such strong energies, and they should have come from the battle of great beings, said one of them. Where are the great beings? Maybe they left instantly after that. The three great beings of the crystal race looked around, then left. Nine universe overlords from the Thorn Ring Alliance gathered at the portal to the outside world. We must get the godly blade of Blade River Luo this time. Blade River Luo is a top-tier domain type true treasure, and it has exceptional attacking power. If some other power gets the godly blade, it'll definitely use it as leverage to blackmail us. We must get back the godly blades as soon as possible. Every blade can strength Blade River Luo to a large extent. Those nine universe overlords just arrived here. They waited there for a long time. Why hasn't the Golden Horned Beast showed up? Weird. One day, two days, three days. Eventually, a Universe Master from the Thorn Ring Alliance arrived and inspected the original star, and that was when they found that the Golden Horned Beast was no longer on the original star, which bewildered all the great beings from the Thorn Ring Alliance, as they had no idea where the Golden Horned Beast went. They had to end the plan. The Golden Horned Beast had a godly body of over 600 miles, which contained excessive energies to most great beings, and they wouldn't waste it. But Luo Fong had his remote ocean body, which had an inconceivable amount of godly power. The power it absorbed in an instant could match the power of the entire Golden Horned Beast. The godly body goes back to the origin of the universe after self-destruction. My remote ocean body absorbs godly power form the origin sea of the universe, which takes much less time than flying to the portal. Luo Fong stood in front of the palace and looked at the endless thousand treasures river. He smiled. If the Thorn Ring Alliance made arrangements, their efforts will be in vain. Remote ocean body stood at a height of over 5,500 miles. The golden horned beast, meanwhile, stood over 600 miles tall but had the same amount of energy as remote ocean body did. Luo Fong could use remote ocean body as a flame god origin crystal and blow it up without feeling any remorse because he could recover it in no time. The godly power contained in a remote ocean body might not be one trillionth that of the boundless remote ocean. It's not because my golden horned beast is small, it's because my boundless remote ocean is too large. Luo Fong exclaimed. It's wonderful to have the boundless remote ocean. No wonder the Nine Remoteness Ocean of Nine Remoteness Master can rival that of a Supreme True Treasure. A godly body that could rival a Supreme True Treasure. Nine Remoteness Master was invincible while within Nine Remoteness Ocean. Luo Fong had yet to attain such power, but his boundless remote ocean held the same potential. Self-destruction there, recovery here. Mused Luo Fong, in a good mood. Primal Chaos City Leader transmitted his voice to Luo Fong. Come here, Luo Fong. Yes, teacher. Luo Fong turned around, looked at the main palace, and teleported himself there. Inside the palace. You have come back safely. Primal Chaos City Leader said, grinning at Luo Fong. Yes, Luo Fong said, smiling. Fortunately, you showed up in time. If it weren't for you, I would have been in even deeper trouble. It was actually easier to deal with than I expected, Primal Chaos City Leader said. That Fu Mo Master would have definitely confronted me if it weren't for Flame Star Master. Even if I had used Thousand Treasures River to take you away, it would have taken a while to transfer you to the Whirlpool Portal at light speed. We managed to make it out of there without any real drama, but there may be repercussions later. Luo Fong said, it was because both you and Flame Star Master were there that the Universe Masters from the Northern Territory Alliance realized they didn't stand a chance. Yes. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded and exclaimed, also, the godly blade of Blade River Luo is not that important. If it were a top-tier true treasure, Fu Mo Master wouldn't have backed down like that. He might have summoned other Universe Masters, leading to certain bloodshed. Luo Fong nodded. 
He understood that a top-tier true treasure was enough to instigate fights among universe masters. As for top-tier domain true treasures, they didn't show up at one time on the original star. The most precious part of Blade River Lua was the compass, and without the compass, the godly blade might not be as valuable as an ordinary true treasure blade. However, the godly blades were vital to Thorn Ring Alliance. They owned the compass, and the godly blades could upgrade the compass from its ordinary level to the top-tier level. What do you want to do with the godly blade? Primal Chaos City Leader asked, looking at Luo Foam. You can take it for your own, or you can give it to our race and get contribution points. With the contribution points, you can buy some resources you need, or a true treasure you desire. Chapter 1049, Nine Tiger River Translator, Nyoibo Studio Editor, Nyoibo Studio I'm willing to hand it to our race, Luo Fong said respectfully. Primal Chaos City Leader nodded. Okay. Then go to Primal Chaos City now, as it's the place to donate valuables to our race. Your valuable will be assessed by the Virtual Universe System, and it'll give you the contribution points that match its value. Virtual Universe System Luo Fong was dazed. The virtual universe system is what determines the valuable, and it's the best, Primal Chaos City Leader said. Besides, using the virtual universe is the fairest method because it's an artificial intelligence system without any personal bias or interests. All the great beings will be convinced. Luo Fong nodded. I understand. I'll go to Primal Chaos City right now. Go. That same day, Luo Fong arrived at the headquarters of the virtual universe company and started his trip to Primal Chaos City by a spaceship. Inside the spaceship. Ah. It's so uncomfortable, the passengers in the spaceship whispered. The flow of time is in chaos. It's sickening. Luo Fong was sitting in a single room, and he laughed after hearing those complaints. He also felt sick when he went to Primal Chaos City for the first time. After all, the original universe was different from the Primal Universe, and the flow of time was in disorder in the universe portal connecting the two. Many talents who went with him fainted on the ground. It's been 100,000 years, Luo Fong exclaimed. He was still a child when he went to Primal Chaos City Leader the first time, and he couldn't even pass the first level of the Heavenly Bridge, and the most valued talent was Bolon. Now, after adventuring in the Blood River World and Demon Note Mountain, after being the special envoy of the Ganwu section of the Virtual Universe, after thousands of years of training in the Out Domain Battlefield and Ice Hell, after the meditation in the Ancestral God School, after venturing through Nine Remoteness Space, and after 50,000 years of vagabonding in the Universe, he finally became Undying. After 100,000 years, he no longer considered Sherwin Knight his competitor. Even if it was a Universe Overlord. He battled with Qi Blood Palace Leader, Bei Feng Knight, and Tianyang Knight. It's been 100,000 years, there should have been many battles between talents. There are two battles every 10,000 years, Luo Feng thought. I haven't paid much attention. Mr. Luo Feng, we've arrived at Primal Chaos City, the captain of the spaceship said with veneration. Okay, said Luo Feng. His mind came back to reality. He glanced at the respectful captain, nodded, and walked out. Luo Fong walked across the hallway with the Undying Emperor Captain, with Undying and Sector Lord crew members standing by his side. He stepped out of the spaceship before the other passengers got out. They all whispered, who is he? Even the captain is so respectful of him. Perhaps a universe knight. Incredible. See. Even the receptionist of the Primal Chaos City leader saluted him. Among the passengers discussing these matters in low voices, some of them were slaves of Primal Chaos City leader, and some of them were universe level fighters, domain lords, and sector lords. Over half of them had come to Primal Chaos City in the first place, and to them, Universe Knights were already the supreme beings in the universe. Luo Fong arrived at the city leader palace. Mr. Luo Fong. Mr. Luo Fong. Many guards and servants recognized Luo Fong. They all knew that Luo Fong had killed Bark Mirror Emperor and that his palace was on the mountainside of Thunder Island, and he was qualified to attend the Supreme Council meeting. They all showed him great respect. Luo Fong had studied the procedures of donating valuables before coming. The location was at a side palace, and he needed to file an application for donating valuables. The side palace was closed generally, and it would open automatically after the application and the applicant arriving there. Luo Fong walked to the side palace. Hong. Long. The door slowly opened. Luo Fong stepped inside. Hong. Long. The door closed. This is the place where I donate the valuable. Luo Fong looked around the side palace. There was only a stone plate with a diameter of around 300 feet at the center. Luo Fong needed to put the valuable on the stone plate so the virtual universe could carefully assess the valuable. Luo Fong took out the godly blade. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, muttered Luo Fong. I only have one godly blade of Blade River Luo, which is almost useless to me. Aside from the blades, there's a compass, and it's almost impossible to attain. As for the idea of fighting against the Thorn Ring Alliance, I'm not powerful enough to do that yet. Luo Fong stepped forward and erased his life imprint on the godly blade. He put the blade on the stone plate. Wang. Cyan threads burst out of the stone plate and surrounded the godly blade. Suddenly, Luo Fong heard a voice. 
Godly blade of Blade River Luo, spoke the voice, mild and gentle. It is worth twelve true treasure points. Are you willing to give it to our race, Luo Fong? Luo Fong smiled. Of course. Ka. The stone plate cracked, splitting into two halves. The godly blade fell through the crack, and the stone plate quickly closed back up again. This is the catalogue of valuables of the human race, the voice continued. Suddenly, a giant, grey catalogue showed up in the sky. It featured four types of valuables, true treasures, treasures, materials, and special resources. Luo Feng looked up at it, considering his options. Special resources, Luo Feng said. Hua. The menu changed, and a plethora of names of resources appeared. Luo Feng was thrilled by this simple inventory, as it might list the core resources of the human race. Of course, Luo Feng was not even qualified to see many of them. For instance, true treasures were divided into ordinary true treasures, senior true treasures, top tier true treasures, pinnacle true treasures, and supreme true treasures. Luo Feng could only see ordinary true treasures and senior true treasures. The others, Luo Feng was not qualified to view. Regardless, Luo Feng doubted there were any supreme true treasures in the human race even available for exchange. As for materials, there were lots of ingredients for making weapons and potions. There were all kinds of special resources, a category comprised of anything that didn't qualify within the other categories, even Undying Bug Clan Queen, and other special life forms for soul transfer. The prices varied based on each item's rarity and level of importance. Luo Feng spent three hours reading the entire catalog. I have my boundless remote ocean to supply godly power, so I don't need the materials or resources, thought Luo Feng. And I don't make weapons and potions. Luo Feng shook his head. I'll just get another true treasure. There were two levels of contribution points. The race could bestow treasure points or true treasure points. The average ordinary treasure was worth half a treasure point or one and a half true treasure points. As for some special treasures, sets of treasures or even domain type treasures, flying palace type treasures, and soul type treasures could rival ordinary true treasures, they were much more valuable. An ordinary true treasure was worth about one true treasure point. Generally, one true treasure point was worth 3,000 to 4,000 treasure points, and the exchange rate fluctuated within that range. As for now, one true treasure point was worth 3,200 treasure points. True treasures and senior true treasures. Luo Feng read the prices of the valuables. The prices of senior true treasure blades ranged from 8 true treasures points to 30 true treasure points. The prices of senior true treasure armor ranged from 12 true treasure points to 60 true treasure points. As for senior domain type true treasure, Luo Feng could only see the cheapest one, which was worth 180 true treasure points. Luo Feng didn't even bother reading the others. Among the senior true treasures, close combat weapons were the cheapest, and true treasures for survival were relatively more expensive. Flying palace type, soul type, and domain type treasures were the priciest ones. I'll check the ordinary true treasures, Luo Feng said, shaking his head. I have star map, Sherwu wing, and force armor. I don't need those senior close combat weapons, spiritual force weapons, and armor. He started to read about the ordinary true treasures. They were cheaper, as expected. On average, they were one-tenth of the price of senior true treasures, and the quantity was much higher. He suspected they had been donated by universe masters who didn't need them anymore. So cheap. They're so cheap. Luo Feng kept exclaiming. However, he was dazed when he noticed the flying palace type, soul type, and domain type treasures up for exchange. The prices of ordinary flying palace type true treasures ranged from 18 to 80 true treasures points, the prices of ordinary soul type true treasures ranged from 36 to 120 treasures points, the prices of ordinary domain type true treasures ranged from 16 to 80 true treasure points. These ones, on the other hand, are expensive, Luo Feng muttered, realizing he couldn't purchase any of them with his measly 12 true treasure points. The cheapest ordinary domain type true treasure is worth 16 true treasure points, and there are 13 of them at this price. Luo Feng read them carefully and quickly had his eyes on a domain type true treasure named Nine Tiger River. Chapter 1050, Take Off. Translator, Naoibo Studio Editor, Naoibo Studio. Nine Tiger River. It was an ordinary domain type true treasure, metal category, and it required 16 true treasure points. The fact that it was in the metal category was what attracted Luo Feng. He said, Details of Nine Tiger River. Hua. A scene showed up in the sky, and a river with golden water flew in all directions. Inside the golden river lived nine strange beasts with scales, tiger heads, and the bodies and tails of dragons. The nine strange beasts looked indistinct and were frolicking in the river. Nine Tiger River is a domain type true treasure, and it has mighty suppression and bounding power, he said in a mild voice. If enemies are relatively weak, it can annihilate them instantly. It's a domain type true treasure of the metal category. Undying fighters who become undying under gold law are able to wield it. Together with the gold law domain and the true treasure domain, the power can be multiplied. If someone becomes a universe knight under space law, he is also able to merge space law domain with the true treasure domain because space law trumps gold, wood, water, fire, and ground law. Those who practice time space are unfit for Nine Tiger River. Luo Feng nodded contently after reading all the information. 
He was already relatively satisfied with Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, which could effectively suppress senior universe knights on the original stars and was also able to affect universe overlords. That was, after all, how Luo Feng had so easily survived his encounter with Qi Blood Palace Master and Bei Feng Knight. However, he was not satisfied enough with it. The restraining power was not strong enough. When it came to those who were talented at escape, such as Tian Yang Knight, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror would be rendered useless. Such fighters could simply use a true treasure to escape. If only I had a more powerful domain type true treasure, Luo Feng thought. Even Tian Yang Knight has better law comprehension than me, and even if he has a true treasure wing, he won't be able to get away. But I can escape danger with the domain type true treasure. Nine Tiger River. Luo Feng whispered, concentrating on it. Unfortunately, it required 16 true treasure points. Doesn't matter, Luo Feng said, clenching his teeth. I need better valuables. He waved his hand, and a Rubik's Cube appeared on his palm. He put the cube on the stone plate. Cyan threads burst out of the plate and surrounded that cube, and the same voice said, a seal-type treasure, which is worth 22 true treasures. Luo Feng, are you willing to contribute this valuable to the race? Only 22 true treasure points. Luo shook his head. No. The cube flew back to Luo Feng. I'll try others, he thought. Luo Feng tried one treasure after another, testing to see how many contribution points he could get. He was surprised to discover that the purple clock was worth 89 treasure points, while a seal star was only worth 30. The green axe silver I had given him in the ice hell was only worth 3 treasure points. Seal type treasures were all relatively more valuable, but the purple clock shocked Luo Feng. The swallowing claw is worth 1200 treasure points. Luo Feng shook his head. But it's not enough. Next, I'll try these two. Luo Feng waved his hands, an ancient boat galaxy appeared on his left hand while golden thread aurora mirror appeared on his right. Wine master, whispered Luo Feng. My plan was to make the ancient boat galaxy you left in the land of valuables famous throughout the universe, but I might not be lucky enough to have that chance. I'll contribute this ancient boat galaxy to my race, and if no great beings exchange for it in the future, I'll get it back. If not, then perhaps it's not destined to be mine. As a matter of fact, Luo Feng loved ancient boat galaxy. Otherwise, he wouldn't have given it the name galaxy in the first place. However, on the path to becoming a great being, he couldn't sacrifice his chance at an important true treasure just because of something he fancied. As for Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, it'll be useless if I have Nine Tiger River. Luo Feng put the Golden Thread Aurora Mirror on the stone plate. It was a domain-type treasure, which was worth 2.3 true treasure points. Ancient Boat Galaxy, a flying palace-type treasure, was worth 3.6 true treasure points. Ancient Boat Galaxy is more expensive than Golden Thread Aurora Mirror. Luo Feng chuckled. Is it because it was previously used by a supreme being? Without a doubt, it was. Although he had some treasures, and some were set treasures, they were all much cheaper. He might need to give away hundreds of them to gain just one ordinary true treasure. A flying palace type top tier treasure, worth 3.6 true treasures, said the mild tone voice. Are you willing to contribute it to the race? Luo Feng nodded. Yes, I am, he said. Domain type top tier treasure, the voice continued, worth 2.3 true treasure points. Are you willing to contribute it to the race? Yes, said Luo Feng. Nine Tiger River. Price, 16 true treasure points. Do you wish to exchange for it, Luo Feng? Luo Feng didn't hesitate for even a second. I do. Hong. Long. The plate cracked slowly open until it showed a portal leading to an abyss. Then a valuable flew out. It was a fist-sized golden sculpture of a strange beast with a tiger head and the body and tail of a dragon. The sculpture flew toward Luo Feng, who took it in his hand. Nine Tiger River is mine now. Luo Feng penetrated it with a trace of his godly power and sealed his life imprint in it. The sculpture quickly merged into his palm, and a picture showed up on his palm. Ancient Boat Galaxy, he said. He looked up at the screen and selected, Flying Palace Type Treasures. A Flying Palace Type Treasure named Silver Dragon Phantom Boat had just appeared. It was available at the price of four true treasure points, obviously higher than what Luo Feng had been given for it. He now finally understood, what was really meant by, contribute. Great beings supplied valuables at a lower price, and the race then sold them to other great beings at their true value. The race was thus able to acquire many valuables, which were used to cultivate the weaker members. Luo Feng had contributed Ancient Boat Galaxy, Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, and Blade River Luo to the human race. In exchange, he had been given 17.9 true treasure points. After spending 16 true treasure points on Nine Tiger River, he now had 1.9 left. He decided not to continue to exchange for other valuables. After all, other valuables were not worthwhile. It was more important for great beings to have quality true valuables than it was to have more valuables. A single star tower was much more precious than tens of thousands of true treasures. After leaving Primal Chaos City, he went to his god kingdom. Hua. 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 In the sky above the boundless remote ocean, the golden horned beast stood with his wings opened. How? 
The golden horned beast howled and burned his godly power, powering the strange, golden beast picture on his chest. Hong. A churning river appeared with a diameter of 20 million miles with the golden horned beast at the center. Nine eerie beasts could be seen swimming in the golden river. Law Domain, Sand the Golden Horned Beast, standing at the center of the river. Nine Tiger River Domain. Merge. Hong. The power was multiplied, and the almighty Golden River churned up into the sky. This domain is much stronger than that of Golden Thread Aurora Mirror, Luo Feng said. He nodded. If I drove the Golden Thread Aurora Domain with my burning godly power before, I could annihilate an elementary universe knight. However, I can use the same amount of time to annihilate a secondary one with this Nine Tiger River. Power. Gather. All the energies in the Golden River rushed toward those strange beasts, strengthening them. It could severely injure a secondary universe knight, and it would be able to kill one after several attacks. Luo Feng sensed the power and nodded. Even senior universe knights would be trapped by this, and it could even slow down universe overlords. All this greatly satisfied Luo Feng. He nodded. If I meet Tianyang Knight again, he'll be slowed down if he falls in the domain of my Nine Tiger River, and I can catch up with him. Luo Feng put the Nine Tiger River domain and the Golden Horned Beast body back in his world ring and stood above the boundless remote ocean. He hadn't stayed long on the original star, but the experience had certainly broadened Luo Feng's horizons. There were billions of great beings of all the races gathering, including many universe overlords. I'm not strong enough. True Treasure Wing. Luo Feng recalled the Black Wing Tianyang Knight owned. He couldn't care less about Blade River Luo's component, as he knew that it was impossible for him to get Blade River Luo by himself. What Luo Feng really wanted was that wing Tianyang Knight owned. My Sherwu wings and that black wing attracted each other, thought Luo Feng. If they are combined, the power will definitely surge. I bet Tianyang Knight also wants to get my wing. Hmm. Time to go to the Yin Fa secret region. Time to get the fourth black medal. Masters Wushan Ku had given him three tasks. He could get the third black medal if he became a Scepter Lord, and he could get the fourth black medal if he became Undying. When he became a Universe Knight, he could go and obtain the last black medal. Then he had been trapped in Ice Hell for more than 2,000 years. The fourth black medal is hidden in the Yin Fa secret region, an area that is known for being dangerous, Luo Feng thought. It might take a long time, and I don't know what tasks my teacher has prepared for me. But I have to go and give it a try. It might take forever, but my power will escalate if I get the fourth medal. Perhaps my Golden Horned Beast body can reach a perfect life gene level. Last time, when his remote ocean body had reached the perfect life gene level, he had received the inherited technique, I am the universe, and his godly body had become more than 55,000 miles long. However, Luo Feng had chosen to turn the godly body into a boundless remote ocean, which was why he couldn't perform the inherited technique I am the universe. For what it's worth, the fourth black metal might help my golden horned beast reach the perfect life gene level, Luo Feng thought. Once I succeed, I'll go deal with Tianyang Knight. Luo Feng left the human territory after going back to the primal region, and he departed for the extremely dangerous Yin Fa secret region, 